Let me know. If we saw through the sky with some broken wings, how far could we fly before we fall? Let me know. And if the whole world is so hypnotized and chasing us, no peace, how do we grow? Let me know. Let me know. It's like the whole world's clutching religious paraphernalia, waiting for an alien savior. I If we saw through the sky with some broken wings If we saw through the sky with some broken wings How far could we fly before we fall? Let me know And if the whole world is so hypnotized And chasing us no peace How do we grow? Let me know Let me know It's like the whole world's clutching religious paraphernalia Waiting for an alien savior I flew to the tube The news is Wrestlemania Crude views produced by the cult of Saturnalia Inviting you to a new future destined for failure When men in suits have got troops looting Mesopotamia How do we separate the coons from maroons When our entire culture's been used and abused? This time you got a kid with you it's not even anything expensive, please. Just let me go. Don't you understand this how often this happens? I'm sorry. What it costs our company. I'm sorry, it was, like, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sure you are. Oh, really? Please, please. We should have thought about that before. Yeah, but he needs to eat. He's hungry. Uh, please speak. To the youth are confused. From the womb to the tomb, fabricated proof. Got us from the moon to the truth. We don't see the lies at all. We can't let them hit the ties at all. Two choices, fly or fall. We the people say, fuck the government. And their demonic covenants, they don't encourage nourishment or spiritual sustenance. All they know is punishment. I'm plundering the continents without consequence. It's got to the point now where we're going to have to step in. What do you mean to step in? Like, you know, we're going to have to take his time. What do you mean take him? He's mine. The powers that be don't feel that you're responsible in the moment. What do you mean? I'm out here to feed him. I think I'm scared because I want to. I'm here to feed him. We're not, we're not saying that at all. We're not penalising you. We're just, just we need, we need to look out for Sakai. We're going to give you five minutes then, and just to say goodbye. What do you mean five minutes? I'm not with him. It's you are not taking him away from me. The best you are not taking him away from me. That's, that's all we can do. It's gone too far now. You're doing this. You cannot take him away from me. Do not walk away from me. You can't take him. You are not taking him. It's, we can't do anything out. We've tried everything with you. You've got five minutes, okay? We'll lead you to it. You're gonna take you away from me and I want you to be strong, okay? I'll come back for you, I swear, I swear I will. I don't need so much for you, but I will come back for you, I promise, okay? Always remember who you are, okay? Promise you do that for me. Come on, time's up now. I'm really sorry. Time's up. We just left the room. Give me his mind. Sorry. sorry. What do you mean? You're sorry. You're sorry. Oh. You don't touch it. 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 Sun to the sky with some broken wings How far could we fly before we fall? Let me know And if the whole world is so hypnotized And chasing us no peace How do we grow? 
let me know. Me know. In a land of the lost with no map for the blind Was born a unified beam with a spectacular mind Check how I pattern my rhymes, magical lines Snapshots of eternity, captured in time My root and my sacral is fine So I don't need no king do gods to get my shackles aligned My third eyes bust wide open, it's not a joke thing Deeper than talking to dolphins up in the ocean Still I'm crow smoking Indulging in alcoholic potions, suppressing my emotions Internally turbulent, verbally impertinent Does the creator of the earth permanently circle the firmament? I spit a verse to reverse the curse of Copernicus I use the words of a nerd, but my mind state is murderous Collide when my state was merciless Mates in the grave were doing life labelled murderers If we saw through the sky with some broken wings I'll talk with black before we fall Let me know the world is so hypnotized and chasing what's not free. How can we grow? Let me know. Let me know. Man, I'm set it out here. Like really, really out here. Whoa. How long you been out here? And can you tell me what you're out here for? I know, like you know, in this life that we need, we need currency. Caught a vibe in the ass without cash to spare You won't live life free, so all day, all day We got the mind running, thinking how to get low Double up once, triple up and make more We all chase the money, but money won't save for so Gotta take caution, everybody's looking for a portion Easily forgetting what's important, living in distortion Clarity can only be restored when we decide to hit it in the car if we saw through the sky with some broken wings, I'll talk with pride before we fall. Let me know. And if the world is so hypnotized and chasing us, no free, how do we grow? Let me know. Let me know. If we saw through the sky with some broken wings, I'll talk with pride before we fall. Let me know And if the whole world is so hypnotized And chasing what's not free How do we grow? Let me know Let me know Yes, I know who you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know who you are, yeah? Life's a battle, you gotta keep moving. Can't give up and you gotta keep going. Yes, I know who I am, yeah, yeah. Yes, I know who I am, yeah, keep going. Yes, I know who I am, yeah, yeah. Do you know who you are, yeah? Yeah, yeah, do you know who you are, yeah? Life's a battle, you gotta keep moving. Can't give up and you gotta keep going. Yes, I know who I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know who you are, yeah? Life's a battle, you gotta keep moving. Yes, I know who I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know who you are, yeah? Life's a battle, you gotta keep moving. Yes, I know who I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know who you are, yeah? The truth will come to light to you eventually. Something always happens out and out and call it destiny. Uh, uh, I spent so much energy, energy. trying to get a little head. Microcephaly. And they try to turn my wallet into the treasury. I'm wanting Air Maxes and gold accessories. The apron, a bag of weed, like green like celery. Lungs full of smoke and a bladder full of Hennessy. But the happiness it brought was just temporary. Ducking from the law with my liberty in jeopardy. They want to give me prison as a penalty or a position in the cemetery. I started thinking about flipping my trajectory. Quiet contemplation started giving me serenity. Discovered that my legacy lay hidden in my memories. Discarded knowledge learned from books written by my enemies. They sell pain, stem from jealousy of my pedigree. The challenges I face are hereditary. Still I'm everything you'll never be. be All you were sent to be All you were meant to be In this life there's more than they let you see The truth will come to light to you eventually Something always happens out and out and call it destiny I know you're a star But you're not meant to find out who you are You're not meant to find out who you are You're not meant to find out who you are
journey, I'm on the journey, this journey, I travel stealth on my once, I'm on the mission, my mission is to find myself, do you know who you are, like really, who you are, do you know that you're a gateway to galaxies and the bar, with the gifts that you possess, they try to lock you down with stress, trying to hack your mind and hypnotize you to your spirit's dead, but energy never dies, you will forever rise, from the ashes you will climb like the phoenix forever flies, and that's the poetry, but in reality, it's grim, I ain't fucking out on nothing, cause reality is dim, we're all lost, life soft, in the dark, with our shades on, throw to the world, we're blessing half of our brain on, so wake up, wake up, stop, better wake up, wake up fast, for they block you from yourself and distract you from who you are, who's who you are, it's something precious, the essence is undefined, you're a diamond under pressure, you shine, you gotta be all you were sent to be, all you were meant to be, cause in this life there's more than it lets you see. The truth will come to light to you eventually Something always happens out and out and call it destiny I know you're a star But you're not meant to find out who you are You're not meant to find out I know it's hard to become the person you want to, but you've got to keep on fighting, even though they're gonna keep on judging, and I know that society says, do this even though it's not fair, but you've got to keep on climbing. Don't get distracted And yes, yes I know who you are Yeah, yeah, yeah Do you know who you are? Yeah. And yes, yes I know who I am Yeah, yeah, yeah Yes I know who I am yeah. Life's a battle, you gotta keep You gotta be all you were sent to be All you were meant to be in this life there's more than they let you see The truth will come to light to you eventually Something always happens out and out and call it destiny I know you're a star But you're not meant to find out who you are You're not meant to find out who you are You're not meant to find out who A poet and a nerd, a crook and a gang banger. I'm at home with the holy, I'm good with the grand slangers. Yeah. 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 Just because I got my head in the book, I'm never puss. With a whoosh, I could jump out a bush and get you smushed. Better shush, and the wrong one to push, I get you whoops. If I give the young drillers the look, you're getting cooked. With a gang, who you smell in the air is hella push. You know the fam, stay ever prepared. We're never shook, connect with man from everywhere, every hook. Feds prang, they fill up a fair, cause we ain't hooked it's on their yeah. fool's narratives. What? Poison and their additives. Yeah. They paint us as the bad guys, they're the real savages. Yeah. An empire of vampires and energy scavengers. What? Descendant of Dracula, infiltrated Africa, colluded with coons, what? instigated massacres. Yeah. If goons form platoons, we can flip it like a spatula. Yeah. Now my thoughts are accurate, yeah. my mission is immaculate. Yeah. I don't need a jewelry, yeah. sage yeah. or an amulet. I'm a rude boy with manners, books and bandanas. Yeah. A poet and a nerd, a kick in a gang banger. I'm a with the holy, I'm good with the gram slangers. We jump out a bush, give you bush with a mad hammer. A rude boy with manners, books and bandanas. A poet and a nerd, a cook and a gang banger. I'm a home with the holy, I'm good with the gram slangers. We jump out a bush, give you bush yeah. with a mad hammer. Jump, I, I jump out the shrubbery, on bare skull duggery. Man is on some antics and fuckeries. Free the people, fuck the monarchy is my policy. I don't even want no reparations or apology. I would rather die on my feet than live on my knees. The vaccines, the poisons, taxes are robbery. Fat cats relax and leave us trapped in the poverty. Pigs on the pavement, rats in the poppy. Help an old lady cross the road, cause that's how I am. If he's your bro, he's my bro. I treat him like his fan. If I got it and you need it, holler me. I'm the man, ever double cross me. I leave you bleeding where you stand, leave you bleeding where you sit, leave you bleeding where you lay. Knows I'm greasy geezers. 
Cause I don't need a reason anyway They be beating heaters any season Man, I let it spray Beefing for my freedom yeah. So the heathen, yeah. I will never change I'm a rude boy with manners Books and bandanas A poet and a nerd A crook and a gang banger I'm a home with the holy I'm good with the grand slangers We jump out of bush Getting wood with a mad hammer A rude boy with manners Books and bandanas A poet and a nerd A crook and a gang banger I'm a home with the holy I'm good with the grand slangers We jump out of bush Getting wood with a mad hammer Stop, I'm good with these books and I'm good with the crooks I smoke weed with shoes and count peas with shoes So if I lean to the side and I jump on my phone It could be to get at my knowledge or get him hit with the wood We don't par with them faggots cause they wuss Never been hit with a package I couldn't push If we couldn't make it then me and mine talks Come from a manner where you could dead overlook Close my eyes and I see heaven Trap house in years earned they keep dog They put in more than the tenants Tenants spend on smokes and tenants they consume more kestrel than this whip do petrol dog. Life's no bitch, she's a queen, she'll test you. Blessed everywhere, my energy's ancestral. But my path, it might not be the best route, but I do what I do. Couldn't care what the rest do. I'm a rude boy with manners, books and bandanas. A poet and a nerd, a crook and a gang banger. I'm at home with the holy, I'm good with the grand slangers. You jump out of bush, give you wood with a mad hammer. A rude boy with manners, books and bandanas. A poet and a nerd, a crook and a gang banger. I'm at home pick up my books, bruv. Pick up my books, bruv. Classic line. Pick up my books, bruv. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I'm not pick up my books. <laughs> Big up family. It's your boy Jedi for Jedi Online, Illuminati Live, Red Pill Trio, Illuminati Clips. I gotta do that, man. It's your boy Jedi for Illuminati. It's your it's your boy Jedi for Jedi Online, True Illuminati Live, True Illuminati Clips, Red Pill Trill. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we go live. And please put the number of your like in the chat. You know, like. Ah! Yeah, man. Big up everyone in the building. Come on. What's going on? Happy Thursday and that. 27th of October, month soon done. It's basically November. What it do, man? What it do? Woman at the show, 26 people in the building. And um, yeah, man, peanut butter toast, um, homemade cappuccino, and a big cup of it. And yeah, we in the building, man. I got to take the boys to get a haircut at some point past one, and then I'll be back. That's it, really. That's my day. I ain't really got much going in today. Thursday and that. Big up, big up, Zulu. Shalom, broski. What's up? Shalom, man. Nothing, man. Nothing, man. Just thought I'd catch you before you, you went out and tackled the world. I don't know what you got planned today. What, what's going on? I got my lunch break in a bit, so I thought I'd jump on now. You got your lunch break. So what, what are you doing now? You at work? Yeah, I was doing this event. There's this, uh, you know, Google, they have these live stream seminar things where they talk about yeah. updates and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to get some research done so I'm more equipped. Okay, so it's like a send up, send up. So it's like a, it's like a Zoom meeting kind of thing. Yeah, it's like a, yeah, basically. An unlisted YouTube video and they basically tell you like what the next updates are for Google and et cetera, et cetera. Okay. What the, so uh, can, have you got anything for us? Any, any exclusives? What's the next updates? Um, the platform that they were talking about wasn't YouTube. It was, um, do you know that um, Google Shopping thing when you're going on Google and you see that tab that says Shopping? Yeah, yeah. They were talking about updates with that and how, you know, basically basically the search results and because of the economic, they talked about Ukraine and all that shit in COVID. It was so cringe. But yeah, <laughs> there, was bunch, there was a bunch of that as well. Yeah. And it even mentioned the badge as well. I was just sitting there, I was like, really? You really have to yeah. put that in there as well? It's like, all oh, involved, man. man. It's all involved, all of it. It's a mess, man. Yeah, because it's a changing world now, isn't it? Based on this stuff, isn't it? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 100%. But yeah, I'm looking to cut my hair today, man. I'm going to do away with Bro, the twists. 
You're done with the twist. I'm done with it, fam. It's just too much, man. It's too much. Pussy, bro. you pussy, you sell out. You fucking sell out. <laughs> <laughs> you my head is so big now, fam. Like when I undo yeah. the twist, it's nuts. It's you trying much. to you trying to fit into masses masses office, huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Go tell me. It's because you're looking for a job. The shame. Nah, I'm, the, I'm, I'm working. Like, fam, there's bare white people I work for. I'm, I can't just walk around looking rasta. I have to relax. You know what I mean? I have to. Uh, I, bro, come on, man. Brother, we've been training you for this. Are you supposed to... I do believe that you... like, Especially when you're working with computers, bro. I do believe you can have a more... I'm trying to think of the word to use. Artistic. Because <laughs> you know what, yeah? It's the nah, why do we have to have names for our hairstyles? Like as in, why has it got a B sign? It's just your hair twisted. Like it's not it's nothing major. But I was gonna I'm um, avoiding words like professional, clearly. I don't want to use that word. Um <laughs> sophisticated. Neat, neat. You know what I mean? There was another yeah. word, um, you said kind of like relaxed or like so I just don't like it. It's our hair. And we know, but do you agree Why? that there's different there's different styles for different venues and different uh, sectors and events? No, I, I don't believe they should be. I don't believe they should be, put it that way. When I had locks, I pretty much just had to work with my locks, didn't it? I've got locks, in it? There's nothing I could do. So, And I never found a venue that I felt like I couldn't enter because I've got locks, bro. I'll be real. But there were different ways that you could style the locks because you could tie them, you could just let them hang normally. So there was, and you sometimes you could put a thing over it as well. So that's there's a, other ways you can style it. You know what I mean? A, it's not that's a big point. That's a big point. That's a point. Yeah, it is a point still. And it's like, for example, the idea of, oh, you should just be who you are, wherever you are. Like, I get that ethically, but are you going to wear, if a, is a woman going to wear a bikini to a wedding? Or See, this to, is what I mean, though. Like, I mean, in I, for instance, a wedding has a dress policy. Standardly, has a dress policy, right? No yeah. bride wants a woman turning up to her wedding, distracting everyone from the attention she's supposed to be getting or whatnot in a bikini. It's immoral. It's wrong. It's impractical. I get why you'd be stopped at the door, like, "Sorry, ma'am, you can't get in." I get that. But in an office place, Zulu's dressed smart. And he comes in with his twist. No one can't ain't got that. What you got to say about my twist? What are you gonna say? Oh, um, do you think that what? What? What are you gonna say? Nah, bro, you gotta understand from these are the kind of whites where it's like they're posh, bro. They're gonna think come here. Why are we confused? You're the young generation, man. Why there's no hope for you and my son then? Because you lot still conforming, you still have to. Look at certain things. Ain't this the whole reason why we got the internet? Ain't this the whole reason why we got access to the to, to, to the web? Because we don't need these motherfuckers to tell us how we dress and that. Just why you can't. There's no long t long longevity in you working for anyone, Zulu. You're 21 and you 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 you're cutting your hair to fit into a workplace and you like your hair. You don't want to really cut your hair. No, you, I, you really, wanna... I really don't. <laughs> Zulu, man. I, I mean, to, I have to. Bro. I have to. I have you to. Don't have to. Zulu, I don't think you have to, Zulu. I know I you're to, gonna, and I respect your decision. But the have to, I, I just, you've not convinced me. You have to, bro. Why do you have to? It's the right thing to do, yeah. It's just oh the right my thing. god! <laughs> <laughs> That's well, I can't right Zoom calls and client meetings looking like Rasta, bro. I have to relax now. It's different. It's a different level now. This is a different level. This is a different... And I understand that it's, it's definitely backwards thinking. It's unsynchronized. You can say what you want in the chat, guys. I feel you. But I have to maneuver. I have to manipulate the system. I have to I have to do what I have to do, bro. I have to do what I have to do. That's that, have because to... you're saying that... Because of that thing that I understand is why I wouldn't really, like... I couldn't try to attempt to get onto you or or convince you or change your mind or nothing because I, I get... I, I know the reality that you're talking about. But with a bit of integrity, with a bit of stubbornness, defiance, I don't know what you want to call it, you can stand your ground. I reckon you'd be okay, bro. 
I do reckon you'd be all right, bro. Have, has has anything been mentioned? I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like family has been saying some things. It's family. Like, this is what I'm saying. Us Africans are so fucked bro. up, man. <laughs> it's us, you know, because you know, because the truth is, they don't even like the fucking twist. So they they, they're gonna convince you, man. They don't like the twist. Come on, I know my family as well, man. You see the joy emojis when I cut my locks, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh you cut them. Oh. Uncle, my mom, bro. Like. <laughs> Like, even though I'm out of the house, just even though I'm a man, I'm officially a man. Yeah. I'm out of the house, it's yeah. still like, oh, you need to cut your, you need to cut your, your twist. You need to do this. They don't like, like it. They don't no. like it, man. They don't like it at all. Until you're a billionaire. When you're a billionaire, then you know. That's it. Exactly what my mom said. Come, come. Yes, my mom was like, oh, only be comfortable and do whatever you want. Once you're boss, you want you to making a bunch of money. But right now, while you're still working, you need to kind of like, you know, fit in, kind of. A cold world, man. I know. I like shift. I like shifter. Salute, so what, salute, salute, brother. So, what do you think about about Zulu cutting his hair for for a more professional look? I hate. Why did ah? Why did I say that? <laughs> that Scrap the professional. Zulu <laughs> cut his hair to sit at the white man's table. I ain't white. with it. I ain't with it. Keep your hair, brother. Keep your hair. Make them accept you as you are. That's not how the world works, brother. All right, so um, big up Zulu. Big up, big up, big up, big up James. Big up uh, Shifa as well. Um, so Zulu, do you have like a, a uniform policy within the organization, within the office that you're in or whatever? They don't even no, have an office. <laughs> no, it's definitely a liberal organization. They definitely push diversity and all this shit. And there's been a few hints of tokenism I'm, I'm getting from me anyway, but I'm basically the only black guy there. So I'm not trying to for every stereotype. So I hear you. I hear you. But, <laughs> but then in that <laughs> sense, like, <laughs> so I was going to say, are those people free to express their individuality, who they are? Bro, their is there gender, a their, Do you is know what I mean? Is there any shims there, bro? Uh, what's the shim? Come on, bro. Honestly, I'm, I don't know what that is. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. Um, you know what, bro? Probably, I think there's like one or two. I've noticed, like, right, of so, bro, course, there is. No, it's not, it's super, it's super, it's super liberal, bro. Yeah, so th th that's argument done, then, yeah. But I, I like when you get to higher up within the organization and you're representing, shit no, Zulu, like, like, no, Zulu, no, Zulu. Sorry, I've, I've been in organizations, right. Are like pretty old, the old people, the old fashioned, the like proper business. Doesn't people. matter. You want to think it doesn't matter. Like Zulu, it doesn't matter because you know what these same bro, people. Bro, bro, let, me, let, me let me just say this. Let me just say this. Sorry, MJ, get out of the way for a minute. minute yeah, let me just <laughs> say this. Yo, a hey, a hey, Zulu. <laughs> it's two thousand and twenty-two, and look at our prime minister, bro. Well, obviously not him. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously not him. But him, he. he Come on, bro. Look, look, look. That's what the problem. That's what black we're chancellor. Doing, we just had a oh. black chancellor with Asian mayor, Asian prime minister. Like, what are we dealing with, bro? Really? I know, I know. You're, taking us, you're taking us back 50 years by cutting know, your hair, man. Bro. 100%. <laughs> like, Zulu, I've been in organizations as well that are. You know, like, uh, they'd be having meetings with council people and all these old white guys and all of this and da-da-da-da-da. But then they'd be doing things that are part of, like, the rainbow community, right, where those people are allowed to wear what they want, dress how they want, wear a dress, da-da-da-da-da, yeah? Like, why the hell should you not be allowed, just because you're part of some organisation, why should you not be allowed to express who you are and be who you are? You should not be made to conform. You should not be made to feel uncomfortable. Because my concern for you, bro, you start conforming with this, what else are you going to start conforming yeah, No, but, but here's the thing, though, that's where it stops, though. It's not going to be, a, oh, take this if you want to... Oh, it shouldn't it. even start, Zulu. It shouldn't even start to begin with. I'm so it's disappointed. Like, like you may as well have told me you got the badge. Like, ah, that's how disappointed no, no, I am right now. Level. That's not on the same level. Come on. That's no, definitely... I feel like it is. I feel like you're no, giving no, in to no, the no, pressures. And I don't even know if, if they're necessarily putting any pressure on you or you're putting this pressure on they're yourself. Not. They're not. He would have said something. He would have said something. Like the badge. Come on. Now we, now we can. I can. What? No, I, no, I, I can't. Like that, but she's right, bro. 
Because wow. it's a decision you don't have to make. You're making it to make shit easier. And how many times right. have you heard it when it comes to the best? This isn't a life changing situation, though. It, I can go. I can no, go my head back. No, you're right. You're right on that side of things. Mm. But there's there's a moral behind it, though, brother. There's a moral like pause. You're bending. Pause. You get me? Like and I don't know, man. Do you know what I mean? You're bowing a little bit. You're kissing the we ring all a bit. Do that in micro ways. We all micro. We nah, all do I don't that. do it anymore, bro. I, you know me, bro. That's probably why I, I'll be real with you, bro. Because I understand where you're coming from, and I want to see you happy, right? And I reckon success and and achievement is gonna make you happy. I've lived the life of going against the grain, and but I find happiness in that. Not everyone's gonna enjoy that, but. People would like look at me and be like, oh, well, you should be further. You're a big man. You should have this. You should have that. I don't have anything, bro. I tell a man with my chest, I don't have anything. But I have control over me. If I want tattoo, the Bible verse or Quran verse over the left side of my face, I can. You saw my locks. My locks I agree because I, I think we both had opportunities to sell out Jedi and to change right. our image or change our, our, right. our message. Know. To, to, to get money for monetary gain, but we're not going to do that, bro. We're not doing that. Are you going to this? And, and Zulu, the only other thing I want to say to you is, uh, I remember you saying you're looking for a wife right now. So what is it you want your future wife to see? This man that conforms to British society or this no, man no, no, that's a proud African Zulu, 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 guys, guys, come on. Like, you guys are being way too harsh. Listen, I Thank get you, it, Zulu, No, we're not. Stop. First generation, there's a lot of pressure on the brother, man. Let's First generation, this. yeah, it's, oh, it's not easy. Yes, it's not easy. But yes. what I would say, Zulu, what I would say yeah. is take time, don't make a decision now because you're in that zealous stage. You know, you want to do everything mm. perfect. There's a magnifying glass on you at work because you're the newbie, whatever in it. Take six months, don't do nothing for like six months. Six months. You're gonna look back and be like, "Oh, why was I even thinking that?" Right? Well, yeah, I thought it was you gonna know, be I mean, like yeah. this in the really like, end. We got yeah, all of yeah. this. Oh, I would never do it. Allow it, guys, because this kid is in a in a space where the pressure is real, bro. My first job position was in Richmond. The pressure is real in some areas. No, I recognize the look, that. The I constant that micro, you know, the microaggression, the little. I yeah. get it, Zulu. I get what you're going through. Bro. All right, but Sarah, okay. okay. So I'll, I'll give you an example. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. wait. Take so, time. This is a little bit like Sarah. Tell me this. Tell me if, if you disagree, right? But I think this is a little bit like feeling like, oh, maybe I, you know what? I might stop wearing my hijab at work. Exactly. Nah, that's not the exactly. same. No, it's exactly the same, bro. Exactly the same. That's religious. Hold on. That's religious. That's religious. That's totally. Yeah, but, no, but the fact is, she People doesn't. judging want you to wear on it. your appearance. She wants to wear it, right? But now she started this job or she's in this. Exactly. Thing and she's like, mm, I'm not only hijabi. I mean, I don't really need to. It happens I mean, to a I'm, lot of people in I'm, different ways. And next exactly. thing you know, they're not wearing it. They start wearing it loose. I've seen it, you know. Yeah. I've watched. It's tight around the face. Yeah, framing the face. Then they start wearing it loose. And the little curl the at the front. The bit coming out. Then it's a right. curl. Then the bit know, of fringe starts coming it's out. It's just then a it's scarf off. sitting on the top of the head. Yeah. Then next week, you know, they're in without it. And I'm thinking, rah, what's going on, sis? What's different about it's not about because you? they didn't want to. It's just the pressure got too much and i trust me the first six months of a new job is extremely like there's a lot of pressure bro i'm still in probation it's just part well, of the game in it you just need to firm it for six months okay. and i and i promise you in six months time you're not going to think like this zudu you just mentioned that you're Can on I probation say? what does that mean in terms of your hair they cannot um judge Zudu. your performance in your job based on your yeah, hair Zudu's probation or not. No, but, but MJ, there's that. a they lot of micro aggression them. people don't yeah. have to say nothing to mm -mm. you they will never write that well, down. They will never is. say, oh, his hair, he got, his, his look don't fit. Big up, big up, Uni. Let me just say this. Yeah, they will on. never write that down, MJ. This is what That's this what is the battle against racism, right? They will yeah. never have to say that. So I do get where Zudi's coming from. Because in his heart of hearts, he wants to give himself the best chance. Mm. So it's like, they're never going to say it's because of his hair. But yeah, it, they're it never going to do that. But you get a little I've, I've been in this position, though, yeah, where they where told me about my beard. They said my beard was too wild. My beard used to be down here. They said it was too wild. But it wasn't really a problem with the beard for me. So what I did, I just shaped it up. Once it's shaped up, yeah. you ain't telling me nothing. I'm keeping my beard. Just take one day at a time, bro. Give it six months. Please don't do nothing now. Please don't. And it's right. winter time, Zulu. So if anything, <laughs> you just keep your hair for winter and then decide when the weather gets a bit better. Um, Zulu. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Big up, um, Can I? Yeah, I'm working, so let me just say my piece and I can yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so Zulu, yeah, I, listen to your big sister, <laughs> your online sister. And I, I just feel, don't do it, man. What I'm saying is that basically um, there's a, a, an assistant director, yeah, and he has locks, long locks. He's true to himself. He speaks the way he speaks. He's not all poshy poshy. He's just himself. Don't conform. Um, unique, yes. Is, what field is that in, Unique? <laughs> what do you mean? I work with children and families. No, no, no. The, the assistant director, what field is that? What field is he in? The same field as you? Yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. what about if the argument was uh, your your workspace is a bit Is that majority more Asians you do and white? Majority what, white. What's that, Jed? I was going to say, what about the argument that maybe your workspace and where this um, this locked um, assistant um, director is a more casual kind of or more formal space, right? Or informal, should I say? Informal space, yeah. So therefore... Uh, is it though? It's with children. It's more... With yeah, children, yeah, yeah. they're more diverse. Wouldn't they be a bit it's more true. diverse? Yeah. Like, yeah. It, what, then Google. Then Google. Come on, I guys. just what think are we doing here? It's... yeah, Google's no. mad though. Like, because you work Google if you're working mad. with Google, it's like you could yeah. do anything, bro. We're talking children and families that like to dictate to people. That's what that service, like the I don't mean the individuals, but you know, that service is the people that try to dictate to, to parents how should they run their lives no, and to bring up their children and all of that. So if them, anything, the they're gonna be less yeah. diverse and less understanding, like in the higher ups, than what they would be in Google. No, no, mm. sis, Google's different, bro. Respectfully, no, sis, Google is completely had, different. Listen, if you're first generation, you've had the talk in it. Like, you have to get in there and you have to do your best and you have to assimilate. Yeah, it's a pressure, man. I get the pressure. But you've pressure. got in there you with your lot. Oh, no, no, no. oh, exactly. Yeah. Really? I got you do not have to assimilate. Who's exactly in the same field as you. Um, He's a big man, though. He earns over 100K. You know, like, he, one mm. part is cyber security. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he's a programmer and all of that. Jamaican guy, got Whirler cars. He comes football. He's basically one of the owners of the football club. Do you get what I'm saying? But I was yeah. with him talking to, to him the other day about certain works. You know, if he could do a website for man or a, or an app for the club. You know, all of these type of things, right? But yeah. he's got braids and shit. Big man, you know the ones. So. Uh, and he says he works for like three companies. Two of them are like, shh. You know the ones there, like you can't let the other one know. Is, what it, the client, other is one. it client facing? Like, does he have to speak to clients? Like, via like, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, that's what I'm I mean, saying. So, Mike, imagine you're sitting there with the owner of Compare the Market or the owner of, um, I don't know, freaking Primark or Netflix. Right. You can't look, you have to look presentable. You know what I mean? You have to. Yeah, but your hair oh, doesn't oh, matter. Oh, 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 oh. Your oh, hair doesn't matter. Pause, pause, pause. Not By whose standards? Pause, pause, one, uh, thank you. Just want to ask Zulu. Yeah. Zulu, honestly speaking, apart from the pressures and that, when you look in the mirror, your sides, you because you got locks on the top, right? You got the, the top, on, but not on the sides, right? Yeah. No, not on right? the sides. No, on right. The so sides. when your sides are shaved and you're shaped up and that, and you look in the mirror, do you see someone that's not presentable? I look presentable on, to me. Then, right. then that's, well, then, the, that's the standard. About, it's a different culture I'm going into now. No, that's the standard. Mm. There's, there's, standard. there's no black. There's no black people in this company. But there's, no there's no black people, black. but yet yeah, YouTube are that's doing a whole Black History Month and giving out thousands of pounds to people that have what? black businesses, etc., etc., etc. So it doesn't matter if there's no black people in there, Zulu. You're a black person in there. You're in there now. You just need to be yourself. No, no, no. To be to honest, Zulu, you can do it. And maybe no, it's gonna no, be no. harder. It might you might have to put in extra work because people come with their biases when they see you. But just make sure exactly. your work's on point. Thank to you. the point where they can't say nothing to you because the work's just on point. You, know, you are gonna things, work harder. It, I'm not gonna lie to you. You're gonna work yeah, time you harder anyway. this person. Yeah, yeah trim your hair. Sure your work and you're gonna, is so good they can't replace you. You're gonna you. stand out anyway. I, I'm gonna say, Sarah, yeah, like shave your hair. You're not running away from what you look. Nope. What you are, nope. you know? yeah. it's nope. in it. You You'd be surprised. Can't. They still see the same motherfucker, man. No, maybe, I know, maybe. but I know that's what I'm saying. He's got to work. Like Kanye. 
You're moving like Kanye, bro. But that's just part Listen. of the game, bro. Unfortunately, that's just our destiny, isn't it? We, whatever. Yeah, hundred percent. It's just the way that you're judged. That. Zulu. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example of the vibe yeah, of, of the company. I'll give you a quick example. Yeah. Imagine yeah, yeah, yeah. you're in the in, in the kitchen making a coffee and you're like what go and then they say my name. I'm seeing them like. First of all, I'm not even like oh, it's like literally the stereotype. Bro, bro, bro. If you're doing bro. work one, keep your yeah. fucking locks, then, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. No, but hold it's up, hold on, bro. It's locked. the kind of like you know, like just liberal. Mm. No, but you know, when liberals are trying to like not be kind of like stereotypical, but then they kind of they're trying to fit in and like try and be cool, and it's like, bro, just try like, like, liberals like, love lo Rasta man. Liberals I'm like, I'm a normal person, in, man. in today's liberals climate, you might find that it's harder for them to get rid of you if you're only black man there. Like in this, today's yeah. climate, smart people Rasta. manipulate the thing. Like, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. this, uh, this um, equality uh, act. What do yeah. they call that thing? Positive. Of course, discrimination. Positive discrimination. If you're yeah, the yeah, only yeah. person in the thing and you get fired, that's mad. Zulu, if you conform and shave your head, bro, you blend in you're and become the same it's... as every other conformist that has ever right. lived, black or white. Now, the fact that you're black is not going to change, though. So the stigma yeah. that you're trying to escape is going to stay with you. Yeah. Is, is it no. harder to see because you're up up that way? You're up north. In London, I don't even think you'd question this. Right? No, if, no. At this point... It doesn't the same, bro. It's a different it environment, Jess. Like, it is. Okay. But that doesn't mean that you have to treat it yourself. It's full of, bro, there's no, black, there's no black people here. Like, even now, like, when I'm going to get my haircut, I have to go to another city to get my haircut. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Mad thing. That's <laughs> how bad it but is. But doesn't that, doesn't that give you... Like, when I was living in Chelmsford, yeah, haircut, as, a, as a youngster, I was the only coloured kid for miles in Springfield, yeah? That gave me the opportunity to represent for black people and show these ignorant motherfuckers what black people are like. Yeah. Is that yeah, not... You. That's the same thing for you, isn't it, Zulu? If there's nobody around to give them the standard, they're going to have all sorts of misconceptions. In their head from what they've seen on TV and what they've exactly. seen on... Racist, exactly. Ignorant ways ain't necessarily bad. Do you know what I mean? And you've got to correct those, those perceptions, those stereotypes, to be honest. It's not your job, but you could do it as a duty to sort of correct that. Nah, nah, nah. We don't all smoke spliffs. No, no, no. Not everyone with a dreadlock is 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 this or that. Do you know what I mean? Listen, came to me and said, "Oh, do, do you know what to make jerk chicken?" Or oh, it's like, bro. Like, first of all, I could be like, from any country. Prefer, the answer to that. The answer to that is not. For sure. I could be from any country. The answer to that is I'm not Jamaican. I'm mean, very really very clear that I'm from Zimbabwe. Already. I told them my name is Tepo. I'm from Zimbabwe, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If they what? ask you about Zimbabwe cuisine, would you be would you be offended? If, if they ask me about other, other people's cuisines, would I be offended? No, if they ask you about Zimbabwe cuisine. No, not really. Right, of so then not. the fact the fact that these people can You're mistake you for a Jamaican... You're their inappropriate language, brother. You understand? They mistake when, you when, for a Jamaican. That's ignorance. You yeah. just got to correct that. You don't get angry yeah. at that. You just correct yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, but it keeps happening, though, from different people. And it's like, where, where's these stereotypes it's fine. coming You choose from? to live in that ignorant environment. environment. Yeah. You know what it is? You know what it is? A lot of a lot of family members, yeah, a lot of the European and whatever, maybe even some Asian family members, you can tell that they've looked forward and they're quite excited mm. at getting to know you, yes. picking up parts of your culture. They will go home and be like, there's this fucking cool young black dude, man. Mm -hmm. He's so cool. Mm -hmm. He's got them yeah. little things in his hair. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the twist thing. Man, yep. he's, he's just, he's funny. He's da -da -da, like rare. Like, some of them are gassed. Gassed, 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 your you know, energy, your creativity, you know. your power. Yeah, you just don't ever. It's All not always real. what you think, you know, bro. It's mm. not always. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Some of them are like genuinely going to ask you dumb questions, bro. I'm not trying to offend you, but how do you get your hair to stand up like that? Because mm. like, now is their chance to ask. Mm. Yeah, it's been a long time still. Get me. Some of them, mm. they've been dying to say what one. They want to fist bump you with the list rib, um, with the limp wrist and that. You know, like, yeah, touch, and they just wanted to be down for a long time. So very cool to be you, though. very in to be you at the moment. So, yeah, 100%. don't let your insecurities or outweigh what's actually happening. Because it may be a, 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 maybe somewhere in the middle. Do you know what I mean? And personally, in the field that you're in and what you've explained to me, I think that you do have an environment to to kind of stay within your lane and stay in your this your swag. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you've got some leeway there to just be a little bit you. Trust me, when it's time for certain meetings and that, it's gonna be so important to have you there. 
Do you yeah, know what I mean? Take them to what's called take a check. Yeah, we have got the black person yeah. here. Exactly yeah, to show that they're diverse like and that, inclusive. Only here because I'm black. I don't want to feel like that. Fuck that, bro. It's that so, anyway, bro. Fuck that, bro. It is that. It is that, that anyway. anyway. You better get. You better fill up your account, bro. I think it's I more what you do with your money and how you live your yeah. life. Is, is that anyway, but that's dehumanizing. That's dehumanizing, though. Bro, bro yeah, it's like your hair is dehumanizing. Welcome yeah. to the well, world. Well, you, you already yeah. got a. Sh- you already got to cut your hair to feel like you're fit, bro. Come on. Yeah, stop it. Welcome to the world. We know mm. this already. A man can, man, we, bro. As long as on a Friday I can see whatever, whatever's supposed to be in there. Really, do I care? They're not from there, not putting me down or doing nothing. Yeah, you know they're going to right. We we're doing this work thing where it's in Birmingham. <laughs> you're at the front. Mm. You're at the front, like repeating them in it. You hear me, like my team represented. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is know? what the average member of our company looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you another example. We're diverse. Here. We're diverse out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, we're diverse. Yeah, it's reflected in my wages. Azul is not feeling it. He's not feeling that 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 whole thing. You don't want to be a token, but you're a token. Bro. A token. You're a token you now. Know? Yeah, you're a token now. No, You'll be a token, token without like, your hair or not. If you cut your hair, if you cut yeah, your hair. when they when they diverse. But huh? when they think diversity and inclusivity is it's like, oh, we've got one, the one. homos, we got the this, we got the that, yeah. and we got the that's blacks. It. I don't want to be in that kind of like just sorry, treat me sorry, 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 that's sorry, life, man. You cannot escape. Yeah, work for yourself then. Are you trying to be fuck? white or something? What's going on? What, what, what are, are you, you doing in the eat? workplace then? If you don't want that, that card, that's what it is there, man. You're meant to be a proud I'll give you an, I'll give you an example, yeah. I'll give you an example, yeah. Mm. One time I was sitting there, I was working, I said, Oh, come, we need to talk to you for a minute. One of the like HR people, and they're like, Oh. And we've got this event coming up. Uh, it's called a Black Youth um, uh, Entrepreneurs <laughs> thing. Um, oh, I don't want to. Talk- and this is what he said. He said this like four times. I swear to God. Um, mm. I don't want to uh, uh, tokenize you or anything. But um, if you don't want to do it, fine. If you, if you but you need to be it, there, bro. And this I, is how you- I, I said I said I would do it. But the there whole time go. I'm thinking, why do you have to keep saying that? I don't want to. Yeah, because he's feeling it. the guilt, man. And mm. what you should have said is. Don't worry, man. Anything like this, hit me up. I'm down. Yeah, I, I, down. Like the, I like my ability to represent the company. And right. and and I was going to say put a black face in the company. Yeah, 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 obviously, yeah. don't say that. No, no, but, not black. But, yeah. but let them know. You understand your assignment. Colorful. Let them know, bro. You're going to get extra pay, extra opportunities, extra right. things. White man's world. Come bro. on, man. Work the fucking ticket. Flash your fucking it's locks true. around. It's Tell true. them you need a five-minute break Yeah, right. every, every second hour just to like... Stand outside because you know my locks get dry. They'll just, give it to you. My berry off. <laughs> to, do, to do your search. <laughs> Z- Zulu, Z- Zulu, why, why, why would you turn? Listen, Zulu, play the game, bro. Anything no, they give it. you, take it. You can get free masters. They'll pay for it. Take right. anything they give right. to you. Yeah. yeah. Make sure your resume's on point at the end of the suffering, and then mm. do your own thing. Thank what? you. Take Big all up. the CDs, bro. Yeah, I'm black. I'm Bane. Give me a free masters. Yeah, I'm black. I'm Bane. Let me do that. This is your that. learning experience. Finesse the system, bro. Finesse it with your Bane card. Finesse Give me the Bane wristband, man. Yeah, yeah, Bane. The amount of freebies. Where's Raheem? Where's Raheem? The amount of my first masters was paid for by one of the schools because I was Bane. Yeah. Finesse the system, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, but no, no, look like the cat is I want to be treated for my, my skills. No, 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 yeah, yeah bro. Bro. What are you so talking about, man? Don't lose you your skills. You've always got your skills, you've always got that. Like, listen, I, Z- I Zulu, don't brainwash yourself, you know, because you learn yeah, a lot. No, no. Listen, the society is the same society you saw when you was while you were studying, bro. It's not changed now you're in the workplace or you've moved out. You're talking about, I want to be rated for my... Man, fuck all, all of that, that, man. stuff they told you at mm. uni. Like, you know, you, that was a lie, bro. You, they sound, like, not even you sound like you're buying into this thing. Yeah. You want to be yeah. treated for your skill. Fuck that. That ain't even going to happen, bro. Like, we're gonna, you're going to get, what, get judged on your, your head, merit man. as a black man and a white man. You soon going to start talking about them and us. Bro, bro. But you know yeah. what, Jay? Like, <laughs> <you're at laughs> you know they, um, they do pay you the utopia for you. Do you get it? Yeah, like, oh, you go into the workplace, everybody's equal. And then you get in and you realize, rah, we're not all equal. No, and it's never like, gonna on. be. Even when the, even when you got as much money as man, and they shake your hand and invite you to the meeting, there's still the meeting. Once yeah. you leave, there's the, there's the meeting after the meeting, bro. Yeah. And it, they're still they're still gonna yeah invite you to eat jerk chicken with tomato sauce. Like, <laughs> you know? wow. 
Yeah. Wow. Oh, um, you wasn't here when we was ordering, so uh, we just <laughs> we just got you some rice and peas, that chicken and tomato sauce. Was, and that. Like, yeah. morning, they ordered they ordered Afro Caribbean last week, bro. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> I swear down, Safe. bro. Hey, listen, Safe. man. Play the, Did you uh, kick off? Uh, I'll Sarah, be winning. I'll be winning right now. You know, the the right, the the Sarah said the right yeah. thing. Play, Play the right. game. Play the yeah. game, man. Take every freebie yeah. course they give to you. Right. Make sure your resume's on point. Mm. Do it for three, whatever, two, three years, and then Free. leave the country for a tax-free country. Well, and get your business on the side. Stack your money and live your best life, bro. Mm. Change your first name as well to Kunta. Live your best life. Nah, nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go full, full postal on it. Yeah? Like, yeah. Full postal on it. Like. And all that. No, play the game. Mm. I am babe. Give me every free course you got. Let's go. But you know what, um, Zulu? Um, what I'm hearing from you is something I've heard regular mm. when I was barbering, right? Mm. And it was mainly to do with a lot of the youths that were going to private schools. Right. right. So I had m- people going public school, normal school, everyday school, right? And then I had a couple customers, young uh, boys who were going to think. And then another place where they were doing this hair thing was Jehovah Witness. Yeah. And I was part of the campaign to get rid of that shit. Because white yeah. boys are coming with mohawk and brothers weren't allowed to get certain trims. Certain trims. Uh... You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And they were like, no, 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 Mike, I can't do that. I can't even shape the beard. The beard thing, allow it. Yeah. Now, if you see them, <laughs> one looks like a Muslim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Light skinned Muslim and shit. <laughs> Full beard and that. But he's semi left. Yeah. Because these uh, and, rules uh, and pressure and, you know what I mean? It was unnecessary. And I was always I, asking I, I questions. I uploaded the other one. <laughs> mm. I uploaded the other one. <laughs> he's going far left. <laughs> oh, shit. Exactly. Exactly. He went, he went <laughs> blonde, silver, Kate all Bush. sorts of hair colors. Right. <laughs> I blame yeah, Marcus for that. I blame my business partner. If you guys realize partner. we're in a spiritual battle, right? Mm. Yeah. Is there not a utility okay. in disguise, in espionage, in taking taking on some turn and looks to get in? No. Is there is there no utility? You cannot in that? change your yeah, look. Maybe, but you don't need that right now. Is what we're Zulu, saying. Can I quote? Yeah, the, can I quote the Bible for you? Be fair. Samson okay. and Delilah and things. Samson, man, just think of Samson. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Just, Ooh. just don't worry about your lose look, your bro. power. Just focus really, really, really on making really, sure you really. do your job on point. That's power, all you need boy. to focus on. Yeah, bro. man. Because they don't want staff turnover. It costs too much. Trust me, they don't want yeah. new staff to retrain them to give them. That. Yeah. They don't want to do that. It costs companies a lot of money. So do your job on point and just make sure you're not replaceable. That's all you need well, to focus hold on. Hold on. It's hold not hold reasonable on. though for the first few months just be presentable and then do what you want after you. No, 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 no. I'm nah, saying nah. that, bro. So well, you've been there for a few months, too. This ain't football, you know. Yeah, stop saying presentable. This is what my family keeps yeah. telling me, bro. <laughs> no, but my nobody, friend. My... But Zulu, no one in your job has said anything about your appearance, your presentation. Right. Yeah, so... They'll be racist if they say anything. That's why they're not saying anything. But you can kind of, you know. If it was a problem for them, Zulu, they, they would have set you down and said, we have a, an office policy or we have a uniform policy and we have a certain standards that we expect. Somebody would have said something by now. Yeah. They would, listen, they would, they're so liberal. They're so scared to say anything to black people. They're not going to say even, anything. They won't even say it. They won't even say it. They haven't said, said it. Then why is it a problem? Think you can this is how they would be sat with it. They'd be like, oh, oh Zulu, are you doing it? This is how, this is how they'll do it, yeah? Oh, Zulu, were you going to do a client call today? No, it's okay. Someone else will cover it. Oh, because your hair is messy. We don't want you rep it. Wow. That's how they said it. Have, have they actually said oh. that? No, they haven't said that yet. But I'm. Ah, oh, come on, Zulu. Zulu. See, I'm you can see it coming, Zulu. Zulu. So, so they've, Zulu, they've, asked, you, they've asked, asked you to represent you. them already. They've asked you to represent them. Clearly, right. your appearance is not an issue. Zulu. Not an issue. Right. I'm thinking long term, though, MJ, because I'm going to start. No, not long term. Zulu. Zulu. Big would you, would you and I don't your want skin? to think I'm, I'm scruffy or whatever. You know what I mean? I have to look presentable. Zulu. Would you change your skin color if every time you come into the office, one of them white ladies grab the first? <laughs> That's oh, a different like situation. That. I like though, that. It's, it's not a different way. situation. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like you're conforming. Would but you Zulu, I don't get it. What did he expect? Like I don't. I don't understand. Well, what did you guys, expect? Guys, guys, hairstyles change all the time. This is not permanent. Oh please! No, yeah, I but you've been growing it again. I tell you that you're not going through that growing stage while you're at work again. So don't. So remember that the ugly stage they call it. You ain't going through that again. Right, you know that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Man's looking at himself in the mirror. 
Yeah. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, don't be too hard on yourself, man. Go, yeah, going, man. To the, going to the twister, it's, it's expensive, man. Asking them to twist your hair, it's expensive. So I say, hey, Zilli, Zilli, let me give you an example of a, of a similar type of thing, yeah? My brother in the, in the States, yeah, he's um, a DJ, right? But he does a digital with the, with the video uh, imaging and all of that, right? So he's always booked for shows and da da da, right? And he's gone and taken the badge because he assumed that he wouldn't be able to work at some of the venues and blah, blah, blah. So this idiot goes and does it, yeah? Then goes to speak to his partners, business partners, and da da da. And they say to him, Why the fuck do you do that for? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So he comes oh, back to me and I'm saying to him, Bruv, you see what I'm saying? You're dumbass, bruv. Why did you go and do that? You know, I thought, I thought, well, assumption is the mother of all fuck ups. Now I can't even give my brother a hug. <laughs> I told him, You can't hug me. You can't think. That shit in blood. Allow it, man. Dumbass. So dumb, bro. <laughs> That's why I say sometimes take time, man. Just like assess the, the yeah, environment and all of that. But don't preempt anything because it might not be the case. Just don't make a decision for six months, please. Just don't even do it. Yeah, just leave the hair alone. Listen to what man's saying. Smudge is saying, What else can dear Zulu be except for who he is? Humble, mm. tolerant, right? Or tolerate, kind. I think it shows personal leadership qualities because he cares. Huh? Mm. And he's very thorough, though, from what I've seen, anyway. So I don't I personal think leadership perfect, quality because he cares enough because he cut his hair. No, <laughs> much, to be honest, if you're no. going to be a leader, you've got to be kind of savage, but um. <laughs> The company could have a, a fucking Satanist at the at, at, at the top. Probably does. Know, it's Google. Like, right. Allow it, man. Zulu, Zulu, you got anything wrong with them? I think when I go to family gatherings, they're looking at me like, bro, what are you yeah. doing, man? But that's like, just part Zulu. of the game. Zulu, 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 Zulu. Zulu. Like Israelite song, brother, right? You are displaying natural um, anxiety, what we as um, African people face when we're around non African people. You. you just have to sit down, brother, write principles that makes you feel good as an African person, memorize them, and use it to control your dopamine when you're around them. It is natural. I myself, when I used to work in those non African institutions, I used to get a little bit self conscious as well because it's like not being around them and, you know, they're not saying it. But you can sense certain things, and but it's them. Not all the time they're doing it on purpose, but they still have at the back of the mind. But, bro, you just have to have write down some principles yeah, to get your burning, African man. thing in tight, and then you can tackle certain things. Stay there for a bit, brother, and build your own business. No matter that's what, what I, I look like. like. Yeah, that's, the, okay, that's the plan. It's just to take the information, mm. get the experience. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not but it is normal, that. brother Zulu. Honestly, I faced it. We all face it. Yep. Um, yeah. And I said it many times. It's uh, it's a very um, aggressive on ethical code of conduct that you face with the mannerism of face, which it can be very um, suffocating. And but what I do from what to, right? is that we write things down as a kid, the things that makes you feel confident as an African person, and you match it to your character, and you kind of um, chant it, memorize it, go for it, and you'll see the difference. And then all when I'm, you've got money, brother, then you can go and get your own business. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying brother. is, you, you heard the main thing is that this would not be an uh, the case if you worked in London. Imagine that. So 100%. it's like you can use that as a tool, in a sense, to say, like, if someone's pressuring you and did it, oh, is it? Yeah, I heard they've got nice positions in London still. I was thinking about applying. Bame card, man. Think? Drop the Bame card. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you think, <laughs> Dave? Yeah, well, man, that's, that's a perfect <laughs> point, man. Because it depends on the location as well, right? If you're of in course. a place where it's multicultural and you see your, people that like, look at like you around, it's going to be less uncomfortable. Listen, right? even if you go to Kale City... You're, place, you're the only black... You're literally the only Bro, black if you go to Kale, person, if you go to Kale bro. City, if you go to Manchester, if you go bro, to I've Liverpool... I've done that. Trust me, it's hard, but you can do it, man. These are cities of excellence in England that where, you know, jobs are high, the, the rate of jobs are going up and all of that, new investment. And don't forget, that's just London, bro. Once you leave the, and you go to the rest of the world, your passport's mm. good, bro, you're good. Like, what, just, well, I was saying that Berkeley passport will get you, 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 you,
Yeah, but, I, but he should apply it whether he's in a multicultural environment or not. It, you yes. should never get yes, comfortable yes. in your environment, Brother Zulu. This is why mm -hmm. African political science is very important. I know London is very diverse, <laughs> uh, as mm -hmm. allegedly, but at the yeah. same time, you should always yeah. practice it, political science. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, if On you're going to even work in Canary Wharf, you see man with suit and locks and blah, blah, blah. They've got the top yeah. equestrian black man with locks and all of that. Like, locks is not an issue anymore. For me, as I know in 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 London, like no, it's not now an issue. that they're pink and just a hairstyle, luminous green yeah, and shit. It's an like issue in Wales or somewhere else, or Australia. Yeah, or it, yeah. Or it, or it's just a bunch of white. So it's I hear you. I hear you. It's, it's not an issue. You get it, but you need to stop. No, no, no. It's not an issue. It's just highlighted it's more, maybe. Like you just have to accept. I remember you're the first. It seems like you're the one of the first black people in the company. Oh, so. Where do you rank, man? Where do you rank? You're good, man. There hasn't been many. Right, right, right. That's the where do you rank, boy. <laughs> yeah, we we'll do rack even worse. Do that. <laughs> I think the best you know, thing is see, just, just, just think about now. it. And then when I make money and I'm, be I'm better in the future, just be more free. But right now, no. I, have no. I have to do. I have no, to no, do no. Right. right now, you're not doing anything. No, you're going to take six months. Sense. You've got the anxiety of a new job. You've got anxiety of being a black person in a new job. Just you've got the anxiety of being a black decisions. person in a in an environment which is majority. I would say maybe upper class white people. Like I get it. There's going to be those biases. It's not going to be easy. Get this thought out of your head that you're going to make it easy. It's never going to be easy. You're not going to change it. You're you not can't listen change to your skin enough. color. Even if you cut your things off, they're, they're still going to see you as a black man. They're still going to. This, this is how do you get this, bullied into taking, cutting your hair off? Come on, man. Mad, mad thing. This is why you have Afro to no. No. But this is why you have to try your best. I'll give you an example. No, here. they'll say, no, "Oh, you can't try your best." They, so they say, no, no, like, no, no. Try your best at doing your job. Where you have to try your best? Nothing else. I'll give you an example. Your hoodie, here. make sure you yes. take your aura and you'll be all right. Look, even white dress people dress in the audience are, 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 are telling you to allow it, man. Like, please. They said that the dress code is, <laughs> is smart. They said the dress code is smart casual, right? So on That's the first day, I wouldn't be wearing a chest. Oh, wait, they're wearing a suit. Yeah. And I didn't need to wear a suit because I looked around and I was like, there's people wearing shorts and shit. It was people just wearing normal clothes. But even to this day, I still wear like a nice shirt and a nice. It's just because you don't want you don't want to give them that you don't want to give them that opportunity. right. So you're presentable. So what you're saying is you're more presentable than some of the some people of them. at work. No, but it's yeah. because it's because of the the pressure that's been put on me that you have to make sure there's nothing that can they can scrutinize. All right, cool. But then it's not your hair, though. It's not. You know what I mean? Hair. How you that's dress? How you think? That's one of them. No, that's no. If you mean. decide to wear a tie shirt and tie every day and da da it doesn't. Just look after your hair, in a sense. Like, yeah, where, when you go to bed, wear your do rag. Make sure it's all patterned down, and you know what I mean. Room, yeah, well groomed. Yeah. Nothing replaces well groomed. Nothing replaces well groomed. Make sure you get shape up, if if need be. You know what I mean. Like, that's it. Maintain what you got. Yeah, hundred percent. You get it's what I'm saying. Because if you had said this was just your decision, you were tired mm. of the the upkeep of the maintenance. Right. The, Having it's to different. travel to another different. city, all of that, cool. But you're the one that said you're doing it because of the job, Ryan. This is where we disagree. You should not mm. be doing it because of the, the pressures and anxiety that you feel. If anything, you should just learn how to deal with that anxiety that you're feeling. Use some of the right. tactics that right. Kale and that has given you and like just be comfortable in yourself. Don't change for anyone, bro. Please don't change for anyone. And his family as well. Because imagine my uncle's coming to me telling me, oh, you know, with that hairstyle, you're going to lead yourself to hell. Oh, while he's laughing. Like, what do you mean yeah, by that? My uncle is a traditionalist. That's all. Like, mm. that's, 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 as that's your uncle thing. had that's a job in hairstyle, You need to... It's like, bro, like... Everyone is telling me. Uh, okay, well. so I hear the, the family pressures and that, right? But then again, you've got to ask yourself, like, if this was a different situation, I said, and you found a potential wife or something, and you really like her, she ticks all of your boxes, and then your uncle or someone in the family says, actually, no, uh, you know, she's not a good person because the, are you always going to uh, take the, and fall under the pressures of what your family is saying? Like, because you're an adult in your own right now, Zulu, do you know what I mean? So as much as you're going to fit into family traditions and all of that, like, you still have to find MD, who you respect. are and be comfortable in that. It's out of respect, though, isn't it? I, I agree with you. It's no. out of respect. No, it's not. Not respect for yourself. And that's where respect starts. Mm. For real. For real, for real. Because I, I, I read, I read the only black kid in school, Zulu, really yeah, and they throw me in front of the drum. Some crazy person, man. 
Say again, sorry, I didn't hear you. I've already refused to take the badge and I'm into all my conspiracy things. They think I'm nuts. <laughs> hey, the family. Like, you know what I mean? They think I'm nuts. No, you literally think I, I'm I nuts. I know what you mean, but it's not it's not enough. It's until, still not enough. Until it's the paycheck comes in. Until the paycheck comes in. If you're going to kill yourself that. like that, you're not an individual. You, you're you stealing your own individualism. You're stealing that away from yourself. Do you know what I mean? Where we're from, they don't care about locks or nothing. As long as money's coming in and you get me, you're doing well. Huh. You get the treatment of a chief that's or a, even that's a king. That's <laughs> hey, yeah, it's true. But that's all it is. Zulu, would you, you know at least mean? reconsider before you go to your appointment? I was going to book it at the above appointment like right now. No, don't man. Do it. Don't, do, back, it. Man. don't do it. Listen to the people. Please. I just mean, do least, what you want, but I'm just saying. It. If you want big uh, yeah, um, this advice is another from thing your... as well, yeah, I'm going home for the week, like home home for the weekend. And mm -hmm. I told them I was gonna get it cut. So if I go, then it's not cut. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have to have a talk with them. It's just gonna be awkward, man. Yeah. At which point you're gonna you explain to them? Down. Yeah. I've discussed. Nah, you're a big mom. man. You're a big man. That's no, no, not this enough is reason. Too much. This is too mom, much. if her, I'm not telling her. You could be economical and say yeah. <laughs> economical. <laughs> but yeah, with what you tell mom, them. Mom. Of, okay. Um. Well there's maybe somewhere closer to where I'm staying that I'm more likely to go and get it done. So I'm going to get it done on my way back. I, I'm not, you know, I feel bad because I'm essentially telling you to lie. I don't want you to lie, lie but I'm saying I don't lie. you could be economical, whereas... With the truth, he said. Because to, to be honest, it's none of their business, bro. Yeah. It isn't. There's no respect for nothing. It's literally none of their business now, bro. Like, And you have to make that transition as well. A lot of these type of subjects are going to come up where... You're making a transition between uh, being governed and then governing. Boy yourself, and man, right? yeah, yeah, independent. You're a man now, isn't it, bro? Like, yeah, so, come on. so having to have uncomfortable conversations with the parents, as long as you can remain respectful, shouldn't even be an issue. Shouldn't be something you need to be like, you know what? Rather than have the convo, I'm just gonna take this step. Just have These the convo. Actions. You have to have it, man. Why it's not? like when you're having when you're having a convo, like you have to be super, super, like. Like diplomatic, and you have to yeah, have the course, right words to say because they're, they're hyper paying attention. Like, oh, is he questioning me? Da, da, da. They're, yeah. they're hyper paying attention to what you say. It's, it's so a mind battle. That's, no, that's part of being a man. You have to, you have to traverse this terrain. That's yeah, and learn to speak up. to your, to your mm. elders. Yes, with authority. And, and, and sitting in the room, you won't realize respected. how liberating it is for you after as well, bro. How liberating you feel. Do you know what I mean? When I, when I gain that relationship with my nan. And I stopped right. being a boy around my nan. I started talking to her. I realized, raw nanny has seen bare bad man. My right. attitude, no matter what I show nanny, can't scare nanny. So let me just be me. And then from there, me and nanny are on another level now. I need to really cross that barrier then. I just feel like they need to respect me as a man now. Yeah, yeah. Because you know another thing I've noticed with yeah. parents, they want to hold on, because I'm the youngest sibling. So they want to hold yeah. on to like, oh, he's still young. He's still a kid. So You're they the feel baby. So they yeah, feel young as themselves. Will always be like they, they don't want to realize my kid is basically a man. They don't want. Yeah. They want yeah. To yeah not really. Yeah. 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 But that's. The, but to be honest, Zulu. Until you show I, them. I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even brown nosing or anything here. Yeah. But can I be honest and just say like, if you were my son, Virgin, I think it'd be all right. I think I'd be all right with you, who you are, how you've turned out. Do you know what I mean? Your head seems very screwed on. You seem to be honest. Where I'm from, you'd be an overachiever. Uh, but you would also have an inherent disdain for locks and plats and stuff like that in men. Um, uh, uh, I nearly called you a kingo. <laughs> Wait, sorry, brother. Yeah, yeah. You, you would have a yeah. natural disdain for that shit, which is where his parents are coming from. They yeah. don't. Yeah. They don't like that shit. You know, African parents. It's their they timeline. Like isn't locks is it, is it the timeline? The period that they come from. So, it don't matter. Yeah, they yeah, just right. don't it's like just, it. It's an African thing, man. It's just they're not right. feeling it. Yeah. Right. Do you know what I mean? They're just not feeling it. And Unless Christian, you're naturally yeah. born with it. And if they're Christian on top of it. Yeah, they're Christian on top of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. unless it's you. Parents, look, man. Yeah. The majority of parents are not feeling it. Like there's, there's, there, there's some. Like I know, like Snipes and blah blah blah. They maybe mm. have mums that are more liberal, 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 um, <laughs> liberal, liberal yeah, of course, certain directions. Only certain directions now, but they live so the hair might not be an issue, but other mm. things will. Like even in Nigeria, a lot of people I, have locks, yeah. But yeah, it's considered like you're a rogue. 
Right. You're 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 a rude boy. I was in a bad man route, isn't it? Right. Bro, right, right, I couldn't right. even I couldn't even get patterns, and my mom liked patterns, but she wouldn't let me get the patterns, bro. Mm. Right. She she just about let me get the Tyson part in. Right. She, because she yeah. loved Tyson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's loved a way Tyson. to get around it. No, <laughs> yeah. And this is this is it though. That's, that's that's open shit. Don't get it twisted. To have any kind of values and core beliefs and traditionalism in your family is great, isn't it? Especially when it's held down from the elders and it's passed to you. Do you know what I mean? It's there, solid. I like all of that. And to be honest, it's, hold it. But if it ain't you, like which it clearly isn't because you got dreads right now, like if if it ain't you, then don't hold on to it. Right. Oi, right. Um, Zulu, Zulu, Zulu. One of the frowned upon, most frowned upon thing in the barbershop is when a man comes in with his woman, yeah, and he's looking to her. Yeah, we had it one time. Grown man, Jehovah Witness. Yeah, it's uh, he's like some uh, uh, wealthy old white woman and this old black man. But he's acting all bougie and that. And da, 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 they've come in together. Oh, can I get a haircut, please? Of course you can. There's bare black people in here. Like, what are you saying, Unks? Cool, man. Come sit down. So he sits down in the chair. Boom, I put the thing around him. All of a sudden, he's looking over and leaning over to the wife who's sitting on the sofa, talking about what should I get? <laughs> like, we don't rate that in a barber shop. You know, uh, how many barbers turn around and they're like, what? Yeah, we don't rate that as a man. And then what we also do, another thing is the, the, the age of maturity in the sense that a lot of the guys, when they were younger, their mom brought them. Or their dad brought them. Yeah, yeah, Then yeah, there comes yeah. a time where they have to come by themselves. Start coming your own. Yeah. yeah. And then when they come, they're like, yeah, I bet you're glad your mom ain't coming with you no more. Trust me. I was like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then you just start pushing the trim in right. the direction a little bit. Right? And the, if the barber knows, like, I had a barber that knew my mom like that, like, because she, you know what I mean? She's like, yeah. okay, I don't think your mom's going to want want you to get that. You right, know, right, kind right, of right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do, I'll do it halfway. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're pushing it, son. <laughs> yeah, take it home, and then you know, let me know what your mom says next mm. time you come back in. I come back in, uh, yo, what did your mom say about your last trim? Yeah, she liked it. So I'm gonna do the same. Yeah, 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 do the same. But this time at the bottom of the party, can you put like two lines? Like, mm. all right, then cool. I went back, said to the, said, my mom was like, "What's these lines? What's what's this?" Mm. <laughs> you know, what, what's this uh, scratch exactly. scratch in your head? Extra, I said, extra, "Oh, extra. mom." The barber put it in, man, but, I, you know, like, yeah, it was too late by the time I realised it. All right, cool. And then I just started pushing it, mm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I started with a zigzag. zigzag. That was my most extravagant. <laughs> You're a barber and a zigzag was your most extravagant. Well, I wasn't a barber, always a barber, <laughs> anyway. I had to get my I hair cut. Have you seen those pictures of what, <laughs> what are you talking about? What kind of yeah, when I'm growing up, I'm not a barber, am I? I'm going to school like everyone else. We and I go to barber shop. Back in the day. <laughs> yeah, once reason, a month. My, um, my barber cousin has been a barber since. Hey, Vic, before. once a month, I'll start. Uh, I'll have a square cut and they will kind of fade it like level one on the uh, point five on the side, right? Because, yeah. yeah, as, as Jed said, the patenting, allow it, man. Yeah. Bro, so I one day everything. I went and I asked for a um, one line because one line was a pound, one right? Line. Yeah, it was a pound. Um, and then, so I asked for a zigzag thinking it was still a pound, yeah? And I usually go there with a tenner and have change to go McDonald's yeah, and then go yeah. back to school. Nah, this time, man said nine pounds. I said, what? Well, <laughs> I said, but I got a zigzag, though. He said, yeah, the zigzag is more money and blah, blah, blah. All right, wow. safe. I never went back to yeah, the barbers man. You after that. Violated, I'm a barber, though, right? But I was like 15. No, that then. Is violating. Pound the line. They're violating. Pound, pound per, the line. Per angle. Old school. Pound per angle. Loud. Yeah. Yeah. No, old school had... because... I had everything, man. Tintin, the ski slope both ways, Bobby Brown. I had the fades, the shorts. The... <laughs> you you have everything. Patterns, Different generation. Words, yeah, that's geometry, what it is. everything. Yeah, everything. No sacred problem, geometry man. on my head. Yeah. 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 Sacred yeah. geometry, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> sacred man's geometry. Walking, man just says, Kane! Yeah, man, <laughs> around. Someone's mum's calling Kane. Kane's mm. got patterns. Kane's got five hairstyles in one. Mm, Bobby mm, Brown, mm. lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerry's got back in his eyes. He's got a flat. He's got a fucking ponytail at the back. He's got it yeah. all. Vic, 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 Vic,
I brought any hairstyle they wanted, yeah. But with me, yeah. it had to be uh, a side, a side, cut the sides, basic, lower the top, and then that's basic, it. Basic, that's, basic. that's what it had to be. I could Bro, never... do you know that? Do you know that I is I narrowly escaped from um, uh, all one level jail. You know about all one level, mm. like yeah. level two, all over, level yeah. one, all over. Yeah, one level, like yeah, this is that's like bust your Bible open hairstyle. Mm. Uh, that yeah, he's carrying a Bible hairstyle. You know that one's there. Yeah, yeah. Can I speak to you about your, can I speak to you about your Lord and Savior? <laughs> this this guy's hairstyle. Up, uh, yeah, that's yeah. not no plaything. She was and... trying to she was trying to boycott the fade and tell me I mm. think it looks better without the fade. Ah, are you nah. mad? Oh, nah, you can't go she Nikki got minimum of fade. Minimum. She Nikki. I don't know I mean. what kind of begging I had to do. Like, mom, like honestly, you got this one wrong. Yeah. And then mom, think about it. Because you know how my hair just knots up and goes pepper grainy straight away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look less fresh. <laughs> I'm going to need a haircut quicker. Mm, you yeah. know you have a point. Yeah. 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 Put me in the pockets, yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> Have, have you ever yeah, had the the pepper grains? Have you ever had the situation with the comb the pepper grains? Oh, my gosh. The pain. The that's, pain. that's my whole life. That was my whole oh life. Oh, my bro. gosh. That, that was my whole life. You never had hot comb. Well, you don't know about you don't know about the go and get the comb and immediately oh, a comb. lump immediately a lump forms in your in your, in your esophagus. <laughs> something, is, something is immediately developing in my throat and I can't speak or make any sounds and somehow I just feel mad depressed. Like what's going on? And you know those little combs, not like the, the African. African comb. Comb. It's only a little comb. <laughs> oh, no, you know what mommy had? This wicked woman. She had comb that went bang, you know, like metal, yeah, metal, <laughs> metal um, teeth on the comb. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Tineke, and she going bow, like popping the popping the the nuts, bow, yeah. bow, bow. I'm like, ah, oh, my neck's going back, like my head's jerking, my eyes are red, my 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 my, my, my scalp is on fire. Mm -hmm. about and, and, she's, and she's got the cheek to want to conk me with Cohen. Talk mm. about stay still, move to the left, move to the right. Exactly. Stop move moving. <laughs> Stop moving, move left. I said, put your head down. I said, up, not down. What, what's going on, mum? <laughs> do you, mom, you know, at the end, you have to ask, mum, do you love me? You love me? Yeah. I used to think that when I was getting cane roll and shit. Fuck, man. Yanked my head crazy, about. Yeah, the bro. Came rolls look nice though back then, bro. Like if I had came rolls growing up, man, I would have been so cool, bro. You know about these kind of plats here, Zulu. I'm sharing my screen. This is you right now, yeah, with the Dibby Dreads on the top, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yo. Yeah, I didn't know what you said. The thing just cough. I didn't hear what you said. I'm sharing my screen. I was saying this is this is your style right oh, now oh, with Dibby Dreads oh. on the top, right? That's that's your thing. <laughs> nah, nah, it's way longer. The twists are way longer than that. Longer, God damn, yeah. you got proper dreads. <laughs> you got so proper dreads, but they're not. Know. He didn't even let them dread. They they actually twist. He didn't even let them dread. And I think that might be some of the problem. I think dreads are more respected than plats in 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 that in that workplace. Yeah, yeah. Mine mine are borderline dreads at this point, but they're gonna go today. Man, he's not even know. listening, man. He's not even listening. I don't have a choice. I've, I've already made up my mind. I prayed about it. I've made up my mind. I have to do this. <laughs> Vic, man. Why do you look like that, Vic? I don't know. He's just a Vic look, man. It's funny. I'm trying to find his uh, well, look at the baby one, man. There was no, there was no what lean haircut and all of this talk. What's... Which one here? Oh, man. You can see it was one of them does, but you can only yeah. see. No, no, what you saying? The yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, street boy thing. Yeah, come on, a couple trips going on there. Right. Yeah, I ain't seen right, one pattern not... yet, though. I ain't really seen no patterns yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm fucking looking yeah. for. <laughs> nah, wait. Man said he had Fibonacci sequence in there. <laughs> Golden ratio and all of that, but Yeah, just don't do it, Zulu, man. Come on, man. Like, please. 
He's doing it, man. Zulu, Zulu yeah, ain't I, listening I'm to already, us. I'm already untying the twists now. His mother, his mother said, "Don't return to my house with that dada in your hair." That's what it is because right. of that. You've been told, and you don't want to tell us, but you've been told that you have to cut it. You have it's to out of respect. It's out of respect. I don't. Have, I don't have <laughs> out of respect, because you had the conversation with mummy, and you said, "Don't, yes, mummy, I'm going to cut it." Right. I did. I did push back, but it's just. Uh... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Zulu, like, Zulu, how do you act, like, genuinely? Because I know, like, some of sometimes we do things for dramatic, dramatic effect on the live stream, just to, like, you know, give give it some flavor. But genuinely, do you feel upset at the thought of cutting your hair for work? A little bit. A little bit. Do you know? Do you know why I'm not too upset? Because I realize it's not a permanent my thing. My hair grows quick. In a yeah. few months' time, I could probably do this thing again when I'm more comfortable. No, I already told you, you're not going through that in between stage, Zulu, and being at work. You won't do that, Zulu. If you're not, if your hair's grown now and you're cutting it and your shit's matured, you ain't gonna go back to that adolescent, to the adolescent locks, and the middle stage, and that. you're not gonna do that. Because at least at uni, you could wear hats and hoods, and that. you can't do that at work. So. You're not doing that, Zulu. You're already past the hard part, right? Pardon? Zulu, Zulu, you could trim your locks. You could trim them and make them smaller, keep them at a certain height. That is a possibility. That is a possibility. Right? You could trim them, bro. You don't have to get rid of them. Just trim them a little bit lower. Bro, like, it's so normal. It's no, it's becoming more. Anyway, man, I'm lying to you, Zulu, because they're telling kids they can't go to school if they got locks and stuff like that. That was just last year, so we still got a long way to go. But those kids that are being banned from going to school because they're locks, they need you, Zulu, and they need strong parents as well. They God need you, bro. There's a there's a Zulu not yet here that needs you. So when he's looking at executives. Rich executives from 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 the UK, your picture can be there, and you could tell your story. Yeah, man. When I first started, I thought I was gonna cut my hair, uh, whatever. Not to say you have to. I don't know, man. But what do I tell I my know. family then? What what do I tell? Ah, them? what do you tell your family? That's to be me, and then you break into song. It just <laughs> expecting me to arrive home with my head clipped, bro. I know it's pressure. It's, that's the bigger pressure. And, and this is the thing here, family. Sometimes I, I look at the pressure that we put each other under and I wonder if this is the healthiest. You know, some pressure is good because it makes you just want to, you have to conform and like get in with where, what, what the family's on. But then sometimes it's like you're forcing people to be like a double person or something. Well, I don't know, man. I don't want my kids to feel like, yeah, I got, I got, if I don't, if I don't do this, then it's going to be orcs with mom. Actually, I don't mind. Yeah, fuck it. Because, cause you need to respect your parents. So I see exactly. it as a sign exactly. of respect. I see it as a sign of respect that you're worried, but doesn't mean that you don't challenge it and maybe just don't do it. Mm -hmm. well, I'm saying by the time I was 21. These are these are not discussions we're having no. still. You're just not having it, yeah. innit? Just not, not having, having 14, it. Anymore. 14. 14, 15, yeah, maybe. But yeah, maybe. anything beyond that, <laughs> yeah, my mom was not really too concerned with my, my hair. She's yeah, more concerned Steven, about me getting education and getting a job. I'm bringing my own money in, cooking my yeah. own food. That's right. Saying anything. That's right. But to get the locks in the first place was a struggle. It was a struggle. Mm, exactly. Oh, yeah. that. Yeah, you fought for them, and now you're gonna lose. And now you're gonna give I, I was holding the Bible verses, so showing some. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing presentations. Zulu, Zulu. I was you know you won't, you're gonna PowerPoint. lose. PowerPoint, PowerPoint, and that PowerPoint for the presentations. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. It was a struggle. You're, you're gonna lose debate clout coming around here without those locks. You're right. gonna lose your power, right. bro. Like me when Instantly. I cut off my present here. Instantly, man, they're gonna use it as a weapon against you. Yeah. Before yeah. The you're not serious, Zulu. Zulu. You're not you know about your team. Yeah, well, we're more than just you the chop your lock. You cut your it's about what's Samson inside. Power. It's not about what's on the outside, bro. It's about what's inside. Samson, bro. Well, hopefully, what Samson. Yeah, it's just gonna draw Samson on you, though, man. You know what I mean? It's time to change, anyway, man. It's time to push down the pillars. Listen, the way I'm seeing it, it's a milestone. I've moved out the house. 
I've started a new you? job. It's, it's a way. It's a way to just you know start a new journey, isn't it? I suppose that's, that's the way I'm seeing it as well. Can be. Start a new I journey. Man. I got an afro now. I might not have an afro by the end of the day. That's what. That's what. That's what it's gonna have to be right now. But yeah. It's not always that. It's been fun. Mad. It's been fun. It's been fun. Conformatist. It's been fun. Yeah. But you know what? The beard is coming in. So now you, you're you know, Maybe I'll rock the conformist. You're conformist, man. It's all right, man. Conformist. Straight, straight, straight conformist. Giving up with Zulu, man. Mad. Changing your name from Zulu uh, to, why are we to all George. Fun? I feel depressed. <laughs> I'm down a bit. I feel like I, I lost some. I'm trying all different angles to try. Yeah, <laughs> try to stimulate some. You get me? Like, nah, nah, nah. nah. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm disappointed. Anything you're saying, anything you're saying, mum's just in the corner, man. Like, get Ooh. on the other shoulder. You yeah, you can't compete with that. Compete we understand, you. but you strong. Understand your age, and this shouldn't be happening at this age now. You know what I mean? All due mm -hmm. respects. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah, As you say, you're a big man. You can make your own decisions, but some of them won't be that great. Yeah, yeah you true. might regret this one later on. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I don't want to embarrass. I don't want to embarrass the family, man. Yeah, when your hair don't grow no more and you got a McDonald's hairline, do you get what oh. I'm saying? It's not really gonna matter. Oh, I want those. You get what I'm like saying? I remember when I used to have locks. <laughs> no one will, no one will, yeah, no one will believe no one will you. Remember the time that you conformed. Yeah, that's all we remember. George. I'm tired of hearing the uncle saying, oh, you, you hear like Estelle's is this demonic. And I, I'm tired of this shit, man. Oh, my God. Demonic. you got to show him, yeah. you got to show him some power. Uh, parents yeah, need to I'm take time you, with bro. this. Oh, my really God. Good, the amount, of arguments I've had really over just, oh, the amount of arguments I've had over Freemasonry, yeah. over this, over that, they think I'm nuts. They, they think, think you're I'm, a Mason, yeah. Bro, they're so, but they're bots, they're bots. All, I'm sorry to say, my elders are bots. I hate yeah. I hate it, but it's a fact. You know how it is, man. We understand it, though, man. We understand mm. it. We get it. We get it, man. It's sad, though. You know? You're saying that, it, but... It becomes this point where you... You lose respect yeah. for you start to lose respect for the elders' worldview. Exactly. This is and this is what I was trying to explain the other a couple of weeks ago when I was saying I don't want to be that person that can't relate to the youngers. Yeah. And then uh, Dev yeah. and these like were saying you don't you're not supposed to relate to the youngers. I'm like no nah, hell no man because it's shit like right. this bro. I want to be on the right side of the loop. So yes. my youth know yeah dad knows where I'm going. So yeah. if I give them advice on this, they're not thinking dad's a bit of a bot though. I need to take that with a pinch of salt. Do you know what I mean? Like, so you got to stay current and understand. Listen, mama, uh, uh, style has changed. Mm. This whole thinking of the, the hair that comes from your head is somehow demonic. You need mm. to keep it low. You need to keep it kept. Like, that's bullshit. Mm. That's like Western. Yeah. It's actually Western. You won't even recognize me no more. Fuck. It's actually with my Western. individuality. Like, honestly, understand. when you're surrounded by like elders that are bots, yeah, it's the scariest thing ever because it's like, are they gonna like try and sneak into my room and get me badged up or something? Like, when I tell you, <laughs> no. like, when I do, yeah, yeah, honest truth, I barricaded my door, bro, like one time. No, I didn't well, need to, I didn't, out house, didn't, I didn't need to because I was I'm being a bit paranoid. I didn't barricade it like properly, I just put something in front of it. I was a bit paranoid because the you're majorly paranoid, like, you paranoid. You but that? you said you're out of the it's house so right? like bro it's scary and it's like it makes you think well you think when you're younger yeah they're older they know everything and you trust yeah. them with everything mm. but then when you get older as well you realize wow i can't trust I these people and they're I not know, actually no. as wise as they they're not as wise as you think it's it's scary yeah. realizing that you know and, and give thanks that i never really got to that chance i never got that chance with mumsy so she's still in that pedestal. So when you hear me talk about her, you can hear me. I still put her in that pedestal vibe because I never got to see the humanness of her. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And uh, oh, you're wrong, mum. Like you're, just, you're wrong. Yes, <laughs> you're wrong. I think you're right. Make yeah, mistakes. You're wrong. You make mistakes. Yeah. I'm seeing it. I, never got to see that. I left that to my sister. Still. <laughs> Challenging mommy. <laughs> she was on point, boy. Oh, every minute. Yeah, you see, mommy, mom's, mom. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, way my man. sister treat her, like she's the daughter. Like, like, she's what the are you daughter, doing, yeah. What are you doing, man? Like, what, man? You gotta say she's still old and wise and all of that. Yeah, but yeah, as you say, even when we were young, it was like, bruv, you're not living in the same world that we're living. Yeah, we yeah. Leave this yard. I'll you know, give, I'll give you an example, me, yeah, mm. of, of how I can't trust anyone anymore. Yeah, like one time I was, I made like a hypothetical question, like, oh, let's say for example I was committing a crime or whatever, would you write me out? And they're like, yes. 
They didn't even yeah, think about I'll... it. They said it straight away. Gave them multiple scenarios. Oh, um, I did it by accident. Or did it? Oh, yes. I'll say. I'm like, I'm sitting there thinking. Man what, said what, what the hell is this? Nah, like I've another scenario. Oh, I, ch I cheated on my wife. Uh, and she came yeah. and asked you where I've been, whatever, and you knew where I was. Would you say it and say, Yeah, I'll call and tell her what it's like, bro? I can't, <laughs> trust, these I can't trust these people. You don't know that. You don't know that. Yeah. But but you say, know, you know, you know, know, let me just say this. Yeah, let me yeah. just say this. I, I'm taking a guess now, yeah. But I'm guessing that they don't even mean that. Yeah. But they possibly, will they're possibly. always gonna tell you what's right. So you can't give them a hypothetical and then they're going to say, no, no, no. If it happened, they probably won't react like that. Mm, yeah, we're all right? different in a moment. But if you ask them, hey, of course, by the book, by the Bible, by the book. But if, if it the actually happened... Like your own son? You're going to tell... The, the yeah, perfect. but they probably would be loyal, bro. Like, 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 you can't ask them hypothetically. Isn't that westernization isn't there. You're not going to get... Because then it's like, am I giving you green light to go do stupidness? I'm not going to tell you that. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, damn. If I get now. nicked, if I get nicked, would you bail me out? I'm like, no, you rot there. You rot in that prison. You rot You're there. That's what you so tell you know in the back of your head, yeah, there's not no... Well, at least my parents have got my back. Because now we ain't. So then act proper, innit? When, when police first came to my yard and they said, okay, yeah, okay, Mrs. Ali, um, you might, uh, you want to, I don't know if you want to get in the van. She said, no, no, take him. I'm not coming. <laughs> mm -hmm, said, no, 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 I'm not coming. Take him. Take his stuff with him if you want. He's not coming back here. I was thinking, oh my God, my life is over. <laughs> so, that, woman, that woman was at the police station before <laughs> I got there, man. You hear me? Mm. She got there before us, man. They say stuff. I, was, yeah. I hated that about my mum growing up. I absolutely hate that she would never take my side. Police never take my side. Never. Oh, nothing. Man. Nothing. Never. <laughs> look at nothing. No, no, look, look. No, no. Even the racist. Even the racist. Like, yeah, I know. No, with police, it's different. I'll sort them out when we get home. Everything else. What do you yeah. mean? I'm telling you I didn't do it. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Big up my uncle who died, who was just a yeah. couple years older than me. He come yeah. in front like he was my dad one year right. in school. And Man. took my side, blood, like completely Man. sat there and was like, yeah, but what if it was the other kid's fault? What if it was rare, rare, rare? And he fought my case, man. Man, you're not like, supposed to, know. listen, you go to school, you're not supposed to fight for your kids. You you say, yes, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, when he gets yeah, home, he's going to be ready. And yeah, when you walk out, <laughs> then you say to your child, listen, mm. I've got your back. I don't want that and you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's playing both sides of the game, though. You I had a good yeah, teacher yeah, yeah, like that when I was growing up. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think I would. I'm not sending my girls to school anyway. But I think. No, but I did, there's I, a I bit of a because remember, yeah, remember, if your mom's telling you anybody put their hand on you, you break that hand. That's mm -hmm. what she's telling me. That's right. Yeah. And then I'm going to school and I'm breaking man's hand. That's putting his hand on me. Now I'm in front of the teachers. Yeah. She's not. She can't say. Yeah, I told him to do that. So she's like, Oh, I'm so disappointed. Don't worry. He's going to be in so much trouble when I when we go home. Oh my God. Like very rare. rare. Let me walk out. She's like, good. This and that fucking bitch. Well done. And you, <laughs> and then, you know she's telling me? Mm. That woman hates you. You gotta be yeah. careful. Mm. Wow. Like, please. She got, you know what she telling me? The yeah. real reaction. Nah, that's cool, though. That's dope. Bro. That's cool, that's man. Cool, that shit though. was cool as fuck. Bro, I must have been so hard. Imagine how hard this is, right? Pause. Pause. Yeah, yeah. Pause. Like, yeah, yeah, pause, yeah, pause, that, pause, so. pause. But Raging as, as, as to raise, right? <laughs> Think about <Right>. this. <laughs> I come Cat home, rage. right? Mm -hmm. And my chest is torn up pause, from pause, some pause. Gala, from the cat. No, <laughs> some gala's cat. Oh, from, from from some pussy. I get you. Pretty much some gala's. And I told my mum, she's like, "Why are you crying?" Blah blah blah. And I showed her the injury. Oh my god, what the fuck happened? And I said, "Yes, yeah, some gala." She said, "What?" And you didn't do nothing. I said, "No, because you don't hit girls." She yeah. said, "If a girl do that to you, you yeah, hit you do." <laughs> and I said, well, then this is where it gets techie for bums right. because I said, Oh, scene went outside and broke the chick's nose. Oh. And then <laughs> Mumsy and the neighbor and everyone's all trying to stop it. And that's that. like, but Mums no, just man, told me to do wild, that. Though. Wild, huh? you know, them ones there. Mums actually just told me to do that. So, could you imagine? Worst how... of both worlds, you know. It was harsh. Like, you now said, Come on, you told me, you told me to hit her. But huh? you told me, I don't know how she even finished that one. <laughs> I was meant to do the worst of both you worlds. Know what you know what was I saw it coming. <laughs> I saw the technical in the moment because the neighbor. I said techie, you know. Yeah, like she was looking after the girl that had beat me up, right? Mm. And, or that had let beat me up. And these times now, she was outside and she wanted to bring her out to apologize. And my mom's like, no, no, don't bring her. 
because she knows that she's just told me, bang a chick if she ever does mm. that to you. And I'm saying, bring her out, bring her out, and I'm chatting shit. That must have been really hard to actually be a parent in that situation, man. That's fucked up, innit? I would have boxed you and told you to go inside, man. Shush. shush but this is another man. question, yeah. How, how do you, <laughs> That's how, how you, you like, so I turn up and you would have boxed me up. That's bad, man. What terrible. No, my mom. He's, he's, he's a good question. Yeah. How do you, mom how do you boxed tell me up, man. parents when, when, they're contra- when they're being contradictions? How do you do it in a polite way? Like, if you, if you they, for example, they tell you not to do something and then you see yes. them doing it or they're just being like, yes. kind of like, yeah, you don't say, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. How do, you do as I say, don't do as I do. That's the part. Can't, well, can't say, what are you going to say? Mm. Uh, you told me you don't do this, but you're doing it. Are you crazy or something? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, is there a way to say to like, yeah, Split but you're kind, kind of being a hypocrite here. Like, is there a way, is there no. a way to say that? But I hope you got lost the cushion of blows. No, I don't think there's a way. <laughs> Not politely. No, I allow it. Man. When you get to a certain age, yeah, you can argue back. You know what I mean? But that was like when man got to like 16 and that, 15 and a half, like, yeah, trying it. And then uh, at 16, I'm like, Mom, why are you lying all the time, man? Shush, shut your mouth. Are you stupid? Are you calling me a liar? <laughs> what are you here? Like, this is what I'm saying. It's like, but you you're blatantly lying, though. Like, bro. Yeah, I told you about when 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 mum would be sitting, chilling with us, yeah, watching a movie or something. The phone rings. She's on the phone Uh-oh. chatting. Lies. These children are killing me in this house. Huh? Excuse me. <laughs> what? We was just relaxing and chilling and watching Ten Commandments and that. Like, like it, mom. <laughs> you me? It was all good. It was all good just a minute ago. She's done that bare times. Yeah. Or and then like my brother or sister or someone has tried to correct her. Oh my god. Who told them to go and do that? Yeah. One, you're getting cut straight away, and then when they leave. Oh my God, you're finished. It's been, it's been. Zulu, 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 someone like asked the question, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Vincent, uh, Vincent James says, Zulu, when are you going to live your life and not live your mom's life? True. Facts. Bam. <laughs> Bow. The bar still. Oh, no. I didn't bring myself into the, I didn't bring myself <laughs> into this world. Uh-oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Go on. Go on, Zulu. I was, brought, I was brought into this world. So, to some extent, there's debt I have to pay. Mm-mm. And there's respect that has to be given to those that brought me into this world. And I have to abide by what they tell me, as written in the scriptures, up to a certain point. Okay, up to a certain point. So what, what is that point? Hmm. Where is that point? Does that include your, uh, your hairstyle when you're in your 20s? Mm-mm. I'm trying to see if, I'm trying to use their wisdom, with their applied wisdom, right? And put I, it I, the I on fire, you know? It's it white men, bro. Uh, guess what, Zulu? This isn't the first time you will upset your parents. Are they going to decide who you marry as well and the mm. name of your kids? Mm. And it goes on and on, Zulu. What mm. school they go to, whether exactly. they should be, whether Sheesh. they should be vegetarian, whether Not they should mercy. be vegan. You're gonna want them to be vegetarian. She's gonna give them chicken. Your, you don't know, your wife is gonna say, "Why didn't you say anything?" Mm. You're gonna talk about respect. It's gonna keep going, Zulu. Mm. They're gonna to... take your kids for the badge, and you're gonna to have to respect it. Mm. Right. No. Yeah. You Zulu. You think that shit can't happen? Yeah, and it, it does happen. It actually happens. You know. Because then, even when you're into your parent in position, your parents are unwilling to yeah. see you as a as a yeah. as right. an adult. So then, it's like they encroach on your parenting. Because what do you know, silly boy? I was cleaning mm. your your nyash when you was house house small. You come mm. to tell me what's good, what's not, and you mm. know, like it can be a bit of a you got to pick a lane. Personally, when it comes to my youths, if their grandparents were around and alive, I would have picked the lane where whatever grandma says goes. I would have picked that lane. I can't mm. lie. Mm. I, I, I would have. But she wouldn't have made me cut my hair for, for work or nothing like no. that, though. Um, when I done right. Daddy duties. Daddy duties. No. True. True fact. But yeah, it, 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 it's, it's minor now, Zulu. I just said whatever work, did her first job. But it will... I know it's not your first job as well, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it, like serious job after uni and stuff like that. It is a frontier of it yeah. is like a this is now the frontier of you and your parents and you taking leadership for yourself and your parents trying to still guide you. You gotta find that medium balance. 
Yeah. Should you turn up with your with your twist twisting and 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 bouncing uh, this weekend? I think you should. Personally, hey, I thought I thought you were going to cut this uh on your head. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, you know what, mom? I'm, I'm you know I'm still thinking about it, and I probably if I'm gonna do it, I'm probably gonna do it closer next, to next my week. home. Or, you know. <laughs> We're not ready. We're week. Week. I'll keep saying next week, next week, next week, next week until yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, remember, I said I don't, I don't want to tell you to lie to your parents, right? But yeah, basically, that if I'm honest with you, that's what I would have done. I said, oh, you know, I'm yeah, I'm doing it next week, next week come, next week come, blah 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 blah. blah. It's not <laughs> happening. Until my and they know in their heart. After they ask you the second time and you've turned up again without, mm. they know ah, this guy's not going to cut his hair and he's working. What can I tell mm. him now? He's working. Mm. He's in the All job. All the things you asked me to do. Him, he's going to stop you getting a job. You've got job now. So what can I say? Dress clean. Be fresh. Brush your mouth. You know how the parents stay. I'm out of the house as well. Why are they even... This is what I mean, man. I don't even move <laughs> out. You only just come out the yard. And you're not even... Mm. And that... Out the, you just come out the... I don't know, bro. I get it. Mm. But you have to... if Take this as a... Take this as a question. Are you ready? This is a question. Are you ready? This is what they're asking you in their mm. own, their mannerisms and their whatever. You have yeah. to answer, yes, I am ready. That's correct. Right? You have to answer, yes, I am ready. And and you do that by saying, okay, I've heard your advice. I appreciate it. And respectfully, I'm not, I'm not following it. Oh, so you think it's a test? Of course. It, even if even if they Life don't mean it as a test, it's a test of yeah, it, even if they don't mean it like that, it's still a test. It's a test of and you tell them the test given by God, who's gonna get in the way of that? Not even parents can get in the I'm way a of man, that. I'm a man now. Some decision and, and, and I'm gonna fall. I'm either gonna live by my sword or I'm gonna fall on it. That's right. Right? But it's it's yeah. my it's it's my mistake to make now. It's my all your wrong, all your accidents, all your mistakes are, are for you now. They're not really the issue of your parents anymore. And it takes a while. If I've raised you for 20 years, bro, it takes a while, a while to accept that. They don't want to go, they don't want to grow old. They want to still treat me like I'm 15 of or whatever. Course, you know what it is, um, Zulu? Yeah, Zulu. It does keep them young too. Zulu is a Bible verse thing. Because mom's like, ah, um, um, what it says in the Bible, right? She's always hey, like, you know. um, um, respect, honor thy mother and thy father, yeah, mother and father. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah but my reverse yeah. to that was, yeah, doesn't it say in the Bible, out of the mouth of babes? Mm. Ooh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Come yeah. on, bro, you got you got you got match like for like, show your dexterity with the book as well. Like, you know, what I mean, if you're going by the letter of the Lord, then let, 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 let's look, let's look at what it says. Doesn't say it, doesn't say I must listen to everything you say, yeah. Where is that? I haven't seen no prophet or did they do had to listen to their parents. It doesn't make sense. I'll give you an, I'll give you an example. Yeah, I've tried to push back in certain mm. areas. Like, for example, when it comes to, like, getting a wife, I was telling them, oh, I wanted to get a wife from South Africa, and I didn't even want to get a wife from Zim. And, uh, and they were arguing me, telling that Zulu, don't do that. They're killing uh, people over there. It's a bit mad. Like, you don't want – Zulu women are crazy. You don't want to marry one of them. Da, 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 da. All these stereotypes, all this shit. Mm. Even the stuff mm. I've said on here about South Africa, it come from them partly. Right, right. And they've even told me stories about relatives that have been killed and stuff like that. So, like, I've to this day, I still tell them I'm still gonna marry a woman from South Africa. But, like, mm. you can tell, like, that from their perspective, it's I'm just trying to help you in. I'm just trying to protect you because yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a potentiality for danger if you take this move. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? And I've tried to like mm. come back and say, like, well, in the Bible, Abraham got Isaac a wife from his homeland. And mm. the way I'm seeing it is, I'm not marrying outside of my culture. I'm marrying someone from my own culture. Someone right. directly from the motherland, you know, the culture is going to be passed down through the kids. I'm trying to bring all these defenses to say this mm. is why I, I think this is a good move. Plus, I like South African women. I think that, you know, they go good back. Of course. You know, like, come on. But yeah. <laughs> and it's, uh, like, just let me be, fam. Like, I'm, I've moved out. I've You're doing the right thing. Everything, everything you've done is correct. I'm not a kid anymore, man. It's like I have to keep instilling this. I'm not, I was telling my older sister, like, why did they treat me like I'm like 15 or 16, bro? Don't they realize, like, I'm a big man? Like, I could have kids right now. I could literally. Right. Like, be a parent, yeah. Don't they realize this? I, I, I don't understand, bro. Maybe it's going to take time now that I've finally moved out. Maybe we'll begin 
it'll yeah. start to begin. To yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. This is, this is so. This is like one of the tests, right? Mm, exactly. To be honest, brother, this is like one of the, how far does my re, my influence reach? Mm. Yeah, does it reach into into another man's home? Because that's what it's done. Your yeah, home is reached into your house from theirs, so there's full control. I'm just saying, I don't know, man, because it's a lovely thing to have that relationship with people that care as well, you know what I mean? And at your age, it's nice. So I just say, walk, pray on it, bro. Pray on yeah. it, bro. Yeah. I, I was, you know I was I mean? praying that day, I was like, yo, can you like, give me the signs to show them that I'm a man, that they can leave me alone? I was praying about it because it's like the respect. I I feel, I don't feel that respect that I'm a man. Like I understand you always you always be like the kid in it. Like no matter how old they are and how old you are, but at some point in time you kind of have to just like let me be. You know what I mean? At so, some so, point in time you have to let me be. You have to. Zulu, if you do it, yeah, then this is what we're saying. Like, and it's not because you want to do it. You're gonna begrudge someone at some point, and it's gonna be your parents. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be in that situation either. Well, I've done everything you wanted to do. And, and to be honest, you hindered and you stunted my growth. That's the reality, you know? Yeah. It's all done in, in oh, yeah, Some people be mm. cutting their hair for work and um, some people be cutting their hair for Islam. Straight. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well... They, they couldn't use the religious angle on me because there's too many locks in the Bible. So I'm I'm Gucci on that on that front. Well then that's it. That's the cool. But on the cultural yeah. side of things and on the you know first generation side of things, yeah, you, you better assimilate. Well, you better first assimilate. first gen generation got to change, make some changes. Mm. Yeah, you have to adapt to your environment. And if your environment it's not even a thing, it's a luxury thing, you know what I mean? To choose what style even, you I'm want. Gonna take my my youths to the barbers in a minute. Mm. <laughs> See? <laughs> nah, but I didn't do it for nothing. I didn't, I did it for me. I didn't do it for no one. <laughs> and, and, and and let me tell you something. I think I've 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 had I've cut my hair. I've been without hair for long enough now to say officially I regret cutting my hair. Officially really? now. Yeah. Officially now. Not regret, but Missing. I preferred my hair. Mm. It was not, it was a, it was jarring me, it was annoying. It wasn't like wash and go and yo, I'm mm. gone. You know, I'll and there's stages that. where you just like, yo, my hair's annoying me. Cause like, you know, I'm a I'm a fashionable dude when I want to be, right? And then I'm like, ah, this locks, ah, this, ah, I just, you know, just felt like a bit of and the freedom and I can lay my head in any position and this and that. Yes, yeah, so you can lay on the bed anywhere. Oh, it's on me. Where's my head? Where's my where's my hat? Where's my where's my hat? Where's, I don't need to worry about all of that. But but having this conversation has reminded me. Now, nah, man, your looks are a beautiful thing, bro. Mm. Like, fuck it, man. Your looks are a beautiful thing, Zulu. And if you like them, then keep them. That's mm. it. If you like them, keep mm. them. Yeah. When you're ready to cut them, cut them. When you want to cut them, you cut them. Mm. But not because of any feeling of pressure, da, 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 not because of none of that. If you're being looked to at, resentment. If you're being looked at differently in the workplace, it's because you're different in the workplace, bro. It is where it is. You are different in the workplace. Locks or no locks. Bro, they're going to see you with locks even when you cut your hair, bro. Do you know how many people I chat mm. to? I've seen them this week, last week, the week after, just a day ago, they're talking about, oh my God, you cut your hair. Because they're not even looking at you, bro. Mm -hmm. They've just seen someone with locks anyway. They're not, even, they're not even looking at you. You cut your hair, some of them will be like, have is something different. You change something. But they can't put their finger where it is. They're not even looking at you, bro. Don't ever, trust me. Keep your fucking hair, mate. Mm -hmm. I mean... The yeah, one thing that's not really frowned upon. I'm going to go home on the weekend. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't want to you know Is it, it, it going to be an actual... Are your parents like that on it? That when you walk in, it's going to be a combo? Yes. <sighs> it's just long, isn't it? It's just too much stress from all this other shit. I don't want to have to... Stay in your yard, man. <laughs> that's what you got to do then. Stay in your yard, man. <laughs> that's what I stayed in my yard last week. Yeah, pie, man. 
I stayed in my bedroom last week. <laughs> I didn't go. I didn't go home for um because I usually go home on Saturday. Well, Friday. Right, yes. Go home for Saturday for church and all that stuff as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna go this week and I'm gonna come ahead, man. You sound defeated though, man. This is why we don't. This is why we're not letting it go because you sound defeated. You're not mm-hmm. saying it like. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to cut my hair. You're like, yeah, I'm just going to cut my hair. I just, like. I know Zulu. Someone's getting moaned at for this. High pitch and everything. You get me? Yeah? You don't make me cut my hair! <laughs> yeah? Pressure bus p- burst pipes. Yeah? And any 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 moment of pressure after this, that's what I said, there's going to be some resentment if you didn't do it for your own personal reasons. You're going to blame the people who you feel responsible Zulu, for you for making Zulu. that decision, uh, Reggie. This would be a good time to advise your like your brother in Christ. And it full locks, locks. Yeah, you got, locks. Hair, locks you got, yeah. Well, you got like, locks excellent. Locks. Yeah, like, come on. Mm. Where's your advice? Did, did mm. you even give any advice for Zulu, Reggie? I fucking hate you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't tell him about the video, man. Black excellence, Jazzy B, man. He's not a barlet. He's got locks, man. Come on, man. Let's do, let's move forward. <laughs> Huh? It's a new, it's a new beginning. It's a new journey, man. And Levi roots. Stop that. Well, you don't think they, they, they don't look at him as professional. Stop that new beginning yeah. talk, bro, yeah. man. Like that. It is, is. Bro. It is. Bro, bro, ain't no new beginning, man. You got a job. You live. You got a yard. It's cool, man. So Zulu, it's only a few weeks okay. ago that my daughter had a bit of an incident in college because she's got locks as well, and. Yeah, I won't go into detail, but there was a bit of an incident. And for me, because I've always Give like... Us a man. We want to know what bit of an incident? What happened? Um, basically, she, like, they've got whatever rules or whatever in the college, yeah? If you're not allowed to wear hoodies once you're in the college, right? Mm. And she was walking in the grounds and she had a hood up. She wasn't well, in face, the well, face mask. Face mask is all right, though, I take it, yeah? Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and the security approached her and they were like, oh, you're not allowed to have your hood up, da 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 da, da. And she was ignoring them because as far as she's concerned, like, you're allowed, to, you're allowed to have your hood up when you're outdoors, but not when you're in the actual building. So they were making a bit of a, a scene about it. So she was like, all right, cool, I'm just going to leave. Um, they then proceeded to follow her out, that kind of wound her up a bit. Anyways, I don't want to go into the full details of it, right? But it, it ended up being a bit of a dramatic incident. Point being, it's all because she's got locks, right? And when she, like, that day she hadn't done her hair, whatever, whatever, so she had a hood up uh, yeah. until she got into the building where she feels more comfortable to then take a hood down and she don't care about how her locks look in it. Right, but right. The point is, like, they've tried to make an issue out of it. And because I've always encouraged my daughter to be herself and be comfortable with who she is, there's no way I'm now going to say to my daughter, oh, yeah, well, you should have done this or you should have done that. No, they need to piss off, leave her alone and allow her to be who she is. Like, she wasn't doing anything wrong. She wasn't harming anyone. She was just walking on the grounds of the college with her hood up. That's all she was doing. But I feel like it, like... In that sense, I feel like she is being singled out because she's got locks, because of how she carries herself in that sense, you know what I mean? But I never encourage her to conform. Greetings in the name of the Most High. Wagwan. Big up, big up, man. That was the <laughs> Baker Shakura intro. <laughs> What's that, Gwan? Wagwan, yeah, so you can hear what we're talking about. So, yeah, man. Talk to talk to your brother, man. Uh, I don't know, Zulu, Zulu, are you, Zulu, Zulu, are you there? What do you want, Reggie? Ah, uh, <laughs> the love, the love, I can feel it. You actually, are you saying that you actually like want to keep your looks? I, I think that's what you're that, yeah. hmm. So you the only reason, just to be clear, the only reason you're gonna take it off is because of your parents and because of work or is yeah. it is it more of your parents than the work possibly yeah does work stop you from getting a job I've, i think i missed that part is it i'm not saying oh, anything but i have i have the feeling that it may become a problem in the future so you're preempting it then yeah uh, uh, um I don't know. It depends on your working environment, but I would say that with work, you can, you got to have more value on yourself. You know what I mean? So if one place don't 
want to take you because of your luck, you'll find something else. You know what I mean? That's my approach anyway. It's not like you have to... But then I'll never get work. <laughs> nah, you will get work. There's always... Like, there's plenty of work out there. It's just you might not... It depends on what area you're in. Um, you know what I'm saying? And you should have confidence in your own ability to find work. You know what I'm saying? Most most people want to employ you for what you've got inside your, your head, not <laughs> what you've got on your head. You get what I'm saying? Like, True story. Uh, it's about how, how you portray yourself. And you've got to have confidence in yourself as well to get jobs. Like, a lot of people end up not getting jobs because of their lack of confidence in themselves and their ability. But with the parents thing, I think it's good though. I, I'm I'm kind of in between because you got to you got to respect your parents, and usually your parents are are more wanting what's best for you than anybody else. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I understand the traditional factor as well and the cultural thing that comes in as well. So there is a a balance, but yeah, that that one is is something that you have to speak to them, or maybe even just over you know override their wishes at, at some point you will do that yeah. but it doesn't have to be now you know what i mean it might be in future you get me yeah no yeah yeah how long have you been going here probably about seven to six to seven months now it's been the longest time but I, I don't I never I haven't cut it in a while. It's literally just a twist and take it out, twist again, take it out, twist again. That's so it's not that long then. It's my hair grows really quick. So in six months it'll be it will be a lot. Yeah. It will be a lot. Hmm. Wow. Well we're well, definitely going ahead with it then. Yes. I've already I've already made the decision. I've already booked the train. Know where I'm going. Everything's getting done today. It's happening. See, do you know what? As a parent, I would say it's like, I don't know how long I'm going to be around for my children, right? So for me, I've always had to like, I had this mindset of I'm bringing up my children so that they can handle this society that they're in and know how to navigate Like, if I'm not here. Do you know what I mean? So it's usually like your parents, hopefully, you know what I mean? They're going to be around for a long, long time. But like you have to find your I suppose your independence in it like you'll be able to stand on your own two feet as an adult instead of always listening to what your parents or conforming to what your parents want you to do you're yeah. going to live your own life you're going to make it when you have a wife and children you're going to make decisions on your family hey, no, i'm not so sure people keep on using this word conforming conforming just because you listen to your parents on some things don't mean you're conforming to everything they say so I think people are building a narrative here. I don't know whether it's because of something Zuli said, but a lot of people keep on insinuating that you just you just oh, listen to everything they say. Everywhere, look. But you, at the same time, you said that you live by yourself, you're paying your own bills. I don't see how you're... You, you must be so, somewhat doing things for yourself and doing what you want to do. Because it's conforming to the pressure that the family is trying to put on him. Well, in this particular case, yeah, mm -hmm. you could say it for this particular case, but I don't know whether he's. It's good to listen to your parents sometimes. It's not. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I don't. I don't know. Listen, I've, just, I've, put, I've pushed back. The badge was a perfect example, right? I pushed back heavily. Like now, there's nothing you could say, and and they they you know they were not happy about that at all. But I had to. I had to push back because that's my house. I had to push back. But this is not a temporal, this is not a permanent thing. So the way I'm thinking is like, just do what you have to do, man. And then when you're more free later on in life, then you can, you know, do whatever style you want. That's the way I'm seeing it. Yeah, well, let us know what you decide, Zulu. Yeah, and make sure you buy yourself a nice um, woolly hat so you're nice and warm in winter. <laughs> oh, see, now you're rubbing it in, MJ. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be cold, boy. Yeah, I'm you're gonna, gonna be cold. Head that I've got and right now. Julie, you remember, you may not need to go and get your retwist on, but you're still gonna have to go and get a trim every so often, aren't you? So it's still gonna um, require maintenance. That's true. And and in fact, it may require even more maintenance, depending on I don't know what kind of style or level of haircut you're gonna get, but that could end up being like a weekly thing or something. Yeah. 
And you said your hair grows really fast, didn't it? It's like 60 quid, you know, and it only really lasts for like a week and a half. Retwist. Mm. Week and a half. Yeah, if yeah, if you if you get it done, someone's gonna charge you like sixty pounds, isn't it? Oh, you need to hurry up and get a wife, mm. then it'll be free. Mine, mine was mine costs like That's yeah, a good between, point. mine is like fifty to sixty, but it lasts like two at least two weeks, two to three weeks. Yeah, two weeks is like that's like the max. It's frizzy. It needs to change. Mm. That's like the max. And then you if you're doing the annual cutting the sides as well, that's also twenty quid to do the sides. It's a lot, yeah. you know. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. It is. Oh, man. And oh. the longer you retwist them, they're gonna start growing, growing, and then they're gonna start becoming something if you don't do anything about it. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's true. It's true. How do you like this, baby? How do you like well, yeah. Reggie, what's your uh, name all about? <laughs> oh, very gentle. Caught your eye. That's about uh, you know the last encounter that you had with Shifa and me. Me, kind my of. name's not Mary Jane, so I don't know who Mary Jane is. Yeah. Okay, let me correct it. Let me correct it. I stand corrected. Mary Jane. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah sure while you're there, you need to correct the numbers as well. <laughs> yeah, because it's actually like 100 to, to zero on MJ's side, actually, if you think about the amount of arguments. <laughs> you probably haven't heard them, so yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He has. He just has uh, memory uh, loss. No, honestly, I haven't heard many of them, but still, uh, yeah, the one the other day was, uh, yeah, a clear, unanimous decision. Unanimous decision. Uh, I, I don't think so. <laughs> it was. So, so what, what, what would your score be, Reggie, to anyone else, compared to anyone else here? What would your score be? Because you ain't one of many combos. Uh, yeah. To be honest, my approach is not really to debate with people so much, but to share information. Uh -huh. Yeah, information so i have a different goal that's why yeah i don't really brag about winning and losing like that you know you've saying? taken a lot of l's these past few weeks man a lot and you see that's why he won't take an official debate Zulu, because he does want to have an official loss no yeah. it's not even like that it's like what happened you're shook reggie part, you're shook part of you're my shook, training shook, part of my training as a professional was always that professional what my professional training, I won't be specific, but professional training is that you should always reflect on any... Uh, professional wind-up merchant. Mm -hmm. so, so even if you find that you've had to admit that you've done something wrong, you still be able to be growing up and learn from the situation. And it's not a loss, you get what I'm saying? It's that you can gain something from getting things wrong. But if you feel like you come here and you always win, like you're not, you're not really growing, are you? Let's be honest. You're just deceiving yourself. Um, so that's my thing, but uh, obviously, so it's um, easier to sit on the fence, basically. No, it's easier to have a conversation and learn. It's like I think the last meaningful one of the last meaningful conversations I had with yourself was about the Irish people, yeah, about no, about the uh, gypsies. You remember, yeah, 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 exactly. And I, I listened to yourself, I listened to Chartel, I had some questions and some. Uh, things I didn't understand, and you not clarified, and you went into detail as well. So it's a learning thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'd rather that than come onto the panel and start shouting uh, back and forth with people, like we tend to see sometimes here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's just a different, different approach. <laughs> it's a different approach. So Reggie, now that you've come to give me advice, do you do you take advice from other people? Um, yeah, I do take advice. You know, last time I came here, I think people gave me a lot of advice, didn't they? When Can I you came give an example? And... No, last time, I don't know if you were here when I came and spoke about relationship, my relationship. Oh, yeah. yeah and have, you, have, you applied, have you applied that advice in any way? Um, oh, I, I couldn't really apply it because I just, I just reflected on it. I, I haven't really been able to apply it, I wouldn't say that. I would say I haven't been able to apply it because I'm not, I haven't been uh, with my ex in any way for the last, but she's traveled, she's gone to Senegal. Yeah, so she's kind of like. Gonna, you're not going to chase her? <laughs> no, 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 not about chasing. It's about, you know, like seeing where we're at. You get what I'm saying? 
sometimes people can uh, because can learn a lot when they're away from each other. Because, you know it, because as you know, biblically, she is your technically your wife, right? Yeah, yeah. But well, she has to be seen at the time. You said you've been intimate, so she's technically your wife at this point. I just... <laughs> um. She, yeah, you could say that she, yeah, maybe, maybe you could so say that. So she goes yeah. and she goes, does things with other people, you know, that's a sticky situation, isn't it? That would be a sticky situation. But I'm expecting her to come back and we'll, we'll kind of like see where we're at and um, see where we're um, in there. So let me quickly ask Reggie something before we move off this topic. Has your hairstyle, uh, I don't know what hairstyles you've had over the years, but over the years and now, has it ever affected you professionally? No. Although, yeah, no, no, it hasn't. It hasn't. I've got no confidence in my in my Billy because I can. Um, I'm a quite a good writer. Like, as in, I can write a good CV. I can write a good personal statement. I have a lot of experience in uh, different areas, so I can I can write a good application form, and I can also relate. What's on my application form to my experience? Someone's got music playing in the background. There might be an issue still. Is it Vic? Oh, if it's your if it's your music, Vic, is no problem, bro. So yeah, yeah. So I, don't, I get I, that, Reggie, because obviously people are not necessarily going to see you when you're applying for a job. But I'm talking about when you've been in a job. Uh, do you think it's ever affected your development or progression? Nah, or no anyone's ever judged you because of it. No, in terms of my hairstyle, no. Um, I'll say when you're in the job, if you're in the job, sometimes it's, it's, there's a lot of the environments that I've worked in. There's a lot of politics, so you have to, you kind of have to get to know what position you're applying for, whether someone else has already been lined up for the job, whether they you get along with the management, that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. But when you're going newly for a job, no, I haven't really experienced that. I always felt confident that the job I was applying for, I fit the criteria. You know what I'm saying? So the, the appearance thing was secondary and it never really became an issue. Yeah. So Zulu, did you have to have a face-to-face -face interview with these people to get uh, the job? Yeah, I had the, the there was three stages. There was the online interview and then there was like the psychometric test, IQ test and mm -hmm. um, behavioral scenarios and then there was the in-person test class assessment center where they test what? your ability to work in groups and stuff like that what did, what did you graduate in Julia? what did i graduate in yeah what did you get what's your uh what uh, profession is it or um, you just uh, it's okay it's a bit in the computing field oh okay yeah are you going to be working from home um, I'm working from home. It's mixed as hybrid at the moment. A lot of the jobs in that field are hybrid. You can find a few that's like fully work from home, but most of them are hybrid. Yeah. Hybrid. Yeah, like you work from home on some days. Did you, you say know? hybrid? Did I say it wrong? Oh my gosh, sorry. Hybrid. Um, hybrid. Hybrid. Sorry. I've never, I've never heard that word, but yeah, okay, <laughs> hybrid. Yeah. Reggie, you say names wrong all the time. Don't even try it, bro. No, 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 no. I've not even had the, the the way you say it, like the, the correct saying of the it. Word. It basically means a combination or something like that. And I've seen it used on cars before where I think where the cars are like part electric, part petrol type thing. So it's when you combine combine two different things. So in terms of uh, what Zulu is talking about, it's where a lot of people now are doing work from home and maybe a little bit of office. So they call it hybrid. Oh, nice. Reg, you yeah. see this a Say Thessalonians. Thessalonians. First hmm. Thessalonians. Because I remember last time you were saying some weird ways of saying things. So don't I like it's just me, bro. It's not just me, it's you as well. You've it definitely happens, don't pronounce things properly. Anyway. Yeah. But yes, yeah, mostly work from I prefer work from one person. I couldn't imagine going in every single day, bro. I couldn't even imagine it. I couldn't imagine it. Honestly. Yeah. They should just do fully work from home, honestly. That's the, that's the way forward, man. You mm. don't want to have to get, get up and walk, drive or walk or whatever. Just, you know what I mean? Everything's right there in the house. How long have you been looking for a job? A long time. A long time. About 
three months. But it didn't take long for me because I actually was applying at a lot of places and I did I met a lot of the quality like the requirements. So it didn't yeah. take long, but for a long time. I even tried to apply for places abroad. I did want to go to like um UAE and all that. I wanted to go to those kind of areas. Um, yeah, you'd, you'd have to go to church once uh once once a week. Uh, <laughs> but already I I can assume like, I can fit into those kind of countries because I'm already, you know kind of traditional in the way I view things, you know, in the Israelite kind of mindset. So I could fit in in these areas. Bro, you on the other hand, boy. When I went to Qatar, when I went to Qatar. You'll know. you be like, you're a prophet, blah, blah, blah. and then boom, that's it. Which is <laughs> on the news. <laughs> when I went to Qatar, there was like one church in the whole of Qatar. It's like everybody, not even just a church, actually. It was, a, it was one auditorium. Yo, Reggie, can you read Sarah's comment, please? Say Igbo, Igbo. Igbo. Nah, you didn't say that last time. <laughs> wait, 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 what did you say? What you said? You said Ig. You said Ig. Igbo. Come on, man. Bro. You can't even man. pronounce African. Listen, I'd rather be wrong on English words, but you would never catch me wrong on African language. You never catch me wrong on that. Never. Bro, I, my just like my parents can like switch between Yoruba to uh, English to an African accent. It's like I sometimes have to switch between African and be sounding very British because of the household. You get what I'm saying? So do you, you find happen. that happens naturally though, Reggie? Like that when you're in a certain environment, you're just going to naturally speak it the way you should in that environment. Like if you're around your parents, you're probably going to speak a bit more African. And then when you're in your job, you're going to be a bit more English. Like, do you have to think about it or does it just naturally kick in? I think there is a, a, a an extent to which is natural, but even when I'm like, you see, when Lady D comes on at some point, you'll see. Uh, sometimes I just put in a little bit of the, <laughs> the the fake Caribbean accent, and then sometimes like, when I'm talking to someone like that is African, um, I will put in a bit of an African accent, you know, from time to time. But I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Was, I couldn't like, figure out um, when I moved over here. I used to laugh at my stepbrother and sister because in the house they're Irish, and as soon as they walk out the door, they speak in English, and I'm like why do you not do that but then i realized over the years i do it myself and i don't even clock on but it's like when someone if someone i know that i usually speak to in an english accent hears me around my family all of a sudden they're laughing like oh my god you sound so different and I'm like, i don't even realize that i'm doing it sarah sarah's funny she never misses a, a trick i said benin is a tribe well benin is Sometimes uh, understood to be yeah, a tribe. That was the big L, uh, Reggie. I'm not going to lie. No, 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 Reggie. No, no. Reggie, you already conceded defeat on that one. You already Benin. admitted that it's not a tribe. I've got the clip right there. I can play it if needs be. Yeah. People that are from Benin describe themselves as being from Benin. That they're oh, part my of Benin. gosh. Re yes, Re from Re Benin, but not the Benin tribe. Exactly. Because well, it doesn't Benin. exist. It's a region, but this is All the right. thing, though. Um, um, Reggie, you can say I'm wrong on testosterone and whatever, and the hybrid, whatever, but you would never hear me saying some silly things about Africa like that. You'd never hear me saying that. Hey, can anybody, could, anybody could be wrong about anything about it, or well, not anything, but you know, you know sometimes you can have like you can have language block, those who speak different languages, you can have that, brother Zulu. Brother Kel, we, we speak about Africa, you wake up. <laughs> 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 yeah, where have you been this whole time, Kevin? What's going on? Um, obviously, I'm just maneuvering from uh, finishing work and stuff, right, man? It's very tricky. I do get certain uh, privileges, you know. I mean, I can listen to Brother Jay's uh, show because it's, you know, um, to a certain extent, but I can't always go on. You went um, but yeah, yeah. You work from yeah, home as well? No, nah, I don't. You know, I don't work from home. No. Let's see. Hey. Uh, it's a, it's a, some people say working from home um, is good to a certain extent because it can make you a bit lazy and things like that. But I think it's, uh, it's one of the best ways, man, if you're able to. You can spend time with the family, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, man. I think it is good to a degree, but what concerns me is like a lot of companies I feel like they've realized during the pandemic that it's more cost effective 
to not have an office and all the, mm. the additional like bills and that that come with it, right? So it can be more cost effective for them to just buy you a laptop, a comfy little chair and a desk, shove that in yeah. your living room and, you know, carry on what you're doing. However, I think we do need to look at like all of this, oh, you can work from home now, you can get your online shopping. Da, 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 da. I feel like to some degree, they're just society is trying to make us stay at home so that That's we don't right. need to go out. Mm. And yeah. we have to be very careful of that because obviously, yeah, we're missing out on the social aspects, which can have yeah. detrimental effects, you know what I mean? And then it's just that how much are they actually controlling us and where is this going to lead to? Mm. Yeah. One of my friend, one of my um, <laughs> one of my friends, one of my son's friends, he um, he does like the the HMRC, um, and they've given him like a laptop, um, to be at home, and uh, I didn't know you could do that with the the HMRC. Yeah, of course. But yeah, but I, I had no idea and stuff like that, man. But literally at home and etc. I thought you know maybe it's because of the the COVID. Well, apparently it's something that they used to do before that. I, I had no idea, man. They should but be I, paying they should be paying people's bills because the amount of electricity you're gonna need. Yeah, but everyone's <laughs> leaning towards that. Um, yeah, um, Reggie, you can claim that back yeah. from uh, from HMRC, in fact, if you're um, if you've got an office set up at home and it's part of your job, then you can claim back money for certain things. So anyone really? who is doing that, yeah, yeah. Um, um I mean it's not that? much, it could be something like 60 pound a year or 120 pound a year or something like that but there's definitely money that you can claim if it's costing you to do your job at home yeah. so electric internet an electric. anything else exactly. Exactly. Um, just like um if you have a job where you're required to wear a uniform in the office to do you're actually allowed to claim money back for that as well and again it's not much about 120 a year or something um, mm. But yeah, you just go onto the HMRC website, you tell them what your expenses are, and they take that off your tax bill or they pay it back to you or something like that. That's brilliant, man. That's brilliant. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And also, I like, try, yeah, go on. I try my, uh, go, go on, brother Zulu. Go on, brother. No, no, that's all right. That's all right. Go on. No, I was going to say, I'm um, trying my best not to rely too much on the, the government, man, as much as possible. It can be very difficult, but um, there's something psychologically when you keep relying on them for things, it kind of makes you not improve. But brother Kel, why didn't you take that sermon to your your brother the other day when he was on the on the panel? Which, which brother is that? Uh, bro I got many brothers, well, brother Reggie. Like that, Reggie um, <laughs> um, but one brother. second, Kel, as much as I hear what you're saying about not relying on them, if you're paying tax to them, right? Yeah. So therefore, you're you know, in that system anyways, why not get back what you're entitled to? It's not yeah. about reliance. Mm -hmm. It's about same way they're entitled to take that money, that tax from your wages, you're entitled to claim back certain expenses. Yeah. Well, that leads me again to the uh, the brother who's yeah. been taking a lot more than what yeah. he's been getting, uh, given the tax man. You got what I'm saying? Uh, who's I, that brother? Our, our beloved. Oh. Our, our <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Why did you get uh, the yeah. chance to speak out at... Uh, Brother Kel, remember? I keep yeah. telling you when the time is there to speak out, you're not speaking out, brother. But after... Yeah. <clears throat> no, you know, brother Reggie, what, what I'm getting from this is is basically the tea sort effect. But one of us is going in the fire and the other is in the water. Yeah. Now, you've got to understand, uh, brother Reggie, and that, right? We spoke about IC3 situation, brother. It's quite clear. And you want to bring it back up again, which may oh. cause... Brother Reggie, brother Reggie, you see, brother, I'm sensing conflict from you. I don't understand what <laughs> it's not conflict. No, 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 brother, you know, come back from work, hearing sun people, ice people, mountain people, and I'm sure sun people, and you, you're bringing the energy, brother. Mm. It, it, it don't make any sense, brother. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I disagree with your, your, your point that, uh. Well, brother, I, I actually agree that you should you should encourage people not to become dependent on the system. Right. And um, the other day we had a brother who's become fully reliant on the system, yeah. and uh, you seem to ignore that and say that oh the brother mm. is just you know you seem to just take it as not really a, a thing. You get what I'm saying? Now you've come back and done yeah. a complete U-turn and said yeah. that we shouldn't be dependent on the system. That like, make your mind yeah. up, my brother. 
But what Brother Reggie Wallace said was, I try my best not to rely on them too much, brother. You see, uh, MJ is right. <clears throat> you know, we're paying taxes and we should be able to get things back. But remember, brother, we're a set of people um, who collectively don't have power. Individually, we do have power, but collectively we don't. And it may make us lazy not to do collective for ourselves. Now, with IC3, um, unfortunately, from the get-go, and I'm not disrespecting the elder, is that he, um, he, what I'm getting, he wasn't raised on the consciousness. And when he, he became awoke, he was already relying on the system for certain things. And, you know, and that is fine how it was. But nevertheless, brother, you know, um, I'm completely different. You know what I mean? And, so. it, a, it, he seemed to insinuate that as, as a consequence of him becoming awoke, as you quote unquote, quote unquote, awoke, that now he's become unable to present himself in an environment that can better himself. So now, therefore, because of his awokeness, he has become in a situation where he's dependent on the Sorry, system. sorry. Well, how does this work? Who are we talking? I see three who bought his own house. I, I don't it, understand. That, exactly. This is the thing. I see three does not, uh, um, is living in a council. Place. I'm sure he bought his own house. He mentioned sure, that. I'm pretty yeah, he sure his own house, man. I'm pretty yeah. sure he bought his own house, and then he yeah. went even no, after what, the divorce. First, first, even yeah. after the divorce, he went yeah. on to buy a small uh, place. And that was himself. another house. That was another house. Yeah. That's two. That's two. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. The first one yeah. with him and the wifey. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they split the money. She got the majority of the money, and he. Yeah. Bought, uh, uh, he says a small place, but in the region yeah. and the area where he said he, he bought his house, bruh, it's big money. It's big money. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he ain't playing. You know what I mean? Don't, don't feel sorry for IC3, basically. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Because yeah. that's the same end. That's how he came with it. He said, bruh, he said, them houses at Manor House where he said he yeah. lived, bruh, mm. they're, like, they're like mini mansions and shit. Ooh. Yeah, along that road near Clisso Park and that. My cousin used to live in one of them, like, but she didn't know. own it. And he said he owned one, one of them. I'm but... saying, Ross Clark. <laughs> <You were saying, laughs> I knew exactly what was going on. You know what I mean? You got to know what he's talking about. But yeah, some people don't listen to conversation correctly. So. Yeah. Actually, that's the problem. I was listening to his conversation. I asked him. Well, that. obviously, you didn't hear that then. No, no yeah, well, yeah. at the time when I asked him, he said he, he, he lives in a council place. That's yeah. what he told me. No, he told me something completely different. Uh, yeah, exactly. A couple of years back. So, but the thing is, brother, what you got to understand is, is that um, sometimes when you get information and it's not channeled the correct way, you will get a little bit lost. You know what I mean? And as you as you saw that day and that, because I noticed you were there um, in one of the groups, which I'm always in, by the way, and that you could see that he was settling in amongst elders that were navigating and helping him, and this is where he needed to be. You see, brother. Who are you talking about myself or Maku? No, okay. but you know exactly a panel that um, where we were on. You remember a couple of days ago? Oh, myself and you and you. Oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. you see, you see. Yeah, <laughs> Maku. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see, brother. You see. It's all to your memory, brother. shit, Reggie. The well, African country. Yeah, because you say he's. He, yeah. he said group, and I was like, what group am I, have I gone into? With my what what group am I in group? that you're, you're even mentioning my name? Don't ask. What but you know mean? what I'm talking about, Brother Reggie, right? <laughs> so he fat at home, and we hope that he stays there because he's going to get nurtured, uh, and his mindset will be channeled in order to do IC3 betterment. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> IC3 betterment, yeah, you know. No, nah, he lives, he's yeah. looking after the elder, but yeah, not the mockery from Reggie. I don't know. What yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Well, I do agree with like it's it's definitely not good to become dependent or reliant on the system because that's the trap that they set up. No, we're here to help yeah. you. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll give you some benefits. Oh yeah, yeah, and then before you know it, six years later, and you're still stuck on those benefits and not able to progress in any way. It's a very yeah. dangerous trap. Yeah, it is. And that's why um, Brother Zulu, um, we got to him and I sympathise what he was saying. We all go through it. No one can laugh at him 
And those non-Africans who want to laugh, remember, he's in a situation because of your people. <laughs> but um, I sympathize with him, I understand. And um, he may have to do some unsynchronization, unfortunately, because he doesn't own the thing. But then, you know, he's got some great examples. Brother Snipes, we got to him, the trade man. Um, and these are the things which he's going to allow you to maneuver. If you can't be in a, a, a black established company, <clears throat> then the trade jobs, man, you can live comfortably that way, man. So hopefully he will be unsynchronized for a little bit and then he can synchronize with his own business. Mm. So big up to him and I wish him the best. What's this thing about this barber appointment? <laughs> I know. I'm, current, I'm currently making appointments in all barbers all across Sudis area to make sure there's no appointments available next week. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Fully booked. Sorry, Zulu. Yeah. It has to be done, man. But do you yeah. think you'll be able to stop that, MJ? Do you think you have that ability to do that? Yeah. She's an ice woman, man. Come on, man. Uh, to, to, to make a few phone calls and some fake <laughs> ice, appointments. Ice woman, they got, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ice woman got skills, man. Come on, <laughs> set you up in this bitch. <laughs> no, but I'm the so ice queen after yeah, yesterday. Yeah, she's the ice queen. She's the master of it. Kale was Research cracking me master. up in the comments yesterday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you going to do, MJ? Or not? Are you going to stop? <laughs> if you ever did that, that would be some hours. I was just thinking, because Reggie's got... Um, uh, elaborate hairstyle, but he, yeah. he gave good advice. I, I ain't got, I ain't got not ready on that. That's a, it's the one time yeah. I actually. Yeah, but he had some 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 sly comments in the chat though earlier. I know. I I know. Oh, in the yeah, chat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's ready, isn't it? He's like, oh, his parents think he's backsliding. He's leaving the faith or whatever. Like some weird presumptuous comments. He's just doing his wind up business no, that he does from the chat. You no, know, as I said, you know, everybody's parents are different. You know, yeah. they're not the same. It's not a monolith. To be an African parent, do you get what I'm yeah. saying? That's why mine is different from yours and everyone. <laughs> but there are elements that are always the same. Yeah, yeah, we really. all get so can... <laughs> yeah, 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 we all get them. No, we all get them, those little. Yeah, it depends at what stage, you know. Uh, so I had it, but it's just much younger, you know. Uh, when well, by the time I got to like 16, 17, Mum was telling me, "You're a grown man. You have to make your own decisions now." Blah blah blah. You know, I watched my brother at 16, 17, allowed to pierce themselves and stuff. Hey. You know what I mean? Like, I was yeah. allowed as well, and tattoos and stuff, and I didn't do it. Yeah. Let me, let me ask you, like, would, would you, do you lot agree with sparing the rod? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. What? He's basically I mean, I saying in in the Bible, yard, don't spare the rod, don't spoil the child. Basically, like, not beating your kids or beating your kids. I don't know what that is, man. But basically, are you, are you support beating your kids, basically? Am I what? Do you support, you support beating kids? kids? Yeah, it's my culture, man. <laughs> Discipline is everything. I know how how um, stiff necked pause and um, cantankerous we can be if not guided correctly. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Some of us need beating, some of us don't. But at what, yeah. age <laughs> what age does it stop? <laughs> Our parents didn't care anyway. <laughs> they didn't care if you needed it or you didn't need it. I know. Now, we we are able as parents now to make executive decisions where we never went ham like our parents went ham on us. No, no way. No way near. Uh, yeah. you know I mean? No way near. Oh, Just bare talking. Oh, hey, why are people trying to distinguish? I'm annoyed. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Just trying to distinguish between beating and slapping. It's not, it's I don't care, like... bros. When I beat you, I beat you, innit? Like, what are you dumb? Nah, but slapping and beating. Oh, well, there is a difference. There's a, a big abuse. difference between discipline mm. and abuse. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And with our parents, it was abuse. So now we can install discipline because we know I don't what think it was the extreme is. Times. I don't think it was abuse. No, no, no. That's you. I'm saying me. I got <laughs> no, I got, bro, I got beatings, bro. No, you I don't. Got... You wouldn't get beaten like me. It's a different time. Uh, bro, what? what? Come no, on. when your mom's young, I've got time and energy for that. I'm telling you, bro. It's different. Was, yeah, same thing, bro. Fled nostrils and all of that. You're going left, she's going left. You're going right, she's going right. All right, bro. <laughs> it's only good till to, to, like, I'm at my teens where I can actually even defend myself a little bit. 
You know what I mean? And as, as I said many times, my mom will pick up anything. You defended yourself. No, I, once. You was brave. Once. I could never do that, bro. I'd be brave. Once. It? once. And, it, and it, was, it was like, when I was, once was like 15 and a half, you know what I mean? 16 almost. Like, mom, you can't just keep putting your hands on me. Like, allow it. I just held her hands. And that was considered violence or some shit. She was like, was yeah, thinking. watch, watch. I'm going to call in my brothers. You put your hands on me. I said, oh, man. Man, 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 oh, man, oh, man. You never fight back, man, in those situations. Never. No fighting, bruvs. I'm just saying I held their hands like, bro, stop hitting me. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Is that not fair? You get me? No, nah, I weren't fair according to her. You're holding my hands. Huh? Like, oh, just man, what have I done? Me. What have I done? Just, just but me. all of these times of uh, rebellion and, like, I'm not having it no more, mom, went out the window as soon as I turned 16. I can't. I couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? She's like, you're a big man now. Blah, blah, blah. The house responsibility go down to your brother and sister who are kind of the same age. You know what I mean? There's like one year between them. So they're good. you got two people to clean the house and do all the chores now. Where it was just one. The eldest son did everything. <laughs> Shopping, you name it, cooking, everything. Picking up from school, all sorts. Taking letters to the council, all of that. Filling out forms and shit. I'm supposed to be at school. My team. <laughs> yeah. My team. You got to do what you got to do. You're, you're 10. You got to be responsible for your brother and sister. Don't open the door while your mom's at work. All of them things there, bro. That, it's normal, man. MJ, did it's what you, makes you a... Did you uh, get the rod as well? It looks like it's a uh, very African. Why are you saying it like that, man? Uh, did I? Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, Irish unfortunately, kids, man. yeah, but <laughs> clap I would say, and this is why I'm I'm always very clear, and there's been a distinction between uh, discipline and abuse, because in my experience, I would say, uh, I I was abused, right? My mom, <laughs> well, no, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah, come on. But I, I, and the reason I would say that is because I know my mom wasn't always, um, I don't know, it wasn't always done in in a disciplined kind of way, like, and maybe because when I got older, I got to understand that my mom has uh, some mental problems, right? Um, and obviously that may have affected her parenting, but I was beaten to the point where I was knocked unconscious by my mom. So for me, that's where I say, like, mm. yeah, that, that, yeah, that's abuse, that's do you know what I mean? That's not yeah, discipline. Yeah, yeah. When you're waking up half an hour late, like, what the fuck just happened? Mm. <laughs> you start out. to realize that, yeah, oh, this, this is level. Did you fall in here? Right, mommy, still. Or right. was it one? Was it one? I, I, Reggie, I, I can't even tell you. I can yeah, only tell like, you that I seen, I, I got kicked. And then I, I woke up in the car half right. an hour later in a different place. And I was just like, yeah, oh, shit, I, I don't know how I got here. <laughs> um, I can give you many examples of, yeah. of how my, my mom abused me. And that's why I, I always say if discipline, uh, physical chastisement should always be your last resort. And you should try to find, if you're going to parent, you should find a communication style and a parenting style that suits your, uh, your morals and how you want to bring up your children physical chastisement should always be the last resort and if you're going to use it know why you're using it and explain that to the child as well don't just beat them and expect yeah. that they're going to learn a lesson yeah. from our that. parents never did that yeah. it's the talking that even was worse than the beating yes yeah, yeah, the talking was worse you know but allow me man you beat me man let's allow it now and yeah, the you look gotta bring my father, you gotta bring yeah. all my generations into it. Also, <laughs> like, why? It's unnecessary. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever been beaten? Them? Have you ever been beaten? when you go to bed, you're still crying while you're sleeping, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I wish, I wish pause, someone else was my mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't live at my grandparents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mary, did you? Yeah. I shouted fucking bitch in the pillow and I swear she heard me. You know the ones there? Wow. What did you say? Nothing. Nothing. Nah, I was in my room, closed the door, didn't do it in the pillow. Mackie, you can cry too loud to get the next beating. What are you doing? You can get clapped anyway, man. Reggie, I know you're dying to ask me a ton of questions. Go on. No, I was just asking you. You, White uh, parents are raw, man. They used to beat their children on the bus, pull the pants down, and just do their thing, man. My mum used to look at me like, you see? You see? I, <laughs> <laughs> I got respect for you. I wait till yeah. we get home, in the comfort of our home, and then I'll beat you. That is respect. That's true. That's true. Yeah.
and all that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come and beat you later. Yeah, and send you up to your room. That's psychological stuff, man. That's the worst thing because yeah. now you're anticipating it. That's the right. worst. Right. Exactly. Any creeping yeah. up the stairs, he's just gone That's toilet. Right. Yeah, you can't sleep properly. Yeah, you get me. <laughs> Might never happen, but it's just yeah, the idea. It may not happen that day. It may not happen the next day when you don't expect yeah, like... it. <laughs> <laughs> all these you psychological know. games, all these uh, Guantanamo <laughs> Bay <laughs> tortures and that. You think it was just forgotten, and then the next thing you know, the belt. <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know remember me? Oh, oh shit! When your parents switch languages. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> They're just, they're talking that and then bam goes to that yeah, one and it goes it's into that like, oh, oh shit like some di- some dynamic now I, I know <laughs> I know from how she calls my name if I get the full middle names and everything the full name yeah it's full it's big for me did you, I'm, not did you ever nice, present I'm not looking forward to beating my kids man I just mm. Gary, I, was, I was gonna ask do you end up I'm not looking forward to that no uh, that again no. Reggie maybe asking, one of the did you end the up toughest resenting? kids ever mm. Did you end up resenting them? Because obviously, that you sound like you went, you was quite severe. At least that one that you described. Severe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, he's asking me. Matthew, you don't asking even me. know. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I would say, um, I'd say it took me quite a few years to understand uh, from the time I left home at 16 um, to maybe around. I suppose when I started to have my own children, right, um, I was very confused in that time of like, wow, how could a mom do that? And do that? and dealing with the family who kind of knew but didn't know things, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, there was definitely a few years of trying to figure it all out. And then when I had my own children and I realized what it is to have a child and love a child, mm-hmm. um, it, that's when it was like, wow, how could she really do that? Because... Like, if you love your child, how would you treat them like that? You know what I mean? So Mm. I definitely say there is uh, some resentment, but then there's also an understanding that I've um, gotten over the years of of my mom's mental state. Uh, She abused alcohol and drugs a lot as well, which I understand would have contributed to um, her behavior and her being out of control in many ways. So um, I I haven't necessarily held on to that resentment. There's always going to be that feeling of you could have done better as a parent and as my sole parent, because my dad wasn't allowed to be around in my life for a couple of years as well. So as a sole parent, you should have done better. Um, you know, those beatings weren't very nice. You know, the, those beatings that I had that I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to end up dead. Um, I had dreams that I was going to die before I reached the age of 18. And I believe that was because of uh, what I was going through. Do you know what I mean? But as I said, I have an understanding now of why she was that way. And that's why I I am very sort of anti-alcohol, anti-drugs, understanding yourself, understanding your state of mind, your mental health and all of these things so that I, I, I don't end up repeating those same things that I experienced. Um, I hear that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That, that one seems actually, uh, it's a bit surprising actually because it's very common, I think, in African homes for people to beat. And I didn't think it was so common in a, in a what would you say, white people's. Well, remember, I was brought up in Ireland. I wasn't brought up over here. So Irish people is different. Yeah, it's completely different. To but, 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 in saying that, Matthew, but like... I was going to say, but not all Irish people are like that. Do you know what I mean? My friends yeah. didn't have the same experiences that I had. And mm. also, I have to look at uh, my mum's upbringing as well. And my grandfather on my mum's side, he was a major in the army. And he was just all about discipline and beating. Mm-hmm. You step That's out right. of line, he's going to beat you. Um, my grandma had 12 children, so obviously they had 12 children to kind of discipline. And all I never met my grandfather, but all I've heard from people is that they feared him. His own children feared him, his wife feared him, the neighbours feared him. Um, so I think that a lot of those behaviours were probably learned as well. So it's something you have to have like an understanding of why people do what they do. And it's, it's not cultural, every man. Irish person's it's not every Irish person's experience, though, Matthew, mm. That's what I'm trying to say. Of course not. It's not every African person's experience, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I mean, got Reggie out here. Like, does that guy look like he's ever been through anything? Come on, man. You know what I mean? 
It's just normal, man. <laughs> like, yeah, we bougie as well, remember? But the idea of discipline is our main focus. It's not about abusing children. Or da -da -da. Yeah. As I said, right. again, Hang that, on. they'll beat you with whatever. They'll torture you. Do you know what I'm saying? They'll make you do all sorts of funny positions. You know what I mean? And, and like, yeah, it's torture, yeah. man. But yeah, it's hold on. also discipline. <laughs> Hold on, if if um has anybody <laughs> other than MJ been beaten to an extent where there's a um, mark has been left? Oh come on, bros. <laughs> stitches and shit. I got scars yeah, and shit. Like, bro, and like, man. please, yeah. bro. I got uh, well marks you know, all yeah. over my body. Do you get what I'm saying? Where people are like, what's that? Like, ah oh, so shit. That was when one time my mom beat me with the wire with the so you phone. Know, that, phone that's, that's classed as assault. Hmm? In today, in today, today. Yeah, in today's cool. society, cool. yes, um, 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 um thing. We've accepted that. But but our parents, as, our parents yeah. would be um, as assault, really. sorry. Our parents would be locked under the prison, according to yeah. modern day, well, you know, thing. But we're the, saying mm. where there's a generation now who yeah. never got that right, yeah. and that's us as parents and people yeah. after us. Yeah, they yeah. were. This is when the super nanny idea came in, naughty yeah. step, and all of this. Now, yeah, this gen yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that generation from that are running yeah. around with zombie knives. And you know, killing each other and all of that. So, <coughs> you know, there mm. might be something a case for <coughs> old school discipline. Mm. You know what I'm saying? There might you, be a case. Do you for classify it. as as abuse, um, not abuse, as Me? assault, Reggie? No, Reggie. Oh, Reggie. Reggie. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, well, because the law says it. What can I like? What does my opinion of it matter if the law says it is? It... Well, there's many opinions. Well, the people, law changed. People That's don't agree. Is. People don't agree. <laughs> marijuana is a drug, but the law says it's a drug. Like this is, you can have your own opinion irrespective of the law. Mm. So, from your answer, I'm assuming you you take it as yes, you see it as assault. Well, the way I see it is, if I was to do such a thing, yeah, and yeah. I was to say that I don't agree, <laughs> and I was to argue from you know as long as I can. Because the law says it is, I'm wasting my time, ain't I? You know what I'm saying? No. And I'm living here. So, okay, let's let's yeah. give a scenario because no, obviously someone. there's so many different levels of uh, of discipline or physical chastisement, right? So let's say um, you have a six year old and they go to touch something on the cooker and you slap their hand, right? So you give mm. it an actual, right? It's mm. it's an instant reaction for you, right? So it might yeah. it might be a bit harder than you intended, but you slap that child's hand now. And yeah. it may even leave a little mark, you know, fingerprints or something. Yeah. Reggie, would you consider that to be abuse? No, I would say that's not abuse, no. I would say mm. it was a mistake in that in that regard. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know why we uh, how people got to this stage where <laughs> it's almost like you can only you're only going to be able to discuss with your child, and uh, you got if you're going to smack, yeah, them, yeah, yeah. Has to be like a reason. That's the law. That's the law that changed yeah. or legislations that change. Yeah. yeah. So we are, we're aware of that, obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? These youths can pick up the phone now, start calling police, social services, where yeah. it was the parents doing it as a threat, like bringing the phone out and like, call them then. Yeah. 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 The problem then. is with social services, <laughs> things have changed. Anything can be a problem for them. So you may not yeah. even be. Uh, physically harming your child in any way but they can take your child away because of emotional harm yeah exactly you know and that, that, is, that could be classic what i'm saying is, uh, I'm saying is you don't own your own kids yeah once you signed that birth certificate huh, you gave up all rights for your children these are the you you said you're asking me what about you do you think it's a it's assault no it's not assault it's not assault no no it's not the, assault, the the thought that it's assault is a very westernized ideology mm. that is part of the reason why Wait. children are uh, children Wait, no longer are able nah. to be to the extent they're able to be disciplined in society. I think it's time. I think it's the time schedule because in the eighties, that, that yeah. <laughs> it's the, all of this shit is non-existent. What we're talking about, we've turned right. bougie even in England, right. right? Where they'll slap you, where the teacher will throw keys at you, where That's they had. Right. Um, uh, punishment, the slipper and the cane at school. Yeah. Like, come on, bros. Yeah. This is the England. Thing is, yeah, the thing is, yeah, we're we well. being their wife. 
Mark Cassidy. 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 Mark knocking them about and then when they get to an age where they're able to understand and comprehend their rights and then they turn to the law and say look mm-hmm. you have no <laughs> rights if you have yeah, no rights hold on the worst thing and the worst situation that could happen is them end up in care yeah because nobody wants that and yeah. they won't want it it's not mm-hmm. like the system's going to look after them better this is like mm. prison mm. basically <laughs> worst prison you can imagine yeah, you're playing with the child's emotions, his his stability, and all of that. It's you know, yeah. mm-hmm. and a lot more abuse can happen now. Yeah, yeah, under social care and all of that, because like there is no care. Yeah, so we don't want that for our children. And da, 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 even though they tell them, yeah, man, if your parents do this, you get me social services in it. Mm. No, but it's not really in it. It's that it's stupid like... NSPCC, that organiz- organization needs to be destroyed. I swear they're the most nosy people. They're the ones putting the posters up outside schools, inside schools, in community centers, <laughs> uh, children's wards in hospitals. Like they're or oh, they're like this medium between parents and social services. It hurts, and even a neighbor, even a neighbor can just phone up NSPCC. Mm. Oh, yeah. I-, I heard her shouting at her child. Oh, those children are being abused. <laughs> my friend, my friend got a daughter, a daughter taken away. Yeah. And that's real life. She's a smart girl, university <laughs> graduate, <laughs> top levels, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like at school, GCSEs, uh, A levels, or whatever. She was the don, right? <laughs> but I said, this is when bougie yeah, and ignorance to the system you work for or you're in, mm. da, 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 how they work. That's right. She must have That's smacked right. her daughter and the daughter's red skin. So she's gone to school and yeah. then they've asked, oh, how did you get that uh, mark on your arm or whatever? My mum did it, right? Mm. It's a social services thing, but it was more to do with what the mum said. Mm-hmm. Why the child got taken away? Do you get me? I'm like, Bob, you're a smart woman. Mm. Top level job and all that. Like, How did you not know speaking too much is speaking exactly, too much exactly right. say less right. when you're around those people say less or say nothing at all then it comes yeah. to a thing of visitation now i was yeah. gonna go visit the daughter i was so shocked yeah. a girl i've seen walking around i mean she brought her from a baby to you know to like seven eight and then all of a sudden this happens i was like ross mm. me and her fell out because i said the truth to her you know what I mean? yeah. So um, Shani just made a comment, right? Um, mm. Saying, but kids do get abused by their parents. Uh, oh, sorry, it's gone now. Let me read the they rest. Need the, these yeah. organizations to protect children. Right. Okay. Yeah, no, now, that, no, 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 but, but hold on, Matthew. She, she is right. There is uh, babies out there that are getting abused and need these organizations. However, these organizations mm. never seem to help the ones that need it. Because right. look at Baby P. Baby P was allowed to die. Baby P was seen by numerous professionals, right? right. Medical professionals, social services, right. all kinds of people, yeah? That the child ones. still ended up dead. Right. And I can tell you for a fact that there was innocent parents having their children taken off them at the same time that Baby P was allowed to die. So, yes, there is a need for these organizations, but these organizations don't do their job properly. They demonize parents that don't need the help, and the ones that do need the help, they they just whatever, isn't it? They're so, what's their purpose then? The what's their purpose? Yeah, Might as well not have it. Are we going to sit there and say, oh. yeah, we need it when, when we weigh up the pros Why and cons Baby and it's more cons than there? pros? Why wasn't so Baby P in care? Why was he man. allowed? Please, there was fucking so much risk around that child. There were so many issues around that child. He shouldn't have been left in that house. Who's with that responsible? Quick. They said the parents oh. weren't responsible, yeah? And social services. Exactly. Right? So throw social on their services radar. in the bin. Exactly. Yeah. Hold of them. Yeah? I know many social workers. Even though I'm saying what I'm saying, I know many social workers you and people what, yeah, work yeah. In, who work in social services, yeah? And... This, they've been under stress and case files that, like, 30-something case files for one person is not how it was supposed to be. 
Do you get it? Social so I know bare people. One of the lowest staff retention. Matthew, That's what I'm trying to they, say. I know. People man. get into that job, and I've known people that do it myself. That oh yeah, I'm going to be a social worker, and I'm going to help children, and da, 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 da. then they get into it, and they realise that they they with they have to stay within the rules of that job, so they're not allowed to do throw the it in the bin. To I'm to saying to help the families, and yeah. eventually they end up leaving because there's certain things that they just can't do. They yeah, but throw it in the bin, throw in the bin, throw in the bin, please. That's what I'm saying. Throw right in the bin. Let's not have it as an option. Because in my life, it's not an option. One second. Yeah, it's not an option. It wasn't an option in my parents. Do you get what I'm saying? It's, and we're not well, dealing with them. So there might be people out there abusing their children and all of that. Yeah. That's good luck for them. That's part of the system. That's why you're being governed over. Yeah, but people should be able to govern themselves. And they do on a day-to-day -day basis. What services do you need? That's right. You don't right. need you do these need, services. You... Hold on, one you, second, my brother. You, one you, second, my brother. Me, who's raised a family and all of that, like, you can't tell me what I need, bruv. Yeah? And I'm telling you, as a family, if you're correct and uh, upstanding and doing what you're supposed to do, where do you need these services at again? You don't need them. That's right. Right? Because they're already lying to my missus, telling her she's depressed after having baby and da da da, -da take these pills. Right? Yeah. Then... She, she might be drinking some wine during the day or whatever and smoking a little yeah. herbs. All of this is a is a recipe for disaster, fam. That's yeah? right. That's right. Based it's on true. what they're yeah. doing and saying and do the You know what I mean? True. It's like, you know? And then even a situation where we were separated was based on a difference of like 60 pounds. Yeah. yeah? Oh, don't you think she got to live somewhere else? Uh, uh, what? Yeah. My name's on the tenancy. Are you dumb? <laughs> like, why would I want to do that? Oh, no, because if I get single parent, did, 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 did I get more money? Huh? How much more money? Let me see. Did Darryl, the math. You know what? I tell you, like, one of my. I can give you that. Oh, no, wait. I can give you that, babes. Yeah, I earn enough. I get working tax credit. Child tax credit goes straight to you. Blah, blah, blah. Like, what's going on here? <clears throat> yeah, the system has made women money hungry and rely on the system because it's not the man them they're going to attack they expect us to go to work and that's it yeah <laughs> provide for our family provide for ourselves between the that? ages of certain age and certain age right so it would be my all the way up to 60 from your teens they don't want to hear from you you shouldn't be at the hospital you should be living a healthy life working providing da -da -da. that's the general line <coughs> that they want yeah? yeah, this is why men don't go doctors and all of these type of things unless something's broken or <laughs> clearly there's something wrong with you. Go to our own doctors. Mm. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, so I, I, I disagree. Question. Sorry, go on, sorry. Go, go. On, yeah, go. I disagree with the social services comment. I've um, so in my family we used to foster. We used to foster, and I I know that if it wasn't for that social services intervention, having them children come to our care these children would have been destroyed in life so they're like with everything there's negatives and positives yes yeah, certain things you you kind of need to yeah but social services said, ain't foster care though is it not? social services are they different foster care. are they part of they're it the they're part of it put, but social put services people. are the people that decide to put your kids in foster yeah. care yeah so, yeah, so, so so you as a you foster, can get foster really really important foster sorry cases but as you said it's because these people they're over they're, they're overstretched and it's an underfunded part of the um of the government so that's why it's not operating the way and you know why it. why it's underfunded oh, you have to go and check no. my people who now work for the nhs they're moaning and complaining as well about the same in the job you know so, um, shortages and all of that because mental health is the most draining on each borough and he's all right, cool. But you know what? Yeah. I hear all of this, most. yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, Raheem, Raheem, you see the yeah. money that they do put into um, foster care. Like, if we take just the foster care, for example, right? Mm. There's an allowance we know that's paid. Yeah, yeah. It's and big and money, obviously, man. that's if you're um, going directly with a local authority foster carer. Then you can also register as a private foster carer, and that's going to cost <laughs> the local authority uh, usually one and a half times what it would cost for one of their own, right? Mm. Now, if you think of the money that goes towards that, let's say it's minimum £300 a week, right, uh, That in fostering care allowance, and it can be a lot more in some cases. If that money was put into helping 
some of these families, right? Mm -hmm. Or or the 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 poverty that some of these families are facing, then a lot of these children, not saying all of them, but some of them may not even need to go into care. So yeah, I just see it's like the whole system. For that. You, do, you do get that. You do get that. There's um, a department there for that. Gonna, the you're going to fund that, that in there. He's going to fund into... that. Hmm? There is no government, government, the government, the local authority. No, 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 it's not saying there's money there to pay for us to care us. I respond. Go on, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, there is a certain amount of money that goes into it. Is mm. the story that I can tell is of um, a young African boy. I can't remember his name at the time, but it don't matter. But basically, <laughs> what happened is his mum. He was showering one time, and his mum just basically came into the shower, beat his ass, and then dashed him outside the front of the house like Stark is just covered mm -hmm. in soap. Yeah. So obviously, social work, social services got involved straight away, took him straight into care. They had to train and teach the mum. And invest into the mum, which obviously costs money in order to look after her mental well being and get her to understand what she can and cannot do as a parent and ways to discipline. Because I think it was linked to something about his room or a phone or both, something like that. And it's like getting to that standard to where you understand, rah, you can discipline your child, but you need to do it within these parameters. And a lot of it is about your emotional state, never discipline when emotional because that's when you end up taking it too far. So it's mm. like, there, there is a certain level of investment, but at the same time, there is also a financial drain on the people who uh, will look after those children. So that's why you get that extra, that, that money to look after. Yeah, them, no, and I'm not saying they like shouldn't that. get it at all, um, Raheem, but I've known of cases uh, where say, for example, um, a, foster, a child's been in foster care, right? Uh, not being happy at that placement. The foster carer isn't happy with the child either. The child decides to run away. Foster carer then hands in notice to say, yeah, I no, long I no longer want to look after this child. But that foster yeah, carer that. is still getting paid, right? And that foster carer was getting paid for, I don't know, two, three weeks, like a notice period type of thing. But then that child then had to go into another foster home. So in that case now, you've got two foster placements that are being paid. So to Man, me, that like, should have never happened. asking about money and funds, and we know that this government can make up funds. Like funds from the government isn't an issue. It's what they decide to do with it. Mm. And that's the problem for me. Yeah, no, I can agree with that. This, this makes no sense because mm. the same people who's created these systems, you want them to use the same money to sort our problems out. And this is what right. I was saying before, Raheem, no disrespect to you and that. African descendants um, in UK... I, I don't know if how old you are and that maybe a little bit uh, younger and that brother we used to fuck without the system knowing you mm. see what I'm saying mm -hmm. our parents Snipes has already made it clear and yep, stuff right yep. we, we used to oh there's a child <clears throat> no um, parents okay walk in the street come home this is what they used to do brother without the system knowing yep. midwives without the system yep. knowing delivering yep. African mm -hmm. babies mm -hmm. you understand That's brother right. so we don't need the system, Snipes is right. We just need a community to sort out what we used to do before. Yeah, I agree with it's you, Kel, it, you it, 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 but I don't think... I, I, go no, 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 no. And let me ask a question. Hold on. Go on. Go on. asked a question a few minutes ago of what do we do then? What is the solution if <laughs> we're not going to use children's services, right? No, I agree with Kale that this is where family should be stepping in. Right. Because if family steps in, they can help out, be it short term, long term, whatever right. it is, because the effect of a child going into care now, Raheem, it's not to put down yourself or anyone else that has been a foster carer. I know there's amazing foster carers and foster mm. families and placements and all sorts out there. However, the, the, when a child goes into care, there's, there's different... Um, Oh, I can't think of what I'm trying to say right now, but different stages, basically, right? So you'll have Horrible, that initial right? stage, they can be put in an emergency placement, then they can be moved on from somewhere yeah, else. Right, right, then right. that family might say, actually, we've got a holiday booked for a month, and because we don't have permission to take this child, child has to go somewhere else, right? So uh, I think it's something like the average foster child has an average of four and a half homes in their period in foster care, right? Right, and how many and, foster and children are abused? 
to. Uh, right. And I'm not even touching on the abuse. I'm just talking about the instability right, that they right. suffer <coughs> when they're in the system. Right. right. And then obviously we know there can be abuse, there can be this and all sorts thank that's you, happening. But yeah. what's happening for these like young, because remember, these are young people. They're going to be under 16 if they're in foster care. So the young people, their minds are still developing. They're detached from their families and they're not able to create relationships or or learn how to bond with other people because they're constantly getting moved around. And then the result that we have is what we're seeing in society today where people are just lost. They're completely lost. So I would say, like, I think whilst we're on this subject, like, it's really good if we can give some information as well. So anyone who does end up in the arena of social services, you can have what they call a kinship placement. And social services should always look for a kinship placement, which is family or friends, it doesn't even have to be family, that can sorry. look after your children instead of them going into it care. Was, it there is also, be, sorry, there is it also used to private, be automatic, MJ. Right, and there's also private uh, fostering arrangements which can be made between families. <coughs> However, <laughs> the, the law says, the law states that you should inform the local authority if it's for a period of over 28 days. Um, when you inform sorry. the local, hold on, when you inform the local authority, they will come and they will do a check and make sure everything's okay. And if everything's okay, they will go away and leave you alone with your private fostering arrangement. Oh, if they have any... Yeah, Maku, I hear all that, but I'm just trying to give <laughs> actual oh, for information I got you. I got you. for people that if they're ever in this situation, that, no man. people... Like, remember, I have I have uh, friends that will... Because I'm something that I do know a lot about. So I mm -hmm. have people that will call me and ask me for information. What should this person do? What should that person do? Oh, this, this person has just had a baby and they're not letting them take their baby to the hospital. What should they do? Like, so it's important that we do give the information for people regardless of what we think of it. So people know that there is alternatives out there. You don't always have to go down the route of social services. And if they do end up in your life, there is still choices. And that, that's why there should be more family setups and more communities available so that we can take care of each other's families if necessary. Yeah, uh, I, I agree um, with everything that you said. Just, I think, just, though, there still needs to be... Let's be realistic. For me, right? the only thing I disagree with what Kale said mm. earlier is that we, yes, we may have done it all ourselves back in the day, but it doesn't mean we don't need a system in place. Systems no. allow for regulation. Come on, bro. Systems allow for systems allow for regulation. Systems allow for when it's done correctly. Even if it's an intercommunity system, it's still a system. Yeah. Systems allow for compensation. So when it comes to to things, especially for your education, for child rearing, for the important things, financial care, it's extremely important to make sure that we have this balance between community and between um <coughs> between financial compensation. I see many. Listen, 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 listen. I let me sorry, just I've raised children and I'm saying fuck the community and fuck the government. Let me finish my sentence. Let me finish my sentence. I see many examples where you have issues of uh, of people not understanding how to raise children and people thinking they know too much about how to raise children. We need to collectively, as a, a, a group of people, not, not race, not nothing, just individuals as communities where you live, start to educate people. Because as they say, it takes a village to raise a child, not an individual. So, yeah. okay. Come on. And, and then and the, the, the problem is there's no village. Because what we're doing with our old people, we're stuffing them in old people's homes. Where, where we come from, they live in the house. Yeah. To their yeah, that don't happen. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so right, you're is, breaking up the structure. And hold on, hold on. House. You're hmm. taking an artificial one. And then I'm saying from people who probably don't even have children. That's right. How am I going to take a structure from village. someone who, who's gay or something? Or who, you know what I mean? Who hasn't even thought about having child, hates children. But yet you want to write policies and tell us what we must Are be doing sure? with our with our family. Because Fuck I say off. one thing that we say, there's no parenting handbook. So if there's no parenting ha handbook, what are you talking about structure? There's village structure. There's <laughs> a community. Right. There's, there's it's family. It's Hold on. Though, there's it? family oh. unit. Family first. Right. What are you talking about community? I don't care if Mr. Patel next door cares about my children. What does that mean? Mm. I've still got to raise them. I've still got to make, have... Uh, have them in a certain way that when he sees them, he said, "Oh, these are good kids." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No one's because no one's of what I've instilled. Hold on one second. Yeah, 
without the aids of social services and all of yeah. these things yeah the fact that you need them shows there's a problem that's right, right. and we're not surprised <laughs> there's a problem the way society is set up do you get it right but that's the point that's the point back to the so oh, here, oh, that some too. people there's yeah. problems that are beyond their capabilities MJ. and that's where they're going to need help MJ. like for example one second sorry reggie i know you're waiting to speak but one last thing um there's a project that i was involved in before and it was where parents with learning difficulties right so some of them might have been autistic or um uh, <laughs> able to read or write or whatever right and they fuck were you, deemed they were deemed as having, the, they were about to have their children taken away because they weren't simply able to understand the system, right? So as a, as a charity organization, we intervened, we helped them, we gave them a support person to help them through whatever it is that they need to navigate the system. And of the five families that we helped, four of them were able to keep their child at home because they got the support that they needed. The one that wasn't able to keep their child at home, that child went to a family member because that parent simply didn't have the capabilities that she needed to be able to give the child the best life at the time. So she decided to best send her to life. a family member. But in that case, like those people did, didn't did maybe have a family around that could help them or family around to help them navigate the system. So sometimes you do need a support system in place that isn't family or community because you may not have the family or community around because of how society is set be up honest. now. Yeah, but we're talking about social services. Hold on. We're talking about social services. We're clear in what we're talking about. Whether there's other charity organizations, independent organizations there to help. That's cool. And that's admirable. But we're talking about social services. We're talking about government run organizations. What are we talking about here? Right. But Mackie, why do you think that project was done? Yeah, but I'm saying we don't need it though. We don't need that. Yes, that was needed. That was needed. No, your project was needed, yeah. Right, sorry, so why, but hold on, that project was done as a <coughs> trial for us yeah. to show social services, right? This right. was the whole reason it was done, because we've done all of the costings and everything okay. to say, had you have put these children in care, this mm. is how much it would have cost you. This is how much it costs us to run this project. So right. therefore, it makes more sense you give us one-fifth of the money that it would mm -hmm. cost you to put these children in care for us to help those families That's and right. help them to stay together. Yeah. yeah, so what's wrong with that? No one's arguing against that. Nothing wrong with that, but the whole point services. is... No, the yeah, whole point is so, his social so, services. We're not yeah, talking about services, your thing or what you did. Hold on one second, man. Social services needs to do better. Hold really? on. I'm just saying, scrap social services. I'm saying that, yeah? Scrap no, it. Fuck that. Yeah? yeah. I know, I know, but your projects, hold on. Independent oh, projects man. by the community and da -da -da -da, those things should be supported, right? Can I say my piece? That's, right. that's village. It makes uh, sense, right? I, I, I agree with you, MJ. Like, mm, your project and things even was the, the perfect village, remedy services. under the circumstances. So because MJ. we do have social services there. We do have legislations that can allow them to take your child. Right, so, did but, that. So, but Matthew, my point is if social services mm -hmm. had a project like that themselves, right, instead of, you know, uh, uh, some next independent organization having to come up with that, if they had that kind of set up themselves, then mm -hmm. they wouldn't need to put children into care. They should be <coughs> helping the families more if and when they can, instead of just taking their kids away. Yeah, but you're not listening. I'm saying the system's changed over years before that was standard procedure. Yeah, it was definitely automatic. First port of call is any family members. Do you get it? That was standard before. So yeah, and, and like the likelihood was one of them were fostering anyway. And even if they weren't fostering, yeah, they got put on the register and da -da -da for taking this, you know, but we would do maybe for a year before maybe that might be necessary. But there's so many people really who've come to stay and and the only the only uh, authority all that right. uh, um, has been um, thing is their parents. So like, all right, all right. Like Let no me... no no. I'm saying my parents are, are Nigerian. Obviously, my girlfriend at the time I was 15, she was 15. Right, came to stay at my house. She's having problems at home and da da da. Because my mom knew her and knew her <laughs> mother, yeah, and could pick up the phone and call her. It was fine to for her to stay with me for like a year. 
and she brought two other friends as well who had a similar. You know what I mean? We do these right, things for Rashid, each other. I hear you, but it's right. different it's if, if, if uh, this, the, the social services ends up going and see the child in school. Someone's reported, mm. oh, they've got a bruise or something. So then it's not the choice is taken away yeah, from yeah, the family. Different. Then do you know what I mean? <laughs> So yeah, Mary, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary Jane. Oh, we social services. Oh, Lord. Go. Um, go, sorry. Can, I, can I present my, my screen? Just a, a, yeah, a short one. If you must. If I must, you know. No, presentation, presentation, presentation. Mm. So, yeah, like, this is an interesting thing right here, yeah? It says, like, the reason for, and you can probably go to another source, yeah, to like, validate this. But the reason for a child or young person going into care are numerous, but abuse or neglect are the most common, accounting for 63% of cases. Other reasons mm, include sure. family dysfunction, absent parents, or parental illness. <laughs> so when people say things like, oh, the rest of the family can uh, can perhaps get involved and look after them. Well, when you've got a dysfunctional family or you've got an abusive family and they're linked together, it, it's hardly, uh, what do no, you call it? Helpful. It's not very helpful. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Hold on. You know, you one know, number that, that's, that, that's is, one that is... That's, yeah, that but that is, has to be evaluated by a social worker. That is the rest of 100%. So what's that? Another no, that, that, 37%. That, that, that metric in the first place is invalid. That, it's not counting for corruption that exists inside of that industry. Right, the amount corruption. of megalomaniacal people that I've met in the social system, mm. literally people that are out. To, to, I had a, I got a whole video on it. A woman comes to my house. She's supposed to be a midwife there looking for baby. She's hitting me with bare sandristic attitudes coming in mm. my house, mm. refused to take her shoes off to go into the baby's nursery. This is a midwife. Mm. Woman didn't want to put clo uh, um, fucking gloves on her hand. You know the ones that want to touch up the baby, like mask on her face, don't want to touch up the baby. And I'm like, bro, we're in the middle of a fucking pandemic. It's funny right? though. Um, Sorry. No, Reggie, what I was going to say is, 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 is child that... abuse. Was child abuse, I mean, like uh, assault on a child <laughs> there? It wasn't what I didn't. Can I, I just finish? Yeah, 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 abuse. Yeah. Yeah. It did. It did say abuse. But when you look at that figure, it doesn't break down the rest of that. Um, of course, it does. Yes, that woman, that woman so left her house and reported as if we yeah. were child abusers, bro. Hold on, can we hear what Raheem is saying? That thirty-seven percent, the dis mm -hmm. family dysfunction may could own, could be. 30% or it could be the 7, it could be 3%, it could be 1%. Mm. It yeah. doesn't break that down, so we can't assume that because 63% are, are there right. because of abuse, we cannot lean on the family. No, no, it didn't say because of abuse. As that. No. You see, mostly it did, it said, because of neglect. 63% and, uh, 63% was because of abuse or neglect. Alright, so Raheem, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> or neglect um, and something else, wasn't it? Abuse and neglect. Uh, let, me get, let me get this here somewhere. Right, man, can't, man can't trust none of these Go back metrics. Up. I know, anyway, but um, still, Reggie, let's hear what they got to say. None of these metrics. People are only human. Second I know, bro. There you are. I know. Human so, Reggie, you in regards to what you're stuff. saying, right, as I explained earlier on, a kinship placement, as it's yeah, formally known, right, that's it, that's it, that's it. a kinship placement doesn't have to be a direct family member, doesn't have to be uh, the other parent, a brother, a sister, an mm. auntie, an uncle. Right. It can be a cousin. It can be a second cousin. It can even be a family friend right mm -hmm. there is many options when it comes to kinship placement look yeah. that up if you want to so you can break that down and understand it right yeah and that's what as i was saying um, um mj was the first port of call for them back in the day nowadays obviously things change and you know they're it should more be there. it should still be the same Maku. but what i tell you what happens right in some cases uh some cases you'll get uh, the parents who have their children taken away, obviously, it's a highly emotional time for them, right? So some parents will say, no, no, no. If I can't have my children, no one's having them. No, mm. they can't go to that uh, grandparent's house, right? Then, yeah. obviously, if you do put <laughs> someone forward for kinship placement, they need to be assessed. Now, if, let's say, for example, it's my child, and I say, right, I want a uh, grandparent to look after the child. If social services go to the, goes to that house now and doesn't believe that, the grandparents are able to keep my child safe from me. Let's say, for example, they think, ah, no, she, they're just going to let Mary Jen come in the house yeah, yeah. And, and see the child whatever, whenever she wants to. That's not deemed as safe. So that kinship placement won't be approved. The kinship placement will only be approved if they believe that child is going to keep 
if that family is going to keep the child safe. I don't even like any of this talk. It just makes me sick. The whole I know, I know, Matthew. It, it makes, makes me sick. sick as well. All of this is down to someone's opinion, I mean, someone's standards, and, and yeah, so someone is probably and metrosexual or some shit. Like it, you know I mean? And, and I mean, you're fully right, Vic, because I've had a friend of mine uh, who is vegetarian. She had social mm. services involved in her life. They mm. came around to do a house check, right? They looked in the fridge and they said, you don't have any meat in your fridge. In fact, you've got hardly any shopping in there. And the woman was like, yeah, but I do shop in like a couple of times a week. I don't mm. do a big shop. I don't have yeah. a car. So, you know, I pop into Asda every two, three days and get my shopping. But because this this a white English woman, I believe it was, didn't see any bacon or sausages in her fridge. <laughs> she was like, "Wait, no, you don't feed your children any meat." So Yo, that's, that's a personal, it, sure, that's sure. a personal that's thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, because some people are vegetarian. It's, it's anal. I, I believe, I believe in, the report, in the yeah. report, she didn't write. Oh, uh, you know, uh, oh, it's um, concerning because she's bringing her children up as vegetarian. In the report, it was there was a lack of food in the fridge and there yeah. was no fresh meat produce in the fridge. Yeah. The so woman, sometimes the, how the they do their reports, how these little uh, two minute qualified people are doing their reports, that's detrimental to these families. That's, 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 mm. Listen, it's, it, the woman that came to my yard is supposed to be a top midwife. She's supposed to be a supervisor midwife. And she literally left conflicting sentences within the same sentence, co contradiction in terms, three, four times in her report. So like she's saying, oh, yeah, I went through a round door, but later in the sentence she's going to say, oh, yeah, the door was square. Like she, she literally contradicting herself, like it's clean, clear lies. Do you know what I mean? My complaint went up. Yeah, the very they can easily make lies. They will go into people's house and say, I smelt weed in there when nobody smokes weed in there. Because she who's going to prove who's going to prove that the professional is wrong? And when that goes to court, who are they going to believe? They're going to believe the professional because apparently professionals never lie. Exactly. Yeah, well, but truth. again, 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 it's it's, it's it's all acceptance. It's all acceptance. You're accepting. You're allowing people to come into your house. Your thing. These are your personal boundaries. Like are being, and your personal liberties that are being uh, uh, really? infringed upon. When they do these things, man, it's just it's pure disrespect. So, what well, the best thing to do, as I said, just bruvs, do your best to stay out of their way of and course, um, the train out. your kids well not to snitch. Yeah, because they've got many different schemes within from primary school to secondary where they sit down with your child and mm -hmm. talk about what's going on at home. Mm. Remember, I I, I, get, what they do is they give them a blank face, mm. right, and they'll say, "Oh." What does your face look like when you're at home? Now, that child puts a sad face. Oh, my God, that's it. Like red flags everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this, this child drew a sad face. Oh, they must be suffering some abuse at home. Like, this is the bullshit, <laughs> the tactics that they're the trying to they, use they, on they, children. They are also teaching children not to conform. So if your parent, if you... Like How do they teach your children not to conform? They teach them in a way like they say, okay, how are you feeling today? Do you feel... Do you, do you feel like a like like a, like for example, someone might say, oh, "I'm a, I'm feeling like a woman." They'll say, oh, "Okay, fair enough. You feel like a woman. Express yourself like a woman. You can stop playing with these dolls. You can stop playing with the girls. You get what I'm saying? Like, and if your parents say, "No, no, 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 no. you don't need to be doing that kind of thing," they'll say that there's something wrong with your parents. That like your parents are just trying to are trying to make your parents are homophobic or they're transphobic. But you know what I'm saying? Like they do, they'll make sure that your child can do, get human. away with yeah. human. Uh, let me just address DJ H. He says there's a difference between lying and wrongly assessing the child's situation. I don't know any person in that arena that would lie willingly. I do. I know people right. that have lied. Yep, I know people yep, yep. that have copied and pasted the wrong children's notes into another child's notes and information has been uh, that's been assessed as being right information and then people have had to argue on it. Like mm. It's just a whole mess. Don't put anything beyond these people they will yeah, do whatever it takes to break up families okay, and up. And some of them as i said some of them as i know social workers some of them are stressed out man they explain it to me the caseload and all of that like husband, when she comes to my house the way that she treated me i could tell that she has an abusive life at home we're dealing with them but they so definitely they have other schemes that are like in between stages 
of instead of going to direct to social services. Do you know that they teach? They 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 got family, you know, some family help things where you know they'll 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 help you with anything that the family need, and there's there's a budget there for them within the council system. I think a lot of that's been taken away though uh, recently, Marcus. So it used to be um, home staff. I definitely know Um, somebody who has that job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that there's not uh, community organisations out there that exist and there's definitely voluntary voluntary levels of interaction that you can have with them. Um, So Homestart, but I believe Home Start they reduced the funding. Sure Start, to, it was sure sure start, start yeah. whatever it was. But basically, that funding is only for uh, families who have children under five. So once you're in five, now you become de- uh, once you're over five, mm. you and your child are then supposed to become dependent on the school for any of your social needs. So if you need uh, help with, I don't know, getting a, a food bank voucher, a referral to a local help group, parent group, child group, whatever it might may be, um, there's different levels, and then. Yeah, so like, and there is obviously, as I said, community organizations that may help and little bits of funding here and there, but it's not necessarily going to be open to every single person in every area. And maybe something that's specific to Haringey or or something that's specific to uh, families with disabled children or families who have been known to social services. Yeah, it's a lot. As I said, to get drawn in is easy. You know what I mean? It can be any circumstance that make social services come knocking on your door but how you deal and how you react to them might be uh, detrimental as i said if you get it wrong your child gets taken away i've oh, seen 100%. it with my own eyes you know what i mean i'm like rah they but really that's the that problem Matthew, system. because uh, imagine mm. if you're that person that is being threatened with that or that's been done to your child right your child being taken away imagine the emotions it's it's a very difficult time for parents to actually know what the fuck do I do? Do you know what I mean? And and there's no help for the parents in this situation. That's what I found is a big issue. Like parents will have their kids taken away. They'll have meetings with social services, psychologists, all of these people doing uh, mental and parenting assessments on them. But there is no actual support for the parents to help them to navigate their way through or to understand what's happening or even to understand that they're entitled to uh, legal aid uh, automatically if they're having their children. It's part of the fun in a sense. Oh yeah, I get you, I get you. But I'm saying part of the joy of raising children is that you don't know what's next. You you got what I'm saying? It's like you're making it up as you go along because, you know, that's what I was saying to you, that they're teaching children, not Mm. teaching children, they're teaching children that their children have the rights. The children yes. have the right to yes. do what yes. they want to do. Yes. And the parents have to work away around around it. Doing what do, yeah, what the doing what the child wants. Have you looked? So in other words, yeah, teaching them not to conform yeah. with their, their, their parents. Right. The parents are simps now. <laughs> the parents are simp. They they become simps. Yeah, exactly. Without having to take the power away from myself as the parent. Have you not heard of the Mackenzie friends? But you've taken the power away. Sorry. Have you heard of an organization called the Mackenzie Friends of Children? No, Basically, but I know what a Mackenzie free, friend is. They give you free legal advice. They uh, come to court with you. There's all barristers, lawyers that work for them. Like they're on Facebook. Like if you need help with anything like this, social services and court and whatever, yeah. they're the people to go to. That right. they'll they're like a central organized um, body. If you go to them, they'll send you to whoever's local in your area. So like they'll probably be meeting in a pub or something like that. You go along and they have a little jar, like a little whip brand, you stick like 20 quid in the jar, and then you get like legal aid like level help. You get like a lot like, of them you. do um pro bono, I believe, in that yeah, situation. That's it, yeah, bono. but also um I think so the Mackenzie thing, a Mackenzie friend is someone who can sit with you and yeah. support you throughout court, but they're not allowed to speak to the judge on your behalf, they're only allowed no, because... to speak to you. Yeah, it's like as if they're your friend, isn't it? Like, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Support with you, but you, they don't really know you. They're not your friend, but you know that they're qualified. No, but like anyone, they work. anyone yeah, can yeah, be a yeah, Mackenzie yeah, friend. Yeah, so, Khan, yeah. I could be a Mackenzie friend for you in yes. the court arena. Right? Yes. But I'm not allowed to address the judge. I'm only no. allowed to address you, you to help you to you understand you what to they're saying. The judge. You don't need to. You mm-hmm. do that through me. You tell me, yeah, say this or say that or do yeah, this. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Now now's the time to give this paper in. Or, do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah like they're that's really good. good. That's and that's even good. there's, um, if you go to court, like if you go to family law court, 
and you go to the office and you speak to them in there, they do have their own duty solicitors and duty barristers and that, that are there that will help you. That a lot of people don't know. They just turn up to court on the day, empty-handed, going, oh, I've got a hearing at three o'clock or whatever. But if you go to the court before your hearing and go to the office and speak to them and say, I want to talk <coughs> to like, whatever barrister you've got here today, they'll sit down with you for an hour and give you free legal advice. <laughs> You know, they don't advertise it. They don't tell anyone because they're already um, stretched to capacity. Yeah. Being, really being, 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 this is this is where being from somewhere else comes in handy. You know what I mean? How do you mean? The fact that I said to them, like, listen, I'm African, I'm Nigerian. Right. Yeah. That, that, it just kills everything. It's just like, oh, yeah, well, we understand, sir. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Whether I've been... Well, not every you know one I mean? of them is going to be like I'm that. Man. You're legal. not going to give a shit, but they're not no, going to no, no. care if you're I'm talking Nigerian. About illegal. No, no, no. I'm talking yeah, legally. Okay. So that means in the case where it's been brought before the police, do you get what I'm saying? And I've had to interview and blah, blah, blah. And when I've come in an interview and I've said, listen, which one of us wasn't disciplined as a child? Everyone's looking around like, yo, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we're living in a different age. So now if I slap my child, yeah, you're, you're, you're saying what? At the end of the You're day, to all slap I got your all, no hold on. All I got was a warning or something, and I, I just about accepted that. I was like, nah. If you yeah, want to, yeah, see, in, some cases, me, to in some cases, they're going to use that against you. They're going to say, oh, this parent believes mm. that it's okay to do this. Oh, this is even more of a problem. So what it all depends on believes? who you're dealing with. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're playing that. What a parent believes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What a parent believes and knows supersede what they're talking about no it don't <laughs> not in their eyes no 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 it sounds defeated it sounds defeated it sounds defeatist as a parent and a guardian yeah i know my responsibilities you're not telling me that the they can do the this and do that Matthew, to me what? what about the rights of the child what about the rights according, of the child i'm the parent and guardian according to the european yeah? um law convention are you not listening one are you not listening a child has certain rights I know. Which is enshrined in law. I know. But right? in my house, what rights does the child have? The, the same, same laws. The same laws. No, 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 no. The same laws that have always been implemented in my house. No. Nope. And they seem to work right. for me because I've never had social services yeah, or any of these child, departments. One second, come to my door. Like, like it. stop it, bruv. No, yeah? And well, I have discipline. Really hold on. Hold on. I'm not I'm not I'm not a disciplinarian. I, I have you. disciplined my child but what on I'm occasion. Is, Mike, Hold Mike, on, my brother. My Hold on, I'm my brother. You. And I've got the right. Look, look, look. Yeah? Give me a second. But when what I is defeat my is child, still, yeah, That's your business. My man. child is conforming to that himself. When I tell my but, child off, he knows that I'm telling him off out of love for him. And he's like, that's my dad. And that's what dads are supposed to do. And he yeah, accepts it. My, my kid ain't running to social services. Right. Dad, dad is hitting me. Because you trained them right, right? Right, because they understand that it's for their own good. And the same right. way he watches his brother getting licks, when it's his turn to get licks, he tells us to take his licks, <laughs> I like isn't that, it? I like that, right, right. But that's so cool. Knows, that's all cool that your child isn't going to say anything. And we're not saying, that, oh, every child is going running. But th there's nothing to stop your child going to school and have a bruise on their right. arm because they fell over. I and then that could saying, warrant a, a social service intervention. To, to to uh, in, once you. those people I are in your you. lives, mm -hmm. anything is possible. I right. double dare you. Yes. They've been knocking at the door. What goes on behind closed doors is a different matter. What, what you say like in, the, in a uh, legal framework, in a court of law, like mm. MJ saying, they will use that against you, bro. I say no, I never hired these services. standing up in court going, I hit my children, so what everybody does? Nah, bro. No, I, I mean, social never. services expect, like, I said, who like, wasn't beaten as a child? The, um, especially what they look for is marks in other places, like mm. on your back, on your torso. They say that when, if you're, if you go to the hospital with your child and your child's got a bruise on their face, doctors mm. aren't going to report that to so social services because they expect children to fall down. It's if they look at the child and there's a bruise on their ribs, that's all the rib cage area. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. when but they're like, um, oh, Raheem, Raheem, Raheem sorry, think, one yeah? second, can't Raheem? Let me just um say something though. That that's not always the case because exactly. any any bruise that is on the child, most yeah. doctors will ask. So let's say there is a bruise on the face, uh, the doctor will ask, Oh, how'd you get that how bruise? Did that happen? Yeah. And yeah. It, it dependent on the child's response or reaction. It's the response is what I'm that saying. That could warrant. Mm -hmm. 
that, no, that no, 100%, 100%. because if that child, if that let's say that child even chooses not to answer, that could yeah, be taken exactly. as a consent. Yeah, of yeah, they're yeah. afraid well, to say. Do you know what I mean? I the psychological mark, any mark welfare of that concern. child. But right. they, tell by so, that they wouldn't immediately report to social services if they saw a mark on the arm. They may, they may ask that question. They may not ask that question. It would be a question. Yeah, and, and it would doctors be, tend it's to more know more likely that they would ask a question for a, 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 an abdominal wound. Yeah, abdominal because you're 100% an correct. Face. At a certain age, there is bruises that they expect. So usually the bottom yeah, exactly. half of children's legs, there will uh, exactly. bruises there will be normal. Uh, marks on the arms will be normal, depending on, obviously, how they appear. But I'm just saying, like... You just never know, like anything, because there's so many cases where parents have been innocent, children are taken into hospital sometimes with medical conditions that are causing bruises, mm. and then yeah, the parents yeah, get blamed. Yeah. You know, there are so many cases where there isn't actual abuse going on, yeah. but somebody will make out like some abuse could be possibly going on. And then what happens is that will then kick off. Uh, section 47 assessment or whatever it is and then that can open more doors because that's when they start going into your house looking around and if that person sees something they don't like like oh she's not dusted her her skirting boards for the past like month or something like that even that shit could be written down what do you mean man <laughs> you're two birds with one stone get the child to fucking clean the scary boards. Mm. Yeah, but I'm, that's why I say it's scary. Once you open your doors to them, like yeah, anything right. is possible. Open the their door, perception man. of things it could be completely different from yours and not everyone has the same parenting style. Thank God. Anyway, oh, just, like, just like just like, just like the police force. Yeah, I've gone the majority of my life without need of them. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And if I did need them, it would be in a circumstance of an accident, something happened to someone, or da da da, and you say, call the police, call the police, or whatever, you know what I mean, on your estate or whatever, you know, or on the roadside. Yeah. But other than that, bro, min actions is minimal. Yeah. I govern over myself. Like, I, you know, I give compensation when necessary and all of these type of things. It's like, bruv, we need to start, stop relying. You think benefits is bad. No, all of this social services is even worse. It's not allowing people's development. As a society, we shouldn't be living like this. We shouldn't have all of these no, things. I don't agree. Because I don't agree. Some, of the, some of the places where we come from, they, yeah. they're, they're non-existent. We yeah, don't but, have yeah, but No, what, hold on, look, hold on. We, we don't have benefit. The other day about Sorry. mental health we don't have the benefit how in system. certain cultures it's not even recognised. Why is that? Because no, we're not saying it's not recognized. That we have here, and there's a lot of things that ain't recognized. Back no, home. we're not saying Child we don't recognize mental them. health, my brother. We no, don't, what I'm saying is we that recognize that everything. It's got its good side. Don't get me wrong, but like it, it, it's got like it's got its, it swings and roundabouts. Like there's my brother, we got different systems well. in place. We don't have old people's homes. So, exactly. You know, like they, these are things. I think we don't have. Uh, um, we might have mental institutions, but I doubt it. Yeah, nah, I haven't don't. seen any in my country. You know what I mean? But I know, obviously, people, they'll probably be in hospital, and yeah. if not, they'll be in somebody's compound as somebody's child or somebody's family member. You get what I'm saying? Either way, their life expectancy ain't going to be that great. Well, no, that's not necessarily true, as I said. Yeah? Because you don't know how people are living. You you assume that everybody's poor. No, it's not necessarily No, it ain't true. about the poor. I'm saying, like, people who got needs, mm -hmm. and their needs ain't getting met, they're going to have a lower life expectancy. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Anyway, but as I said, we're living in a big city. Even in in Nigeria, for example, it's like, yeah, you're not seeing mad people walking on the street. But you know, there's mad people, man. There's mad people. Yeah, but everywhere. they're locked up in a basement somewhere. Someone's got their grandma. No, actually, sometimes they are walking street. Chain them right? up they to are walking the street. A post like a dog, and they're like, "Well, if we release her, she's just gonna walk off, and we'll never see her again." What? So you chain her up like a dog? No, we keep her in the compound or in the. In the <laughs> That's in what the, I mean. The, this the, is why we the, must understand that in the boundaries of our of our of our yard and that like this is why we must understand are we still going to look after them negatives to mm. all aspects of every system that's in place no but i'm that's... saying that, that yeah the system that's in place which is all of it right i'm saying is 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 not really working that well yeah so and it we, needs reformation it doesn't need and we He's yeah, it does. It definitely does need it needs disbanded. to be changed. It does, it does, it does. No, I wouldn't say disbanded because it does a it does a lot of positive work as much as it does harm. It does well. Work. I'm saying and it's this, this only based on the environment, and if the environment 
it's forcing people to do these things to their children and you know go mental and you know the chemical imbalances because of all the choices that you can make or or the things that are out there for you as i said it's based on the environment that you're in that's that's again something that needs to and be they've made it in such change. a way hold on they've made it in such a way that everybody's reliant on the system so but yeah, yeah we want to be we want to be that. independent to some that. parts of it and then keep other parts of it. Nah, no, 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 no. that's it's the whole of it in the bin. The key word I keep mentioning: and live your life, reform. It's reformate. If you reform nah, something oh, no, and no. you get rid of you, you change and get rid of the negative aspects while keeping the things that work, and you change those things that are, like you said, the issues that are allowing these multiple choices, which are causing imbalance and incorrect trains of thought, then you fix that you, you fix the systemic problem and then the system will follow and enable you to work properly well wow, my when, youngest is my youngest when these is systems 16. when these systems were created mm -hmm. and you had these mass issues they did good things and they fixed problems and yeah. then it became overstretched and yeah. it doesn't work as well as it is as it and now it's run as by bureaucrats right exactly as a so Again. you need for a reformation of the system in its entirety you but don't bureaucrats need and, and the the, these the, the, perhaps please Let's let's be let's be honest, man. Yeah, it doesn't work. So what, you know, what doesn't like work? you're What's saying, it's the system Specify that we it. we're living under. Yeah, it doesn't what work. Do bro. Of course, it does. We're, but we want to well, sell it. Hold on, one fine, second, bro. We we're saying this capitalist, uh, uh, yeah. democratic society that we live yeah. in. It's perfectly works. good. Yeah, of course it does. Perfectly. Yeah. Then What's wrong all with of it? these institutes and all of these things wouldn't be needed, right? No, the, the oh, 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 no, 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 is the expression of the. So, uh, what are we in, in the golden getting. age? Oh, please, it's the help that you're yeah. getting. Isn't if you've it? got mental institutions, that yeah. means there's mental health where you are. But that's genetic. You, there's always going to be on, mental health people. No, of course it is. What's outside? No, then? no, I mean, no, not mental health institutions. No, yeah, there's always going to be mad people. Yeah, that's true. In yeah. varying degrees and blah, but what yeah. institutions, old people's homes, these are new. These are new. This yeah. is not the way the English used to live, bro. I'm telling you. Right. So, so now these things are, are better now, these, isn't it? These are these are these are things brought by uh policy and yeah. and um governments and you know old people say about the government thing, man. Right. That's, and it's an acts of parliament and did it what sorry? Old people homes aren't acts of parliament. They are. So, are they part of the NHS? Since when, since when hold they, on, hold on, hold on. Are the old people's home part of the NHS? Just because they're part of the NHS doesn't mean that they're uh, part, it, they're Hold part on. Of the nah. like, hold you hold on, man. When, when I'm answering, you can't tell me, hold but on. But you're saying something wrong. I'm saying, like, uh, the NHS is what that, 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 that is that, that, that department, right? Or the social NHS, services or both, blah, blah, blah. Get, Do you get what I'm saying? No. Both privately funded. And NHS um, retired uh, adult living or adult care or whatever they call them nowadays. Yeah, yeah. old people. So What's your point though? What you you mean? Don't, it doesn't mean yeah. that it's a legislative thing. Of course if, it is. If, uh, it is a legislative thing. How they run because the during COVID, care, hold on one second. It's during COVID, it, it became a legislative thing. Of course it is. Where they're saying that even your yeah, GP, even your GP what, surgeries run what, sorry? in that same way. What? I don't understand what you're trying Legis to say, um, Raheem. What legislation covers old people's homes. Please tell me. Yes, what? I'm telling you now. The medicine that they, they got give COVID them, legislation where they source that the medicine their, from, this is all now. regulated. Where they can hire this staff from, how this staff's trained, the facilities that's required and provided, it's all legislated. All of it. What's the legislation? Is the question I've asked you. Oh, now you're going too far. I'm not going too far. The fact is, that go and ask that. No, sorry, sorry. Ask him to go and ask the health secretary. One second. If the NHS mm. tomorrow said we are no longer providing old people's care homes on the NHS, you would go and fund it privately. The same thing. But they the did that legislation is still the same. The care, they the private companies have to adhere to the to that the system that's in place. Thing. That's correct. That's There's correct. no legislation. There's no legislation oh about old people's homes at all. Oh, Raheem, exactly. Bro. What are we doing here? These old what people's that, homes man? are mostly privately run organizations. Yeah, but they have to go by so the what? government's guidelines. Yes, they can't yes but the government, there's no legislation that says that they need to be there. Exactly. They just have to no, follow oh, no, the guidelines that, no. if they're going to run that. that. We know that they are there now, yeah, but the main ones were always government funded and operated. Like that, course, that's why there's a health secretary because, and then during COVID, it was a very important thing that they talk about hospitals and 
all of them. Hospital. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, yes. You got know what I'm saying? Yes, they're all yes, coming inside. There is, so there's then legislation, there is legislation to, to cover you. the cost, to cover the cost. No, not cost. To cover the cost. And how Sorry. these places are run, right? That's all yeah. it is, and it's only because no, what people. What do you mean? That's all some... it is. How can that's it be the most all it is? Thing. It is. No, it's not. The most important thing is the families that don't look after their old people that decide to put them in there, right? No. Yeah, that's all it is. Now, injured, and if and if you're not a rich family oh, and is... you cannot afford yourself to pay for your parent to be in there, then there is now government legislation which means that they can take money from the health and social care funds towards the cost of your old person being in a care home. But most of these care homes are still run by private organizations and it is the families that decide to put them in there, not the government. Do the private in right, institutions right. have the right to make their own rules, regulations and laws and in uh, regards to how they so long, as, Yeah, so long as they member. stay within the legislation. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, but the legislation <laughs> isn't, her <laughs> law, <laughs> the legislation <laughs> isn't telling them to what exist, doing, is right? it? Mike, what's going on here? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, there's a man. Man. Oh, yeah, I'm leaving you lot to it because yeah, you're yeah, just because I think you're passionate. It I think you're passionate about it. No, I and think uh, what I'm trying to do is just stick to the facts in it, and I'm hearing a yeah, lot of so, bullshit. So that when just you say, ain't correct. Sorry, sorry, sorry. When we're talking about, remember when we was talking about when the government was talking about COVID. I'm um, sorry, the the badge and all of these type of things, right? The first thing that was mentioned was the hospitals and care homes. Right, yes, because that's protected why. Life. Because that's what the government has control over, right? That's we're not right. saying every single one, yeah. The but we're saying that the, they have the majority. But yes, give, this is and and the reason is because of the NHS. Exactly. Remember, they no, work in tandem no, with me, each other. Let me give you an one example. Let me give you and an who example. who 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 no, no. runs the national health service? Is that today, not government? Is that not a government today? You can set foot in a care home without mm. wearing a face mask. You can go on the street right. without a face mask. You sit in your house without a face mask. You get on a bus without a face mask. You cannot step foot in an old people's home, a care mm. home, or anything like that without a face mask. Who mm. enforced that law and put that law in place? The government. No, 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 some no, of the no, government no, don't that. run the show. They can via the you NHS, the via their health secretary. Hold on, via their health secretary who runs policy. That's Come on, my my brother. This yeah. is down to the individual that is down to the individual places You're and the policies hearing. that they have in place. It's not. That will allow, yes, it it's is. It's not. It's and not. How can you have policy in it's place? Law. That's not by the you government. When they put in a care home without a face mask a day laws, in this country. When they stopped the, the C word laws, that all changed. You are no longer mandatory to in any place. Yes, like, you are. It's mandatory. It's not mandatory. It is not mandatory to wear in Brother, the what are you about? any of it. It is down to, <laughs> oh my it's down God. to the place that you go it's to. It's not. It is. It's Hold across on. the Let board. Finish, man. It's regulated from Let the top finish. down, Raheem. Let me yes. finish. Let me finish speaking. Yeah? It is no longer mandatory for you to wear a mask anywhere you MJ, go. MJ, you there. I beg you oh, pull, pull up the thing on this. Man. I beg you, pull up the stats on this, on the Can thing. Pull it up. I know I'm pull right. it up, man. Man's waffling. You I know you for a fact you're waffling. I don't even know. Oh, what, what's the no, argument? Up, man. That you cannot step foot in a care home without mm. a face mask. And that is regulated from the top down. That means that when someone at the top made that decision, it covers mm. every care home in the UK, apart from Scotland. Okay. When it came to, when it came to the whole uh, pandemic thing, right, yes. there was a list of priorities. And that list of priorities was based on the risk to each of the, the people in right. the categories. Right, so the right. risk was deemed as uh, bigger to those who were in a certain age category, mm -hmm. then it would be uh, the carers, et cetera, because of, the, because of the fact that they would uh, potentially spread it. So, you know, like when it comes to that particular piece of uh, legislation or rules or whatever was put in at the time, like that was based off like all kinds of statistics that we could spend all day breaking down. Do you know what I mean? But as to Revo, like you can go into a care home, a care with home. You're off now. I don't know. I don't see. I hardly see anyone wearing masks these days. I don't think it's. Um, I'm telling you that in the United Kingdom, it's a I'm law. Still. You cannot go in a care home without a face mask. I today. don't think it's mandatory. It's not a law. Mandatory. Let's, let's I'm telling you. I don't. I don't law. think it is. Google it then. Prove me wrong. All right. Can I visit a? As I was saying, it's down to the individual establishment and their policies and processes. They I'm don't saying, have the right to make sorry, those individual sorry. decisions. Uh, yes, they well, do have the right. Can, to can we that. say like hospices? All right, let's go hospice. 
for example. No, no, no. Care home. What, care what's home. yeah, your care home's cool, but I'm saying hospice is is semi another stage, right? You could win in a care home and then they move you to hospice, right? The link in that is the NHS. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So as a right. and then the, the government you. link is the social the, the the care workers themselves because they're yeah. civil servants, are they not? Of course, of course they right. are. Right. So that's government all over the place. They're run by government policy. So when you say there's no policies thing, I don't know it's what do you expect the health secretary. That. Yeah, the health secretary be uh, his role is yeah if he has no policies to change and administer and you know add new ones and and we can clearly hear that's what's been going on because there's been a big change from maybe 10 20 years ago to now so we're not surprised about anything that anyone's saying but i'm just saying look at this imagine 10 20 years ago this was very minimal there were social workers they were not only these little little parameters they were not all these restrictions on parents there were not all of these you know what i mean these just came over time and now we're at where we're at in the 2000s and and 20s uh talking about these things like they've always been there and they haven't do you get it and uh, again so... it's it's down to the individual to to say i'm going to use these uh these uh um policies and these functions all right and so these, from uh, the nhs institutes. website mm. yeah. as a family or friend you do not need to physically distance from your loved ones or wear a covering or mask while you are visiting a care home however you Thank may you. choose to do this you should also follow any infection prevention and control measures as instructed by individual care home staff thank you mm. also from i put the link in the back from the department of health and social care's website where it's uh, obviously .gov. It says there's no nationally, no nationality, nationally set directive restrictions on visiting care homes. Then if you scroll down, it goes additional uh, measures may therefore be in place to facilitate villas visiting while keeping care homes, blah, blah, mm. blah. And it says that this was withdrawn on this guidance was withdrawn on the 1st of April 2022. Jeez. So thank you very much. You mm. cannot tell me. First that of what? Law that you First of April. Must wear a mask. Oh, no, 1st of Bruh, April. But these I... people are lying to me, boy. No, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, home. I was outside, on, wait, wait. you can't come in without a mask. I'm not if it's lie. only April of this year, come on, yeah, that's, that's look where choice. we are. Yeah, that's but hold choice. on, hold on, my brother. If it's only been changed this year, then what Khan was saying was the truth then. Like, it's not that it wasn't true, no, but as I not, said, he... they keep changing government policies, right? And it's government Bro, it, it that you had to go to. Hold on, my argument was... It's all government based. That that was my argument, and that the format and that the 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 parameters that they have to go by, even if they're independent care home, is based on government policy. That's it. Yeah. So were you saying there's no policy for old people, <laughs> Bruh, There is, and care homes. Yes, there is, bro. And there is a no guideline. There is no legal guidelines. Oh my brother, that, that the, the place, the building provide. itself is a guideline. Is part no, of. Right. The system it, is, it is because it's what, it's what they have deemed as being morally needed. As okay. one, I gave the example, at one point in time, they felt that everyone on the NHS was entitled to cosmic surg cosmetic surgery. Now they do not provide cosmetic surgery because they have changed their stance and they say it is not a mandatory thing for your mm -hmm. health care. If they somehow prove that it is not beneficial for society to provide care for people in, in care homes, be they mm -hmm. adults, be they children, it will get removed from the NHS and you will have to fund that yourself. Right. This is a fact. But again, it's the government... Law that yeah, when, when, when we say NHS, we're talking about the government, are we not? A department of the government, are we not? Bro, you're not listening to what I'm saying, bro. I'm just asking, are, are we not talking about government when we're talking about NHS? Of course we are. Okay, there is no the, law saying the irony must... Is, yeah, right, but I, I'm not about the face mask thing. That's you not my argument. there's no anyway. legislation in correct. place because the legislation you, that you was in place got removed. You just so basically, admitted. you're showing that the framework for the said. legislation was actually there. Yeah, that's it. There's no argument. It's just, uh, just take your L, man. <laughs> I don't know why you was arguing so vehemently about policy and all of that. When you know, once you say policy and once you say legislation and all of that, yeah, you're dealing it's with from the, the top down, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it is. There's always a format. You don't think they just put people in old people's homes and that's it. No. And then they're freestyling the care that they give them. Right. 
That's like me making a Turkish care home for Turkish people and saying, nah, we've got different rules. We go to bed uh, when it's <laughs> night time in Turkey and yeah. wake up when it's night. Uh, you can do uh, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't can do, do that. that. <laughs> of course you can. You have to wake up when it's uh, breakfast time in England, not in Turkey. No. Come on. No. What time does breakfast end? Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> right. no. Are we doing right. this really? He's one of them but stubborn cats. Yeah, <laughs> Are so we doing this really? Otherwise, that means yeah. they're they're Raheem, that means bro. That's just a silly thing. But if you want to conform, that's up to you, though, Raheem. But as I said, be mindful that when it comes to these searching services and these agencies, these government agencies, yeah, I'm I'm dubious to say that these things are to the benefit of the people in the in the majority, even in the main. Yeah, there are going to be cases that need it, and because of the environment that we're living, live in, yeah, it's 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 only going to be a consequence. That we're going to get people like this because the aspirations, the way they do it now, is that you make money. One, you move out the area you grew up in, go and find a nice house in the country or whatever, mansion or whatever. Yeah. And you forget your friends, you forget your family. You get me? You forget your siblings, you just do you and your new family and uh, the house, the cat, the dog, and all of that. And the two point something children. You know what I'm saying? So oh, a lot of factors are affecting our society. And now, again, they are there to help us. This is the impression they're trying to give us. No matter what the part we're talking, yeah. I think it's a balance between the two. There's always going to be their own personal motives. However, they need I, people. Yeah, I, I do believe, I do agree with you, but I, I believe that here in the now, in England, yes, right? But where we're coming from and all of that, we have other examples of how to do things without it. We don't have a social care system. We don't have a, a benefit system. We don't have these systems. So that means you really got to survive. You really got to, you know, do what you need to do to make way in the world. Because in other places, there, there's, there's a lot more going on and you need your family. You need that structure. And it's there, you know what I mean? So here it can be dysfunctional, definitely. But we're not going to have in, uh, in my country, in Nigeria, like someone coming around to check on the da -da -da of having people in the yard. Like, no, 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 no. I don't think that's a beneficial thing. I don't, I really don't. You know what I mean? But it's just because of government policy as well. Signing the birth, birth certificate for the child gave them all the rights. They can do what they want. They can experiment on us, socially, medically, and everything. You know? That's why they talk about general practitioner. That nigga Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that's you. the system. I'll say that's an abuse of the system. No, it, I feel it's the, the people system that created give you the it, system right? can abuse it on you as well, yeah. No, the, the system setting up for you to want something from them, that's semi-abuse. You get it? become reliant on them. Everybody wants to be independent, but at the same time, they want the safety net. Well, I'm telling you, in other countries, they don't have the safety net, and they do just fine. So we have other examples. We don't have to look at our own British model and say, yeah, it just needs reform. No, nah, but it might need reforming or whatever you think, but it, do you need reforming? Do your environment need reforming? No, it doesn't. You're still going to do your day-to-day, -day, live how you live, stay out of trouble, you know, try and make yeah. a little corn, da -da -da -da, have these conversations. Like, where is the need for social service, police? Do you get me? Mm -hmm. Ambulance service and all of these things if you're living healthily and right and da -da -da -da, you know what I mean? Obviously, accidents do happen. Yeah? And you, yeah. you, you think that they're there for that. Yeah? Accident and emergency. We help, we thank that. And delivering your children. We thank for that. But these other little bits and pieces about, yeah, your mental health and if you're right to be a parent, I'm to asking the question still. Who's 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 asking this of me? Uh, is can it I, from can I just say is it from the yeah. Queen's point of view? Imagine how much <laughs> let me just make a point. Right. I don't know. Make a point. Mm. Let's say for example, Mammals, yeah. a, sorry, who's speaking? All right, cool. Let me just quickly say. Go. There's a um, certain amount of children in the UK 
that at the right age when they're growing who, who they need their, their right nutrition mm. they're not receiving it because their parents are either poor or they're alcoholic or they don't know anything yeah. about nutrition whatever it is so the government now asked the, the scientists like what can we do about this they're like do you know what what we'll do is we'll give all the kids whether they're rich poor black white or pink yeah we'll give them one good school meal a day which is nutritionally balanced so whatever that kid's eating for breakfast or, or lunch, or sorry, dinner at home, ain't really going to matter because he's getting his one solid school meal. So basically, we're living in a country mm. where parents can't be trusted to feed their children correctly. The government, in an indirect way, slyly has come in and said, right, we're going to regulate these school dinners and we're going to make sure everybody gets at least one meal a day. Yeah, but that's now, not you fair. Might say that's they're not fair on the power parents. Away from Sorry, the parents. No, it's not. The parents might want to feed their children halal, or they might want to feed them vegan or vegetarian or whatever. And the parents ain't gonna have that control when the child's at school, really, because the child Sorry. Can, can do a little sly little move and go and eat a bacon roll. So, who's just, you know responsible I mean? for your children when oh, they're ain't at school? Be there. Khan, who's responsible huh? for your children when they're at school, yeah. if not the school? Right? Say that again. Who's responsible for your children? When the school, they're at school, they got the duty of care, right? So remember, this thing was based on Jamie Oliver, right? This whole change in the menu and all of that, yeah, right. It's based on yeah. Jamie Oliver. It was Jamie yeah. Oliver that did the campaign and went into the schools. But he did that in America. He didn't do no, that in England, did he? He did that in England. Yeah. Oh he yeah. Said, he did do look, what in England they, well. look what they're doing. Look what they like, look what they're feeding the kids. Yeah, the kids they got him to front and eating, it. They got him to front it. The chicken and chips and that. I yeah, know yeah, bear yeah. use, you know what I mean, around my area, like, yeah, once the school time done, around 3, 30, 4 o'clock, yeah, packed out all the little chicken shops and all of that, you know what yeah. I mean, go to yeah, Bounce Green yeah. or something, and it's like, rah, nah, yeah, bear yeah. use, you know what I mean, yeah. and then there's something in there, I swear they're putting sugar in the fucking mixture or something, Crack these kids are leaving out of there, <laughs> hype, thank you, getting, fighting each other, rolling down the road, you know what I mean, bare times. I've That's even what had happens one... when you feed people correctly. They got energy. I had one set of youths because um, there was a school next to the barber shop where they beat up my friend's mum at the bus stop. He was mad, livid. You can't she's blame about, Oliver for that. Man, she's got about it? five sons. Nah, she's got about five sons and about three daughters and whatever, right? And she lives across the road from the thing. So the son don't live there. He just obviously comes uh, now and again and sees his mum or whatever, right? So he's come to me. And he said, Mike, yeah, man, them utes. I said, yeah, them utes at the bus stop, always. I noticed there's police there now, yeah, when they break up from school. Oh, I yeah? know that bus stop you mean. Right. And it was like, yeah, and, and, then, and then it's near the bridge, right? It's near yeah, the bridge yeah, when yeah, you're coming yeah, off yeah, the yeah. A4. There's always a security guard there now. Right. There's always security or police, you know what I mean? Or their little van. They'll even put the van there. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? Because yeah, the kids were so rowdy. That. But I feel that it was around... Around about the time Jamie Oliver was doing this thing and about the diet and all of that, you know what I mean? And I agreed because I thought, yeah, for real, all the chicken shops around here, Matt, Dixie, you name it, Tennessee, yeah, <laughs> Dallas, <laughs> yeah, yeah all of that, rich. yeah, Someone's rinse lunchtime. <laughs> and it was like bare schools around me, primary schools, secondary schools, you know what I mean? There's a lot of them around me, so, yeah. But here's what crazy. I'm saying, though, the government, yeah, mm. they can only do them sort of moves. They can only make those decisions across the board. Like they can't hire no. individual nutritionists. No, what they did, they got baited, didn't it? You're right. They got baited and then had to make policy. Yeah. yeah. So You're it right, goes right, always right. from the top down, isn't it? So when they make right. their decision, it's always going to be overzealous, controlling, over the top. Like it's always going to be taking away your power. It's and what's the joke? And what's your the rights. joke about that? It's always going to be that. Hear this as well to go with what we're saying is that a lot of schools are what? Private. Yeah. So even though they're private, what, they no, still have what they to run... Academies. Academies. Right. Yeah. Even if the, 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 the same edu uh, the, the curriculum is still provided by... Do you get it? Yeah. Yeah? And even when it comes to the diet and what they're eating in the schools is yeah. still regulated by the government. Yes. Do you get it? So they're yeah. still sticking to government guidelines, even though they're supposedly independent. Because what how would you do, work what, what without doing, a framework? What they're doing is the same mm. thing that um, high street shops have to do. So basically, this all comes down to one guy yeah, who mm. tried to sue McDonald's and say that McDonald's made him fat. 
right? So now McDonald's has to put salad on the menu exactly. to prove that when you choose to eat a Big Mac meal, you mm. had the choice of eating a salad, so That's you awesome. chose the Big Mac meal yourself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they so change up the game. Now, McDonald's yeah, a lot of salad on the menu because yeah, it saves course. them from being sued. Yeah, of course, because right? it was so embarrassing. The schools do that too. The schools will say, "Okay, we're going to put on, let's say, a lasagna, yeah, and yeah. do a healthy lasagna, but we're going to give you the option of eating burger and chips." Mm. Do you get me? Whereas yeah. it, back in the day, you might not have had the healthy option there. Now at least you got the option. It might be plant based as well now. Yeah, they do little <laughs> plant based burgers. <laughs> plant based burgers. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm still not eating that. I was free dinners <laughs> and I never ate school dinners, man. I had but once. This... I said, let me try it when I was before I was about to leave. Yeah. And I ended up with food poisoning. Wow, that's crazy. Away. Yeah, man. So yeah, yes, the man. diet in school was mad. Man was getting out for lunch every single time opportunity man could. Yeah. You know I mean? When you get to a certain age, you're out anyway, isn't it? Yeah, get a special. Sneaking out through the back. <laughs> yeah, just getting the Donna meat and chips. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's all your budget can afford, bro. Yeah. Two fifth. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting Donna meat and chips. Like, don't lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> people want to, girls want to steal your Donna meat and all sorts. <laughs> back in the day, people used to walk all the way to Highbury Corner mm. and get um, chips with curry sauce. Right. This right, guy was right. doing some sick curry sauce, bruv. Kids were coming from miles around. Mm. Cocaine in it. Another one with cocaine. Sauce. Another one. <laughs> Another Chips one who's putting some, some other other substance in the curry sauce. You know I don't know what it's putting in there, bro. It's like, it's, this is addictive. Yeah. You know I mean? well, I'm seeing people walking down the road, yeah, eating <laughs> chips with a fork. I'm like, why are you eating chips with a fork? And they're like, yeah, because it's covered in this curry sauce. I'm like, oh, shit. Let me try that. Hey, <laughs> when I was going to school, there was this place named Corner Cafe. On White Lane, right, right next to my school, and it was a proper cap. But they did chips, yeah, yeah. And uh, there was something in the tomato ketchup, bro. I've never had twangy <laughs> tomato ketchup like this. You know the ones there, like <laughs> make your eyes water and that. Like, Wee! But it tastes good at the same time. You're like, yeah, it's like you're getting it for the tomato ketchup. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, wow, yeah. this is special. Where'd you get this corner calf? It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Even though we had chip king around the corner. You know what I mean? There was other places we could go, but sometimes the budget wasn't that. But Corner Cafe, yeah, yeah there was something in the fucking ketchup. I swear. Yeah. You get me? It's got to be somewhere near cocaine. <clears throat> there was Coke in the Coke Coca Cola, and my white friend who I used to walk to school with every day was <laughs> my white friend. No, he, <laughs> my, yeah, my, was... my one white friend. No, nah, but not one. <laughs> but the one I walked to school with. I'm saying okay. one of the guys I walked to school with. Yeah. And I know him, like, he wanted to be a snooker player. And I'm telling you, this fucking uh, Coca-Cola habit that he drinks one every morning before on the way to school. Yeah. yeah? And I said, look at him. And did it, did it. And then it's like, as we're growing, because every school I went to, I left and went to, he came there as well. But it's like, bro, when I started growing, he stopped growing, bro. From yeah. the earliest outset, yeah, he stayed yeah. short. Yeah, that can happen. That can and imagine happen. you want to be a snooker player. Yeah, you can't get around Bro, the table like that. Man, innit? tiny, you know. Right? Yeah, you can't do it. <laughs> tiny. But then they, they came out with the thing that there's something in the Coca Cola a couple years later, by the time I'm a third year or something. And then it made me realize, oh shit, Nickel Man was 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 licking back the coat every morning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> nah. The fact that he made his teeth cheesy as well. Like, yeah, oh bro. Is mm. that margarine on your teeth? Like, man, I don't think this Coke thing is good, man. And then we found out there was real I, drugs in there. Man, one mind. of the best uh, chip shops I've been to um, in Tottenham Hill. We used right. to go and see the in-laws, right? Um, mm. You've got like, <clears throat> you got the train station. Right. And then if you kind of walk around, you've got all the way down. And you take a right, all the way down the street, and there's like a massive park and there's a bridge. Broad Lane. What, Broad Lane? No, it's broad shop. And then yeah. you keep going forward. If you keep going further and you got the Turkish um, <clears throat> Turkish community shops, stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, before going there, if you walk up, you cross over and, that, and there's like a pizza shop, man. And um, when we go Was to. Is it near a barbershop the... on the little side road? Um, <clears throat> I remember there's a... is it is it the one way system. Where the zebra crossing is. There's one by the zebra crossing. There's a Dixie's. There's a pizza shop. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm on about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, yeah, around yeah. there. He's seven sisters. That's Broad Lane. Yeah, Broad Lane. Uh, Broad Lane, is it? Yeah, yeah Broad Lane, yeah. Oh, man. Fire in there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fire yeah, yeah. yeah. everything. Man. And then no, West Green no. Road. No, the one on West Green Road. There's one on West Green Road, just yeah. opposite, right at the station. And then right. you take the left, and then that's the main road. Like West Green Road is where everything's happening, right? But yeah. just at the top there, there was a Chicken Express. Okay. Oh my God! Back in the mm. day, the two ribs and um, what up uh, near one the piece top of, of Chicken Boy Lane? That one? No, nah, the top of West Green Road, fam. Oh, West Green Road. Their body music. Oh you know yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like on West Green Road itself, like yeah. bro, next to the barber shop, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Supremes, yeah, next to Supremes and that, bro. Mm. We used to drive. I used to live in Hornsey, obviously, but um, that's like cra- across the other side of mm. the other e- of the ends, you know. We would come yeah, yeah. from there, drive from there to West Green Road to get our chicken and chips and uh, mm. lamb ribs, mutt. Yeah, you got me sticky lamb ribs, it's you know, proper. mad thing. Yeah, early. Running, halal, early halal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it wasn't allowed before early days. They gotta be honest. <laughs> yeah, and some man was just putting the sign up. Yeah, uh, on some trick thing. You gotta say <laughs> like you still selling hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now yeah, you can go country boy, and I was like, bro, what's this on my? <laughs> This red thing on my thing is that pork? So no, my brother. Hello, turkey bacon, man. Turkey, turkey. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was turkey like, oh, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. The way he looked red like pork, though. I was scared. I was like, huh? What's this? Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I was in Derby. Well, I was like, no, 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 no. Family is halal. The whole pizza shop yeah. halal, man. Everything's halal. Yeah, Do you know when they say turkey ham? Do you know what mm. it means? It means it's only the fine meat. It's not the the breast meat. That's why they call it ham, because ham on a pig is the leg. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. So when they say turkey yeah, ham, they mean that it's the it's the leg part. Yeah, like like ham, um, uh, bacon, and gammon. All <clears> it's all the leg in it. Yeah, Jumbo, all different oh, parts. Right. Yeah, different parts. Allow it, man. I remember I was in jail. There was a guy who had locks. Yeah, and he looked like he was like a rasta, but he weren't a rasta. Yeah, mm. he's a normal guy. And then one day he's sitting down there. First at the table, he's got this big piece of gammon on there. The man's mm. asked him, every man's coming around the table, yo, bro, you know what that is, yeah? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, safe. I sat down. Next man came, hey, your family, what well, go on for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Well, yeah. man, I might have to cut off them locks and all of that. And da, da, da. The way we gunned him about the gammon, he went and mm. took it back. Yeah. Went and took it back, bro. It's like, bro, I don't know why you did that. <laughs> Why are you eating gammon for? Like, what is this? Yeah? No, like, I'm you have to ask for, you know, like, and the funny thing is, yeah. you your menu, you work yeah. it out, like, uh, the week before. So oh. you know what you're getting the next week. You get a choice, <clears> and you pick <throat> for each day. You know what I mean? Uh. Yeah, so he purposely chose the gammon. <laughs> he was, <laughs> yeah. That's why he couldn't really get out of it. It's like, bro, bro, you picked the menu. Last uh, week, uh, and you uh, saw yeah. gammon. Didn't you know what gammon was? Decision. Yeah. Did you think it was a bit of chicken or something? Gammon, <laughs> yeah. right? And then at Christmas, they told us they were giving us turkey. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> this pink thing, yeah, was a bird of some sort. But it wasn't <laughs> no fucking turkey. <laughs> you can't make. Nah, you can't. The pieces are too small. Like, it's meant to be half of it that you get. Yeah, and it's tiny. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, bro, we might be eating pigeon. I swear that. <laughs> I'll tell you once, yeah, my mum cooked uh, turkey drumsticks. <laughs> mm. You know, they're quite big, them turkey drumsticks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, massive, yeah. yeah so she put a bit of garlic in there and a bit of bay leaf, put wow. a little bit of water in the bottom, covered it with oh, a God. thing, with a foil, wow. and, and slow cooked it. Mm-hmm. Bro, I thought it was lamb. <laughs> I was like, this is lamb, isn't it, minute, mom? She's like, no, nah, that, that's turkey drumsticks. <laughs> ah, <laughs> turkey so drumstick nice. looking like a leg of lamb. I know. I'm telling bird, you, you know when it falls off monkeys. the bone and it was just all like crumbling off? Mm. Oh. I swear I thought it was lamb. They it's don't dark, know it? You'd be a ham expert, though, man. You wouldn't be a ham expert, innit? Who? You, yeah, man, you're a meat expert. Am I a hammite like you? You're a hammite. Nah, you know all about it. Yeah. You're, you're a meat expert, man. You're a meat expert. Yeah. You're a hammite. You're a fine man. part of the meat. Fine yeah, part of the meat, yeah. Pause, pause, pause. 
I don't want to be on my. I don't want to be. I don't want to be on my right now. Throw him out in the bin, man. You're fine. But it's all about ham hocks and all of that. Oh man, no Americans. Oh my God, don't let's get Americans on it. Yeah, evil. And then South Americans. Oh man, I've been to South American festival. Really. They love we it, were doing, man. we were doing, we were cooking West Indian food, obviously. Yeah. Ooh. And next to us, they couldn't even borrow our fryer. That's how deep mm. it was. They wanted to, they, they, the deep fat fryer broke and they wanted to use one of ours that we had spare or whatever. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah auntie, let them say, no, 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 I'm a Christian woman. Them lot, they eat pork. I said, what? They eat pork, they eat rats. I said, look over there and see what they're cooking. Jerk this, this jerk pork, you know. But they're like Brazilian, Colombian, all of that. Like, Brah, they love a pork, bro. Yeah, they yeah. love it. Barbecued pork, everything pork, this pork, deep fried pork, everything. Pulled pork. Yeah, everything. everything. Stretched pork. <laughs> they love it, mate. They're yeah. on that. Nah. Hey, but I'm telling you, that's time for American Festival that you used to have in uh, South London. Mm. Hey, my, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so all I got to say, it was the, it was the best kept secret. You know, like every black man I saw in there, it was a nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yeah. We're in South. <laughs> we were there. They're supposed to be brothers here. Do you get me? We're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, geez. You, you never told your bridges. Go on, go on, go on. Big up, big up, big up. <laughs> Irie, Irie, Irie. <laughs> yeah. Brother, you Jamaican? No, Miss mm -hmm. Colombian. Miss yeah. Colombian. Yeah. Now they thought man was, <laughs> listen, they thought man was Brazilian, Colombian, yeah, Brazilian, Venezuelan. Yeah. Do you get me? They're speaking to me in the language. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh man, I need to learn Portuguese. Fuck it. Hey, amigo, yeah. amigo, amigo. <laughs> it was that deep. I was <clears throat> contemplating learning Portuguese for the next time I go there or Spanish or something. You get me? Mm. Yeah, man, definitely. I've never, I've never been to America before, man. Or South America, I've never been. Ah. Oh. No, nah, from there, man. And North America is Peru. nice. My uncle's wife's nice from for Peru. a holiday. Yeah. Oh, Peru, Peru, yeah, Peru. yeah. Have you been there? The Peruvians, yeah. they don't fuck about, you know. Of course they don't. Of course, they're serious, bro. But their women are not. Their women when are that not woman that cute. Whiling, everyone's hitting the <clears> deck. <throat> when you hear someone go mad in Spanish for some reason, that it just sounds more scary. Oh, Did we look at Peruvian women the other day? Mental. Did we look at Peruvian women the other day? It was peak, was it not? So she must be a one-off special boy. She's like a Pocahontas type type. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Pocahontas. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a Pocahontas. That's a, like a, a diamond in a rough. Yeah. Because you know I mean? <laughs> most time they're rough. Because <laughs> they're rough, teeth missing. Da, 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 yeah. like, my uncle proper. thought he was a bad man, innit? In the 70s, mm. he thought it was Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> that's when my uncle used to play baseball thing, Eddie Grant, because he used to go to Ackland okay. Burley School. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, you said that. And he had the big gym yeah, as well. Man. He had the proper I afro. Cool. Um, you, baby, Somalia, no right? more. Yeah, that man uh -huh. there. Yeah, yeah so we was it? on the front line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Khan's yeah. uncle's yeah. in the back kind of that, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Khan's uncle's involved in the music of that, yeah? Yeah, yeah but you, my, my man giving two slaps. Like, shut up, man. You ain't going to be no bass uh -huh. there. Go and fucking learn electrics. Uh -huh. Yeah, to go and be an electrician. Mad. <laughs> in UCL hospital, it was screwing. Working that was like my uncle. The symmetry. <laughs> my uncle Eddie told Grant's me recently. There, like famous. <laughs> my uncle told like, me recently. Give me hope, Joanna. <laughs> 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 yeah. hey, my uncle's the same. He told me yeah, that um, he resented my grandma for sending him to Nigeria when he was yeah. like 19. Yeah, right. and he lived in um, Kilburn, right? Or Queen's okay. Park or whatever, West London. So I'm saying, why, uncle? He said, uh, because I was in a band. I guess yeah. Yeah, my best friend, yeah, you know him as Seal. I said, don't Seal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seal was your brethren. He and he's like, yeah. Legend, bro. So yeah. now he's gone on to obviously big and better things, yeah. Um, um, Seal, right? <clears throat> so my uncle's still pissed that his little musical career that he could have had. Look how far man got, you know what I mean? And that was <clears throat> my proper brethren. Like grew yeah. up together and that. Like, I was like, proper, that's deep. Proper. That's deep. Papa Seal is, man. Yeah, mm. man. Seal is funny, bro. What is it? Is it Ubu or uh, Yoruba? Which, mm? which one is he? Yoruba, yeah. Yoruba, yeah. Is he? But those yeah. those marks on his face is because it's he tried real. to remove the tribal marks. Oh, yeah. Well, he hacked up his own face. Yeah. 
Yeah. Tradition. Tradition. Everyone around my place got their tribal marks intact, bro. Um, mm. Little ones, though. They haven't got big. I got some uncle with some tiger scratches. Wolverine mm. business. <clears throat> yeah. A couple of guys I grew up with, their cousin was Jazzy B. Okay. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, man. That's some musical <laughs> legends right there, bro. Yeah. We've always had musical legends around the old um, North London, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Bare, like... And they're still around, you know? You can still see them. Point them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who's that? That's Miss mine, Dynamite man. rolling yeah, around Archery. They're like, what? Is that mm. Naomi? Fucking mm. hell. I know. <laughs> skinny man. They got skinny. Everyone. He's everyone, a fucking everyone. bad man rapper really. for a white boy. He's like North London's Eminem, bro. He's like... Proper rated. What I'm saying is every bro. EastEnders character, yeah, yeah. I see uh, Mayans. What's yeah, his name? Minty. I yeah. see Minty. Oh, you see Minty. He yeah. had the Rolls Royce. Minty had the Rolls Royce. Yeah. Getting, so what are you doing with the Rolls Royce? I see Sandily. You know who who I see? I used to see on a regular, like every day. Come, my friend lived in Crouch yeah. End. Um, was Phil Mitchell. I see Phil really? Mitchell. Right. <laughs> Rolling out the railway tavern. <laughs> now, I'm walking up the road. I'm drunk. walking up. On my bridge's road, staggering. he's walking down the road and he's Feels nodding. Just staggering, that bro. Nod. Normal. Man don't drink like a normal human, bro. He just <laughs> fucked. Apparently he fucked. Pe- Pepe and Gianni. I've <laughs> seen them driving through the ends back in the day. Like, bro, it's mad. Yeah. I've seen the Billy Mitchell. The bill. the bill Billy bro. Mitchell up Muzzle Billy Hill. Billy Mitchell I've seen. I've seen Finn as well. Tasman Fenna. Alfwaite. Tasman Alfwaite from me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's gorgeous. Oh, she used to go out with someone from my school. Oh, is it? Yeah, he was um Ali G's DJ. Okay. Yeah, that on the guy. show. Yeah, yeah, on the um, show. Yeah, yeah. The Force. They used to call him something. The Force. He's a shit rapper. But you know that like... boy that was with Ali G. What's his name? Um, Thingy Freeman. I forget his name. Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman. You know Ali G's bridge the one he's on the Vodafone advert now and all that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, he was in Ali G in the house. He was in the film with him. Okay. I see that guy a few times. But my favourite one was man. Thingy, man. Vass Blackwood. <laughs> I see Vass Blackwood. I see fucking uh, Frank Bruno up Hampstead Heath. Who yeah, else did Frank I see? Bruno's about, isn't it? That's yeah, cool. Bear Legends, man. Do you know Vass Blackwood? He was with, um, what's his name? Uh, yes, 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 yes. He was um, with uh, Miro McCoy, right? No, Vass Blackwood was with, what's his name, man? Yeah. Uh, it was that comedian who goes out with Dawn French, that fat black woman. I'm um, that fat Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I know him, man. Yeah, I don't What's like his name him, again. Lenny. Lenny, 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 Lenny. Yeah, Lenny's, guy, Lenny's, yeah, Lenny's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's back. from Fridgey Park, though. That's why. He's from Lenny. Park. Lenny's from Bromtown. No, isn't he? the guy. Yeah, he's from he's from Birmingham originally. Yeah, originally. Yeah. The guy lives in Fridgey Park. He's been living in Fridgey Park for the longest. Who? Vass Blackwood. Yeah. Yeah. So he's we're, funny, we're, man. We'll Who's the other the one? Blackwood shop? of EastEnders. What's I don't like him though. The other one. Oh, Richard. Richard. Yeah, I've seen him a few times as well. Yeah, Richard's a man. I even chat to him as well. He's like friendly. You can chat to him. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Richard Blackwood's cool, man. Yeah, I tell you, I met Paul from his standards, man. Remember Paul? Paul oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I met him. And he, he's, his brother is a, a director. His, his brother's a dread. Right. Is he? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, my friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my friend um, Chucky yeah. Van used to be yeah. in his standards. He was called Ray in his standards. And then okay. I've got Tamika, little Tamika. Oh, remember Ray? Who is um, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my bridge in Chucky. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? But, um, <clears throat> yeah, Tamika. Yeah, little Tamika. She's exactly the same outside of EastEnders. She used to go to school with my brother and sister. You know what I mean? Was that cool? Yeah, Kim. <laughs> so Kim? Solid. What's his name? So Solid. The one who does Top Boy. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ashley. From Grange Hill. Ashley. From Grange Hill. I've seen yeah. the Ashley bear did. times around the ends, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice guy as well. Yeah. I see loads of that miss. Um, what was there? Uh, what was the one for So Solid? No, not So um, Solid. Lisa Mafia. Yeah, Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lisa, no, Lisa Mafia. My Lisa. brother come home one day because he's a mm. garage DJ. He's like, because you come to the venue. I was like, who's that? Lisa Mafia. He's like, tripping, bro. He's like, proper Lisa <laughs> Mafia fan as well. I was like, what? Yeah. Hey, and, right. Oh, guess who I see last Sunday? You know, Spice yeah. Girls, Mel C. She walked straight past me. I was like, huh? Nah. That's Mel C. That was my mm-hmm. one. She ain't got that girl, yeah? She ain't got no back. She's never had a batty, has she? Just mm-hmm. flat as fuck, like a man's batty. I was like, nah. Mel C, is that girl. Sporty Spice? Is that Sporty? Yeah, Sporty Spice. <clears throat> never had a batty in her life. 
I didn't know that still. I thought yeah, she, her, she was the one, the fittest amazing. one, I think. Yeah, I like her. She had goatee in it. I know what's going on early. Mm, mm, mm. No, for me, it was about Mel B, to be fair. <clears throat> Yeah, my brother. She was a, she was a good looking woman, man. That, that, that little that yeah, thing, she that's was... what she used to have. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah my brother's done a thing with her. And also mm. the one that ended up being Heskey's wife. These these Liverpool guy. Matty. Yeah. You know, one one minute you see her with your brethren, and then next minute you see her on telly doing charity work before the World Cup. Remember the African World Cup? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. They did all the wags so, and that. Forgot. I'm like, yeah. rah. This Hesky's wife. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> he done married the whole neighborhood. Mad. Because <laughs> <laughs> she was cute. Yeah. Hey, she was cute, bro. One person <laughs> I always wanted to meet, Chinese. but I never bumped into was Dizzy. I always wanted to I don't know why, but I rate Dizzy Rascal, you know that. As an artist. I yeah, think it was he... when he done that. Was it the Five Fingers of Rap on the uh, Thingy Show? On Sway Show, innit? Yeah. 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 When he done that, I was like, nah, this kid's that got was it. Bro. Bad. That was bad. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Proper bad. Then, I like how he read up the Justin Timberlake tune that he, he killed that. Yeah, man. Dizzy's yeah. like one of my favorites. Always that, lesbian. Man. Yeah. Originator. Proper yeah, originator. I see. I know, I know Jeremy, but I don't know. I've never bumped into Skepta. But I know his mom and everything. <laughs> you guys say. Only yeah, just kept yeah. I haven't really, yeah. Uh, he's from Meridi, he's from Wood Green, so uh, yeah, but... he's got a good, very uh, assertive uh, type of voice, man. Skepta, mm. I can yeah, see why yeah, the yeah. Americans they lean towards it's very kind of clear and very precise, man, especially yeah. on that uh, that shutdown, yeah, yeah, man. Very, very precise, man. Good star, man. But my, yeah. my, 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 obviously, my, my, my little broski, Black the Ripper. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. That. You know what I mean, he was talented, man. I liked, I liked, I liked, I liked being around him because he was like the only <laughs> one who was independent. He was doing his own thing on iTunes. He would show oh. me, yeah, yeah, look, my single. You get me? I put it out, and then he started a business with the uh, Dank of England. Do you get it? Okay. Yeah, I liked all that. That young, inspirational. You know what I mean? Like, put your mm -hmm. money in the right place. Like, don't just be a celebrity and a star and all of that. And you, you know, now the le last one we got is, um, um, uh, Mo Stacks. Yeah. Okay. Right. So he's, he's, he's our youngest one, right. At the moment. Right. But, um, he's done right by his mom to get it. Okay. His dad was never there, but we were there to get it. So, um, yeah, community but, service, um, man. right, 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 right. But the fact that now he's bought, his mama house, he's got a house now. You know what I mean? That's all we wanted from him. Some yeah. of the aunties are a bit disgruntled because you know yeah. of the, the way the mom's getting on. But yeah. other than that, when they see him, whether he's with yeah. security or not in Westfields, you know, he'll still give the aunties a big hug and all of that. Yeah. So, yeah, he's brain, he's level headed. <laughs> and that's all we hope for our youngers to do the yeah, right course, thing man. when they do get a little money in their pocket and all of that. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, because we know even all the bullshit that goes with it. You know what I mean, yeah, yeah. man, go on holiday. A man's trying to stab man up and all that. Man, man. Earlier, I'm like, yeah, oh, you know, little nephew, mm. oh, go on. Yeah, that's no, I don't have that. Bad, that is, man. Mm. Mm. Okay, he was like the first one of the youths them to add me on Facebook back in the day. I was like, okay. who's this <laughs> you with a bandana? I couldn't see. He, he's he had a hoodie on and he had a bandana up to his eyes. Right, and I was like, "Who's that?" And he just said, "Mo on there." <laughs> yeah, I was like, huh? who's this? And then I looked at another picture, and then, oh, okay, little baby Montel. Okay, you all grown up. This is when the rest of them was doing gang stuff, yellow <laughs> gang, green gang, blue gang, all of yeah. that. He weren't in the gangs, but yeah, he was just one of the youngest on the estate. And I noticed the background was the estate as well. So, I mean. But yeah, man, big him up, man. He's doing well. Yeah, big up, man. So big that's up. all we hope for them. You know what I mean? And those come on under the jurisdiction of man younger than me, you know, like my brother and sisters, them. They keep those ones in reg uh, regulation, keep them interacting with themselves as well. Mm -hmm. Like my brother phoned him up and said, yeah, you're going to make a tune with another brother from their state. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're mm -hmm. going to bring him true. But these things happen naturally anyway, organically. 
You know what I mean? Like one man's making clothes now. So it goes with the music as one man's yeah, coming yeah. out. He's wearing the next one's clothes. I'm wearing <laughs> the next one's clothes as well. Yeah. And guy speaker's corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? So it's getting yeah, that publicity, yeah, yeah. that advertising, and thinking, wow, where'd you get that from? What's this yeah, diamond yeah. cut? And did it do? He's my business partner, little brother. Yeah, they're killing it, man. Yeah, you know I mean, the millennials are killing it. Snipes. Yeah, they're making money, bro. The, they're killing it, brother. They're cashing yeah. up. I remember when um, uh, my, my Asian brethren from the park, uh, uh, Mr. Rax, come with his 27 grand range whites. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. yeah. And then um, he came to show me the day he bought it, right? And yeah. um, he parked it up and there was one exactly identical in front of him. <laughs> so he's parked outside the box. There's another exactly the same range. Do you get me? Exactly the same kind of year and all of that. Yeah. And he's coming and he's like, rah, I come to show you my car. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Then we both look at the other one. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me tell you, the owner of this car is like 27 years old, bro. It's one of the youngest still. My brethren's youngest, youngest, youngest brother. <laughs> you gotta say, yeah. I said, this, these are the levels. And when they come in here, they segue in. Yeah. Somebody's opening up the car, pulling the Segway out of the boot, did it do it, but he's a young hustler. He's selling his gums, his clothes, <laughs> his thing. You know what I mean? He's yeah, all in all the, the videos. Then he turned to yeah. making gangster grills. He got a place in Hatton Garden with some elders, some um, older brothers. You know what I mean? I went there to go and get mine done. I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Support the yeah, cause, man, Lee. Yeah. I'm just, I, we were just there as inspiration in the sense like from road. Yeah to the business yeah, yeah 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 we yeah, was that example yeah. Yeah? yeah and now then the later generation <laughs> is like they see the road man in yeah. business right yeah yeah and yeah, then yeah, they yeah, come true yeah. and then they start doing it for themselves yeah so as soon as that tutu's food shop start turning up where man is supposed to be the young baddest man of his generation yeah yeah is going on the format of the big broskies yeah. do you get it yeah. And the rumors like man's a self made millionaire from road. But man's putting back in the community. Man wanted to put money into gang. I was like, no, 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 no. Let's get our shit sorted first before we deal with you. He's like, yeah, I'm willing to buy a whole building, Mike. What are you saying? I said, Rask, all right, cool. Because I know where I come from. We don't do half things. So I would never yeah. go to a man half cocked. Pause. <laughs> No, you know what I mean? Not yeah, prepared yeah. or like you gotta be serious. Yeah, you know I mean, true, and I'm saying true. I'm not saying what we're doing weren't serious, yeah. but I don't think you know, like everybody drawed on everybody's input. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I brought people to the thing, yeah, but I also have backers <laughs> in a sense. So that's how I, I ended up putting it. I've got people who are ready to put in, but it's gonna be via me, innit? They don't want to yeah. deal with anyone else anyway, but they just wanna deal with me. Yeah. But they're high profile individuals on these roads. But the basis of it is owning loads of businesses. Yeah. Man opened a chain of food stores. You know what I mean? Blue Nile and all of that. You get me? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, what I'm saying, that's family. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. married my brethren's uh, um, sister and all of that. So, we're all family now. And he came from Nottingham originally. Yeah, there's loads of sun uh, mm. East Africans in, there, especially the Blue Nile up there, Nottingham. Mm. Loads, mm. and they're very business or not to ex not to um exclude the rest of the African provinces. All, right. We all are, but we're just talking about that specific. Yeah, that specific time now that they're very yeah, yeah. business orientated. Yeah, man. Yeah, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't even think he's Jamaican. I think he's uh, something else. But no, he yeah. is Jamaican. Yeah, because they sent him back, Matt. Right. Yeah, because when you look on YouTube about uh -huh. the you. It's it's a mazza to get it. <laughs> and now and I've watched these videos and they talk about my area, innit? And yeah. certain man and individuals and the story don't necessarily go like that, thank God. But even the lie they spinning or yeah. what they supposedly heard, yeah, <clears throat> it's just so strange and so weird and how it can paint a picture of someone yeah. and semi -ru ruin their reputation because this man's a businessman now. Yeah. You kind of trying to put that shit behind. But it's because of other people's situation. Then they add him. Oh, this person was a gang member, top leader in a gang. Yeah. You're like, Ross Clark. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. You know, to tell the truth, I only watch them North London ones because I don't want to see myself. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's a lot of circumstances where they're mentioning. I was like, if I weren't there, it was my youngers or these people being mentioned are my people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Listening, I'm like, rah, I heard that story too. Or I was there on the day, or it was at the bottom of my road. There was one that was on the bottom of my road, and they put yeah. they did some BBC um documentary called The Blue Blue Light or something like that. Blue something. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Right. It was a series. It was a TV program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And they did they yeah. walk with the policeman through the case <laughs> until they solve it and all of that type of stuff, right? <laughs> So I got eyes, you know what I mean? I've got eyes because, like, in these other ones that I watch, yeah. it's kind of the audio is is someone talking over it, but the words being used, you can right. tell it was someone younger than the period being spoken <laughs> about. Yeah. So it's like a semi hadith, but a weak one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's weaker, and it's weaker than the Chinese whispers. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, that we get through this. the grapevine. It's like, right, you're great. Yeah. The grapevine's more authentic than, than you get me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's authentic sometimes. You know what I mean? We hear things in the grapevine and we maybe put it in the back of our memory back. A couple of years later, it turns out that was a uh, one hundred percent the truth. I'll be honest with you, tonight, right? Mm. You see, when it comes to the road, mm. uh, I'm going to be very uh, honest now. Right? Is that? You see, the late 70s or the 70s, man, right? Yeah. We kind of, I would say, uh, we would kind of do what you did in regards to road band business. But I know mm. that, you know, like the 80s kids, yeah, right? And I'm not being disrespectful to them. Mm. They didn't really get that uh, knowledge base where they would more lean towards of being foot soldiers. Right. Which is very uh, interesting. In it, um, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, a lot the, of them we used to say that. Yeah, this is my worker. Right, yeah. Big up, me? brothers. Big up, brothers. <laughs> big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, Freddie, man. Yeah, song, brother, you know what, bro. yo, that's big. a beautiful point, you know. But guess big what man. happened in the '80s? What we can't forget about? Big up, yes, King. Yes, King. Yes, Wonderful. yes, big up. Um, we uh, what happened in the '80s was the introduction of crack. So yeah, a lot oh of shit. good things, yeah, man. Yeah. Broke. yeah, a lot of good things, man. <laughs> yeah. that... Folded. No, it's yeah. the even truth. Tradesmen. Turn away. Yeah, <laughs> even tradesmen and that. Right, and right. Was Builders yeah. and yeah, right. yeah, yeah, electrician and all that, just winning the bid. Yeah. yeah, crack can do that still. Crack could do that, yeah, and and then yeah, the yeah. funny yeah. thing you is, had a, you, had a, you had a good thing. <laughs> And the funny thing is that after that generation, the good thing is that we've got whole clear generations that uh, they weren't on it. But now they've got new things, balloons <laughs> and other things that they think is not as bad, but yeah, uh, only time will tell on that. Vapes, all of that. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I know. But, yeah. but, but you know what? <laughs> Especially yeah. when your child got... Because we're supposed to be three, four generations in Britain, you know? We're supposed mm. to be at least on our fifth one now, but because of crack, we're on two or three. <laughs> you got know what I'm saying? Because of that thing, it put us back and lost two generations for us, more or less. You got know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, it ruined at least five. It ruined at least five. Because we're supposed no, no, no. to be on the sixth generation by now, my crew. What do you reckon, fam? I was in That's between. Terrible. Listen, I was in between. I know I'm in between because I took, look at my oldest. Mm. Yeah. I'm bearing them a madman. Yeah? yeah? Man was straight up G man a madman on the road, bro, picking up butts and stuff. Looking man dead in the eye with dead eyes and that. Yo, can you help me out? I'm looking at man like, bro, I'm your brother's best friend. Hold this. <laughs> yeah, hold this, big man. But you and, don't and even I'm know why I'm giving it to you. Before nah, the introduction and before the introduction of that thing, you couldn't chat to them, man. I bet. Yeah. You yeah, couldn't no, chat no, to no. them for dressing. Yeah. Business, this, that, no, the other. You got what I'm saying, fam. But some people sometimes get stabbed and lose too much blood, go mad, right? Some people Bro, go do mad. Do you know how anyway. much Steven Gerrards I know, fam? I know some. <laughs> I know some black Gerrards blood, and if they didn't start <laughs> smoking, <laughs> they would have been bullets. I know. Listen. Yeah, instead of a bullet. No, I swear, back. No, you know no. what I mean. They would have had every sponsorship deal going. 
<laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a man right. who did that on, on right. weed. Yeah, man had trials for Man United. My brethren didn't. <laughs> Who's the fastest no, in the bar? And because I've had like, to grow up in that era, I'll never forget it, Max. Mm, I'll mm. never forget it, bro. Like, yeah, no, it's, no. It's... yeah, yeah. We all, we all got it. We all got it. I think we all, we all. Yeah, I watched it while I was working. I come out of jail while I was open my business. When I'm working, yeah. the youngers, my brother's age, are on the corner, right? Standing no. up there, all frass out, yeah? yeah. Speed yeah. forward a couple of years oh, that, now. Some of them are still. That's how that was, though, man. You know yeah. what I mean? But some it's of them are. Bad, some man. of them are. And like, right. A lot of other things as well. I can't. I can't. Hmm. Yeah, some of them are all right. Some of them are messed up. You get what yeah. I'm saying? And I, I think you might have a delay as well, Fred. Well, I was on more more to the the business mind snipes, like the rot. Yeah, they weren't. <clears throat> I hear where um. Mm. Uh, uh, T's gone with it, but yeah. they just um, they didn't have that yeah. kind of thing where you know what no, it did cover everybody, right? It did yeah, cover everybody. yeah. It, it and then some back. of them, guess what? Mm. They had crack sex, um, fam, mm. and mm. crack sex. Guess what? Crack sex done though makes babies, man. Max. Yeah. Makes babies, oh man. shit! All right, let me jump out. Babies. Wow, is that all the ladies? <laughs> Thank God for crack rock. I pray the law don't run up in my crack spot. Mm-hmm. We saying no, no, but yeah, de- definitely. But I, as I said, it didn't change it. Well, it did change it for everybody because it's a ripple effect. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Whether you take it or not, it's still a ripple effect. It's still going to affect you in some form of way. You know what I mean? But I feel that still people were managed able to bypass it, live clear through it, like they didn't even know what was happening. Yeah, cause, females. Cause not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, not man. I'm just saying, like females, family members, they're gonna be oblivious to what we're talking about. And but they were not, there. Not for the man <laughs> that made peas off that. You know, that's what I was saying. They made, brother. I'm not gonna go into, but they made some money. Yeah, but what you we did in that, that in my area peas. was create was create white nitties, yeah. loads yeah. of them. Because we're not selling to our own. That's one thing we didn't really do. Like, yeah, no, we yeah, don't sell yeah. to our own. I yeah, think these man, yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't mess with that thing. Like, it's weird because, like, there's yeah. olders who, like, and my age and younger, and did it do who dabbled in it, then stopped, yeah. right? Yeah, then went into something else like health and fitness, <laughs> all sorts of other stuff, security, yeah. whatever. Did it, do you know what I mean? Moved on yeah. with their life, and then occasionally a man could have a relapse, yeah, yeah, but in the main. Anyone who's dabbled to me, I always looked at them funny. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to smoke. I used to smoke the, the boogie, man. I used to, what? Excuse me? Yeah, I used to think, well, yeah, man. Some of this pose, yeah. yeah? Like, but well, one time I gave my bridge in a pose, yeah? And so it was some it was some flavors or something. And he took a pull right. and he was like, rah, this reminds me when I used to smoke the Cuba. I was like, what? Excuse me? Would you say to me? And within two, three minutes, he was asleep in the snooker hall. We trying to play snooker. <laughs> <laughs> I was asleep in the seat, like, or, or seat like Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Grown ass man, you know what I'm saying? It's my oldest as well. I was just like, I always shake my head. And even to my good friends who were on it for a little yeah. bit, and now they're like, nah, 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 I don't fuck with that shit no more. But I'm just like, bro, yeah. how something that smell like burnt plastic? How, how, what drew you in? Yeah. Because yeah? <clears throat> the day I, 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 I dabbled a little bit. In selling it, do you get what I'm saying? I tried yeah. it for a little bit. I said, like, right, man's making money around me. Let me try this thing. But for me, it was too neaky. <clears throat> it made me feel yeah. weird. I'm gonna have to carry something, you know what I mean? All of these type of things. And then yeah. it's like I used to meet them at a distance, and then they start getting closer to the yard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, looking it's at the a, door, yeah. like, like, oh bro, 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 bro. But one time, the first yeah. time, I must have been breaking it up to weigh it, and a piece of it went in my nail. Oh Mad. my god, in my thumb nail, right? And yeah. my whole side of my hand was numb. I said, Raw man, I'm smoking this. <laughs> 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 is this what people are smoking? No, this is fuckery. <laughs> yeah, my hand was tingling. It felt horrible, bro. It's like, yeah. wow, what's this? Nah. <laughs> and then my brethren told me, nah, man, you need those um them, them rubber gloves, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah marigolds yeah. and that. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, right, right, right. Nah, I quit that quickly, man. 
I got my money back and I was just like, nah, 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 nah. My brother knew was who I kind of went into it with because I was like, yeah. you know the thing, you know the people, yeah. show me how it works. You get me? And he's like, yeah, we'll get something together and do it. It's like, all right, but I'll keep it at my house because you also dabble. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah, of course. I smokes it and did it. This I was like, no, 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 no. It's safe with me. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't getting nothing else but shot. Yeah, you know have, have to sell in. <laughs> yeah, like yo, yeah. Well, he he keeps doctor. coming back. You know, yeah, the man yeah. keep coming don't back every minute. Like, yeah, yeah. I got another. Yeah, yeah. I got another shot. Not faxes, right. yard. Nah. Huh? Can't use faxes yard as a stash house. Definitely not, mate. You'd be in trouble. <laughs> trouble finished. You'd be in a fucking hole, mate. Out of stock straight away. Money gone. <laughs> you know, everything gone. Uh, 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 I don't know what happened. Uh, I, I mean, the, the, the crack fairy came in and I must have seen it. Took it from under the pillow. I know. Get me. Solids was a big thing back then as well. Solids. Jeez. Big up yeah. Fresh okay. as well. Fresh. Fresh. We got, we got brother. Solid was a thing as well. Yeah, Solid. Salute, salute. You ain't talking to us, are you? It's on mute. Now I was saying, Shifa, I noticed you took your hat off earlier. You got a bit of a habasha hairline going on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that about you? What does that mean? <laughs> no, man, I just mean I know I know like your your people from the from the continent, definitely. Mm. Yeah, I'll fool you, man. <laughs> yeah, well, definitely Israelite. You definitely Israelite. <laughs> definitely like, Israelite. From that east side, repping that mm. east side. Yeah, east side Israelite. You know the ones. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah. From the yeah, on my dad, you know what? On my dad's side, there is a bit of Eastern East African still. Mm. See it there? You're right. You know, that's not that. So I want to know, Shif, what are you doing today? What are you, what are you on? He's munching again in the car. You know what? You're not, you're not working. No, do you know what? I thought my clutch was going on my car. I might run. Went to the garage. The man's telling me it was my driving. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I got that guy and everything. I took the nail for work, everything. That's actually funny. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know what it was, yeah? The man said, You see, when you're sat in the car, if you've got the car running, yeah? Mm. Like, I had the big work boots on yesterday, and my foot's hovering on the clutch. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So basically, it's if your foot heavy. hovers on the clutch for too long, the more it happens is it heats up the clutch, then the car, like, especially because it's hydraulics, it's going to have to cool down and they have to reposition itself. Mm-hmm. So, luckily, no damage was done, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the boots. They've done clutch that, man. Expensive brother shift, man. Clutch, Trust man. Me. Oh, hey, it was going to be... If I had to do the clutch, yeah. that was minimum. The guy said to yeah. me, minimum I'm spending is about seven bills. Of course. Of course. It's gone up as well. It's not mm-hmm. like... The night and it might have been the clutch cable. It could have just been the clutch cables alone. And that's seven bills, guys. Yeah, that's all the money. Yeah, they're raising, man. They're raising the mechanics, man. Raising. It's best to get automatic. If it was just a cable, actually, it worked out about five bills. It was like it was like four bills just to open up the, the gearbox to get to the clutch. You know like that? Mm. See that there? See? Mm. Yeah, hmm. Don't put that on you. Four bills to open up the gearbox. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what that's they haven't the... done nothing yet. They literally oh, no. just... you see what I'm that's saying. Open, yeah. That's in country. <laughs> that's, what I'm saying. that's in country. They're doing that in country, yeah. Because like, yeah. Oh, there's only the amount of cameras around here why that them things could maybe run. But I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, no, but out there in the, the, the boonies. Yeah. Obviously, try and charge me together. four bills. <laughs> they're doing back together as well, though. It's not just to oh. open. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know, no, to do to do that. Yeah, but that's not including. That's not include. That's just to look at it, right? Yeah, that's, that's just labor. Parts. That's not parts. Or no? Yeah, that's not parts. Yeah. No, that's no, just labor. That's a bump. That's a bump, man. Yeah, that's mad. Yeah. That's how you get bumped by me. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, put it back together. Yeah, yeah. Let's go around the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Top bolt it. Can I get the keys? <laughs> Let me test it. Let me test it. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. I'm out, Four man. Bills. Are you dumb? I'll go to someone else and get the clutch fitted. Yeah, it's a lot, bro. Hmm. It's a lot. Yeah, I right, one time I went in to change one tire, ended up changing all four, really and did them. the tracking. 
six hundred pounds. Bow, just like that. So I was like, oh, oh, yeah, that is that that mercy. You know, your legs yeah, shake man. like yeah. <laughs> you walk out <laughs> sad. Yeah. Like, right, never it came out my pocket pocket, but I just feel like back in the mm. day when I used to go arcade. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> By the end, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. So your pocket's you inside out, like, man. You got run flaps as well, innit? Hmm? You got run flats as well, innit? Run, run flats? What's that? Run flats, yeah, man. The ones that run when it's flat. Inflate oh, yeah, flat. yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's why they're expensive, man. Yeah. Mm. That's needed. That, that, that was a good idea still. Mm. Remember that old little tire they used to give you? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. On a big whip. Yeah. On a small whip is fine, but on a big whip, yeah. it's like, come on, family. <laughs> come on, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we doing here? Try putting that on a Range Rover, mate. You're done, aren't you? And, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Nothing to <at> work. <laughs> 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 yeah, that'd be funny, it? <laughs> yeah, be nah, nah. Just walking around with a with a penny farthing size. Inside <laughs> <laughs> your car, like yo, that's mad. I big up John BB. Yeah, I'll, I'll um check that out. Let me see what he's saying. It has like me, you know. <laughs> he's got the um the streak. I always wanted a streak, you know. Yeah. I always I wanted forever, to man. Yeah, I always I'm wanted to see. Born with it, and I and I got it. Boom. I used to have like gold. Oh. I used to have like gold, gold hair, and I don't know where that is. One of my right. sons got a big gold circle in the side of his head. Right, right, mm. right, right. Yeah, my mom was pulling out the gold hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, uh, what's it? Oh, it's your lucky hair. So why mm. are you pulling it out? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even make sense, right? <laughs> so they're gonna tell us. Yeah. Word. I'm about to have some golden hair too, man. I just bought me a wig. Pause. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> yeah, pause. <laughs> yeah, go on, finish that then. Go no, I was finish thinking about what Zulu said earlier, man. I know if I do a lot of driving and my hair don't blow in the wind, so I had to buy some of that white man hair that blows in the wind. <laughs> All right, you'd be, you'd be like, man, it's from this I, I doubt it. Oh, hell no, 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 no. He weren't having it. He weren't having it. I gave up. I realized because you know what? You can't because you're trying to argue against mommy, isn't it? It's just yeah. not what mm. But mm. as well as he just made his mind up, he should consider that when it comes to these type of things. Like, once you've made your decision, no, I'm not cutting my thing, and then that's it. Also, right, exactly. Right. Mm. I True. agree. Mums are like that, though. Well. Mums can be very forceful, you know. Yeah, but not what, <laughs> not way in my twenties, bro. Emotional pressure in that. Early twenties, I was super grown. Mm. You know what I mean? It took yeah. in mum in mummy's eyes, like, I was super grown, man. See you later, bro. I hear you. Remember, okay. Julie's twenty-one in age, but mm. not in experience just nah. yet. Oh, I yeah. mean, he's not twenty-one. He's been yet. shielded. He's been shielded. Yeah, which is, you know, very it's much. Gonna be so, good. Bro. I remember, yeah, when you're busting nuts in, in your partner and that, yeah, your mum can't really tell you nothing. Like, what's your mum trying to tell you? Like, you know what I mean? When you're yeah. fully, so there's another step of adulthood, the family started and that. Once he gets into that, then, yeah, he he's going to be able to let go of them strings. But for now, he kind of needs those strings, mummy strings. Mm. And that. Yeah. It's true, because I, 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 sometimes I forget. He's only two years older than my son, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as I say, it's very same as mine as well. Man. Man. Four, four years yeah. younger than mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's deep, man. It's deep. Mm. Well, he's a smart, smart man, though, man. He got two, man. Mm, he got two. <clears throat> but yeah, just be balanced with your decision making. Like, if you can be so vehement and strict with this, just do that all the way around. And I think they will respect you for it. I think they will, you know, start to let go of the reins. Like, you know what? This guy's a big man now. <clears throat> he makes his own decisions. You know what I mean? And we've done a good job. Because he's never <laughs> going to do nothing wild and outrageous, really. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I don't know. Oh, can I, ask I think, a question yeah, I think the they're panel. very proud of him still. Does yeah, any man. of you lot um, wash your trainers in the washing machine? Mm. Yeah. Have you noticed that the new trainers just curl up like f for no reason? They just bend them in the middle when you wash them. You put them in the case, bro. Yeah, but that don't stop them bending. 
Yeah, double that up. Double that up, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, no, Khan. My son taught me this, right? A bowl vanish and do in the in the in the bucket or the bowl, man. Yeah, uh, and that, that way, brother. That way, it looks brand new. See the washing machine now? You're destroying yeah. it. Yeah, it's just ruining two pairs of my trainers right now. You're putting the heat too high. Yeah, Who's this? Daytime con, you know? Wag one. What are you saying? <laughs> uh, I, I bunked off in it. I took the day off. I was like, oh, Is I'm it? Ill, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I got diarrhea and vomiting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, Don't get yeah. diarrhea. You need diarrhea. I was like, nah, nah, nah. I'll be all right. I'll ride it out. I'll ride it out. <laughs> why, did you, why did you take the day off today? I had an appointment with a diabetic nurse. Okay. And how yeah, to give you the, the one time. Yeah, she's like, you're you're doing really well. Your cholesterol's good. Your blood pressure's good. Everything's good. You've been going gym. I was like, yeah, like you know, just just chatting <laughs> to the nurse, isn't it? So is, it uh, is it is your health improving? Obviously, I dropped about three stones. So yeah, excellent, excellent. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Well done. Yeah, they've got that you can huh? that you can reverse. Type yeah, two. diabetes, you can reverse it. Yeah. Type two, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, type one, you can't reverse it, innit? No, because that's a different... Yeah. I don't know why they call them the same name. They're completely different. Okay. Okay. One of them... Yeah, well, is in... huh? well, 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 Cheers, one. man. I'm going to do my first uh, course of um, Sustanol, and then I'm going to come check oh. you, Jeds, and we can do some powerlifting. You're actually going to do this? You're actually going to do this? But at my age, come on, bro. I ain't got no I... testosterone left. <clears throat> That's not true, bro. Well, I'm 50 years old, bro. So? I could just bust one nut a week now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be selective with it. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. All, all your functions will return, bro. I've had to tell mm-hmm. enough right. clients. Yeah, it's true. They do they, they do return, but they don't optimize like when you was a youth, innit? Like when yeah, you was a youth, you're not like, a youth though, bro. like Wolverine and shit. And you know, you yeah, and there's, um, <laughs> listen, there's, and there's natural food supplements you can you can eat. Now, do you know what? I need to find some Jamaicans that know about this thing called the stone. Mm-hmm. There's a secret no, stone that stone. they know no, you about. Don't want that. You don't I, want I don't that. I don't listen, I, I've not taken stone, but from what I know of stone. Now, you don't take a, it, you rub it on. Right, mm-hmm. whatever in it, yeah. From what I've heard, it's a maintainer. Yeah. And not necessarily a producer. Okay. Right. Yeah, you still got to get the arousal with it, yeah. Right. right, so I don't think that's the one. Brother, okay. I'm telling you, just get your herbs. And, and you don't want to stay hard for 24 hours. And that. Nah, um, nah. I don't like them ones. I don't like eat them your way, eat, eat your way to health, bro. Eat your way back to something that Makes you feel good. There's enough different ingredients to eat. It's gonna boost your your situation. You get me? I hate um, it. You know what, you know what, brother? With all con- good conscience, yeah, I gotta to say to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're 50. Yeah, your yeah. testosterone levels are low. Yeah, you want to yeah. build the muscle and blah blah blah. I hear that, but you yeah, also yeah. gotta remember you're gonna put all this extra strain on a 50 year old heart. Of course, oh, yeah. Right? Of course, so, that's when the cardio comes in, isn't it? I hear you. I just, te- mm-hmm. yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I just, I just get the shivers when I think about people taking. So I don't know, though. What the roids? I, 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 I know enough man that take roids. Like there's yeah, one gym yeah. in my ends yeah. where enough yeah. man take roids. But guess what? Two what? of them have died. Yeah, mm. but obviously you can abuse it, isn't it? Like I'm they talking about one yeah, shot a week, like just one shot low level week. thing. Yeah, one shot. So what do, what do you think one shot a week would do, will actually do for you? To right. Increase your protein synthesis so you can maintain muscle. Like you won't even have to like really um, worry about getting old. Really, for another good ten years, one shot a week. You're is not going to grow um, too big. You're not going to go huge. Is it growth hormone? No, sustenol two fifty. It's like so t- what is that, testosterone. What is, is what? It's a synthetic testosterone. Okay. It's like, mate, you know, it's just uh, testosterone is made out of cholesterol, isn't it? Okay, I didn't. So, so yeah, the cholesterol is what is, is, is the is the raw ingredients that goes into making um, a lot of male hormones. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it's not a big deal, bro. It's like, these things are tried and tested. People have been doing it for generations and generations. I know that. Like, I know you that. just got to be in contact with the people. Like you yeah. said, if you're going to a proper gym where the man will know, yeah, yeah 
that they give you the advice. They, they, they don't just sell it to you and say, yeah, take this, go and do your own thing. You get me? Like, the advice if I, comes if with I, it. If, I, if, I, if I'd taken, like, a one course, yeah, I reckon I would have been able to make fitness my, my actual career, as in... Nah, you the beat. You could have gone on the I, stage, bro. I said, you look at on me. Stage. You see, you like know, I, I you think know I would, a man called I, um, just you know J D the Wadu. I would have been. If I took a little bit of roids, I would have been Simeon Panda. Do you know J D the Wadu, the Nigerian bodybuilder? He won European Championship. Yeah, I think I know who that is. Yeah, bro, you would have been on his level. You know what? You told me his name, and I googled him that time. Of the man's but, um, legend, European champion and thing. But you know, you know Simeon Panda. No, Obviously. come on, of course you do. Panda. Yeah, I, wait, let me show you. He lives in US now, just off work oh, in, in okay, South okay, London. Okay, okay. Simeon Panda. Wait, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the picture of him. Is he he does everyone. He's natty, isn't it? Who? Like, he's, clearly not, he's clearly not natty. When you see him, you watch. You're gonna know this guy ain't natty. Yeah. But his whole career is based off. I'm a natural bodybuilder. Yeah. And he, he's killing it. Bro, he's got his his personal gym. He's the first person to have a personal Golds gym in his yard. Really? He created his own gym and it's a Golds, yeah? Yeah. And bro, it's crazy. Crazy. Okay. Oh, big, big him up, man. I want to see his picture. Put him up. Yeah, there. here we go. Here he is. Okay. Yeah, he's... Oh, him! Yeah, him. Of course you know who he yeah, is, Yeah, he's bro. a bad he's... man, bro. Bro, he's a bad man. But well, he's telling people he's nanny. You know when you die and God says to you, you could be reincarnated as whoever you want. <laughs> this what? guy's on your top 10, isn't it? Nah, 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 nah. He's nah, a G no. fam. Come off it. Nah, 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 nah. It. But, like, yeah. for me, yeah, for me, I think he's got impressive, like, uh, physique. But it's roids. I see it's roids, bro. Yeah, of course I it's roids. Right. But roids. it's not just roids, man. when they when you say natty, it ain't just roids. They take other things like bro hormone, uh, clenbuterol. Do you know what clen is? Clenbuterol. Clem, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then when they take clen and they call themselves natty still, well, I don't understand clem, how. Clem, clem, clem is the fat stripper thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. See, I know yeah. these terms, man. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. So the whole industry, I think it's kind of sad that. Because there's lots of people that are following his advice, thinking that yes. they can get his body. I know and so many people; they're heartbroken about things like that. Yeah, and they're really it's upset. Just not real. And yeah, they bought into dude, the whole myth. This other mm. dude, Ulysses, he's another. Yeah, dude. Ulysses. I know Ulysses. I, another I'm natty. Dude. I'm natty, bro. You ain't yeah. natty, bro. This ain't. Nah, of course they you ain't. Never get this body natty. Trust me. No, you can't, man. Come off it. Even the muscle to to fat ratio is all wrong. It's an exaggeration. They're so stripped down. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah well, let, well, let me let me show you his gym. Um Simeon Panda Hong Gym. His gym is banging. This is where the envy kicks in. When you when you, when you see the access to yard, what they have. California and his yard is just fucking like yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's living the dream in that respect. Yeah, the way how I look at it, bro, that for one person that makes it, how many people didn't make it? Do you know what I mean? Like that ratio you need to really consider. When you're trying to get into something that's so, so niche and specialized. Your paper? Download Grammarly. Are you? The gym, I've received all your messages. I felt your excitement. Honestly, this project has been nothing less than surreal. South London, you know. To own my own mm. gym is really something special to me. And to be honest, for any fitness enthusiast or bodybuilding... So I see him on the show with Chisel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chisel was at his, in his yard. Space, yeah, flew over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got no words. I've got no words. You just got to big the man up, bro. Say, mashallah, that's all, man. Let him do his thing. Do you, do you know Chisel? No. no, no, not like that. I think I know people that like a mutual okay. friend, but I don't know him directly. Chisel's my boy, boy. No, he's yeah. cool. He's a cool yeah, brother. Cool you. Yeah, Chisel's a cool brother. He's cool. Even him, yeah, he's saying to me, We got to train, we got to train, Jedi man. How do I get arms like yours? Rare, rare. Yeah, really but you got the mad arms, bro. Come off it. I went to sleep, opened my eyes. This brother is ripped to shreds. In my head, yeah, <laughs> mad thing. Yeah, you know, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but cool, isn't it? And I could, I could see from his jaw and that cool, though, isn't it? I yeah. rate it, man. Fuck what are you saying, growth? Yeah, for the I'm jaw. saying what he, I'm, I'm saying he's got the rich always, piano draw. Chizo <laughs> and Sibian are friends. Put that here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's never been done before. And you're back. Welcome to Simeon Panda's Gold's Gym. 
the only home Shut road up. gym in the entire world, which means it is the nah. best home gym in the entire world. Hey, look, man, open air. The best gym in the world. Yeah, yeah. Equipment you can get. Every piece of equipment in this gym is by Gym 80. Now, if you don't know about Gym 80, you're not training in the right places. They are the world's leader and innovator in fitness equipment. This guy's and taking the piece. Why are you rubbing it in for? I know. Just I know. Like, oh, doing it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, doing bro. everything. After you took steroids. Mad team. Yes, because because it's a standard. Yes, it's a standard in the industry. You it's standard. Mm-hmm. You take the roids, you look mm-hmm. the part, and you mm-hmm. get everything. That's you it. Get all, everything for free. That's and it. everyone buys into yeah, the dream, cool, isn't it? But you got to take the risk, and I just know my luck, bro. I don't roll dice for fun. But you yet. don't even need to take that risk, bro. What are you on? No, no, no. I mean, to get to obviously, he's a level of he's levels above me, bro. Come, on, let's be real, innit? it? Even at my even at my best. But the thing is, yeah, what I would say is. There was enough man from the gym when I was like on form and that they swear down. Now you gotta be on roids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. be on roids. Even in yeah. jail, man was asking me if I'm taking stuff. And yeah. like even telling ten and next man, I don't care what he says, he's definitely taking it. But, but that's just envy. You're gonna well, get envy it on the visit, and yeah. lack of education, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Not but fine. I but I would say that I was at the very edge of what you could achieve without roids. Because the man them that I know that was taking roids, I even look better than some of them still. Mm. You know, but you know what, like, today, when, when you're talking it. about, like, there's a lot more to it than, what, like, the layman won't understand. Like, I yeah. don't know if you know about tie-ins. Do you know about tie-ins? I know, I know nothing, bro. Tie-ins, yeah. Uh, he's like, where your muscle ties into the joint, right? So a normal person will tense their arm and you see a bicep with a little peak on it and you're thinking, yeah, he's got the peak and that. But when a professional looks, he'll say, there's too much gap between the joint and where the muscle right, starts. There's right, that little right, gap. Right, right, right. If you got that, forget it. Like them little gaps that you've got in your muscle, forget it. Because that's just basically, you've got a long tendon and then right. the muscle starts. You can't out-train that. That's just your genetics. I've actually but, got that, though. Yeah, see, then you wouldn't have made it anyway, even if you took right. the roids. I've actually got that gap still. So I'm looking at my arm. I know I've got that. Yeah, gap. yeah, yeah. The, obviously, yeah. some people don't have that. Yeah. It's the same with calves, isn't it? You can't grow your calf bigger than what it is because it's tied in. It's just a tendon that runs up from your Achilles. Right. All the way up to where your calf starts. And if it's longer, your calf's going to be smaller. If it's shorter, you're going to have a fatter calf like a potato calf. But you know what's mad, yeah? It's like... It's just these genetics. men always just told me. These men always just make, make this, this point that if you want to make it big and you want to, like, break through that glass ceiling, yeah. come out of the UK. Yeah, for real. Yeah, Dubai, thingy, them man that, what's it called? Um, Bada. There's a man called Bada. He's got a mm. gym called, um, I think, is it Oxygen in Dubai? Right. Yeah. All Kai Green and them lot train out there. Thingy, Brandon Curry trains out there. Yeah, they're that like... Kai Green guy, I hate, I hate him. I hate the look oh, of what, him. What, have you, do you know Brandon Curry? <laughs> I know Brandon the name. Brandon Curry, I think he won, he won Mr. Olympia about three, four years ago, Brandon. He's a bad man still. Water says, Jedi, people take steroids to look big. So if you no, are no, big, no, no, no. they want to look like you. Yeah, no. no, I hear you. Yeah, I think it is true though. They just want the size. They just mm. want to bulk. What the bulk, you mean? Yeah, get that bulk. Mm. And, um, but there's more to it than that, man. Yes, yeah, the French bone structure is different to other people's. Right. But this ain't no average dude though. Like I don't know how tall he is, but you can see how he's set. Like is, mm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Some man has got the good foundation to to put the muscle on it. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. That's what it is. But bro, like I said, man, I know there's a man that's paralyzed from roids. I know two, no, I know three men that's died from roids. Mm-hmm. One brother called Simon and two other dudes, like heart attack, one bus driver brother. Yeah. And and if, it's just so weird, yeah, because I started this, I went to go and look at this gym in Harrow Road, yeah, called um Jubilee. So I've gone there, and as I've walked in now, uh, I know a couple man there. So like, Rob, what are you doing there? Mm-hmm. I'm getting the tour by the by the gym man, you know, yeah. by the by the staff. They're like, "Bro, what are you doing in there? Come in there, come in there." They've literally dragged me into the weights room, right? Man's like basically spinning me around, like, "Fucking hell, yeah, I, hey, bruv, you're gonna join the team." I'm like, "Yo, what's that?" <laughs> <laughs> Next man turns around and says, "Yeah, once we get it, once we get him on gear, it's a wrap." Yeah, what do you mean, bro? Yeah, you're gonna be like bro. a fucking beast. Not that beast you're not a beast head now, head but I'm not gonna lie. Monster, I was slightly tempted, like bro. Yeah. But I was like, nah, nah, I'm not on this gear thing. Rare, rare. And I never it's went back to that thing. gym. I joined a different gym. 
and then they start dropping out like flies. Mm. Yeah, but there's a difference the between you, and the brothers. Brothers. I'm not going to call their names, but if you know the gym I'm talking about, then you know the light skin brothers I'm talking about. If you're what if you're listening to this, yeah. Mm. Bro, winter, these men are in shorts. Why? Because <laughs> their calves can't fit in no kind of travel yeah. Theme, travel theme. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shorts all year round, bro. You see man's calves, bro. Yeah. Like, it's but like a mockery. I don't like, really rate that monster look, though. I, I prefer classic physique. You know, like, if you look up man like Chris Bumstead, that, right, them sort of physique. Look, yeah, well, classic classic physique, bro. Like, 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 look like a normal human being with clothes on. Anything when you take your clothes off, everyone's like, oh, shit. Ah, yeah, you've like, been yeah that's the effect yeah. I like. Like, I don't want to be looking look, like a, a, a freak that can't even fit into a suit. Like, you know, like Kai Green and them. Yeah, yeah. If Kai someone's wedding, man can't even wear a suit, like. Kai Green makes me feel sick. Like, I, and everything <laughs> about him, he's got pool dead with some long pony t- <laughs> The fake He just makes me sick. Yeah, he's he's American, isn't it? He's just too American. I don't know what he is. It's that bro. fake American bullshit it's culture. Slightly, slightly fruity with it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's the one who was accused of um, doing uh, what was it? Some gay for pay. Of, not gay for pay. I think they paid him to put his dick inside the co- uh, thing, uh, pineapple or something like that, at a show, and he did it. Look, man, look at all this shit. Now that he's all that, he's he's just gone weird. Yes, yeah, look, man. That is... You just What's gone weird. You're just a weirdo, man. What's the point, man? I, I like the classics, man. I like Flex Wheeler. If you look up Flex, Flex Wheeler, Wheeler, yeah, I know Flex. Back in the day, Flex oh, Wheeler's so. physique was just. I know Flex. Bro, Sergio Olivio. These old schools, like they're the classics. They're the fucking the foundations, bro. Even yeah, Arnold was kissing Sergio Olivio. Right, man. Yeah, man's got iron heart, got right, iron heart valve, valve to make the heart keep going. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> next man's been amputated. Yeah, yeah legs are gone. Man. Man's got metal this legs now. Speak. And because I saw stuff like this, I, I was an a avid reader of gym magazines and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I got all them jail, magazines stacked up. In jail. Mm. So I got into bodylifting, weightlifting or whatever before I knew about steroids. And then when yeah. then I started to realize, okay, these men are on steroids. Okay, Arnie yeah. and them are not on steroids. Then you yeah, look yeah, at Arnie. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm good, man. I yeah, of course. Yeah. But this is the thing that it's a matter of ego, isn't it? If you're trying to compete with these people and trying to be as big as you can be, that's just an ego trip you're going on. Like, I'm into health and fitness. A little touch of roids ain't really deviating from the path, really. Do you know what I mean? For me, like one shot, one shot at at my age of 50, that's not nothing really. I always said this to people that ask me about roids, right? I would say to this, I would say, like, push yourself naturally first, right? Yeah, yeah, plateau yeah, it. Where you can go, right? Yeah, of course. But some man, they look at you, they're like, "Raw, how do I get so big? Raw, what do you take gear? Like, kind of where can I get gear?" I'm like, "Bro, you even lifted the dumbbell yet? Yeah, exactly. You want to run to the gear first? At least yeah. get your your uh, motor motor neurons and whatever firing. Yeah, your right firing gear. mechanisms. Do yeah, you know man. I mean? Of course, of course. Yeah. Recruit the right fibers. Na- like honestly. this is what I mean. If you're not ego based thinking and you're thinking like health and fitness. What you're going to do is you're going to get yourself to that plateau. You're going to say, this is my genetic potential that I've reached. I just mm. need to cross that barrier and right. get over to the other side where there's yeah. more growth. And you use yeah. roids as a little tool. Like you don't base your whole physique on it because then you're going to look stupid. Mm. And then you've got traps coming up to your earlobes. Like you don't need <laughs> that. It's not necessary. Do you know what I mean? It's not, do you know, believe it or not, yeah, it's are you not. Fully aware of, are you fully aware of the dangers though, bro? 100%. What do you mean? Of course. Of course. The only thing is, if you have any underlying weaknesses that you're not aware of, like if you've got a weak heart and you don't know, no, yeah, no, you're, no, you're taking a risk with that. <laughs> no, tell me something. What mm. is... What, how, how is... Uh, how is Roy's going to affect your diabetes? To be, to be honest... The more weight you lose, the, the thinner you are, the leaner you are, the better your diabetes is going to be. So if you use it in a way where it's helping your recovery so you can increase the frequency of workouts, so then you've burnt more calories in a week and then you've lost more weight than you normally would have, it's a benefit. But like you said, people who just take it and gain size and mass and they're not gaining any fitness or heart health or cardio ability or even muscle endurance, they're just trying to get swole 
they're just increasing the sarcoplasmic fluid in their muscle bellies, getting swollen. And then as soon as they stop taking the roids, they're going to go back to normal anyway. So they're wasting their time, risking their life, and they're fucking themselves up. Like, but I'm not an idiot like that, innit? I know what I'm doing. Mm. I'm like the doctor out here, fam. I just ain't got the experience with uh, syringes and needles and things. That's the only thing. Do you get me? Uh, you look, watch out, yeah. We've got a sniper in the chat. It's um, Silverback. He's obviously got the phone in his pocket or something. And he's just taking man out. Left one. Right. Yeah. He's ah, done ah. a couple. He's done yeah. S Isa. He's done Isa. And he's done... Um, who did he do before that? He's done oh, one other correct. person as well. He's, yeah, he's yeah, done a he's few people. people out, so. mm -hmm. it's, not on, it's not intentional. You know he's cool. He's not intentional. but um, And skeptic. Yeah, sorry about that. And I can't get find his profile to take his spanner off him for that like, temporary. So <laughs> you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> just yeah. out the chat, man. Yeah. Oh, uh, weightlifting and that powerlifting, bro. Not just that, bro. Longevity. If you yeah. maintain your muscle mass into your old age, you got longer mortality. You're gonna live longer. Losing muscle, being thin and weak, you're gonna die because muscles what's keeping you alive, really. Now, when you hear okay. about old people dying of um, hyperthermia, yeah, yeah, well, how, how that happens is because you don't have enough muscle, yeah, your body can't generate heat to keep your core temperature up. So you go to bed and put on an electric blanket, thinking that you're going to be all right, but in the night you just die anyway, because that's just how humans are, isn't it? You need to have muscle to keep your core temperature up, which keeps you alive. Like them two things, muscle uh, and morbid morbidity, are. Yeah. Directly connected. You mm -hmm. say that, but ain't no ain't no hench granddads out there, bro. They mm, I, know, I know a couple. I know a couple. Yeah. Only, only granddads surviving are the skinny ones, bro. Mm. Come on, ain't no big ain't all the fat granddads. All that they go, man. They yeah, up. fat granddads dying at 50, 100 percent. Right, 50, 55, The man's popping their clocks. You no, you know what? You might be right about a couple hench, um, couple muscly ones. You might. Be yeah, right. there's a couple of seventy yeah. year olds at my gym. Couple yeah, of Jamaican guys, right. they're like they're good still. But I think I think the aim is as the older you get as a man, you want to like be slim. Yeah, you, you want to be up. lean. You want definitely want to be lean. Yeah, okay. the muscle mass doesn't need to be uh like bulky. Just needs to be enough to kind of like keep you ticking over. So yeah, obviously right. it does. Uh, it's functional muscle, isn't it? <laughs> you don't have to be like puffy and bloaty. Right, right, right. You just right, need right. to have the muscle in place, though. Do you know what I mean? So certain things you need, like you need the muscle around your kneecaps, for example, when you get older, yeah, to keep your legs working properly. Like the mm. knees are very important. Yeah. Lower back as well. Lower back. Yeah. If you've got a strong like core as an old man, yeah, you're going to be walking upright still. Upright, like there's yeah. so many functional things to muscle. Like it's just not about looking good at 100%. Yeah, muscle looks good. But why are people attracted to muscle? It's because it's a health uh, thing. Do you, know, do you know Mike Rashid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a G. Why is he pretending? I like Mike Rashid, man. Why is he, why is he pretending? Why did he pretend to be natty for... <laughs> because, Let me tell you something. Because like, he said there's more money in it. Let me tell you something, yeah. Mike Rashid pretended to be natty, right? It's a joke thing. And then... Um... It's still your set, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's still your set. What's, What's his, his name, name again? I forget. I know the guy you mean at the heart yeah. operation. Yeah. So now his camp yeah. got raided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, did Mike you hear Rashid's, about that? Mike Rashid's, Rashid's gym got raided. Mike Rashid got caught up in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, Mike Rashid's talking about, yeah, I'm doing this new thing. Where I'm gonna be eating one meal a day. Oh yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was back in the day. Boxing, I remember, I remember. Right, and yeah. then he he obviously lost bare weight. Yeah, but he's claiming oh, I've changed my training. Nah, bro, your rice supply fucked up. <laughs> your rice supply <laughs> fucked up, bro. Yeah, them man need to get FTK that if um they're like yeah, selling feel, people like, dreams like, out like, here. But well, you can see how he is now. Yeah. He's obviously a lot more natural now, right? Have you seen Dorian? Dorian Yates. Dorian Yates. He's just looking like a normal civilian. Man went from like a Hulk to like a civilian looking guy. Yeah, some of these dudes, man. And then you got the ones with the um with the bubble, the bubble gut. Oh, you know yeah, yeah, bubble yeah, gut? yeah, 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 yeah. That's um, from they're saying that's from growth hormone. It's called uh it's called Balum Balum Balumboid. Arnold something? this them, innit? Arnold come out, he said, Listen, there's no bubble guts gonna win my tournament. Bubble gut, yes. 
big yeah. puffy belly. Yeah, Arnold's against it. Yeah, but Arnold's a bit of a hypocrite, man. Like he took hit, um, royalties his whole life, and now he's his whole like, life, man. and then come up. Yeah, Fuck and then him, turns man. on it, and like, now he's even like, oh, I'm vegan. I, I'm part of it, man. Like he's just trying <laughs> it, bro. Yeah, you build your whole funda- foundation on one thing, and then you tell people, but then. See, so them bodybuilders, they open the way for these influencers, these women yes. yeah. that go and get the BBL. Yeah. They get the breasts. They get the liposuction. Yeah. Then they do free gym videos, lifting up baby weights. Or even, they even do fake weights, Can't Fake weights. I've seen it. I've seen it. Fake weights. They do fake weights. Yeah, the, yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, Ooh. they do, bro. They do. Ooh. But the thing is that you, if you're naive and you get sucked in by that, then you're on some vanity trip anyway. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but I mean, ain't nothing wrong with being naive, bro. Yeah, there is. Getting taken nah, advantage nah. of, innit? No, nah, it's the people that take advantage of the naive people. That's the issue. Ain't nothing wrong with being naive. That's my default setting, man. I want to believe what you tell me. Mm. Like, I think you've got to be a little bit more worldly. And I think you, like, you need to kind of you listen do. to your elders just... who can guide you through you do, the pitfalls but it's of following though. strangers who don't have your best interests at all. You're right, man. You're right. But it's unfortunate. That man can't just be real, in it. Like, be honest, in it. So these gal are out here, and the thing is, it's, it's a proper wicked thing because you want to take advantage of women that want a body like yours, and you're gonna act like you earn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even gonna have the cheek to put up before and after pictures. Like these women are evil, bro. Scamsters, bro. Scamsters. Scamming, and then you're selling this product and that product. This yeah. health benefit, that health benefit. Yeah. It's yeah, but it, it's all bro. based on vanity, though. The customers are demanding this. Like, it's not like they're coming out and true. selling it. Look how long bodybuilding's been going on. It's yeah, true. only recently it's been blowing up like this because people are demanding a higher level of vanity. Do you get me? It's just propelled out of proportion now. It's just yeah. ridiculous. Like, the people want it, innit? Like, you can't sell someone something they don't want, innit? Like, you can't come up to me and sell me a dream that I'm not buying. Like, I don't really care about looks that much. You get me? I don't really like. I can appreciate it. You get me? I'll get my little ruler out and start measuring and going, oh, look, his left bicep's the exact same as his right bicep. Oh, uh, I, re- I respect hey, that. I've got respect on, for that. Don't give me fucking joke. Yeah. I've got respect I for that, bro. I just, I just, no, no, not you, not you, not you. Uh, the joke, yeah, is what Mr. Alio ripped. The, the rock still says he's natty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the biggest joke. This is what I mean, fam. Hello, Baba. Brother, uh, everyone knows it's the voice that makes you bald. When you see a baldy, oh, no. when you see a baldy hello. like that, you know he's fucking on the roads, bro. Uh, Jeez, that man all went bald. That's a beautiful baby, man. Watch the thingy oh. line up, uh, Jets. Bring up the Mr. O lineup, Mr. Olympia. They're all bald, all of them. Wow. <laughs> There's not one with hair. Rocks like that. Yeah, smiley face. No. Go on. Oh, someone said. Oh, someone's saying what they think. Hold on, let me get to one of these. What? Which one? All right, let's play this one. Your essays, phonetically, grammarly, to quickly check for spelling, punctuation, or grammar mistake. So, how do you think that the rock is staying in the shape that he is if he's eating that many calories? Newsflash: Reporter Greg here, reporting the news. The rock's lying. <laughs> Bizarro World The Rock here, and I'm going to be going over a video done by The Other Rock. I'm going to tell you what he really means when he says what he's saying. He presented a video, painted a picture of what he wants you to think he eats to get... I, I, let me tell you something, yeah? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. You can see from a man's face that he's on the gear. Come on, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah? You can see... Okay, let me show you what to look for. You can't even oh, go rest. My opinion, my personal mm-hmm. opinion, because I can't say I'm right, allegedly. Right, this jawline thing, yeah, mm. is a giveaway. Yeah, number. first red flag is that. Yeah, the big wide hexagon jaw giveaway. The second giveaway, I would say, is, see these lines. Yeah, these extra strong lines, wrinkles, these and that. How did they get it? These Kelly Home lines. Kelly yeah, Home. Had Kelly lines, Holmes. Which is this in Kelly Home lines? That's how I do that. This in Dane Chambers. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. High five, snap. This is Dwayne Chambers with a red fucking face and red jaws saying, mm. oh, there's no place for drugs in the sport. Pussy, yo. I fucking, <laughs> fucking hate that shit. Got no, from, no, no it's true, facts. From Royden, bro. Mm. Before that, she was what you like, think? She's a third. She, did she get done for, yeah. for a dolphin? Second, third, no. girl. 
No, she bust. She ain't. No, she's a dame. No, no she done it. And she retired quick. <laughs> yeah, she, she took was it. The average, she was the average chick. And, and an okay lighty. Man used to like ogle her, innit? Like, you know, it was an all right little lighty running. She went and joined Maria Matola, whatever that chick's name is, that looked like a dude, the African chick. Mm-hmm. She went and started training with her. She came back. The jawline was wham. Rectangle jaw. Wham. I'm like, yo. Muscular. Yeah, she's running past gal. Running past gal. Doing mm. fake effort facing her. Mm. <laughs> nah, man, ain't not a damn effort. Yeah, that you was easy for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can always tell as well. They're so bait. Try yeah. it, man. Can't be nonchalant running. This is what yeah, I realized you don't have to be hench to be on roids because Paula Radcliffe as well. Mm. Listen, you don't have to secure medals by hook or by crook. Yeah, yeah. If your name's in, if your name's down on the right list, your boss in case no pistis is touching you and you're gonna win medals. And you can fall back. Oh my back god! The nastiest old. thing I've ever seen was her pissing during a marathon. Paula Radcliffe. <laughs> She, she just peed herself and carried on running. I was like, nah. You got who? Is that what you're doing? You got who? You can't stop. You can't stop. You can't no, stop. No, you can't. You can't. win. There's people that's got yeah. like, and, like, and then good, Jed, the because she's that. peeing out the roids. Pee ain't now it makes sense. She's peeing out the roids as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I you know, know, peeing out the roids. She's drinking every glass of water she stops it. for. Well, and then it's just filling it up and... Yeah, well, man, I would love to see yeah, something yeah, to man. promote in steroids, being positive. Mm. When Ben Johnson, the Canadian, <sighs> smashed the fuck out of what was his name, the I champion believe. at the time, the American? Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis. He left Carl Lewis standing. The fastest man in the world got left standing. Yeah, ben babe, Johnson was babe, just like, you ran too fast. He's supposed too to slow down. Too he ran too fast. Yeah, he, he, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he couldn't hold yeah. it down. He just went mad. Yeah. Could I, mad what was the other dude? Um, Carl Lewis. No, 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 no. More recent. Morris Green. Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Flojo. All of them. Yeah, and the rest of them. them, man. But I, I reckon that you should have like a Royal Olympics, isn't it? Just have a Royal did Games, isn't it? Just have a Games mm. where, where you could take what you want. Let's see. Right? Take what you want. Sign here so we're not responsible and then take what you want. Because w- I'd rather see sports where everyone's just blatantly on drugs, isn't it? Like, fuck it. Everyone is blatantly on drugs. drugs. They are blatantly if I'm on, drugs, <laughs> if I'm on drugs and you're on drugs, don't mean that I'm going to win or what. Do you know what I mean? It's, it still takes natural ability and whatnot and training and da da da. It's not just, oh, I'm just going to sit on the couch, take drugs and beat everyone in the world. It don't work like that. Yeah, I agree. I think that drugs should be like you, used under medical advice, but yeah. you know, free for everyone. They say free performance in heart. Stop this fucking around, man. Mm. And if we want to see some proper, proper times, like an a eight minute hundred meter and an eight second hundred meter, and that mm. seven second and that thing, then yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's juice up. Yeah. <laughs> what's the What's the record now? What nine point something or is yeah. it under nine? It's under nine, yeah. No, there's nine point something, yeah. Definitely. Nine point something, yeah. Until yeah, man, but that eight seconds, nah, that's right. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> you get me? The level of it, it must be mad. Mad. You got to rest up for a whole month after that. Yeah. You take that special shot. The syringe is all glowing and that mud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. Don't tell me you do that. You all your veins and that. Oh, no. Nah. All right, cool. So the rock, boom. Obviously, but see these lines. See everyone we've mentioned so mm-hmm. far. They all got the same lines. Dwayne Johnson, mm-hmm. Kelly Holmes, all of Chambers, them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They got this this gaunt typeface thing. Video, pin a picture of what he wants you to think he eats to get in shape for his roles in various movies and to stay in incredible shape. And as you know, Everybody loves The Rock. The Rock is very charismatic, extremely good looking, way more charismatic what? better looking than Coach Reg. And so most people are just going to give him the pass and say, yeah, because we like him. But today, it's Bizarro World, The Rock. I'm going to tell you what he really means when he says what he's saying. 
going to read between the lines and tell you what he's actually saying when he's lying, when he's not lying. Give you the truth on what the rock actually means when he says what he's saying. I'll have some fish, either some cod or some salmon, which I hate, by the way. I hate salmon. I've and so he does eat some salmon because he values it to health. But for the most part, everything this guy eats, he loves. And I'm going to share with you what I used to eat at the height of my professional wrestling career. <laughs> If you're a fitness coach, in the height of your professional career, when <laughs> you look shit, when you look shit compared to what you look like now, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Man, he's on steroids, obviously, or HGH or something. Super, super. You know what I mean? Girl welcome. Time. He's on growth hormone. Welcome, form, welcome, Gage. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. You know what? We never considered that he might be on steroids. You know, well done. Oh, he is. He's on HGH. Oh, for real? He's on growth hormone. Yeah, hundred oh. percent. You can tell. Oh, wow. That doesn't oh. come naturally. That's not going to happen. You have to be on something. Oh. My heart is broken. I just <laughs> chatted <Yeah>. my list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, we, we, we basically that's why we were playing this video because this video is explaining that the rock's on juice, right? The rock's on juice. Ah, of course, he is. Look at him. Does anyone think that he's not on juice just out of interest on the panel in the chat? Anybody? Anyone? Nah, nah, like I said, it's not just about the juice, bruv. There's the whole thing around it, like the clenbuterol. Like, there's like a whole thing, growth hormone. Like, when we're saying natural, really, what do we mean? Like, is what about creatine? Does that make you natural or not natural? Yeah, yeah, I would say if you're on creatine, you're still natty. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, no, creatine's natural. Creatine's naturally found, but I'm saying like PEDs or whatever they call them. You know what I mean? Um... There's there's, there's other there's other things that are out now, isn't it? What they called um, performance enhancing drugs. There's thingies. Uh, I forget the name human, for it. Like non steroid growth hormone. Non steroid growth hormone. Yeah, but there's non steroidal uh, growth factors that they're using now. I forget the name for them, man. HGH. No, 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 no. They, there's other things. There's other compounds that they've come up with that. Uh, I forget. I forget. I can't even think now. But there, there, there's so many things now. There's, there's things that, that they can't even detect it in your body. Like you know, if you're competing, they might not even recognize that substance. There's loads of things that it's just gone beyond just steroids. Yeah, yeah they're called PEDs or something. Forget. That's performing yeah. enhancing drugs that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about um, there's another thing I forget. But anyway. There's a whole section of them non like non steroid based um, supplements that um, actually do work. Like they actually work on um, the growth factors in your body. Like they do actually work properly. Like they're they're one step from creating. There's loads of stuff out, man. I, I take like, it's not just about steroids. I take uh, glutamine, which is found in meat and shit. What it does is glutamine is the spirit. most commonly found uh, uh, thing yeah. anyway. Amino acid. It's not really going to do much for you. It just helps heal your uh, muscles a little. Quicker. It will help you if you're deficient. It will help you, but if you're eating enough food, you shouldn't really be deficient. Yeah. Anyway, I need to go <laughs> gym, so I'll chat to you, man, later. Mm-hmm. Big up, big yeah, up, big up. Mm. Yeah, and, and my my thing before I leave, I'm just saying my thing is stay away from ego based thinking, stay away from obsessive things. Don't buy into any fucking dream that anyone's selling you. Whatever you're doing. If you're starting off with a good foundational thinking, you can utilize these things to your benefit. Don't mean get carried away with it. Do you know what I mean? Take steroids. Take I'm saying take steroids, but take it in a sensible way under medical advisement. So when you start in yours, well, I'm like you said, you got to be at a plateau level. You got to reach your le- your peak before you start doing that. So because I'm losing weight, I can't really do that because I'm focusing on losing weight, not growing so, muscle at the minute. So you're cutting right now. Yeah. yeah, so I'm cutting right now. Yeah, basically, might as well say. Yeah, so once that's done, then obviously, yeah. You're supposed to I'll let you lot know, innit? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I'm out of here. Big up, big, big up. up, everyone. Big up. Yeah. Uh, big up. Sorry, I'm I'm just looking for, there's a couple of people that's been blocked by accidents. I'm trying to find them. Purple pill mm. effect and someone else. Yeah. Someone's just tried to come and um, um, jump in the panel. Who is it? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, um, um, uh, uh, Crew Teller. Mm. Shall I bring him? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why? Jump on, bro. Big up, Kutala. What go on? What go on? What go on, people? You said. I was just saying it because that guy was saying something and I just thought, let me jump on. What do you know about this guy? He was talking about what the steroids and that. Yeah, do you know about that? Do you know about steroids? Yeah, well, yeah, of course, isn't it? We, Asian you know, man love from London. Steroids. I know, but well, I don't Asian take no, Not in that steroids. level. Not in that they level. Do, just do. to reach you know, man. Man. I would the average. Know. I would uh-huh. just to the average, man. That should make score. You don't sorry, know. Sorry. You know that the Asian man loves steroids, bro. Come on, man. Bro, that, I don't that, think steroids, should... but there's bro, a short thing I can tell you. There's one brother I know who's an Indian boy, obviously from school, and uh, I still know him. He used to have to take steroids because if he got hay fever, his eyes were fucked. Blood. It's not the same. Apparently, story. gave or something like that. But then when they're doing the gym thing, there's the people like remember that he's a rich piano. Rest in yeah. peace. Yeah. You get me? They were just fucking firing because they just wanted to be the biggest player. But then that all fed off to like the mediocre brothers that don't understand yeah. that shit ain't good for you, man. Just do bro, that shit. It's bad on your heart. It also makes you, you go should bald. do natural things. You know, it makes you go bald. It's bad on your heart. It shrinks your balls. It's fucked. I wouldn't be doing that. I don't gotta lie though. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you, I reckon you should you always just... have natural things because I, I, I used to drink beer and do it. Yeah. I would Might recommend be... them for you, Cage. Like, Grow you your know, teeth and that. Put your... <laughs> <laughs> Put some on your toothbrush. <laughs> no, no, like yeah. naturally, I'm, built, like... I'm, built like a, I'm built like a shit brick house, bro. Like, I, I just You're put not, on muscle. Bro, whatever, like, man. I'm telling you. You're built like a brick of shit, bro. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't really, <laughs> like, if you, if you, met, if you met me in day. person, you'd be saying something different. Shut right? up, bro, man. We've seen you, Cage. Yeah, yeah, it's, hard to tell, it's hard to tell on camera. You know? no, it's really not, side. bro. Stand beside you me. Yeah. Cool, my brother <laughs> does his gym thing in my garden every fucking other day. He just go away if he wants. So I know about this. He was trying to teach me as well about all this, like, Exercise and shit, but I'm tired, blood. Really get me? Really? I ain't gonna do it. But the thing is, what he says, like, and what I know is, you have to have a clean body if you're lifting weights, and you can't do it for like one day and say, "Oh, I'm chilling." Yeah, you gotta no. do that fucking at least every day. Every days, every day you gotta do something. Every you don't day. have to do the same muscle, but you gotta do something. Keep that the same. You can't just say, "Yeah, I'm today. I'm gonna have." Some spinach and a salad, pump bay weights, and the next day I say, Yo, I'll go on bedroom and we're going Nando's and eat the Nando's and do nothing and then wake up in the morning. And then, but you yeah, know, you gotta have a system, yeah. You know what the fact your... is, though, yeah. you should always work out at the end, always work out your quads, like you know, you're, you're like uh, thighs and shit, because that's yeah, like, I got a bench, system. but there's too much fucking spiders in the garden and it's cold, so I don't know. No, no, but, but listen, listen, this is what my, my coach taught yeah. me when I was fighting. He said, he yeah, said, um, that it's, shit, man. it's the biggest me, muscle, right? So it releases, it releases natural human growth hormone when you exercise that muscle. Yeah, yeah, with, with the leg, with the bottom. Yeah, yeah. We, that's yeah, why yeah. we play football, blood. A lot. Yeah, don't don't lack on the leg. legs. Yeah, yeah of course. Of people... I'm playing football, man. Mm-hmm. Well, not now. If I play football, man, let's see in it. But yeah, go on. With the quads. Yeah, yeah. yeah it just releases but, growth uh, hormone naturally. What do you think so about it's... speed, bro? That like, speed's got to be like you know what I mean. Say you're 25 pound or whatever you are, more than me. If I'm mm. faster to land that thump in your face and I can do five or six of them in split seconds, you get more damage. And then I'm taking you down and I'll punch you in the fucking balls, bro. But no, then no, you're it's, a big it's, lad te- and yeah, it's all about technique. You're a you small know? lad can counteract that blood. So you lifting weights, doing steroids ain't going to happen. Your ego... Or you then basically then that's a different like demographic. That person wants to look big if he wants to be like Rich Piana, and then you know what I mean you want the gal them and that or whatever. Then it don't really make sense to me to even take anything like that. To be honest, I'm educating like anyone else like you know young people. Don't take that shit, man. You don't need that, man. No, you don't need that shit. You get me? No, no, because if like I don't know when I bad. I train, yeah, but... I I don't train to look good. I train for functionality. You know what I mean? Like they actually use use it, you know. I, some people they just train just to look a certain way. I'm trying well, to train for the as well, man. Yeah. If you're in a gym and someone says, "Yo, bro, I got a contract with UFC right now," and then you take this and you don't know, and then, oh she, you gotta take this off this. But them guys go for some next level shit. Them oh. proper hardcore guys. Most of yeah. the guys cycle that shit before they have to get their drug tested. Shit, make sure it's out of their system first. 
I mean, a lot of them. You see, a, you see a lot of people, but I don't understand. Like, look, you're gonna die early because you just fucked up your head, blood. It fucks you up your me? heart. It fucks your heart up. Yeah, like head. it's like drinking blood. Red Bulls and that. It's mm. something you don't need because if you didn't have that in, and if you didn't have anything around, you still be doing the normal shit. But because you have yeah. sat around, you won't get one day, one that. Yes, well, look, is, at the man, look at the man's in jail and shit. If they can there? stay focused, then they can go boom, straight. Stay mm-hmm. focused for like a month or two. Obviously, it depends where you are and your like demographic. No, it sucks. It, it's, it, it feels like shit. And then after, you're going to be addicted to it and shit. You'll be addicted to those endorphins getting released. You know what I mean? Boy, That's like, look. That's a good example. It's like you going to the gym, you're doing really well, you've been doing fucking crazy for two years, and a geezer with a Lambo walks in and says, yo, bro, let's go and have a meal after that, and boom, that could change your whole shit for days, because you see something. You get mm-hmm. me? So, yo, boom. Any- anything can change you, but you got to stay focused, blood. You get me? Yeah. If you yeah, stay yeah, focused, but... then, boy, nothing touching you, man. Bro, you just make it routine, like... Bro. Make a routine like taking a shower or brushing your teeth. You know what I mean? Yep. It's just something day, natural. Look, you got to do like, it. It's like it's like putting your, it's like getting dressed in the morning. It's the same shit. You just deal. Yeah, with you it. have to go for them shit showers in it. That's what I do mm-hmm. normally. Mm-hmm. But I'm kind of blessed, you know, because I'm I'm not I'm not trying to be nasty or nothing. But look, it, I wake up in the morning, go for my dump, and then boof, the shower's right next to my toilet. Wash my body crack. Depending yeah, the morning on the shit. Everyone takes then, the morning shit. And then wash my bars, <laughs> wash my armpits and that from the sweat and that. And then I don't wash my hair because it's long. I'll leave that for like until I got a day off in it. Like, so it's quick, man. Every, everyone can do it. Take five minutes, man. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 you know, and it's good for it's good for your personal hygiene because you don't want to be forty years old. All them type of madness. I'm telling you, every time you take a dump, you should wash your butt crack with a shower. Oh, of yeah? course. Of course, yeah. that's why they, that's why in Europe and shit they have that fucking. Them tissues ass. don't work, blood. Them <laughs> tissues just pushing shit around, blood. You, you see, you, know you see in like you see in like France and shit in the Europe they have that fucking ass, the other thing beside the mm. toilet and it shoots fucking water up your ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's because in India I'm from I am from India, innit? So you guys have that shit like, too over there, right? They yeah, got them, yeah. They got them things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't have that over here. No, so we don't have shit. it over here, so that's why you got the shower cubicle and you can do our one in it. Mm-hmm. You don't shit in the shower though, because you're gonna get bad up, blood. I'm telling you, blood. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Some you random tourists come to London, and like, yo, oh god, this is no. Are you man really talking yeah, about? Go to go shit shit you really doing? Doing? I don't think. Yeah, but that's, bro, that's why would that even be a sentence? It's hygiene. It's hygiene Brother, level. You know you've contemplated something when you use it in a sentence. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> this guy thought about shit. I'll say no more. Board. I'll say no more. <laughs> no, you guys all right? We'll, 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 Are you all right? <laughs> Are we all right? Well, you're the one talking about shit in the showers. What's wrong with me? It's, it's a men's health. It's a men's health time, isn't it? Look, we're talking about the gym. you got to keep yourself clean. You know what I mean? Don't take no shortcuts, blood. That's what we're talking about, blood. Then no, tissue no, ain't gonna help. You were talking about shitting in showers, bro. I don't know where that came from. If that came out as a joke, like if a tourist come along, you gotta to explain to them this ain't the cubicle for them thing. You get me? That's a joke thing. Because them man do things in holes and bushes. They don't know them. You know what I mean? Them vibes. Okay. Loud well, how, many, go on. Um, well, how go on. many push-ups can you guys do consecutively? Can you do at least how many can you can do you, consecutively? Can, Why can, you asking least, us? can you at least do a hundred? If you can't do a hundred, you're out of shape. How many can you do consecutively? No way. I'm doing no way. It's I can do it. No, I'm not in I cage. Can, how many I can, can you do? I can do I more do than like 100. 10 or 20. Hold on, cage. How many can you do? Give us a number. I can do more. I can do more than a hundred. Easy. How Thank much do you weigh? Man. How much yeah. do you weigh? Like 170. 170. 170 yeah, pounds. Weight. Pounds or kilos? Yeah, kilos. KGs, pounds, bro. pounds, pounds. So about 85 KG? kgs. About 85 kgs. Less than that. Mm-hmm. It's about 84, maybe 83. Something like that. Yeah, boy, well, a, a key is 2.2 pounds, right? So something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. yeah, I reckon you'll probably be, be roughly 80 kg. So mm-hmm. 100, 100 push-ups. How are you doing them, though? Are you doing them wide arm? Are you doing them diamonds? Do 100 diamonds right now. Uh, diamonds, yeah. The tricep push-ups, those are different. Do 100 now. Nah, you said you could do 100 push-ups. Get the fuck out of here, man. Do 100 diamonds right now. Get down on your, your push-up I, stance. I can do, I can Put do the 50. camera on. Do 100 
Do 50 diamonds right now with the camera on. You got to do it, blood, because he said it now. Oh, my God. See, you you were the one boasting. I was not even boasting, innit? I said 10, yeah. maybe. I was fucked. <laughs> 10? I was honest. You was, uh, go on, show your honesty, man. That's, that's on, not brother. hard, man. That's easy. What yeah, but you got to do it all in 100 straight. Both. Mm, that's on. You got to do some, like, what's, it, what's his name again? David Blaine shit, man. All right, but you, anyone can get up there. What you have to do is do your maximum and do that throughout the day. No, no, like he 20. said to you, you have to. No, no, but I'm saying for you, I'm saying for you to do it. All you gotta do is okay, if you do it. ten. If you can do ten, do ten. Yeah, no, wait, good. wait an hour or two. Do another ten throughout the whole day. Keep doing. 10, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do you know that. what I mean? And like do like mm. two hundred a day, and then within like a month you'll be able to do that. Within like a few months you'll be able to do that. You know, it's not hard. I just got, I just gotta make sure I don't smoke a spliff before I do it. That's to be honest. Oh, I'm, 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 smoking a, I'm, I'm smoking a spliff right now. <laughs> bro, I ain't doing that, man. That's a waste of weed, blood. Fuck that, man. Fuck. We don't like getting a, getting high. I ain't gonna get. I ain't gonna do no gym shit. I'm sp- you do that after. But I'm I work out when I'm high all the time. Hell no, I like work. Bro. I like working out high. You have like high. Nah, that don't make sense, man. Because I used to do it when I was drunk and I realized that's stupid because the next day I didn't have my amino. I actually, I can educate on something about these things as well. I used to fucking do some mad shit before. Not now. Like all this gym shit and lifting up stuff I'm not supposed to. And um, these amino acid fucking bodybuilding blocks worked, man. Yeah. I used to have like bones. I used to do weights and go golf, like driving range. And the whole back piece is fucking hurting. You guys would know about that. Everything sore. Four amino acid bodybuilding blocks with some good food. And I wake up in the morning, five o'clock, ready fucking to go, man. So there's certain things that you can do. Try out if you are feeling anything. I I'll just yeah, put, I, I throw like that in there. Out. I like mm. doing the workout either. This one. I like doing it late at night or in the morning. You know what I mean? I think those are the best times. To you're, do you're in America, right? Uh, Canada, Canada. Canada. Fucking hell, bro. Uh, Toronto, yeah. I went to Toronto. the border at Niagara Falls. It was quite nice to get two pings. Mm-hmm. You're in the border of Canada, and then you're in the border of America at the same time. Yeah, Niagara is like, like far. I could drive. Stranger. I could drive. I could drive to the border like an hour by Niagara, by New York and shit. The funniest thing though at that time was that everyone was leaving Canada. Mm-hmm. No one was trying to get into Canada. Everyone's going to Niagara Falls, but everyone was fucking leaving. Like the whole line, the whole line. No, Canada was the worst during this uh, this uh, Kung flu bullshit. You know what I mean? Bro, the gyms, everything was shut down for like years. You couldn't do you're shit for to, years. Are you allowed to grow weed in Canada? Like, Cade, we're still waiting for your 100 diamonds, you know? Mm. I'm smoking my joint. I'll do it If out. you want diamonds, you have to call me because my friend in India, he's got a diamond cutting factory. So she called me. Mm. Wait, what, what, were you, what did you just ask me? My bad. He wants gold and diamonds. What, what's, the, what's the average price of diamonds in Canada right now? I don't know, man. I don't. Know. I don't know about the diamonds. I know the the ounces of gold are like I think they're like seventeen right now, around there. For Troy, yeah, and you have to figure out what the actual cut is. Keep the up. carrots. Mm-hmm. Go for gold. I think gold's like seventeen hundred and uh, Troy ounce now or something. You know, if you're interested in diamonds, like real legit diamonds, you Where need you to come with me on a holiday, my bro. Okay, I can okay. I can show you something mad. These guys, they cut them, they source them, they do everything. They're basically gem makers, but they cut the gems. Damn, well, they do damn, it's, it's up That's to 22, 2200 now for, for an ounce of gold. I know the brother, I'll ounce. make you beat him. Jeez. But you have to go somewhere. Last time, yeah, 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 gold's a good investment because last time I bought the gold, I was paying, uh, I paid like, I think 1200 Canadian, now it's up to 2200, but that took like fucking 10 years. <laughs> So that took like six, seven years to get to. Nah, it's expensive, man. That that trade right now as well with the all this war and shit, they're trying to fuck you with that even more. You gotta be careful. But I know where people will be trying to get rid of some stuff. Hundred percent. No, like I see I see people London, buying it's never in London. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I see people buying like fucking gold chains and all that. I'm like, these guys are idiots, bro. Like, go buy gold bars. No, they and... can buy it. They that's their joy. I'm saying, what well, he was asking, what is the price? No, no, but I'm saying I invest in the gold. I've been investing in gold since I was 17. So I'm saying, oh, you did? <clears throat> oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been buying gold bars, like you know, little Troy ounce bars, that's Johnson sick, Matthew, man. shit like that. Yeah, you keep it at the. You can get a safety deposit box. Keep it in there. It's insurance it and all the robbery. You know right. what I mean? So, yeah, because they already know it's linked to your name. The government knows that you own these bars either way. You just buy them at, at the exchange. But yeah, yeah. Last time I bought them, I was really like good investment there. Yeah, it was thirteen. It went up to twenty-two in a few. Like but, but, last time I. Yeah. Last time, and it's only been like probably six years. See with um with that um like what is the price of like can you can you smoke weed in Canada like freely now is it legal? Bro, it's it's federally legal. They're, at the okay. airport, well, you can grow a plant plant. right now. I have a license for 150 plants, bro. That's fucking awesome, man. <laughs> you can have a whole operation out here. It's le- it's on the stock market. It's like you can go to you can go to you can go to university and learn. About the way this is getting. <laughs> It's, it's like any other business. Oh, shut yeah. up. Shut up. I Jedi. I'm going to come no. for you, boy. I'm going to slice your neck. Why would you say you're going to come for him, man? That's so gay. Who says this? Easy, bro. No, you're going to come for him. you, pussy. You're going to come for him, man. That is homosexual, brother. That is gay. That's not nice. Don't say that. Don't be a pussy. Well, you're a big man. Yeah, I'm a big you know, man. I'll come down you know to you. Young, you like. bitch. Do you know what a pussy man. looks like? Leave him, man. Tell me where you live. Th- those are the most. Those are the funniest threats. You have to go to the church like, in the if cute, you want to be a big man. But if you're a big man, I'm telling you, if I get my katana from my dad, you your legs gone, blood. Your legs yeah. getting chopped. That's right. a cute threat you got don't, there, bro. Don't slice, man. Don't know who you're going to slice. Don't you, you pussy. I'll catch you, you know. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Pussy. Relax yourself, man. Of all the places, people's, people's, or speaker's corner, like, where they're with the police. You're going to go to the pop corner. What's wrong with your brain? I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. Where you at? Give me a postcode. You don't have to send me an address. You're being so good. There's gonna right be now. no address, man. I'll be you go right to the now. church. You dickhead. Church. You go look. This guy's gonna go roll up with a musket or something, bro. Careful. He's and gonna pull up when you're there. I'm not with saving a musket in that. Call me, call me when you're at Stonebridge Park Station, but not now. It's too early because everyone's awake. No, oh, I'm coming right now, you pussy hole. I'm coming yeah. right. Well, you have to come I'm later, coming. I'm not. You on the line, bitch. Right now, you right now, you dickhead. Right now, bitch. Give me fucking. You don't slice a man's throat, you idiot. My will come. I'm on the channel. Why, why you make it? Why you make it death threats on the channel? You fucking. You know what I mean? Shut up. Yeah, man. Stay off the landing. Stay off the landing, bro. Stay off the landing. You better not go in your personal hours, man. That's how you know. That's how you know he's not serious, because no one's serious man. actually threatens he's people. You fuck, pussy. Shut up. You fucking up the whole situations, man. Hey, shut up, you dirty American man. What are you talking for? You're a little pussy or behind the screen. I'm offering Jedi out, and Jedi is being a pussy like his filthy mother. Easy, easy. Why are you talking about what you do something about man's mum? What the fuck's wrong? You're going to, why don't you get 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 us like a fake phone number and I'll get you a number and then you can talk to the man and a hundred percent you can So you spoiling everything, man. You dissing off man's mums for no reason, blood. Man's Man sounds like he's off his medication. Shut up, shut up, shut up. This guy needs a pill. You lost it, blood. I'm fucking boring. I've been watching You ain't got no spliff. It looks like you ain't got no weed in your life, blood. You ain't got a spliff. How long do you ain't smoke a spliff, my brother? You look... You you look... We tweaking, man. Shut up. I'll calm down now. Oh, my God. You better not call the police, you pussy. Uh, what the fuck is the police? You snitch, boy. That's what you are. You're a snitch. Why are you talking like that? If you talk like that over here, you get yourself packed Don't in two minutes. Packed. 
Get the fuck out of here. You, you, you don't get a pack. to him here because I've got a strap on me right now. You pussy. sound like a pack. <laughs> you have no aim. Your aim shit. Shut up. Put that you have in your no mouth. marksmanship. You'll get fucking head tapped. Oh my get the fuck out of here. If you was in jail with me, I'll fuck you in the showers. <laughs> you can't even say it without laughing. Dude. <laughs> This is the okay, look. Bad boy. You are the greatest bad boy out there, but run, man. You, man. I'm telling you, if I shoot this in your you, leg, you're fucked. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a leg, guys. Yeah, fuck you. This guy's crazy, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? He's gonna split your throat. I'm telling you, there's two of these. There's two of these. And you know, and any man will know the sound of that you thing. Run, pick up, pick up. Yeah, that was super gay, man. Big up. Yeah, big up, Eunice. Big up. He's crazy. Man, man like units, you know. Nah, shy man. This guy's out of his nut, innit? Yeah, he's definitely. That's not my yeah, problem, man. That's not, not my problem. Know, problem. Make pause, man. You got him, man. Yo, yo, man. Man in the comments, ask if that shit is gay cousin. <laughs> My gay cousin? Nah, he definitely ain't my cousin. I have got a gay cousin, though. What the fuck? But she don't sound like that. <laughs> Who was that? You guys know that guy? Yeah, who's Shine? We, we, you know, we we know it. we sort of know him. Like... Hmm. That was weird. Man's pissed. Yeah. Show us on the doll where Jedi touched you, Shine. Mm -hmm. What happened? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of yeah. fucked. Anyway, so what? what Shine, Shine needs um, cranberry juice, isn't it? Ah, but yeah, yeah. Back to that thing. I think, I think, it, I think over eighty percent of people don't get enough physical activity per day, or more, probably more than that. Well, especially yeah. this one. Go on, go on, say what you want to say, man. Yeah, yeah, so we, whoa, we all whoa. get on this shit, we that. Minimum one hour every day, minimum. Not only will that probably expand your life like 10 years or more, you know, you look better, you feel better, you're waking up with more energy, everything. You know what I mean? Drink your water, don't drink the fucking tap water, go buy distilled water, or get a reverse osmosis system, they're cheap, buy it on like, buy them online or something. Know what I mean? And then add back your minerals into your water. Or go share your emotional distress with your boyfriend. Either way, just you know, sweat out. Because the fluoride, there's fluoride in the water, and there's bare bullshit in the water too. I suck, but we dirty American. Cause I'll come and kill you right now, you pussy old. Oh, I'm in the low end, man. Get on the plane, get on the plane and jump out. Head off. Get on the plane and jump out when you get to America, man. We'll make sure you're you're still in the air, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that you? Know, you, you? Know, you? Know, you? Know, you? you? Know, 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 you? Triple ball, triple, triple ball. Oh, this is so gay. It's so gay. It's ridiculous. You're a clown. I've never heard that one. If I ever see you, the Why I'm talking like that, you fucking clown. Yeah. You fucking bloody clown. Shut the fuck up. Why are you talking like that? This is turning to be quite erotic. I'm trying to like, can we just like mute him? Is he mute him? I, you're a pussy, man. I give up on you. You're a pussy, yo. If I see you in speaker's corner, it's over for you, oh, bitch. Yeah. You done, bro? Shine it out, man. Oh, man it's done. Ah, that guy's fucking funny, though. This guy don't understand, but NG pills, pills price is high, blood. And you're talking about madness. These people got anger that ready to release on you, blood. Don't do it, man. That's fake. Bro. Chill your ass, man. Yeah. Talk to him normally and ask him, yo, what's your problem? And then deal with it like that. You talking about going outside and beating people up, bro. You stupid. I even showed you. I got gas guns ready for your kneecaps, bro. You must be mad. This guy's a fed. One shit. man in what? England. One that man. Like fed. Imagine what they all got. Imagine what they all fucking got, blood. I got katana. It shouldn't be sharpened. Hey, what, what do you that say? Slice. Yeah, that was crazy. Why, why you you death you do things, I think he's gone now, you know, guys. You know. You're alive. 
It's office education, and it? You, need, you can't do them things, blood. And there's these young kids that are doing it, blood. That's the worst. Go on, play a fucking PS5. Cause, and cause everyone, everyone talk, everyone acts all sick on the internet. Like, like they would ever see that in real life. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. You know what I mean? I see the same Wait, shit I see in real run, life. I'm run, actually probably nicer on the internet. Remember shit like that. And think I'm nicer. Normal. I'm nicer on the internet than people. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what the you, fuck is wrong. You can't do that shit, blood. And if if you don't stand up for that, brother, then everyone else is gonna get fucking the same abuse, but for no reason, bro. It's not right. Ah, right, back to something positive. Yeah, everyone has to get positive get always. Yeah, you know but... I mean, enough of this negative shoot slit next shoot people in the head fucking bullshit that we're hearing. And I don't take it seriously either because you make it. So I don't take it seriously, but you gotta make a point. He's got just high. As... <coughs> Sorry, this weed is high. Whew. Mm. If you're local to Wembley, not him, because he wanted to slice me, boy. I got some nice Kelly, man. Oof. Oof, take a breather on now. <coughs> some nice Kelly. Yeah, make something make something nice conversation. Please. Hmm. Something nicer. Yeah, well, well we was talking about roids. No, we're not, brother, and get rid of him. You so, lot take roids, yeah? Yeah. I mean No, nah, I don't. He he does. Cage needs roids. No, he don't. He don't. We was talking about whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, and we gave examples of you know. Cage's middle Cage name is right. Bad. I think this guy talking is taking some roids. Still. Yeah, this guy definitely is talking. Is taking He's some roids. Rock. It's roid raging. He's taking the rock. Pot calling kettle black. Man. Roid raging. I'm a hurt. Yeah. Man's roid raging. You sound like you've been playing wrestling, taking them rock bottoms. Pause. <laughs> Nah, nah, but yeah, I think most of the athletes have been a lot of athletes have been caught. And does Rock it. look like Conehead? Remember, he looked well, this like like, Conehead, brother. This guy, this guy looked like a fish, like he's had his hairline he done weird, in Turkey. Bro. He's had his hairline sprayed done in it Turkey. on the headpiece. You see that solitary? Yeah, he thing? sounds like he had a hair yeah, transplant. Gap like between it. his eyes. It's like I, I don't know what that is. It's a bit. It's a lot of space. <laughs> a lot of uh, real estate. He does kind of look like a fucking guppy. That's weird, man. He could be a fighter because he got cauliflower ears. Maybe I don't, I'm not sure if it's elf or cauliflower. It could be um. No, that's not. You know when the man's that's getting cauliflower. Tumped, that's you elf. Know, when they got the cauliflower ear, man's ready. To uh, that's not collied. The be collie, careful, then. It'd be more puffy and deformed if it was cauliflower. Right. He might be from Atlantis or something. If you ever see a man with a cauliflower ear, you don't want to fuck with yeah, him. Yeah, you know this, blood. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, in this country, that they do rugby and that. Mm, yeah, you see my cauliflower. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to get up. my head mashed up in the cement and that fuck that blood. Because the man stomp, <laughs> they stomp each other in the in the bloody. Them and training to put man down. Fuck you know. Why do you guys take protein and all that or not? Fuck that man. Vegetables, fried chicken. Uh, you know what? Yesterday I got two kebabs, <laughs> two portion of half cut um uncut jerk chicken with the sauce. I don't mm-hmm. want to mash them up with the thing because I have to give it to someone. Hey, chicken's good protein and shit. So I had mm-hmm. lamb, two lamb kebabs. What else did I get? And I That's got two of them jelly bee things. Them su- Indian sweets. Oh, the orange one, in it? The sticky one. Yeah, that little yes. thing here, them balls. And then I, balls. I thought I'd give it to the people downstairs and then they cut and then they stay down. Waste the money. Fucking cost me £12. Is it a kebab, is it a kebab place on Eden Road, yeah? Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, I don't get I get it from the high road, but my oh, kebab. Okay. They, they sauce is way better. I've been getting it from way long and they don't give me no stomach problems. Yeah. You get me? And yeah, I got the two portions of mac and cheese as well. Fuck it. Next level. Oh, bruh, I, I, there's a spot down here that has lobster mac and cheese. Oh. It's crazy. Fucking nuts. But it's not good though. It's not good for your body, man. With the lobster? Or the mac no, no, as in eating so much bullshit, innit? Like takeaways. Yeah. It's not really good for you, man. No, no, I've never had a kebab yeah. for ages. Like, yeah. Last time I had it was like in, two, in 2016 or, tw- or 2015. That's the last time I had a kebab. A kebab is good because. I think it's more like. Lazy food for me though, not for you. 
but it's lazy food for me. That's how I'd say yeah. it. I heard someone I told me that a person anymore. should be having one kebab per month or something like that. What do you mean? See, my, 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 you guys would go crazy as fuck. Bro, you isn't know? kebab isn't kebab Why just is meat it? on a stick? Isn't that all oh, it is? In the last, I think, five months, not five months, sorry, um, four weeks or five weeks, I'll calculate, it should be six weeks max, I spent, it's fucking 700 pounds. I'm just getting bullshit from Uber. Seven hundred pounds. Oh my yeah. god, bro! What's wrong with you? Bad. And I'm eating my ass. And two and weeks. I, I get, yeah, and, and do you know what the weeks? worst thing is? Do you know the, the worst? Fuck, what are you thing? eating, bro? This guy's eating like a king yeah, out I here. I got, I got fuck? one pound. I get one pound Domino's fucking wings as well. They're separate because they don't come on Uber. <laughs> The price, you know, price for seven hundred pounds. I mean, what's, what goes well yeah. with every two kebab? Yeah, three fifty pounds, three hundred fifty pounds a week. On me, you on could be me, eating like you could be eating if you went and bought the food. You, you wouldn't. It would be impossible to eat all that. You know what I mean? Uh, separate occasions. Even like one of the days, fucking, I checked the back record. Like one of the days, and it was. You could be eating wagyu and caviar and shit all day. Yeah. You could do that. That's actually that's like fifty percent chicken. I wouldn't trust that shit, man. The chicken wings are fifty percent chicken, bro. That's how bad but it is. The places I get it from, I know where they're. How, from. how could a chicken wing be fifty percent chicken? Shit, though, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what else is it? <laughs> KFC is fucking waste, man. Thing never Uber. KFC. Wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause. What do you mean fifty anyway. percent chicken wing? So what? They like put the meat back on the bone or something? There's a bonus. That clothes, that's, got deep, that's got like two, two other animals' DNA in it. That's got leftover. That's got leftover human offal. That's got leftover is... human offal in that shit, bro. That's, yeah, that's packed with water and all sorts of shit. Tripe, anything. Skin, fur. <laughs> bro, they, they, it's they, all this shit. They, it's like sausage and, uh, you know, hot dogs and shit. That's all this. Right. I know butchers and shit. They're like, if you knew what the fuck went in there, you'd never eat it. It's like, it's like all the shit they can't sell. You know what I mean? Well, it's like all the, well if you look all... at the fruits, if you, yeah, if you look at the fruit, they've got, um, they've got long le- uh, shelf life. And, and fish, they'd mix them apparently with fish, um, DNA. Right? That's disgusting, bro. Yeah, fish scales, you know what I mean? Like being able to survive, <laughs> you know, and retain water, you know, and, yeah, yeah, stop water sort of um, uh, lossage, seepage and stuff, which is the first first parts of um, decomposition, isn't it? Gases and waters just start come, coming out of the um, meat. So they just put anything that's resistant to... So yeah, fish scales and or fish like DNA chemicals. is very good. Oh, man. That, well, like chemicals and that. Yeah, that yeah man, all that shit. Man. That, that, I, I don't know, I, like... If you, that's a thing, yeah. Uber Eats, like that's dangerous, bro. That's dangerous. I don't trust motherfucker. I don't like buying that. Do you trust the motherfucker delivering your food? Because I have, I know people. It's okay, because I'm local, isn't it? I know people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know people. I know people that have delivered that shit, and you know, like I don't, I would not trust it. I would not trust that shit. You know what I mean? I've known people they eat, they eat American food and shit. They touch their food, eat out of it, la la. No, nah, no, nah, we don't get that in around here, bro. How would you know? No how would you even know, here. though? I would know. How are you gonna know, bro? I've been eating there, walking there. When so when I, I do, know, it, you they know them. me. When they know me, when I order, bro. You gotta tip <laughs> them big so they don't fuck with your shit. If nah, you don't, don't tip, tip them proper, they're gonna fuck with you. I'm telling I'm you. I message the thing that I say, yo, they know straight away. I don't have no issues. The only time I had issues is with the big companies. Do you, do you tip them properly? The drivers? Depends, in it. Depends, in it. We always get 10%. Uh, as long as you're tipping them, they're happy with 10% is it. fine, my drive is not a problem. The worst thing I expect... Bro, I got a fucking thing that's like miles away, and it comes before the one that's local to me. That's when I get pissed off. KFC is a bastard, blood. They give the brassest pieces of fucking food ever, 
And then it's you're finished. in the situation. Is it worth fucking arguing with these people? Fuck it. I'm just gonna take the be- nicest pieces and eat them and dash the rest. That's it. It's been a fifteen. I'm not gonna go fucking spare mode, KFC. but it, that's why certain times you get in a situation, you you're lazy, man. You just wanna buy shit. You wanna fucking eat, and then sometimes you win draw. But I eat it though most of it. I'll Bro, seven hundred power, seven hundred pounds a week. A lot, yeah. think you're, you're ordering multiple times. No, not a week. No, in six I mean, weeks. Uh, 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 I thought you said it's two. still fucking a lot, man. That's still a lot, bro. And I got food downstairs, and I eat both of them. It's All right, so that's a month and a half. Okay, that's fucked for them, but still, that's yeah, it's not that bad. Then I guess. What can we equate to like fast food and fake GMO food? Right, so them what can we equate? Put in there? Plastic, you know, maybe. Like it's not the right way, isn't it? Like there's always a right way to everything, right? A conventional way, right? You know, there's bare, bare, bare and microplastics in the food. You know, you know, every month food. eating like a half a credit card. Of plastic, it's been fucking people up too. You know, it's been damaging people because of all this fake shit we have everywhere. Everything's in plastic that you buy. You know what I mean, it's always Dude, uh, chicken shouldn't be lasting two weeks on the shelf, bro. You know what I mean? Exactly. Them exactly. No, and I the mean, preservatives that, that should be should be eaten, bro. Yeah, because they're putting preservatives in it. Yeah, mad things. <clears throat> And you know, still like, oh, they say they say there's like uh, food shortages. Over eighty percent of the food's thrown away. You know what I mean? There's no fucking food shortage. Half most of the shit's getting thrown out. Because what are you gonna do with it? You can't give it away. If you give it away, it destroys the value of it. So well, just, what state are you in, in America? You just throw it off. I'm in Canada. I'm in Toronto. You're in Canada. Sorry, I fucking have a bad memory when I meet new people. Sorry. Uh, uh, I'm not being disrespectful, we... blood. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I'm not American. Um, yeah, Canadian, bro. Yeah, that's sick, man. So, where, where are you in, like, Montreal and shit? Or, right, I said like... Toronto, like, five <laughs> times, bro. I don't know. Who? Toronto, you know? Toronto. Oh, so, you're ice hockey, brother. Kind of, like. It's, like, the, it's the biggest city in Canada. It's, like, the main place. But you, you support ice hockey? Uh, nah, no one really fucks with that over here. Are you a black man or a white man or a brown we, man? We have, ra- we have the Raptors. Purple, we have the green. Raptors you want. I mean, I'm okay. mixed race. Right, so... I'm mixed. I'm uh, uh, Latino and Sicilian. Sick. You got Italian blood? Sick. It's Soprano a sick, shit uh, blood. And South American, you know? You coming in there like fucking... <laughs> <clears throat> Holy, my, bro. <laughs> my dad, I'm, a, my, I'm a first generation Canadian. My dad's an immigrant. Came hey, did that man? Did that man? Did that American dudes call um um Sicilians eggplants? Yeah, is that what they? Is that how they call them? Is that what Well, yeah, he's he's got that mafia uh, blood, man. Yeah, but uh, yeah, my dad came in when he was like 17, so like I'm new. Mm-hmm. We're kind of good at, New to the country, still, so, you know, kind of. I'm like, well, first... you can't it, yeah, yeah. Right. My dad's an immigrant, and shit. I remember him like getting his citizenship when I was growing up. I had to help him study for the test. You know what I mean, sick, bro. <clears throat> you, do you like still have the Italian culture, or is it gone since going to Canada? No, nah, no, nah, like, um, apparently, my grandfather or something he owns pizza shops downtown and shit so you already know what holy is. shit that's sick bro yeah, I mean... <laughs> like real italian pizzas Mm-mm. yeah they have shops downtown and shit wow. that's awesome man. i don't really know that side of the family too well the other side is uh family owned a strip club by any chance <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of my cousins has um it's like it's like a cousin-in-law or something. So it's not directly to my family, but one of them owns like a, a fucking club. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking so like. I went to New Jersey and it's all like that as well, man. Fucking. Do you know what they told me, guys? Well, it's a Spanish club. Oh, it's one of those. And, Spanish- I was, and they said, I said, why can't I open one of these things over here? And they said, you want to end up in a ditch. I said, okay, I ain't doing it. Fuck that, blood. So it's still, that culture is still there, man. Mm. To this day, I mean, it's still yeah. I, I mean, I don't see the point of a person going to a strip club in LA. 
Um, yeah, I've I've been in there. Not, I don't want to go there. I just wanted to see it actually, because like, if if you don't mind me, <laughs> if you want me to talk about this, like, I don't know, like, I don't want me to get like upset or nothing. Just to tell you, I ain't you know no dirt no you can't like fuck them in the strip club like you just watch them dance. It's a different thing in it. Mm. You see them doing shit on the table like. Up a fucking pole. I ain't paid for shit, plug. Get me. I was with the Americans, so you you guys want to know about it? No, none of them are interested. They're not engaging with you at all. And you, fine, and, you, and you chatted to Eunice, and Eunice is like, uh. <laughs> well, well, you know, I don't, I don't mind to be honest. Strip, I don't strip mind. Club, strip clubs is yeah. jokes over there, plug. Yo, who's this? What? What in the US? Evil Bible. They just taunt to Nepal and people dash money at them, bro. It's jokes, man. Right, man. That's a bit sad, though, isn't it? What's uh, your Yeah. yeah dead, man. You got guys that's throwing money. Is dead, they took man. me there and then we had went to the casino after, but I went to a strip club, so I know what it is. And I was thinking. Well, fuck on this strip. I don't, I don't like strip clubs. I think I, I've been to one and I never threw money before. I'm like, I'm not throwing money at this dirty bitch, bro. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what am I, a fucking idiot? Like, what? That's, <laughs> maf- that's mafia. T- the mafia town is that exactly what it what I said. See, the mindset is. <clears throat> It's not tricking if you got it. It ain't nothing if you got that piece. That's the mindset. I don't agree with it, though. And I feel like I'll probably end up stealing if I go to a strip club. Like, you know where they're dashing bare money? Mm-hmm. I'll probably end up stealing, bro. You can't dash bare $100 bills around me, bro. Mm-hmm. Nah, you can't take it, blood. The bounce will fuck you up, blood. Yeah, if but some man, If you touch man, the girl's money... Some man can fuck up bounces. Remember that, innit? Some man, some man can fuck bounces. Yeah, you can it. fuck them up and then take it still, yeah. But no, but I've seen people stealing from the street club. I've seen people stealing. <laughs> they're acting like they're watching... The st- they're watching... Then they're, they're <laughs> stripping the notes. They're, they're, they're dragging the notes. I've seen it, man. I've seen it. Trust oh, me. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd rather steal the money than throw it at them. Do you know what I mean? Them. I'm taking that. What the fuck? I'm not giving them money. That's <laughs> what, what kind of money. What kind of drugs are you on? If you think I'm throwing my, no, my heart to go in just to steal, bro, that's funny. That's, that's what it is, though, isn't it? And in that's Canada, you don't even have ones. Ones. Like, what am I going to throw loonies and toonies at her? Well, I'm going to drop the I'm not throwing that way out. Five. Are you fucked? Just in case you saw you. What am I going to do if I'm around them doing it? Nothing, isn't it? I just see, see, get to see the experience. I'm like, go ahead. Let them waste their money. You know what I mean? I'm just like, okay, fine. I'm not throwing shit, though. I don't care. It was a good, it was a good trip, though. It was nice. But they take the titties, so I don't know all that shit. like, what the fuck? Did it just do that? Like... And dance in the pose and uh, like a pool table. They're all, they're all hookers, bro. That's what they do. Day, 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 day. Yeah, no, no. Even, day, day, day. even I know. Listen, brother. Was that's what I'm saying. Dolphin? Do you really want to know the no? Or do you want to not selfish. know the no? Do they, do they just know the A long part of it. How to even get to them. And it's how they right. get to them. Get to the gal that actually is dancing on the pole, the secret. I even know how they roll their whole system. What do you mean by get to them? What do you mean by get to them? They're, they're for sale. You, That's where they're like, there. They're up for sale. Chill out, chill out, chill yeah, basically, to yeah. He for got everybody. It. He got it. It's That's how it is. It, it's 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 basically not ki- breaking the law. That's how they do it over there. You take them to the corner court VIP and you fuck them, and that's what they do. That's how they make the majority <laughs> of their money. I don't know but which yo, one you went into, but you ain't doing that. I'm saying I, you know, I've never done it myself. I have all my, my boys. Right, I, I know right, a lot this, of this, this you ain't going over VIP yeah. and do no why, right, do people, like, okay, like, why do people act like you can't strip pay? Strip clubs are very strict in America. Bro. Why do people act like you can't pay to fuck the strippers? I don't get that. You can't. You can't. This that's can, what they're there for. That's their main business. in the venue. What? They do okay, and, maybe. and that's legal some, in Canada. Some too. venues, some venues be doing it. Some venues be doing it. The VIP room, mm-hmm. some guy will fuck you in the VIP room. What are you talking about? Listen, bro, they, all of them, any stripper does every single one of them. Every one of them. I, I, would say I some. know I would from say some. the fucking people that do it. Yeah, when every I was one in America, of them I know them. exactly what they do. So what they do is when they meet the girl in the place, they'll go there and then they'll give them. Like say a gift card 
to go and buy clothes and stuff. Do you get me? No, they yeah. give them cash. They listen, don't... listen, listen, bro. We're gone past the cash point. Now we're gone past the pole point. It, it, it's not. It's not going to happen in the little jiffy, blood. This is what they do, and I'm giving you facts. This is what they do. It might help you to understand. Yeah, they go in there. They put the money. They go. They come back the next later. They put the money, and then they come back maybe like on the weekend when it's really busy, and then. They get the VIP. When they get the VIP, they give oh, the gift card. They give the two hundred pound gift. Listen, they give the gift card for Macy's or whatever, and then two hundred. You get me? And then boom, that's straight. They go to the shopping. Go. He gets her shopping. Boof. Done. Then he says hotel. Boom. Done. Finish. Then he's how much for the hotel. Then, they then, then the expenses. Bro, but that's, that's how the they job. run. Bro, that's a whole job. Just trying that's to an American. Bro. That's, that's how the American man runs. Why not just put up on the prostitute or, something, or go with one of them? Uh, not me, but them. And order a, a escort. Why do you need? Do you understand what I'm saying? That no, no. That's yeah, how they. Yeah, that's how I figured out how the system worked. When, yeah, when man, you're breaking your time, bro. It's all right and glamour, man. This is, they, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what people, I think it? it is, yeah? I'll tell you the main thing I think it is. You, you, I'm with yeah, different in there, with their subculture. Hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. Hello, hear me out. You're yeah. in there, yeah. you're chilling. She comes up to you, hey, how, blah, 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 tend to give you a dance. Do you want to go private? Yeah, 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 fuck it. Let's go private. You go private. You give her peas. You chat into her. And you're like, yo, how much how much to take you home, man? How much to get me? I wanna see you later. I wanna, you know? She's like, Yeah, that's gonna that'll cost you. It doesn't you. work it's like that. Care. It doesn't Listen work like to that. me. Listen. Yeah, Next thing you know, she's telling you, yeah, boom. I finish at one, isn't it? Boom, boom, boom. You give her half the pee up front, you wait for her outside, she comes <laughs> out. I'm telling you, she comes out. You go to a little Motel 6 or, or whatever you lot got arranged. You run the rest of the pee. You fuck, you chill, you smoke. Ha, 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 ha. And she's gone. That's it. Not you're going to pay bro. You're gonna pay extra, right? Because you're Not taking the out of her. Hell you're playing no. the rate. Whatever she says. You're getting fucked. But remember, she be making the money all, no. all evening. So she just They're wants that little extra top-up. She wants a little extra top-up bonus thing. Off the books, right? So that's why when she leaves, she's getting picked up, and whoever's picking her up is usually a client that she was with early in that day or a regular, and they're gonna go do the thing. She's gonna drop, he's gonna drop the bag on her, and she's gonna keep it moving after that. Real shit. That's where they make majority of their money. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. <clears throat> I'm telling you, jerseys. That's how it is. I have a I have a crazy story. I was like 16 once. I went with my uncle to Montreal. We went to like strip clubs. You know what I mean? Montreal is the craziest strip clubs, apparently, in Canada. So we went, we went over there. Gift card my, go a long way. My uncle, my uncle was all fucked. He fell asleep not at me, the VIP not when me, they played. That's what they told me. I didn't do it. And they charge you. They charge you every song. You know what I mean? He fell asleep in there, rang up this huge toll. We're like, we're not paying this shit. And then we had to like got into this giant fight. We somehow escaped. It was fucking nuts. <laughs> they knocked out a bunch of bouncers and shit. My uncle, my uncle and his friends. <laughs> And we, we we just left. We got away with it somehow. But I was like 16. That was my first strip club I went to. I'm like, this shit's crazy. Because this guy yeah, fell asleep in there for hours. Like, they, didn't, they didn't wake him up. They're like, oh, yeah, you owe us like nine grand. Cage, <laughs> they were like, what? Cage. 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 Yeah. cage. Was, it, was, it, was it hostile when you went to the, um, to the what's it called? Strip club. I don't know. It's a bunch of French Canadian weird motherfuckers. I didn't care. You know what I mean? What do you mean by yeah, hostile? You know, because when I went to a strip club, the, the last strip club I went to, I went with my brother and it was his birthday. We went in there and the, the guy was watching us, bro. He was, he was he was like, oh, you can't touch, can't touch, can't touch the, the women like this. Yeah, there's like, a lot of places was, like that. But immediately, no, though. These, these ones are, in Canada, it's more loose. Like, yeah, you're yeah. Really like, yeah. If you want to touch them, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta pay them to fuck them or something. You know, there's, there's ones, there's it's ones pretty much just prostitute. Them. That's all. It there's is. ones where you can't touch them, and then there's other ones where you can eat their pum on stage and that. Like fuck you, there. Like it's like it's one extreme or the other. Yeah, I oh, see no, man. I see man. I see man yamming the strippers batty and that. 
Yeah. What the fuck on the stage? Yeah, yeah, she's twerking. What the blood clot stage? Yes, yeah, she's <laughs> what? <laughs> even like, who do do that? Pulling, what? pulling man by the tire, grabbing man by the tire, make and put, pushing his pushing his face into her crutches and that. Yeah. So like, like in America, they got different levels of strip clubs. Th- some of you know what, actually, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon. Yeah, I know what you're talking I'm about. about. Some of them, I, I reckon. Deep, like, is is that deep, can... if she decides right. to pull out your dick and shove it in her, then it's all good on stage. Oh, no. It's all good. Yeah, daggering. Like, you know, in Mexico, in Mexico, there's hunting. people fucking the strippers on the stage. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's not a salsa or a fucking whatever you call it. Yeah. Get me. That's a the green technique splat. Yeah, but <laughs> I swear in like in Mexico and shit, there's the big man just fucking the stripper on the stage and everyone's just filming it. Yeah, man's eating, man's eating man's eating stripper booty on the stage. <laughs> yeah. like, like it's crazy. I seen um they kill some, me, next like. chick, some next chick, she's Ooh. like pouring drink down her ass crack. They kill him, he, he's catching the drink from her ass crack. Into his mouth, like, rare, rare. yeah, they're wild. Yeah, some crazy shit like that, no? though. <laughs> yeah. Holy! I'm mean, like, yo, where the hell is this? And then I see the ghetto ones, the ratchet ones, bro. It's like the gala, the gala. You know, like men are doing stripping, yeah, and like, like a hen party or something like that, bro. This brother, this brother's got head from like four of the women in the group, like. They're all sitting on these chairs. Oh, Towel party, you know about yeah, the party. Yeah, pull, he's pulling out his, he pulled out his yeah, Johnson yeah. and just put it in one's face. She just started yeah. sucking it. And he just moved on to the next one. She done it. And That's then the school, friends bro. on the side are filming, no. screaming, That's clapping. Old, bro. I'm like, yo, this is crazy, bro. Yeah. Well, That's old school. I am fucking old, these old, friends, You know that. You don't think <laughs> they do that no more. Of course they do that still. That's mad thing. Of course they do that, man. People do them things, man. Under closed doors. Things you don't Wait, listen, see. Listen, if I had... I'm, oh, telling you this I'm telling you what, yeah? If I had a fucking... A whole bottle of whiskey in me and a booty looked as juicy, bootylicious with all sorts of... Why whiskey? Cream, Why not rum? Cream fudge and, and whipped cream Why all over. Why have to drink whiskey? I, Why not rum, Black? I still, I still would be about my senses, boy. i okay. still push her away, but I'll kick her. I wouldn't do that. I would... <laughs> I put her away, bro. I like no, I'm not, I'm not eating booty at any given stage. There's nothing uh, gonna be. There's nothing in my body that's gonna uh, allow me to not have the dis like just the common sense that that yeah, that's a bum home, man. That's like I don't know, like uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yes. yeah. I don't know. Maybe for pe- people that take a lot of cocaine are more susceptible to these sort of things. That's disgusting, man. And, uh, but decrease in cocaine, we talk about. Man. <laughs> I, like you know, meet with me. I want to go another complete direction to say that people that are eating booty, that that shameful, like that shame free. You got a question? You got a question? What else they're capable of doing? Honestly, my brother, listen, <laughs> listen. If he's if he's if he's eating booty in the in the like he don't care about what his mum and dad thinks. His daughters, he don't care. He's doing it on on a on a viral thing. He knows what's going on. Question: What, what, what? Man, you eat what, shit, what, man. Are we eating, man? You eating shit? You know what I mean, it could be. Look, because they say look, what you usually judge a man about how how he how he makes love to a woman, about how he's gonna um <laughs> fight in the battlefield. Apparently, there's some sort of psychological thing behind it. Man, you get and when I say people, when people do weird things like that and do all this, where they're putting fingers up their bum and letting women trap on them, I'm just like, what are you capable? What else are you capable of? But I don't know. Maybe that's me. Being a that's, bit gay. that's gay shit. That's some weird gay shit. Either way, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, like with me, I look at sex from a point of view and relationships like that. It's like I'm already squeamish as it is, even with my girl. Even when she come out the shower and what? she tells me to go, what do you mean you're squeamish when your girl comes out the shower? She just jumped out the shower. I'm what? like, I'm like, oh, mm. like you know, it's not like, oh my god, I can't wait. You know, it's like, yeah. Well, I'm saying, what do you mean squeamish? So I don't understand. Squeamish, as in, as in, like you gotta have a might have a bad, really nice girl you've met, and she's gonna definitely tell you to go down and lick that because she's expecting it because she's so bad in it. You, you, you know what I mean? Maybe that's the way I look at it. I don't but like no pom pom. So, so really, pom-pom. like, even. 
that way is definitely a no no because that girl could be going on a jog after having sex with you to another man. Because unless she's your actual wifey, you shouldn't be in that place. And even then, like for me, like I said, I'm not that type of person. Some people are a bit more reserved with their, um, you know, with that sort of thing. And there's some people out there. So I'm just like, rest. I just can't conceive of why someone would feel that that was a, um, or understand why people would think that that's nice. No, that's no, like I, I would, I would never eat a. That, that is disgusting. I would never eat a. That that is fucking disgusting. You're a man. You don't do that. That's their that's their job. First of all, second of all, see the only time I do when, that is if like you said, it's like a I, white, I've only so eaten one girl's pussy in my entire life, and it was a girl that I was living with for like years and shit. And like, so I knew she was loyal. So one thing. That's why you know what I mean, man, you ain't getting my spliff. You ain't getting no twos. You don't know who's been fucking down there, blood. That's what I mean. I said the only girl I ever did that with, like, I've known her since high school. I was with her. I ain't licking Beyonce, blood. Beyonce still nice, but she ain't getting no pump of action, blood. I'm saying, yeah, I wouldn't well, I could do that. Yeah. Like, I'm you're not sharing a cigarette. No. You're not having a cigarette. Fuck you're definitely that. not sharing anything. To she do ain't getting none. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, what are you going to do with that guy, though? A normal what position. What are you going to do with that friend? Though, not no octopus. You've just shit, found man. out your, your friend eats booty, oh, innit? Like, that. you just found, you're in a party, he was acting yeah. out, and he eats booty, man, but now he's trying to do that. He ain't doing no you... fucking theatre shows. Are you going to see him the same as that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, you don't know what your friend does behind closed doors. You lot, you lot are big I'm, men. You, 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 come on. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, come on. Listen, listen. You lot are big men, yeah? We are big men. And we're supposed to know what our friendships are based on. If you're friends with a person based on what they do with their mouth behind closed doors, then possibly your friendship is based on something weird. You need to regulate that. I, I can't tell you from the Rasta man to the Muslim man to the Christian man what any of them do behind closed doors. So I'm personally, I make it my mission not to care about what them things there. So mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. one of my homies is eating booty, that's just what he's doing. It's got no bear. What? What? We, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Let me say no, that. Let me repeat. We, we don't know if our parents did. We don't know what our parents did. We don't know what our parents did. Our parents did. Go on. To ease out the yeah, but same way, same way. If you see someone, if you see someone doing a backflip, you're not going to necessarily say that that guy is um, being safe with his with his safe, he's not completely safe with it. Right, the, the point I'm trying to make is like, um, if you see them doing it in front of you, it's like, yeah, okay. now I'm going to judge you based on what I've seen, in it? And, um, um, okay, yeah, you know. You, you, what do you mean? If we're at the strip club and then I you're bred to the it, stage and just eating the, the stripper's batty, is that what you're saying? Just go, bro, that's how your monkey yeah, parts are. That's yeah, monkey parts. So. It's, it's almost like not calling the police, bro, on your friends. Like, you, like that's, it's, it's the not, same type it's of a, thing. It's an yeah, your yeah. mouth on someone else to come home, woman, man. Like, it's long. It's long. I don't want to see it. That's You're in a... Like, we've got to now judge... Uh, you know, and, I don't, and even if it was just out of the blue, yeah? yeah. 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 Maybe that's one thing. Remember that guy, Dominic, this, uh, Dominic Sinclair, right? Yeah? The guy that was kept... That was caught on the stairs New Year's Eve all them years ago with the Asian chick eating her pussy or whatever. Remember? Dominic Sinclair? Nah. I, I no? See that. The meme guy, man. What do you mean, no? Everyone knows who it is. The meme guy, man. Oh, you're talking uh, about a guy so. at MP so. yeah. um, you, um, Mixed race brother. Oh, no, he's kind of oh. light skin. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you now. One second. You look, man. How you look? Don't know nothing. Hold on a minute. It's an actual video. <laughs> <laughs> you know, am I going to show you the video? Yeah, it's a video, but it, it was turned into a meme, right? Right, right. Is the video up. still up? Up where? What are you trying to watch it or something? What's no, I'm joking. <laughs> it's not biased you know, towards me. Is what wrong with you, look, man? No, you're not weird. It's not biased towards me. You're not being weird. <laughs> <laughs> you're being weird. You're being weird. You're being weird. Why can't I find it? Ah, oh, I know who. He's, he's English, though. He's a London. He's from the. He's, he's a London youth, youth, man. Yeah. He's, he's in like a tweed kind of jacket. And then and he's with some Asian y looking kind of chick. Tool. Anyway, they're in a rave and then they go out to the rave to do a madness and someone films them and posts it and he just gets uh he gets uh, blasted out everywhere, right? 
I'm saying his friends must have felt away. But I personally would not stop being my uh, a friend to my boy if he got caught doing that. I just wouldn't. Like, I just, I'm not your friend based on that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Was it like, it's, like, it's, like saying, it's like saying, look, I, I saw someone, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, it's bad, man. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. I like, I don't know, man. It's, the excitement of it can get you to do some crazy shit, like, you know, in a, in a, in a moment, but fucking hell, bro. Yeah. You have to live for the hey, moment. Bro, bro, it, bro. bro, you gotta be, bro, it's your, I don't know, man. Like, for me, over here, people make funny. I don't know, over here, they call you an Itaman if they find out you're doing that. Yeah, then, but they probably they're doing it, though. Like, there's more doing it, but everyone makes fun of it. Yeah, no. There's no. There's loads lying. of like shorts and shit. Shorts <laughs> maybe, and I, I would say, yeah, maybe it's not a bad thing to live in a society that doesn't openly advocate for these these behaviors. And the reason why I say that is now we're living in a society where people are a lot more open with what they do in their bedroom. It's become a lot more nasty. It's become a lot more hmm. like if that should be private. Why, why are people yeah, talking about it? If you, no, if you if you eat people, people, you eat people, people I'm not sure people, why you have to do a song about eating porn. Do you know what I mean? If, I, a girl, I. if a girl gives head, she gives head. I'm not sure why she has to do a whole song or album based on how deep her throat is and where it... Jedi, I have, Jedi, Jedi, I have a, a question for you. Do you think... Do you think that this is being done on a, a like a purpose, like purposely, yeah. you know, like social yeah, yeah. engineering? Yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to cook up the family unit? You know what I mean? Absolutely. Trying to make people more degenerate? I mean, so here you go. Look, look. Get remember rid of this? Moral, all that. Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. Do you remember oh, this guy? Um, who was answering? Uh, Eunice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I that's basically. This is the Where dude, is anyway. But he was made famous because they took this picture in the club. Yeah, they just met in the club. They took this picture, and then hours later, 2014. He was caught on the stairs, yamming it out, right? Holy shit. Right. Oh, that guy's so, a nasty guy. But that could be for the views. And he might like doing it. There weren't no views. You bro. can, I'm saying he can do it, but... Bro, where have you not been in the last five, ten no, years? Man. Man. You don't make me feel weird. Who are you, lot, man? You don't know nothing. Then it. <laughs> That's a mad... Fucking eating a rat, oh, but is it public? But you can't see yeah. on the picture. That's so imagine, brother, listen, brother, listen, it's, listen, it's two thousand, it's two thousand and twenty-two okay. now. That was in two thousand and fourteen. So you can imagine mm. the reaction then. Yeah, but now, they, I, bro, they now look in their hand from Lamborghini. Look, no it, look, hold on, hold, hold on, get a hold on, pause, now. pause. That's okay. At least it's there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Think about this. Think about twenty fourteen. Think about twenty fourteen. Back then, what was acceptable and normal compared to now? Right, you know what I mean? So that was it was all done, but it just wasn't done in the street like that. You know? Right, of course. Mm -hmm. All that I was said was, deal. "My tongue don't go near that pum pum." That's all I high said. Five, man. But, but look, who's lying? Yeah. You're yeah. Asian as well. No, no, no. That's a lie. He <laughs> become famous for that, and you might have fucked that Ian also. Who knows? All right, so 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 Jedi, hold on, Jedi. That question I asked everyone you about the social engineering. Everyone's free. You, you, everyone yeah. agrees with that. Everyone can agree with that that's being done on purpose is social engineering. Why are they doing it? What's the end game? Um, just to we... just to get just to make people more sexual sexualized. Make you try it, in it, yeah. Stop push. the stop the human population Hard from getting bigger is by making you think you love each other, isn't it? That's so what it's like, so, so you're getting right. rid of bloodlines then. So it's like, it's no. kind of like, uh, why do you think you got rainbows now, bro? <laughs> Come on, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like selective breeding. If you were to breed a pop, uh, sorry, I was very blunt there. I mean, no, I, I listen, listen, the um, rainbow community. Uh, I was very what I was gonna that. say is they're trying to breed certain traits out of the human oh, genome. No, this. I'm actually trying to have a conversation. <laughs> The private, oh, yeah, you, know, you know, I swear, you actually, I swear, no, honestly, listen, shush, shush, I swear, Cade, you know, sometimes I, I like I love people with it, but sometimes I actually feel like people are actually trolling, you know, in like it. they just don't care, like I swear, like, yes. but I think it's like it's like chill trolling, they got a little sneaky little like smile, like you know. No, 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 yeah, no, no, it's not you, no, no, Cage is completely, oh, no. I think he's just completely gone, isn't it, so he's, he's like Cage is from Canada, though, isn't it, he would, he's, he's like, really he's a different, um, speaking. But, go on. 
Cage is cool, but he's from a different country. We that's why we was asking. Maybe him, he's behind, he's didn't he? Yeah, so he's, got, he's like three seconds behind. So maybe because oh, he's three I seconds got behind. I'm out for a minute in it, so they can look him. No, no, sorry. No, no. Let me do that. Excuse me. Sorry. Let's say maybe Cage for a minute. I think that would be the best. Cage is getting that Demetria pull. Bro, listen. Hey, what is that in your picture, Cage? What is that listen. in your picture? It looks like a, a killer. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much what Cage is on is this. I'm on, I'm on the same shit you're on. Okay, I don't think the same way as regular people. I got like I'm, I'm a fucking legend. Watch. But listen, dude, why say is there a killer in your picture? John Cena. Oh, right. Can I ask you a sniper? Can I do? It? So, so I'm here, bro. I'm here. I'm here bro, for the betterment. Yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, man, share the microphone, family, man. You are just mad. Should just leave you up to it. Just you know what you should do, bro. No, 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 man, no, man. Hey, do you know how funny this is, bro? A Kingo, Kutella, and Cage. Mm-hmm. All these guys eat pussy. She, she reckons, right? So yeah. I'm saying. The way that Sister Sneets has said it, it sounds like women have a lesser view of men that do this. They do. Ooh. You don't do that. Good They're point, supposed good to be. Point, good point, good point. I said I only did it to one, one, one girl once because I, I was with her for years and she's lived with me. I don't know. I just did it. I was like fucked up one day. I just did it. I wonder if a woman would be honest to man and say, <laughs> Yo, listen, if, if, if you. Like a guy that does that to me, I rate him differently from a guy that doesn't. I need to know because we've women have been trying to program us like, oh, if a man don't do this, then and even set a men be trying to program man. Like it's normal. It's and Jedi, true. Jedi, you ate pussy before. You don't lie. I know you did. Excuse me, I'm eating some now. That's exactly. Respect. There you go. <laughs> I know you did though before. I know. I know you've done a bear attack. Don't, don't try and imagine what I do in the bedroom. That that whole thing makes me sick. Well, that's kind of weird, but I'm saying I'm just saying, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of I'm not the kind of guy that I don't talk. I don't like to talk on, on my yeah, sexual man. activities or abilities or none of that. I just I that's just their fuck. lifestyle, isn't it? I just fuck. You get me? So I don't like to talk. Not I, no man I can't really either. ask me, oh, have you eaten pussy? Because I I look at you weird, like what? I never asked you, I just said I already know you did. I know, I never said Bro, just go on mute, man. You hear me? No, I never said Imagine you imagining. And stuff. Yeah, but Gematria, imagine. Gematria. I can imagine you eat pussy, Jedi. Like, that's a weird fucking that, thing. Oh, I never said I can imagine you. I said I know you did. <laughs> I, know, I, yeah, I know how you do it. Gematria, I know how you do it. Gematria, allow it, man. Oh, you eat the pussy? Okay, and here comes MJ. Do and Trill, Trill's saying she doesn't view guys as lesser if they do. No, she wants that yeah. problem. You know what I mean? Whatever. Do you, do you free the rainbow people? But <laughs> well, if you're looking down a man who's eating your pum, it, it, it depends on the quality of pum, innit? Ooh. Need to check yourself. <laughs> wow, he ate my pum, you know? Imagine my pum. Uh, Can my you imagine pum. that? Ah! Oh, whoa. Okay. But, safe. Though, but uh-huh. on the other mm-hmm. hand, not good. I think. I don't know if you agree, but I would say that when I was growing up, girls that that were were into uh, giving head were looked down upon, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I know society encouraged them to, and I will look down on you if you sucked his dick and his dick, then I'm looking down on you. But if it's just mine and I'm the one that convinced you, mm. I ain't looking down. On you. Of course not. Secret. Secret. No, no, for a woman, don't, if, if you know a woman, we used to call them brainers. You know what I mean? We call them brainers. If you know a woman's a oh, fucking, brainer, I don't even want to imagine what Cage was. Doing. She's, she's out there doing that. You're gonna, you're gonna go. You're gonna have that as your girl. No, the baby teeth for that. So there's not. Yeah. Like, basically, he's really from... dumb. His mouth is really. Hey, dumb. Dumb. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Jedi. Sorry, Jedi. Garbage on a bit of um. You've been your, your time, mate. Yeah, Kay's giving us this. There's only one girl. That story, I ain't trying to hear that, bro. But she <laughs> might yeah. like it, though. You know, you look like, like a girl. She likes it. You know, them girls are getting like... some money. Them... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you can't be with it. You're not here with it. Don't come tell anyone I told you that. You get me? 
Alright. Well, you ain't getting no share, no fucking chips or nothing. Don't tell you, you can't be doing that shit over here. Don't be don't tell oh, anyone I told you guys that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you ain't getting I mean, my, even my rope. I mean yeah. maybe I, I wish there was Sorry. some I wish there was some anyway, let me just leave that request. I'm not even because I don't okay, know you, just, you just, ain't gonna be able to have this conversation and be okay. mature and be truthful. You're gonna make up fantastic stories and all. I don't know, man. I just don't trust you. Like. Hey, speak the truth, bro. Pick up, pick up, man. Yo, hey. Yo, H. Yeah, well gone, G. Yo, well gone, Punjab EMC in the building. H, you a bokeh? I'm a what? <laughs> Do you bokeh? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a there's a lot of Sikhs and shit. Like, like you see that picture the, over here. Anybody, you, can and, uh, you can be in the middle. You can be in the middle of a pum pum sandwich. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. And Eunice says, "Jiboka," and you're gonna hey, say, "No." Lao no, Eunice, you is. Is fucking. I did Did you get Did you get your fucking job or something? This guy get a job. Yo, Cage, calm down, calm down, man. But listen, listen. Okay, calm there's down, a bunch of Sikhs. You're trying to make this stream funny. This is funny. This is. Cage, if the stream is to be funny, that means less of your voice. God damn it! I say some funny shit sometimes, though. So no, yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you. Like personally, I don't know. Don't I tell don't about know. No, no, no. I'm not. I don't know what's right, what's wrong. You know, <laughs> what, what we should don't do, what off. we shouldn't do. Yeah. Because, oh, like I told you, man, man was a Londoner, born, born and bred in UK. Man, man, don't know much in it about my culture, about my roots in it. But I am, I am going back to my roots now in it. Man's actually reading a a book in it. It's Revelation. It's from God, and it's and it's called Karma Sutra in it. And it. And it <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Revelation, man. Man. oh man, I'm what out, man. Big I'm out. Oh, man, man. Sperm Tomic, boy. You get a Sperm Tomic. Man yeah. said Karma Sutra is from God. And I know if you're doing Karma, you're doing everything then. If you're reading Karma Sutra, Karma Sutra is everything. Bro, the, the only Karma um, Sutra this guy's doing is a 33 hand fucking. I'm sure there's anal. I'm sure there's anal in the Karma Sutra. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on like the oh, first shit. page, isn't it? Man's on like the first page. Man don't know anything. Whatever. Man don't know anything, man. The lies. But, um, man. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. Last time I was with a chick. This man, time when you bust open that book, you've got bare highlights on the bookmark and the asterisks, notes in the, in the margin and that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, but on the level, on the level, girls like my energy though. They oh, like my energy, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, 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 ain't, I ain't even guessing. I ain't even guessing. Like girls love my energy, man. You know what I'm saying? I treat them nicely as well, man. Sorry. <laughs> what the yoni? The yoni uh, yeah? I forgot that. Um, this is a myth. Too sick. If you speak to the yoni, that's when you know you're up to the next tier. Because if you're just talking to the girl and you start saying talk to the pom pom, that's when you're, yeah. That's when you know you're talking to the pump. What did you say you're talking to the pump? What did you say you to the ever said anything about <laughs> <someone> <laughs> a plant you know, <laughs> outside? Hmm? I don't think she can be interested. Are you not talking to the pump? It's a different yeah, scenario. What is going on? Now, this, this brother was saying that he, he knows about the gal them. I and he's a Venus fly, fly Yeah, I'll be yeah. back. I'll be back in a minute, guys. I got to deal with some shit. Yeah. You got to go eat some pussy, yeah? I know. I might eat that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Got him. laughs> right, so tropical fruit, man. Yeah. I'm so I'm um, hey. <laughs> but but personally, Jeds, you know what it is, Jeds, isn't it? Like uh -huh. I, I'm I'm like like for me, I'm gonna be real with you, and it's sex, yeah, isn't is good, yeah. But there's something better than sex, isn't it? But you know, I like to make girls happy, in it. I like to make them happy, in it. So, you know I'm so I'm less. I, I don't really do that personally. Like, I might. It might change after I read Karma Sutra. And after no, wait, I read wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause. You said you don't really do that. Yeah. No one in the history of the world has not really eaten pussy. Have you? Have or you have it, bro? Mm. No, obviously but, I have. You know what I mean? but... No, oh, back so in the days, back in the days, yeah, back, back in the days, yeah. Back in the days you were doing it, yeah? You'd yeah, close. back in the day, <laughs> like, yeah. Advanced like... than that, yeah? Huh? Huh? <laughs> you were doing it back in the days, yeah? 
Yeah, back in the day, isn't it? Not recently, and that, isn't it? Recently, I just, you know what I'm saying? I let them play with me, and that, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Like, a man's a giver out here, isn't it? Yeah, so, wait, you're not making well, sense. Well, you used to be I a taker. Like, it's cool. Like, I don't want clarification from you. I realised I, I look like the fool if I ask you to explain yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. but my man likes to make them happy, and it? It's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you let you yeah, let but, to but make like them I said, man. Like, like I said, like, like I said, it might change. It might change. It might change. Let me ask you a question, H. Let me ask you a question. If she said to you, if she if she said put peanut butter put put peanut butter on my on my um backside and eat off. If she, if she See, said that's, that's my favorite thing, bro. Like it's Yo, it's a different level here, of, here, of mindset, bro. We shouldn't even be in this room. Like, I know, I know, it's a different I know. level <laughs> of mindset. <laughs> nah, do your things. Th- do your thing, God. But wh- why did you take it there? Mm. Peanut no, butter on the backside. Will you eat it? Like that's why? A lot of people. A lot of people do that. I heard. Listen, in the last two, three, four months, I've heard two oh. different accounts of people saying that they do that or something like that. And and you know what? Do you know what? It actually it was actually bad. There was there was a black guy that goes and says, "I want to give you five hundred dollars if you can, um, 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 what's it called? Um, uh, uh, tell us something about yourself that you haven't told your boyfriend." And she said, "Yeah." Um, she said that, "Oh, no, 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 oh yeah, Get, call your best friend." That was one of them ones, and she called her best friend, and he said, and she said, um, uh, there's some messages on the, on the thing anyway. And it was like, okay, so she spoke to him. She said, so what did, what did I, what did we do? What have we done ever together? I said, oh, well, do you like the time when, um, I like the time when you put the peanut butter on my, on my, on my thing in front of her boyfriend while she was on the phone. Right. So that was obviously instant fail, did not it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, so like that was, I heard that thing. I'm like, oh my God, she's that open to call her, the dude up and hope that he doesn't talk about his fantasy that he did with her. And um, yeah, I heard someone else say it as well. So that was a long X shot story, but I'm saying this thing happens a lot, man. Um, and I, and I'm like, that's what I'm saying. I, I like, how creative is that? Obviously, like, obviously, yeah, yeah, Kingo, let's be real. Yeah? <laughs> obviously, Kingo, I feel like you've had enough time to sit and harness some really filthy thoughts, too much. Kingo. Who? What? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, Listen, I, hold yeah, on. Yeah, I, yeah, I was no, watching. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't, don't run. We're gonna liberate you. Oh, like, oh. you tell the truth. Isn't it? <clears throat> yeah? yeah. I feel like you've had a lot of time to sit down and pre a lot of nasty thoughts, right? So I feel like if it was, if I was to be asked out of the friends, who do you think is up for doing the wildest stuff with the gal? It's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote Me. on you. Sec after that, I'll vote oh, on him. No, 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 licking pum pum. I'm gonna say you yeah, and H. Yeah. Me and you and Ray. And, and 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 you know. Sorry, I, I, I think, think this is a new. Actually, I'm gonna say you, <laughs> you then Eunice, then H, because I I know that Eunice is a nasty, nasty piece of work. You get me? Nasty, nasty piece of work. In, in my defense, in, in my defense, I would say I'm not. The best spoken. I'm not well spoken in it, so maybe that influenced that. But I wouldn't put myself in the top three. Definitely not. I wouldn't put myself there. Yeah, but yeah, I, man, I, would, I respect I would, that. You get when you're brave enough to start sending gal that you never met pictures of your hood. Then yeah, you you do you do stuff that I wouldn't. A hundred percent. Yeah. Is enough, it? Well, you ain't done. You 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 don't take sending pic. Obviously, I don't want to know. Like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. No, 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 I, no, mm, no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, to a fresh girl, to a fresh link, innit? A fresh link, to a fresh no, link. yeah, but no. you know that it's an actual girl, no one's gonna send no, it to someone that could no, be catfish. No, 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 just yeah. no, just no, I'm not sending pictures of my willy, man. But yeah, man, I wanna, I'll, I'll, no. I'm, I wanna, know, I wanna know what God says about the different kinds of love and it, how to <laughs> embrace and how to embrace and how to kiss, when to kiss. You know so what I'm saying? Who's, like, the, who's the author of the of the God in it? God in it? What do you mean, God in it? Yeah, man, this is revelation, fam. Yeah, so, like, what it is, yeah. So, basically, what it is, yeah. It's like you know, yeah, so it's just to enhance. Yeah. 
or to different ways, the different like, ways of lying down, and you know what I'm saying, like all of that, fam. You know what I'm saying? It's like a thousand pound, yeah. thousand page book, fam. Oh, them man are doing gymnastics in that though, bro. That doesn't look comfortable, man. How can you mash chicks yeah. whilst your legs behind your head? Come on. Yeah. So basically, no, no, what is, oh, yeah, I, the, I think the the summary is yeah. Right? So you do all those techniques and all that to maximize the pleasure and all that. You know, it's like give and take type situation. All I hope is that the women were actually uh, compliant with doing them things and they weren't actually forced to do it, but with fucking shackles on them, um, an apple in their mouth and shit. Because <laughs> you know, the Asian man, they just, they just, yeah, man, they do things a bit not unconventional. <laughs> yeah, the reason why I became popular, the common future thing, is because, you know, it was, um, you know, um, I'm not going to say anything. I just hope it's done properly. Um, let's not get it twisted. It's revelation, isn't it? And what I'm saying. And yeah, man, we should read it. We should take time out to read it and not just follow what we've been conditioned by society and porn and, you know what I'm saying, this Western uh, culture, this, you know what I'm saying, let's go back to our roots. What do our roots say? What do our ancestors say? You know, what does God say about all this? You know what I'm saying? It's all there, fam. But, um, yeah, man. But personally... You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't read it, but, like, the girls, they like my energy, man. Girls love my energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, they be, I don't know if it's, like, a fetish thing, you know what I'm saying? The big beard, big turban and that, you know what I'm saying? Strapped and that. Like, I don't know if it's a fetish for them, um, but they love my energy, man. They love my, you know what I'm saying? The way I, the way I, the way I take it slow and that, innit? And like, have you ever you know, taken? But listen, have you ever been mashing a girl and she had her boyfriend on the phone while she said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back soon." Have you not? If you, that's the only. Have you done that? That's when you're a G. That's when you're back. You know what I mean? That's when you're a G out there. You're a gal. I, I, well, I saw it. No, no, no. Yeah, I saw it. Just before. smashing it out, and she's on the phone. Just have you ever done that though? Because I've done that. Have you done that? Because that, I mean, no, you know, no, no. You know we don't I know do it's not a competition or anything, but I'm just saying that you know, and I wouldn't cons I consider myself, you know, uh, yeah, someone who's who's learned about. Yeah, you know, I, I actually age. saw that before. Um, King King Gold, I saw that before. Have you seen, you've seen it? Well, I, I yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, on a, but yeah. you've seen it in the movie before, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eunice, I'm telling you, Eunice, man, you're foul, man. <laughs> You're a foul <laughs> yeah, we're all friends. Was he with a friend at yeah, that no, time? No. I remember movie? Eunice oh. told us about watching um, lesbian porn, watching men be pegged, all sorts. That's yeah, you just got that watch, day, bro. I don't watch anymore. Thank God he didn't get any more explicit words. I swear I think I was watching that day. But no, big up, man. That was quite funny. That was a funny one. No, I don't watch anymore, man. It, it, it's fake, actually. You know, it's actually fake. They're actually acting. So yeah, you know it's not I mean, hard I like, to find. No, I'm about I like I like I like the divine the I divine like fighting man. Like you know what I'm saying? I I the way I beat it, I beat it divinely, fam. You know what I'm saying? Divine, fam. A, a divine, like you'll divine. have levitated buttercups, boy, just tickling her back, just blowing it in it. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a good technique. You know how you get a feather. Mad. Now, man, don't like missionary. Man, man, don't like missionary though. Man, don't like going on top of the girl, innit? Because that's like that's a Christian thing, innit? The missionary, the missionaries come to India. They went around the world, the missionaries, and they introduced that position, innit? That's something. That's something we didn't even know about. That's something we don't even know about. Bro, bro. So listen, let me tell. Let me tell you something. So if missionary is in the Karma Sutra that you're reading now, throw away the whole book. Now it's not in there, fam. It's right, exactly. Nah, that is that true, though? Is that true? You don't, nah. think, you don't think 
that a man on top of a woman is in the, car- the karma sutra. Are you okay? I don't think it is in there, G. I the don't think it one. is, isn't it? Yeah. I would, I would I, say I, that. I, 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 think, I, think, I, I think, I think the missionary. No, that's what the, the missionaries brought in it. I don't think no, it's ours. No, no. What are you talking you are hundred percent not confident to even talk to a woman in that, like. Room, if there was no missionary, there would be no missionary. Where I see this guy, <laughs> like no way. You ain't you ain't going up to the woman saying. Hello, I know the karma future plan. No. I don't know. I you don't. Only, and I ain't, why, I ain't gonna no say that. Man ain't gonna say that. Man ain't gonna say that. But still, you finish. Man don't right. even know what's you, in there. Man like, don't even. Man wait, don't even wait, know give what's us some in Kevin there, Samuels. Give us some Kevin Samuels pointers, man. Some bullet points, bro. But you know how? how you will never get nowhere near someone. No, but like, no, but like I said, that. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I'm just going back to my roots now, isn't it? I'm just going. I'm just finding you myself. You got your book, but you ain't got enough minute. So who's gonna explain your history, bro? Uh, huh? No yeah. one. Huh? Man, so what? You got your book. You get me? Yeah. What did he say? You ain't got no pom pom, so what are you gonna do? No, but of course I do, fam. Of course I do, innit? Of course I do. Now the first pom. Yeah, because in Sikhi, now because in Sikhi, we don't have no rules. We don't have rules. We don't have no pom. Crazy. No, 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 no. no. I, I have. I now listen. I, I got. I, 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 listen. I, I get pussy, and mine gets per minute, yeah. But mine ain't my. But let's let me make a disclaimer right here. We don't. I, we don't. This, let, let me make a disclaimer. We don't have any rules. Not from Sikhi. No. Mm, no, 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 yeah, see, fam, see, of one. course, I do, no, fam, I do, no I I am, fam, I am, I am, from where, bro, trust me, fam, local, local things, local, man, local things, yeah, the girls you were sending your dick pics weren't seek. Nah, 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 like I said, man, that was four years ago, man. Come on, man, I'm a changed man, you know what I'm saying? That was four years ago, man's a changed man. Man's more mature now. Man's more mature now, isn't it? And you're reading page one of the conversation. Big up the man, life matter. Yeah, but like I said, man, yeah. Brothers movement matter. Huh? Get me. Brothers movement matter. On them brothers. Man, yeah, man, the bros fucking we matter, bruv. Fucking London living with all this nonsense. I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, but like what I said, man, look, I, 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 don't, up, want, up, I, don't, I don't want yeah, any bro, misconception here. I don't, I don't want anyone to have a misconception. Uh, yeah, I just came to mash it up. <laughs> no, I just want to, I just want to, I want to make it clear that, that I, I, there's no rules in my religion. There's no rules. You can't have sex before marriage. You can't. We don't have that shit. You know what I'm saying? We can mac pull me. Don't matter, blood. Yeah, in our religion, is, we that, don't is, have is that true? Blood. Is that true? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're allowed you to. What I'm thinking, uh, 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 Zilla. Conversion <laughs> time. Yeah, huh? we. Shiki <laughs> Sada, quick time. Let's go. But you don't sound like you ever have. Yeah, we, 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 we don't have, we, we're allowed to have sex before marriage, innit? We're allowed to, we don't have any rules like that, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The you make it with love your religion. You know, the, we don't have rules, we don't have rules like that, innit? We don't have rules like that, Sikhs. We're spiritual seekers and, and, and in fact, the Guru invented Karma Sutra. The Guru invented it, you know what I'm saying? So obviously, like, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're cool, fam. Um, no, we sleep with who we want, you know which what I'm saying? Which guru invented it? Which guru invented it? Uh, the, the, in, the Indian sadhus, isn't it? The Indian spiritual seekers, the spiritual masters of you India. You said God, right? You said God. No, but there's no difference between the um, spiritual masters and God. There's no difference oh, between so that. They're basically God too, yeah? time periods. Yeah. There's yeah, no I difference know. between them. All right, well, and, uh, you, brother, you say that you read in the Karma Sutra and you're on page one, yeah? Yeah. Can you tell me what edition you're reading? Because I can see the missionary position here in different karma sutras. I just want to make sure that it's in your one too. I, I know it is, but I just want to school you on something. Can you tell me <laughs> what, what's the actual edition of karma sutra you have? I'm so mm, saying it. It's called the Karma Sutra of Vatsyayana. Spell it. Vatsyayana. Yeah, spell that word. V A T S Y A Y A N A. 
And you're on the first page? Yeah. For how long? <laughs> it was going. <laughs> He's looking at the pictures, Lowen, man. He's looking at the nah, pictures. Now, man's only yeah, just yeah, yeah. It's it, it's you say, it could it, be better it? on the it's, second. Now page, listen, you know? it's, a, it's not certain. It's not this. The, the one I got in it. It's not something that the, the whole world can just go and get it. It's private. Oh it? shit! Can, yeah. just, man can only share it with certain. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, don't hey, try I wanna... and style it. Don't try and style it. Don't Is there pictures? It. Is there pictures on the book? Yeah, he's trying to style it. You see right here, missionary. Yeah. Right here. Missionary. Oh shit! Wait, but you, he yeah, just yeah. said missionary. Yeah, it's not on the book. No, yeah, that's hugging. No, that's hugging. That's hugging, fam. They're not beating, <laughs> man. Bro, don't do this, bro. No, but why that's they hugging you on the nah, bed? Nah, that's... Oh. But why are they hugging on the bed, H? Trust me, nah, we know the a, difference. That's bro. just a late picture, man. Bro, he's sexing the thing, bro. What's wrong with you? Mm. No, no, I'm asking him. Why does he think she's hugging him on the bed, laying down? What? Whoa, whoa, what is going on here? What? Big up, big up. I'm, I'm already doing. I'm already doing that. What's no wonder, no wonder you couldn't get off the first page. I'm not gonna lie. If I was you, I couldn't get off the first page. When the Sodom and Gomorrah is this? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. That that could that might be a fake. Hold on, hold on. Karma Sutra Sodom and Gomorrah. That, 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 that might be a fake. No, it's not. So, no, it's not gay in Karma Sutra. Sorry, what you got? Yeah, it's man and female, bro. What are you on about? It's man and woman. It doesn't have to be gay to be Sodom and Gomorrah. Remember. Huh? Bro, in it. Loud that, 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 man. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's also you know, putting into a woman's bum as well. All that weird shit as well. Uh, I, I, would say, I, I think no, there no, may no, be, no, there no. might be some no. anal, but, I, but, it, but possibly not. Now, Jed, that picture isn't in that book. That anything picture anything, anything book. outside of the woman's vagina is sodomy. Yeah, all right, just, like, yeah, cool, but loud there, yeah, but stop, isn't it? Like, cool. there's no pictures in the book. Yeah, I just checked like, now. I just checked. Trying to get a little head in No books, yeah. man. There's no books. By accident. Books. No. By accident. I'm about you, black. No, I'm about you, black. Every single time. Every single time. Every single time. Yeah, Jed, just check. There's no pictures. Babes, I can't wait for your next accident. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, when we talk about yeah, eating booty, why is um, Uncle Mac so quiet though in the corner, bro? He's sticking. Shut up, man. Oh, 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 hey, nah, sniper. Done is done. Done is done. This is a man who drinks tea. Yeah, you know yeah, about yeah, water sports. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to get roasted right now. Just allow it, bro. Exactly. Uh, and your dog, remember your dog smeared all over his bum all over love. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh. Made what? his bum yeah. hole all over your face. Yeah. No <laughs> way. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Your dog, okay. your dog sat on your face. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. what the yeah. fuck? Well, anyway, let's get back to human beings. Like, you, you, you eat your dog, man. <laughs> like, you don't eat your dog in Somalia. Bro. I want to hear this Invictus, Invictus Kama Sutra that you lot Somalia. are dealing with. No, I'm not mean, trying man. to get fucking. Yeah, no, there's, no there's no pictures in that book. Special Sutra. No, no, it, <laughs> not all special. Revelation, no, fam. Revelation, Listen. man. And call my name, bad man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, missionary, man. That's something that they brought. Western brought. Me, Christian missionaries brought to us, man. No, we don't do them things, man. You know what I'm saying? If the girl want to go on top, that's a different story. Hey, so you ain't doing nothing with no girl, man. Shut up, man. What are you talking about? Listen, man. Karma Sutra, fam. Do you know who you're Sorry, talking right, to? Cool. No? Karma Sutra, right? Here's a question. The front cover of this Karma Sutra is what? What kind of star is wow? Man, that's gas, man. What? In, in, what are they doing? Interesting. I'm fucking... Looks like missionary to me. Eh? That don't look like missionary to me. I don't look like missionary to me, man. He's what? banging it in the pump. Oh, then you don't know what you don't know what sex is. Then what are you talking about? Missionary, bro. What? what, what you that looks like that, 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 ladies. That, that, that looks like legs. that, that yeah. looks like. That He's means he wants to get to the legs, cervix bro. at a certain point. That out. looks yeah. like some yoga really pose or something with the legs up and that man. Brother, he's behind. He's in between her legs with her legs raised up. Like that's not like missionary. <laughs> Yeah, that is. That's nearly. Yeah, that's nearly. This guy's yeah, going to see what reverse missionary yeah, looks like. You know what? Forget that, man. Forget <laughs> that. I can't be bothered. Apparently, ne sure ne sure nearly man. there, nearly there, yeah. but not quite. Not quite, man. What do you mean, not yeah. quite? That's the fucking. 
I can't even bother, bro. Yeah, he ain't done anything, bro. That's why he doesn't. Nah, he's trolling you, man. You thought it was hugging. You thought it was hugging just a minute ago. Like, that way, bro. He's lying there in front of you. You see, it's missionary. You're talking about that's not missionary. Man said hugging. It's on, the, it's on the front cover, bro, of the same book you say you got. Yeah, nah, the it was nearly there, there, nearly, but not quite, man. He doesn't know what he's You say you say you don't mess with missionary because what the missionaries do it, but they came to your country. He's a virgin. He ain't done nothing. Billions. That's man. man. You can't say he's a virgin. He's been selling big pics. He's been selling him though, man. Know him, man. His country might be mash up, but it's not him though, isn't it? You know, you know what's interesting about that image? Let him talk and be himself. You know what, can, can I say something? Do you know what's interesting about yeah. that image? There was an eight-pointed star, and apparently that symbolizes life and fertility and wards against evil, apparently, which is interesting. Wow. I, I never knew eight-pointed star. I never knew the meaning of the eight-pointed star. But that's what it I'm means, interested right? in knowing oh, what the good is. I'm a learner, yeah. man's learning. I'm learning out here. I'm learning, and, and I'm going to continue to learn. And, and I'll be interested. The guru, the guru got married at nine years old, and and yeah, but no. his wife was no, he got married at 11, and the wife no. was like 10 or something. They were both the same Why? age. It wasn't, 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 Firstly, mostly, first Tip fire on the mason Remember that's a petrol bomb at the station I fear the creator, not the creation That that turned out in birth of a nation Two things, Yeah? Tip of fire on the mason Firstly, tell us where it says One shot Allow it, tell us yeah, tell us where it's and I'm one black, point. And, where does it say? And I'm black, yo. And, and I'm black. Yeah. And I'm. And I'm black. Give it to the nation. Give it to the nation. Now let's not mock man. He knows what he's going to say. Ayo. 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 Harkira. Oh, oh mad, man. Oh. The guru, I, the guru you, married yeah. a nine year old. Oh. And he's out here cussing. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Afghani yeah. handicap and the Indian yeah. handicap. It's crazy. <laughs> Are you, man? Just kick back, man. Let me let me chat to this guy. Um, Harkira, listen to this, yeah? <laughs> before before the gurus, yeah? Who, who was the main guy before the gurus? Mm, who was the main guy? Eh? What do you mean? Buddha. The spirit, the spiritual master. Yeah? It don't matter how. Listen, let me say one thing about Sikhi. Yeah? We're unique. Isn't it? Man. Listen, listen man. Wait, no, one man. second. Let me tell you something. We don't hold Bro, the monopoly. Not listen, listen, we don't. We don't hold. We, no, I'm answering a question. You asked I'm, a question. Let me answer. You, right you asked a question. I'm not listening to your long ass talk. Listen. No, but no. You who asked a question. The, you asked me a question. Listen, if you listen, if you're not gonna hear my answer, then don't engage in discussion with me. Sponsored by Asia. You no, ask me a question. Please. You ask me a question. I want to ask you. Amos, man. Nagata, man. Let him talk, Sesame man. Street in India is always sponsored <laughs> by the letter L. Mm. Every episode. <laughs> you know how they say in the Japanese, Grande <laughs> sponsor, <laughs> Asia. I'm Nagata Amos, man. Wait, man. Let me hear this guy. Go on. Go on. Man's listening to you. Go on. Has all downloaded Karma Sutra PDF just to prove this for the wrong. So, 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 so the guru all says, this yeah, bullshit. the, the guru the says that well. God, one, the one God doesn't care, doesn't care what religion you are. God doesn't what? care what religion you are. I God doesn't care. One second, one second, one second. Come, one second. God, right, the whole God, topic God, is you're God, 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 I'm here looking at Batty and Pum Pum. Listen, no, what in the fucking Bomba clot is this guy, bro? Why Bomba clot? Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Fucking take this L, man. My first L. Leave your one out. <laughs> in, Leave it I'll give you a separate split, you ain't getting none of mine, you get me? 
Leave them gemmas out of it, man. Yeah, isn't it? Maku, yeah? And tell, tell, your, bri- tell your brethren if you're yamming out them things, because it's not nice to let him oh, Maku. Out, it's too late for Maku. you, man. Maku, oh, tell your research, man. Maku, Maku. Why are you showing at me, bruv? You're a pussy, fam. You're a pussy, oh, fam. Don't show your name, fam. All the medals. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, whoa. What is this? What do you want from me? Really? No, ma- 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 Listen, ma- it's not even me, you know. I br- I brought it up, yeah, one time, and then Raj came and confirmed it. Hey, ma- yeah, ma- so that's like cool. Ma- no, 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 no. What? So you're saying Raj is your 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 guy now, yeah? The, 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 no, the, I researched it already. I already knew because I I watched on the thing yeah. about the ten but, but or I, eleven I wanted, gurus. Wanted, Hold on, one I second. Wanted... One second, I watched a thing on the gurus, right? And all the 11 or how many gurus there were, starting with Guru Nanak and blah, 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 and their life and what happened with each one of them. That's it, bro. And then when I said it one time on the stream, hold on, when I said it one time on the stream, and then Raj jumped on and confirmed what I was saying. Like, allow me, man. Okay, yeah, now let me old people. Like, no. You don't even know the history of your thing, and you're running around no, here calling people's like, no. prophet, pedophile, no. a nine year old, and all of that. And it's really your own fucking guru. Uh, let me like, say wow, one thing else. Uh, I wanted to, 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 Stop acting like kids. Why? <laughs> Why, Guru? Why? Why, Guru? Why, Guru? Maku, Maku I want you to come on here. I want to come on here. I want you to come on here. No, no, no. I am right. But you know what it is? You know what it is? They were the same age. So I'll be honest. You know what I mean? They were yeah, the same thank age. Thank you. I just yeah. thank you. I just wanted to say that I wanted to But yeah, you. Maku. how are you going to say anything else after that? Yeah, no, you've been running you. around cussing other people, knowing full well your prophet, yeah, is practicing Kama Sutra at what nine, ten, eleven? Yeah. What? What are we doing here? Oh, I wanna. I wanna. Yeah. Why well, isn't he a kicking football? You're Some holy little prophet. I wanna. I wanna. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this how you, is this how you behave? Is this how you behave? Yeah. yeah. Is this, uh, the guru is this, was doing missionary. Is this, is, this, is this how it's going on? Is this how it's going on? And it would have been baby missionary, so it would have been baby Kama Sutra. Like allow it, man. How you doing, doing PG doggy style? What is this, man? Yeah. Is this, like... is this how a grown off man speaks? Is this how a grown off speaks? Man, yeah, bro, man, listen, man, I'm the youngest man. one here. Remember that. I'm the youngest one here. Yeah. I'm the youngest one here. You're not the youngest one here. You're not the youngest one here. I am, fam. I'm in my... No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Younger than Stopzilla. Listen, Stopzilla is double my age. Yeah, Maku's like triple my age. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Zulu's like triple my age. Come on, man. What are we doing here, man? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Wow. I probably am, but yeah, wow. What are we doing here, man? Respect us. We're elders. Respect us. What are we doing here? Listen, Maku, I want to thank you. I know you're nearly 30, man. You're nearly 30. I want to thank Maku. You're nearly 30, innit? I want to thank Maku for backing me yesterday. I didn't pay him to do that. And, and, pause, and the pause, 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 like the guru. Listen, 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 no, listen, listen, no, listen, no pausing, <laughs> no pausing, no pausing. No the fake get caught out of that. Secondly, secondly, what did I do? 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 secondly, 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 I secondly, know. secondly know. what does, what does That's my guru, listen, secondly, secondly, what does my guru, said my name three times yesterday, what does my guru, who was like, 11 years old got married okay. to a, another 11 year old girl ah oh, but you said he was younger before no mm. one second no we had like 10 11 you see, we had 10 you, see? you we keep moving girls. and we you had keep 10 changing girls, oh so they were we all marrying young girl we had they were all marrying young girl yeah so we, had what you're we had 10, 10 gurus were marrying one second young girl. and it wasn't a no, marriage it was an engagement it was an engagement it was an engagement now what does what does that have any one second what does that have anything yeah. got to do with what we're speaking about? Firstly, secondly, it's not it, it, at least it's not like a fucking sixty-year-old man, it, fuck it, a sixty-year-old, nine-year-old like your prophet it, it, did. Yeah, a sixty-year-old nah, man, 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 a sixty-year-old man, fucked a fucked a nine-year-old. 
Like your profit. Yo, what's wrong with that hairline? What's wrong with that hairline? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, see a hairline. <laughs> yeah. It's not like that, fam. That it's hairline like was that. much. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. <laughs> it's not like. It's not, it's, yeah. The guru got engaged, not married. Carry she on, got engaged. Carry on. Carry on. Yeah. Carry to, on. A, to a girl who was the same age as him. Yeah. But your profit. Hey, do you want to tell us about the last time you got sexual? Why is he so hurt? Your profit at the age of sixty. No. He's bleeding all over the live stream, man. You Yo, got the bindi, the pick up the bindi in the You know like when you cut a chicken's head off? You know you cut a chicken's head off and it's just <laughs> running around <laughs> headless? Yeah, you yeah, 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 didn't completely cut the head off. You profit, you profit at the age of 60. Yeah, still actually having a response girl, mechanism and that. He's still Fuck doing what he was doing girl. before. Married her at six, he got his head yeah? chopped off. Married yeah. her at six, fam. Married her at six, then fucked her at nine. That's what your profit did, fam. So you can't even... Talk about my gurus like that, yeah? You can't even talk about my gurus like that. So humble yourself, fam. I get it. Guru, stop being a little. I think you. I think your mom just told you. I hear that. I hear that. Hey. So check this out. Hey, 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 do you think, hold it, hold on, hold on, do you, th hold on, wait, uh, you, do you think there's a page fucking, with a mobile phone fucking, and a man doing dick pic? Dirty <laughs> minded, sick, fuck. I'm just fam. asking. <laughs> yeah, and is, Zulu, there, is there a dick pic? you pussy fam. Zulu, is there dick pic in there? Fam. The guru is a pussy. Dick pic sutra. Did hey, listen, listen, at 10 years old, I was yeah, watching Ben like, 10. You're like, you're like triple my age, fam. You need to humble yourself, and Zulu, you stop Zilla, stop Zilla. Was, what was the guru doing listen, at 10? Listen, 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 I dropped my post. Get yeah, ready for sex. He back, was reading yeah? the same books that Akita's reading. Listen, 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 I dropped my postcode. I dropped my number in the back, yeah? I dropped my number in the back. Listen, listen, I dropped my number in the back. Come through, when it? Come to me. How many, all right, all right. How many years older than the guru are you when he got married and had a wife there you go he's gone now huh is the, is the oh. mic bell oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see remember i don't know Fucking him up. i think one of you what might pussy, remember man. yesterday who's next shine the Bring old man, man yeah, said, my old next? man said he's indian man he's old man i'm not agreeing with anything that's what he what? believes he said that um adam and eve and we're surgeons what does that mean Bro, from when he's trying to say that he taught us to build a he, pyramid, he's I don't an Indian man. I don't hear nothing else from that. But I'm not, not from you. We, from, from we taught Keith. you how to build the pyramids. To we we taught you about African about spiritualism. That, we taught well, you. Well, 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 it seems you taught man to marry young girl. That's all. That's all. all, 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 all no, right. He was animals, Adam and animals, even an surgeon. Right. He's marrying off Pickney and that. I'm putting elephant head on baby. Like, allow it, man. Maybe they were in Sodom and Gomorrah. Maybe it was them in there. I don't know. Well, I'm telling you it was. Possibly. I'm well, telling you it was. Us. I don't think it was Sin. Us, Sin was waiting at the door. Sin. Singhi. Shiva. Like, I'm, near out, that region, I'm anyway. not involved. Right near that I'm not involved. <laughs> I'm not involved, man, with what, right. what Kane was doing. I'm not involved. What, what is the surgeon? Who knows what the surgeon hmm? is? What is that? Ding, 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 ding. Anyone? Ding, ding. What are you talking about, surgeon? What are you talking about? <laughs> I asked my dad about religion and I said, What do we believe in? You're like, who's the first person? Yeah, then that's be? between you, you and your dad, man. Well, no, no, you, but man. I'm asking you, what's your like equivalence? Like, oh, sure, sure. We're talking about, like we're talking about Kama know. Sutra and we're, we're talking about you, uh, the Nick. Uh, talking we, about, we about sex. We've talked about that for about half an hour. We're talking about that. Mama actually send this number. Forget it, bro. I was saying that you shouldn't be. Man. You should tell your brethren that if you're, this, if you're looking out for things, you can't be like. <laughs> put on speaker. Put on speaker. <laughs> sailor, sailor, sailor. sailor. Oh, another... What happened? Go ahead, then. <laughs> <laughs> how the how's that phone number? I don't. <laughs> He's like, who's who's this? Who's this? The, so the algorithm to training <laughs> muscles. To algorithm to having sex with you, obviously, your partner. Uh, man's giving that 10 numbers, bro. Where else is it going to be? I got 10 it's, number, man. It's 10 number, in it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. 077. That's eight, the biggest muscle. Six, eight, and your butt cheeks. Five, three, <laughs> For some of you seven, fuckers. <laughs> three. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. How do I have my number? <laughs> and the last three digits. <laughs>
One for one, one for one. No, that for that. Oh, no, it's the bo- bottom done. lip. Oh, it's the bottom lip. He's just faking it. Is he faking the funk as well? Faking, bro. Faking the funk. He's a weirdo, man. Wow, I, you. I thought you were yeah. strapped up and all that, man. Pause on that. I thought you were strapped, cousin. Mm. Oh, do you know what differentiates white people from black people is that the black people's top lip is usually way bigger, and w- like white people just don't <laughs> have any. Lip. So obviously, what are you talking about? It's all random. Well, like, no, no, because no, well. we you're looking we at people's saying, top lip, man's top lip. We just say that black people got bigger lip and um, bigger muscles in it. We were talking about muscles, like the algorithm. But then you can't see all of the lip. lip. You can only see the bottom of the top lip. And you're not really black, so right now you're wasting away. So there's a horseshoe. There's a Christmas tree on their man their lips. There's a horseshoe on certain man's lips. Certain man's got. Certain man's got a fucking bicep on their, the on their lips. Uh, certain man's got Askenazi spine. Huh. A peak. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> like, shit your mouth, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. No embarrasses me, bro. Man said, I have a debone. That is not an Ebo. That is not an Ebo spine, bro. That was easy. How would the Ebo spine not work like that? Yeah, yeah, it don't work like that. You know, it is nah. It needs to be built better, cause like, bro. I'm not gonna go. Gonna be put for its bases. Yeah, definitely ain't gonna be doing missionary and all that planking. All you stuff. know what? How I know that we came from tortoises. Look at Burner Boy's lip. He got a tortoise lip. How is wow, you're looking at Burner Boy's lip. Fucking hell! Shout out, man. Nah, Throw this half evil right. Eskenazi. What are you saying? What are you saying? You the Kingo, what do you listen to? Burner Boy, what do you turn the you music down and just watch his lips? Hmm? <laughs> then man, there's a tribe that comes from the corner. Can come around the corner, brass was he always in? He listens to it with no volume. <laughs> with no volume, he just turns the volume, no volume. Down, just watch his man's lips. Yeah. What's anyway. it called? Um, so East African come from jellyfish. You know what I mean? Just all head, uh, boy. Couple live, couple couple listen to the abuse. Ah! Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. That's crazy. crazy. No, that's somebody in the chat said. Somebody in the chat said the King of Gold watches walking videos of a- ASMR. I was like, bro, that's mad. Fuck. Listen, some brother mm-hmm. mash some woman, and mm-hmm. we all hear. What? I don't know what, what happened after. What drugs do you like? What drugs do you like? Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. What? Whoa, whoa. What? Now, big up Somalis, because I have my care is. Uh, hold on, hold on. Who was that? Who was that that rang the real number? Oh, yeah, but what? on whose phone? Speaking? Someone's been arguing with you, by the way. Whoever it was. Wait, is my... Stocks? <laughs> yeah, there's a key. Did you ring him? We went into fight. Who rang him, man? <laughs> oh, he came back to he came back to give the proper number. Hello, hello. This is the mental Your hospital. Plan. This I'm is the mental you. hospital. Fuck. Fuck ah. If he comes, I'm gonna fucking shoot him, and you owe me, bro. Oh, you just keep, you just keep saying the sister thing in there. I don't want to fuck up the algorithm, but fuck that. Was that a voice note? No, I'm not going to I'm going to shoot him in the knee. <laughs> <'Cause> if he <laughs> fucking comes to me, he's getting it. I'm telling you, bro. Boys, that is fucking leave machine. the knee caps alone, That's... man. I tried leave to defend you, alone. but maybe I shouldn't defend you. Maybe you're in a more dire situation. But if you're in trouble, you run down my alleyway. I fucking hey, shut up, up man. Table. Fuck's sake, man. I get the table hit spot man. out there for you, bro. Hakira! You're a cold, man. You're a cold. You're a fucker, man. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. Wait, let me let me call him as well. Let me call him. Wait, wait. You're a fucking joke. One, one, one. What? Whoa, whoa, stop saying the sister thing, man. <laughs> uh, I noticed he never said it to me, though. <laughs> yeah, he never said it to you, man. <laughs> hey, Zulu, call him, man. Yeah, let me call like, him. Why, why are you trying to call him a hungry hippo, man? That's a, he's a lion, bruv. Call, call out him, man. Shut up, man. You need to get yourself hurt. Shut you up. You need to get yourself hurt, bruv. <laughs> you need to get yourself beat in the foot. What is this? Watch out, man. 
Watch out, you know. Because he's... Yeah. Suck your mum, fam, yeah? This spineless <laughs> Mad. 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 Yeah, you're lucky we profusely. No, we can't your... use that no more. Yeah, <laughs> if it wasn't my yeah, man's cousin... That, that... <laughs> <laughs> huh? that word's no, in no, the no, bin, no. man. That word's in the bin. It's with Moran. Get about it, yeah. Man. You know, it'd be interesting that there was more people that looked like um, H that were serial killers than black people. Then you'd be, you know, <laughs> to worry about. <laughs> Why has he got to keep saying no, that, man? No, that's a cool way. Like, you're not taking a piss. Everyone's blowing it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, Hakarat. I hate, Yo. I hate, suck your mom internally, yeah? Yeah? Like I said before, suck your mom internally, yeah? That was fun. <laughs> yeah, man. Was he getting a rise off this or something? I don't understand. How stupid. What, what's wrong with him? Don't get child is this, man? Why do you fuck your own sisters for? I get <laughs> He's got the same message to repeat, you know. Oh, watch, watch. I'm gonna do a matting. I'm gonna give it, give it, give it. <laughs> I know, I know what Stop Zilla's gonna do. <laughs> oh, that's deep. All right, cool. All right, obviously, yeah. I understand now. I understand, didn't it? You only look crazy when you're sending shots and it's affecting other people you're not aiming at. That's when you're crazy. Yeah. Why are you always when you're just... I don't know. I'm not. It's true though. It's true though. No. So if I when the, the other day when I talking about black oh, people God, and I was being racist, racist and I was being yeah. and I generalizing. Go on, go on smoke some of that yeah, Reggie, yeah. man. How is you being racist? Explain. How is you being racist when you're talking about black people? Mentally ill. So put some of that mm-hmm. Reggie in your mouth. Pause. <laughs> no pause. pause. <laughs> Reggie. That's there, man. That, yeah. That, no. Go and lie down. Yeah, man. Do that, man. <laughs> God, like that. Don't piss in a bowl, man. Like, mm. Mm. Oh, shit. Go and make some scrumpy jack. I don't know if any of you got dentures. Jack. If your nanny's got dentures, hopefully you ain't got no uh, What's it called? Sit in a urine stained chair, bro. You have, you have, you have one of these prosthetic bags or prosthetic legs or whatever it is, anything like that. Good luck, man. Of course. Don't do that. You can't you can't make me feel guilty like I walk around pissing in bottles. I don't. You don't I'm walk around no doing that. No one did that. What's up making up with walking around? Walking Best the king go go that best you sliver. Sliver slide now you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Worm. Don't you ever use the word walk. You've been told about that yeah, before. Like, as well. What is this? Don't man? you ever. Go be honest and truthful. Don't you with ever. Your panel, man. But did they like, compare us to goldfishes? Or was it jellyfishes? Why did you say goldfishes? <laughs> oh, wow. What a goal. At least jellyfishes got mobility. Well, so, uh, have you got like one leg no, missing no, or something that you had to explain that? I'm not being rude or nothing, but then. No, I mean, we're blind, man. I carry your man. Get me, bro. You got a leg missing or something? Yeah, I've got. Do you know what? I haven't actually got a leg. So like, these guys, they're being stupid. Get me. Yeah, <laughs> leg to stand on. Fuck. No. no Get no, me. I can't even make that shit out. Fuck. What's the new topic, man? The, uh, yeah, I think, I think, uh, the, the, the whole algorithm trying to find a, a solution for you to optimize sex, um, uh, uh, building muscle, and and me personally, I think there's another, there's something else like business, yourself, Food. yourself, individual character, that needs optimization, right? That needs refining, and uh, I think conversation to have. El Snapper, how you been, man? <laughs> yeah, let's say you. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, family? What you been on? <laughs> Me, I'm been ghosting, ghosting, bro. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. We're hiding from the media, hiding from the guardian and that. Yeah, I'm hiding from media still. Yeah. They've been looking for you and Ma- uh, Mohammed, man. Nah, the man, I'm still active, bro. Is it? 
still active, man. Huh? Is it? You caught yeah. any of them Hindu youths yet? Nah, nah. I'm after some Jerry you right about now. You know about that? Whatever, man. He's gonna kill oh. you. Nah, what yeah. about that? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, right. 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 right? I'm gonna kill you. Well, I'm gonna kill you. I'm right now, bro. I'm pulling him right now. He's gonna kill you. Are you fucking mad, bro? All right. Yes, what do you think wait, wait, you see Black Van Man. Hey, Black Van Man put it on um put it put it on a couple of people in the park though, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Nigga, I'm look, look, I'm here, I'm posted, I'm just waiting for my niggas to come, bro. And that's it. I'm pulling up on this pause, motherfucker, pause. bro. Are you mad, fam? Do you think this is fam? Hey, Black, hey, that was peak back Hold in the up. day, yeah. With... Some Loud dusty, thing, dusty man. one fam as well, fam. Yeah, if he's if he's dusty, why do you need why do you need man to pull up? Mm. You know, it's one, there, I even know if the one Somali, I know, I know when I there, bro, one Somali, have you noticed know, one huh? Somali with Jalen? There's gonna be around 10 niggas, bro. One what do you think Somali, is, bro? listen I'm to me, bro. Yeah, one on. Somali with Jalek can't chat to well, one. Can't say one, one my nigga, one, he's, he's around about 20 Jalek niggas every day. Whatever, man, you're scared, man. Are you fucking dumb, bro? Jump out, hop out and do your thing then. No, no, he's not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're yeah. shook, yeah. sure, yeah. man. Well, no, I'll be like, I'm going to take my about... change. How about this, fam? Forget about You owe me money, fam. I'm going to take my change. I'm going to take whatever he's got. I'm going to take everything, fam. Everything's getting paid. All right, all right, all right. I'm not fool, fam. Fucking up, bad man. Calm down. Calm down. Watch, fam. <laughs> this nigga, fam, been docking me for two weeks, fam. Two, three weeks. He's been docking me, fam. Relax. So what are you saying? What are you saying? This is not, this is not, listen, you're back in Brum then. That's not Leicester. This is Leicester, buddy. What the fuck, bro? This is okay. Leicester. This Get is your Leicester. money and go on. Oh, you fuck, already bro. in Leicester. What the fuck, bro? You did flick in Leicester. Like, what are you doing? Really bro? Bro. Bro. Niggas, bro. bro. What this kind of business acumen is this? Yo, where the fuck? He's wearing his, wearing his little 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 jacket and he's, pop, and he's popping stuff. As man owing you already. Bro, niggas, niggas try me for Gazy, bro, innit? You see what I'm going to do, innit? Watch. Yeah, Throw your life away, bro. I wait, hold on. Yes, my niggas pulled up. You only keep yes, them. Yes, Edda. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cubic tutorial. No. Hey, man, them. Pulled up now, yeah? Hundred, he's mad. Yeah, that guy. That nigga. So relax yourself. Man, them pulled up two cars deep. Money and gold, bro. He's going to be Soft. a fucking okay, missile, fam. What's wrong with him? Fam? Hey, how much change? How much change does he owe you? How much change? How much change does he owe you? On my life, he's gonna get got from. Score five. Be I'm nice, man. Wallahi, 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 wallahi. Bro, we're gonna show you how the fucking money do it, bro. These niggas don't know the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how money grows. <laughs> two cars deep, bro. Two cars deep. Two cars deep. Today in Leicester, Leicester. two cars deep. Two cars deep. Young males were found dead. How about this? We're three cars deep. Yeah. We're three cars deep. Right by their car. A Sayat Ibiza. Are you a classic in some circles? Uh, in some circles. Uh, uh, jump, 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 where's Amy? Anyway, I'm not going to lie yet. Yeah. Calm yourself, oh, man. Let's chill out. Yeah. Everyone, you look, be quiet, please. Mm. Free teller, you're lying to get kicked. In an operation like this. Why are you not walking together, you? You not came together? Yeah, I need to pull up. I need to pull up on one nigga, fam. Yo, 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 little scum. Yo, little scum. Jerry and Lila, you know. I need the, I need the little thing though. What lie there? Um, there's nothing there. No, oh, peak. Only Murph. It needs a little thing. What do, what do you need? A little sniff, a little something to get hyped. Mm. <laughs> Little little cat. A, bump of, a little bump of something. To... A little bump of cat. Let's see, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me chew on that, man. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get a two for 15 <laughs> of the chat stick. No, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, uh, can I just uh, clarify, yeah, what it was that I said to this Jack's place? Because I can't think, I can't think what I said. <laughs> Sorry. He, he says, uh, mocking my faith isn't something that goes How did I mock? Did I mock his faith? No. Oh, no one did. No one did. What did I say? Nah. And even if you did that, that's crazy to say something like that. Bye. With full apologies, if I did say anything. To offend yeah, the Sikh, yeah, the Sikh yeah. um, <laughs> family. Yeah, I'm sorry, family. I didn't mean it. I don't know what I was supposed to say. 
Yeah, but did say something to offend you lot. My, my bad. Yeah, man. And and Jack Blaze, all that suck your mum and all that, man. That's all great stuff, bro. But I'm just another human being that you can't introduce yourself to in real life, bro. Let me. Mean? Yeah, but hey, listen, before you not fuck them up here, yeah, make sure you get everybody's everybody's number plate. Keep doing it. Go on. <laughs> yeah, you smashed it, bro. You, you know you just showed us your number plate too, right? <laughs> Call your to ride out in, right? I've never you think riding out. If you think that I'm right. riding out in this fucking car, bro, you must be fucking crazy, bro. Okay. I'm riding now in a fucking dinger, bro. Of course you are. You're in a dinger. Anyway, let me... <laughs> Just leave it alone. Yo, family, what does is, what is, look, what does scub, what the word scub mean? Shut up, man. Because I've heard, no, it's a, you know, it's a, you no, know, listen, hold on. It's a it derogatory like a form, man. Just waffling, 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 waffling gibberish. Shut up, man. No one cares. What? Man. It's a random topic. I know it. It was just a fucking top. I just want to ask. Hey, shut up, man. It's not a topic, man. Is it? It's it's you need to go hey, hey, Dulu, hey, Dulu, shut your mouth, man. Like, shut your mouth, bro. Bro. Shut shut never talk to you like that, bro. I don't want to talk to you like that. Come on, come on, me. Dulu, Dulu, a paraplegic disrespect you. Yeah, man. They won't pass. They won't pass. Come and make me. I'm not gonna make fun of his illness. I can easily do that. I will. Yeah, you can put a hatchet in his leg, man. I'm on all levels. You won't feel it. Man. I run you, I run you back to fucking what? the bins in South London, bro. And I run you back to that. Oh, 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 shut up. Oh, run, shut up. Man. Right. Man's looking like a whole man's looking like a whole spirit cooking cake. I love it, man. That size spirit cooking model of Vic. No. I think, listen, let this be a lesson to you. This is what you look like. If you get tumped up, around. then you got to donate around on the 10 stage, grand yeah? to fucking <laughs> the true <laughs> geezer. What's the fucking around? Yeah? <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is. Fucking very You have to give, you have to give. Yo, give me a grand, because if he does, then... Hey, who tell him? What drug do you actually take? Shut up, man. Um, Cali. He's on the strongest shit in Cage. Like, always. Cali, bro. That's not Cali and Chua, man. Oh, wait, come on. I'm tired. Jiria Kelly. I'm real tired. Let's yeah, listen to the plan. Can't we just listen to the plan in that? Of course. Yo, Scoop. Yo, Scoop. Cage. Hey, not Cage, sorry. Uh, King, shut up, man. Everyone, meet up. Go to bad man like that, bro. I'll slap your face off. I'll slap your lips shut off. Shut up, bro. man. You can't stand I'll up, man. Slap shut your up. lips off, bro. I'll slap your fucking lips off. Put your camera on, you little bitch. Put my man's lips, you faggot. Mute it's up. Not. Wait, put your camera on. <laughs> Wait, no, put your camera on. So when, you, so when you do actually pass you me, faggot. I can slap Fine. you in. <laughs> I can slap you in your face. Bro, if it's a struggle for you right to get from face. your chair, man, you ain't slapping nobody. Uh, you look like that old man. You're, you're fucking with your... So you're, you're playing a guy with a... You're, you're, you're chatting you're shit with another man's <laughs> face on your face. Shut up. You're chatting shit with another man's face on your face. How James Jones is that? Big up James Jones. Well, that's not a shot either. But, bruv, you're a coward and you're chatting shit. Don't ever run your lips like I like to mean, even showing you your face, bro. Come on, man. Again, talking about lips like a faggot. Just, just, you're mm -hmm. running your lips and you even showing me your face. You're running your lips and you even showing me your face, dude. Man, relax it, Why you run your lips and you're not even showing your face? Shut up, man. The king goes. Learn to stay out of the fucking way, man. Shut up, man. Don't you realize no one wants to hear, bro? You're not a bad man. When you get this up. Like, no one here rates you, fam. You're literally just a joke. No one wants you here. No, they they don't because I don't I I don't rate. I'm not gonna conform in it, so they don't like that because they expect me to be the underlim, but I'm not. Conform on and what? you expect me to be the underlim because you think you're smarter than me or whatever it is, bro. No, yeah? I know I'm smarter but, than trust you. Me, but if you come to my if you actually see me and me, you feel my energy, bro. It's not that at all. <laughs> I don't want to be anywhere yeah, around you, bro. Trust me. That. Yeah, I'm just saying, man, radiator. Just in it. So just relax in it. Don't saying. get this. Because I feel like people have got the wrong idea about me. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah, just, just you misunderstood in it. You just misunderstood. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. What do we go? What do we get wrong? Uh, well, big up, man. Yeah, big up. What do we get? Yeah, what mistakes did we make, man? What? Who are you? Like, what? Yeah, you, 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 you. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, 
If you want to just keep what? on previously telling me to shut up, yeah, for, like, and there's no real reason for it, like I'm going to say that as your disrespect to me, innit? and and I'm going to respect everybody that comes gibberish. up in here. You're not, you're not randomly speaking gibberish. Though. How's that? How's that gibberish? You heard what I said. He right? interrupted he my words. Man's lips. The blood he class he he man. he he talked about man's yeah. lips. I wasn't interrupting. Mm. I wasn't interrupting, but you little <laughs> bitch. <laughs> and I don't think what you say as well. You're the youngest man here, man. Have respect. I'm double your age, bro. Shut your don't ever. Bob, don't let me slap your your dad up. You say that while you're lying on your bed. I don't think you guys have learned yet. Don't talk to King Gold like a fool because trust me, bro. Like one way or the other, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm it? sorry, but one I'm not scared of anyone. Now, I feel bad. Yeah, but see, now you're just picking yourself up like, like you're like strong, like strong bro. Like we're not it. after that. Bro. Fruit, fruit. Shut sorry, up. Sorry, we need to have Patella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he loves getting Game cussed Zulu, out, man. man. It's like he yeah, wants man. to get cussed no, out. No, man, that's why I don't feel with these fucking these like degenerates, bro. These roadmen. Like, like, they've got bro, no respect for like, like, that. Is it, it, like, are you a roadman? Are you a roadman, Zulu? Don't let Pistorius like, Is that, what, is that why you're disrespectful? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oscar yeah. Jr. Yeah. I'm just saying, innit? Because it seems to me like it's the roadmen that are only ones that are annoying you, that are rude, innit? Eva Camp! Eva Camp! You've got no respect. And, and, and then you're you trying to sit on the panel, trying to teach, talk trying to drop about gems about fucking self I don't want to speak down to a low level. Bro, 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 all you do is speak I'm about Christianity. Christianity. You don't even know your own doctrine he's properly. Like, he's like That's why I said human, he's like human, human masonry. You. you know, like if masonry was a person, if like the symbol of the man's got the cleanest pair of two thousand and five You know which part he is. He's the ruler. Anyway, bro, he don't even know his own doctrine. Let's be honest, though. You don't even know your own doctrine, my friend. Elohim. You don't even know what the fuck it is. That's all. You believe in science fiction, my friend. And you sit up here with a, with a, a, a semi middle class okay, voice on, big right, voice, intelligent Sebi. voice on. And yeah. all you talk about is, is the Bible. That's yeah. all you've done. Yeah. What else have you, know, you know, you know the one there. You know, yeah. What Dr. else? Scabby. I'm saying, I'm just what? saying, isn't it? Don't do that, bro. Dr. Yeah. Scavies. No, I agree. You said that. Because you, I, I brought loads of shit here. I bought loads. I can, I can run through a list Dr. in ten Scrumpy seconds. More like. and yeah, and it would be hundreds of things like. that I brought to this. Bed sores. You know well, where you got bed sores. I, I woke half of you guys up there, bro. If you're Scabby. honest with yourself, I woke half of you guys, and I'll, and I'll name them now. What I, what I brought to this panel. Then get up. That, then that just opened up eyes. <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> you woke everyone you up. Then get up, man. Shit. Arise, the king goes. Like, what? Do that shit, no. bro. Stand up. Stand up, man. Stand, Stand up for yourself, man. Yeah? But we got this is the conscious platform, and you know. Defend well, yourself, there's man. More, there's there's yourself. powerhouses up here. Mm. There's some smart people. But no, but Zulu, before you, before you tell my to shut up like that, uh, you've got to have some knowledge. You've got to have some knowledge. You've got to have some knowledge, bitch. Man, you're calling people fighty, man. you got to be careful, man. Brother. You bring no value to the show. You bring who, nothing. You're literally what is just a faggot? Punching bag. What do you mean? All right, cool. You're literally right. just yeah, a whatever. punching bag, bro. That means a punching you bag. Everyone you're literally, you're literally a cast out sponge. You just get cast out. That's the only entertaining and thing. What, about okay, you. so Zulu, Zulu, what is it? What is it? Why you're why you Do you call so people much, faggot right? on the streets or only on the internet, Mister Zulu? Let's, let's answer this. Shut up, man. Shut your mouth, man. man. What happened to you, man? You're supposed to speak drug addict. Shut up, man. Get out of the way, tell her, man. Fuck I don't it. even know why he's talking. Shut up. <laughs> you're another, you're another slow, slow guy that comes here and talks and chat shit. Mm. Bruv, you really? speak look, even look, look, bruv. Uh, okay, look, one sec, one sec. Yeah, no, 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 because I'm an elder here. Don't do that. I'm an elder. <laughs> he's like the Asian cat in the hat, innit? Dr. Seuss. Yeah. It's from the young man thing, bruv. So you're, what you're should we do anti- today, kids? Mm. Uh, shall we yeah. smoke some weed and eat some jerk what is chicken? What's slow to speak, dumbasses, man? <laughs> yo, man, <laughs> hey, hey, easy. Don't, like yo, like man, like don't like even try and put me in that category. Huh? This you guy's always right man, for even saying the fact. Yeah, 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 no more. No more. He don't oh, even no. know what he's saying. No more. No. But yeah, no, I continue. You don't even he's know about his own fucking Bible. Yeah, black man, you don't talk about chicken... I mean, Bro, yeah, right. now tap my chitch, man. Are you talking about? You worship Terrapas. 
Just you work with man. Just allow it, man. He's talking all about just get along, like man. Baggage. Come on, brother, man. He ain't no real man. <laughs> he ain't nothing to me. But sorry, sorry, sorry. But he, yeah, he man. The Asian Smeagol cannot say nothing to no one, man. Allow it. Man. I say the sentence <laughs> without slurring. Like I don't. Want, I don't want to say hit the like button, family. Mm. Hit the like button. We should have been well over a hundred. But he thinks he can. One hundred and thirty-one people in the building. I noticed the likes have been slowing down. Love here, big up the content. Every 20 minutes, on the paper, yeah, and like button, cash up button. thing in it. One thing you need to learn, crew tellers, see this yeah. voice that you're hearing now. When you hear this voice, just stop, bro. Please, okay, bro. no problem. Don't That's make me have to keep saying it to you. Once I That's get irritated platform. with you, it's yeah, peace, yeah. bro. I'm not even involved it's in you. Good. I am talking. All you got to do is stop. Cool, just stop. Don't say cool, don't say talk. Then don't say go on. Just stop, please, bro. I know you're a big man, you got your life. I'm not trying to belittle you, but you're not. Hearing it, and I'm saying it so in so many polite ways. Even when I just keep talking, you just keep talking. I just it's jarring. I'm trying to tell people to hit the like button. Have you told people to hit the like button once? How many hours you've been on the panel? So this is what I'm saying. I've got to look after my interests, and I don't want somebody else talking over me while I'm doing it. Like it's standard. Yeah, light up the show. Let's get to a hundred, please. Seven hours in, we normally get a hundred likes in the first hour. So it's disappointing that we've got nearly eight hours in. Listen, show some love. Don't forget, we've got the chill travel. Hit the link. Go and check out the blurb about from the GoFundMe. If you reckon that you can support your boy tra <clears throat> traveling, bring you a lot of fresh content, dynamic content, and growing the brand. If you can support, then I appreciate it. And if you can't, then ask a friend who can. And you know what I mean? Support in any way. We've got PayPal. We got Cash App, you know. Hit up them links, a five or ten or whatever you lot can do. I'm not even gonna put a, a a number on it. Whatever you can do, show some love. But please, from the beginning, we're watching the stream. All you gotta do is press a button and just hit up the like. Don't forget to subscribe to Illuminati Clips as well. We got a, a 212 um, subscribers. We're supposed to have way more than that. We're supposed mm -hmm. to have thousand, two thousand. So. You know, vote with your feet in it. Show the things that you like and get behind it or in front of it or whatever and just support. You know what I mean? Boom. Carry on. Carry on. Right. Uh, I, I just finished with big up. Big, you know what? I'm going to say to this, yeah, to the family, because it seems like, it seems like that there's a, there's a, there's like confliction in it. There's a conflict between people who feel like they're they're smarter than everybody else, and there's people who come on who, to talk, and then they're getting heckled by the people who basically think that they're smarter than everybody else, or they are smarter than everybody else. And I don't think that's fair, whether you are or are not. And I feel I feel like you're treading on that path line do a bit often. That's why I don't like people like you right. because without you even knowing them fully about what they know or they don't know behind closed doors, you're just gonna try and just because. You know, they may have said some things that maybe esoteric or they're early mm. in their stages of learning and they make a mistake. You, you're like going to hold that on them. Or, I don't know what your, your thing is, but it's definitely to do with just trying to ridicule people. And and with all of the good intention you may have for learning and being intellectual, it really it hinders you, bruv. As, Man, as you just said you just like said Africans had um, funny bro. shaped lips and, and all of this stuff. Someone might open slap you for it. Yeah, I don't say it's not it's happening. It's critical, bro. That's what I'm saying, innit? Trying beard fizzle, bro. What are you talking about, bro? You're just dissing Africans, and now you're telling Zulu what he must say. Shut up, man. Don't listen to him, Zulu, man. When, when was I discussing? <laughs> 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 Talk about their lips and all of that and all of that. Like, no, it, man. Oh, well, that's a dick. Yeah? Well, that's not a joke. Yeah? That's not a joke. No, Don't mine's a joke. Fine, his man. is not. Shush, man. His is, his is fucking yeah? malicious little... I'll punch his fucking face. Yeah, so is yours. He's so is to yours. Me, and I'll punch so your face. And when I punch his face in, what the fuck are you going to do about it, bruv? Wait, oh, you're out, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, bruv, don't wait. Don't get me. You're going to get this little boy punched up, You're going to get this little boy punched up, you little pussy, bruv. No, no. Yeah, yeah, you are, bruv. I'm not going to do anything, man. Are you trying to? Are you trying to? Are you trying to step in the front of him? You can't even go down the road. You can't even go carnival. Shush, man. You're putting the back in the carnival, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like you know what I mean? You, He's down the road from carnival and he couldn't go. All you're doing I is like hearing that. the music. 
do, yeah. do, 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 do. They're lying, yeah. lying in the bed. Yeah, what me to live stream? People, don't do that, bro. <laughs> yeah. Don't do Wait that. To... Innit? <laughs> don't do that. Bro. Yeah. Man did yeah. virtual. I've, um... I've learned to, to be humble, bro. Mm. Because because you're your humble, in, intellect, you, you get you your get yourself. You think that someone has to watch your ass? You get humble. Shut your mouth, bro. If if I got a boxing ring, fucking listen, listen, listen. If I got a boxing ring, we're going on a summer holiday. No, it's only for the world. We're going on the king going. We're going on a summer holiday. All of these threats, all of these threats are gonna catch up to you. It's like seven and a half, a kingo. Suck your mum. Suck your mother. Well, I'm going to tell your mum to suck her when I see her, Hey, King Cole. I'm going to tell your mum to suck herself when I see her, bro. Trust me. Yeah? All of these threats are going to catch up. Mm. Mm. Go, yeah. Oi, listen. Oi, oi Zulu. Listen, your don't uncle knows where I live. Future, Come and see me now. Sorry, and I'll tell your mum. Hey, go up, eat your mum. Go and eat your mum. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Go and eat your mum. Go and eat your mum. Hey, King Cole. Should we educate the brother? I'm not going to apologize. Yo, shut up for a second. I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not going to apologize. Do something about it. I'm, I'm sick and tired of you Africans sitting up here thinking you can just whoa, fuck your friend and everybody. Do something. <laughs> Relax, do something. 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 Do That's not you fair, you mixed race bastard. That's not fair. That's not fair. How are you going to say that? What? Africans? Yeah, yes. Yes, I said it. I said it. I said it. Wow, that's not fair, man. Especially when you're you're not representing the black community no more. Yo, man, bro. Stop trying to represent no, listen, you're, you're half, so you're half that, African, yeah. half that. Fraser. Don't, don't so <laughs> like, what are we doing? Nigerian saying that they they hate Africans. I know. Can you imagine? Super unsynchronized. But it's all right, man. Just in case you needed to understand. You know what, He hasn't had his medication. It's cool, man. Yeah. Now, and that's that's the thing, yeah. That's the thing. Like, seat, man, you think like learn, why are you up here? Why do people look at the same? Why are you up here on the fucking panel? Obviously, no, but King Cole, one, I'm gonna have to I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to mankind him, put one of my socks on my hand and jump off the top rope onto his legs. Anyway, man, he knows what time it is. Hey, but King Cole, I'm gonna mind your man Randy Savage though, bro. You know what I mean? It's not even that. You don't have to get him. I'm gonna 316 his legs. You know the ones there. Conscience. I don't mean three sixteen as in Stone Cold Steve nothing. Hey, listen, I mean three hey, sixteen as in though? the time. You better make that joke, brother. <laughs> 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 Seriously, yeah, about what like you're that, saying, bro. because like you can yeah, get misconstrued. I'm, I'm gonna turn your legs three sixteen, bro. Yeah, I might, I might fall time. But I'm saying, I let it go. I let go. Get the pedigree. We both, we both wait. Pedigree in your back. You are Gambi. Hey Gamby, jump on man. Gamby, when you get a, when you get the chance, jump on man. You get fucking yeah. I was H on road. H don't making up his own religion. No guru made Kama Sutra. A lot of disrespect. Maybe H was the catalyst, but that gives you license to spit slander and abuse. Sniper Zulu stops. It's mad man. But I, oh, but I who know. said that? I, I, like, Gamby, it's on the screen. But listen, I'll big up Gamby man. Suck your mum though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell bad wow. man what to say. Are you dumb? <laughs> wow, yeah. when, did, when did that start? Saying King Cole, that's just normal. When did that's that start? Way they talk, when did we man? start accepting that? that you lost the way they talk. Shut your fucking mouth. Man? Yeah, and when your Asian brothers are chatting shit, yeah, you don't say nothing to them. Fuck off, man. I'm yeah. just saying, jump on the panel and let me slap you up. Yesterday, blow your fucking jump, brains jump, out. Jump on the panel was running some kind of Christian jokes, and I remember. Mm. Laughing at it, and then thinking to myself, it's funny because some of these people that I'm laughing with would not be laughing when it's when it's time for their their religious yeah, figure to for there to be a joke or something. It's no jokes, right? You ain't running no Prophet Muhammad jokes, and it seems that you ain't running no Guru jokes. But yesterday, Muslims and Sikhs were involved, and atheists was involved in laughing at Christianity, mm. and yep. even Christians were laughing, right? Because and the reason and and I, you know, they always act like Christians are weak. But in that at that moment, I kind of saw the strength in Christianity, right? Because they're not sensitive. So yeah, it, it as sensitive, gives the yeah. feeling. It gives me the feeling that they're more confident in it. Now mm -hmm. I know certain Muslim man because I've had this conversation with the Muslim brothers. Certain Muslim man would say, 
Christians don't ride out for Jesus because they don't they don't truly believe he's that guy in it or whatever he's worth riding out for. But yeah, I just thought I'd throw that out there. It was an interesting observation I made yesterday. And today, man's telling me about my mom. Next man's bugging out. I didn't really hear what was said about Sikhism. I didn't. I missed it. I was here. I just. I don't. I didn't realize Sikhism was in any way. I missed it. So. Yeah, me, yeah, but Gary, already don't says, get, if, just jump on. Yeah. yeah, jump on, man. Jump on, man. And like I said, is, man. you know me, I already... Up. Yeah, on the road, though, my, if I see someone... I already put my apology out there, like, yo, I don't remember I'll offending you, but if I offended anyone, if I said anything about your religion, then I'm sorry. And the reason why I can do it so freely I beat them for Sikhism up. is because... Sikhism, like, from, what, from the Sikhs I know, they've always been, the Sikhs I know personally, are always mad respectful about religion and other people's religion. And they don't really talk disrespectfully. The ones I know personally. So mm. I wouldn't ever want them to be at home listening, thinking, rah, did I just... Nah, it's not that. And it is worth me going out my way to apologise. It's nothing. I don't lose no sleep from apologising. Yeah, he does that all the time. Hello, hello, hello. Because I told my man I don't right, want to hear about his hello. religion. Oh, man. But you Fuck put my name in the title, I tell Yo, you... Um, Yo, basically, yeah, what I just found, yeah, on the what's that called um website, is um Chilimati, um obviously did murder, and we all know it's you. You've been charged for murder of your best friend, um Killy. You killed Killy. What oh, do you have to say about that? Shit, shit. Are you, are you the same guy from earlier? No, I'm, I'm but. Shut up, man. Uh, does it look like I'm charged for murder now? <laughs> yeah, so but I mean, 10 does years ago, like 10 oh, no, years ago, second, you killed second. your best use your, friend. Use your brain. Your use your brain. Use your brain. You're on here commu- com- um, trying to accuse me of murder. I'm saying if I'd murdered someone and there was enough evidence to support that, I'd be in jail, right? No, no but you you, you came out of prison. You done your time. You I done do, your time. You, you came out. Oh, you came you fresh home oh. last year. Do you think no I wasn't? Do you think no, I was expected a life sentence? Mm. No, no, you didn't get life sentence because the judge said, Yeah, I know you're sorry. And I can see it in your face, you're very sorry. And oh. uh this chat is shit, man. Go in the, the bin. Slow to speech, Go dummy. in the bin. Go yeah. slow to speech, dummy. You see what I'm saying, Gambi? And, and these are like these are people from your ends, ago, bro. You got... Yeah. If say you say it ain't so. Years ago, say it's someone else. Matter. You, learn, you yes. know what I mean? Don't say the person's it. Chinese or something. But we all know it's your fucking people, it, man. You fucking pussy Wait, wait, he was getting onto that. Why are you fucking getting onto the internet? Pussy man. Come on, time shit, man. Fucking. You trying to say that fucking. You know what I mean? And then you want to come and talk about things. Regulate your people before we fucking smoke them. Dickhead. Yeah? That's why I can't take critique from idiots. He was that guy. The man. members of the fucking audience. I can't take that. It doesn't make sense. And you see what's going on out here. Yeah? See what your people are on and doing and, and jumping on and saying and all of that. And even the ones that you know are jumping on and saying reckless shit. And when we're pulling them up, we're the ones that fool. That's why I said, go suck something special, man. Dickhead. That guy made up a whole I story about Jedi Batman, and committing murder. I'm done. I'm done. I know. <laughs> too funny. Like, like, man, I have to deal with it. Like, don't, bro. Uh, if you bro, he was saying gay stuff earlier, man. There will be a murder out here. There will be a murder out here, but it won't be the one you lot are expecting. You hit me. So, like, fix up, man. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, problem. Because so I'm ready bro, for the where trolls. Did you guys, where, where do you lot find these homos, man? How did they find each other? Nah, they live on the internet, bro. Nothing else to do in life, bro. Come on, man. We got you, though. You fuck your shit up, man. What the fuck is this? He's an Violent twins is different, man. Shush, man. Stop calling my name, bro. I'm coming for you now, bro. I'm ready. I've got all my jackets. No, you Are you going to roll your wheelchair? Are you going to roll your wheelchair? but I know he's cool. I'm joking. I'm joking. He said he's coming for you, bro. No one believes you. No, oh, walk, where's, 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 where's you going? Where's you going? Where you going? Minute. You can't walk. You, you can't even walk to the grocery store. You can't do Mad. shit. Where are you Mad. going? 
Shut up. No, bro. Bro. Where, where are you going? 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 Where are you Let's come and puts it through the letterbox and then you... Yeah, I know. Yeah, but he's a pussy, old man. Why is he... Um, too late, he's on my, he's on my back. Shout out, man. Why are you picking on Pickney for, man? Allow it, man. You're trying to, you're trying to get me right. to, like, go on character, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, but you're going to educate them to be nerds, but we educate our children to be good at things, but fry for things, but you're a different pedigree of chum, blood. Bro, yeah, just I mean. take another hit and mute up. Shut and up, that's like you. Indian, Pakistani, <laughs> Jamaican, Antigua, African, Niger, anywhere. You told me, blood. Everyone gets dealt the same way. Bro, them places are not, not different. Even. You get me? Bro? Them places you ain't the same, man. Is you be one of them guys who We just... don't talk like you in India. Get me? Like, stop it, man. What are we doing here? No, I'm just saying that as a whole yeah, focus, but... you have to be focused on everyone around you, bro. What in the LEGs going me? on here? You can't just dis. I'm not man. slang and lingo and seeing like... <laughs> him. No, him, him. He hates somebody. He hates somebody. But all that hate is like you hating because you're arguing. Isn't it? I don't hate anyone. Hating, I don't bro. hate anyone. Exactly. But you're that's arguing, true. though. You're debating. So fun. what, man? That's mutual, what it's all about, man. You... We come out here. What, that's what cool. are we doing here? We can fight. We can fight. But with tell him. Her? Yeah. Please tell her, allow it, bro. Please, yeah. man. All right, cool, man. You know what I mean? Go with the flow of the conversation. Don't try and disrupt mm. it. Like you're bringing anything oh, right, different. Cool. You ain't bringing right. nothing better. That's the cool. thing that's jarring. The, when you act like you're bringing something different. You're bringing something better. Mm-hmm. Nah, don't argue. Don't do the, the Then what? We no. all sit here quietly. Yeah. No, no. Listening to you quiet. waffle on about. No, no, no. Make a topic. Fuck's sake. Make a topic. <sighs> Make a fucking topic, man. These guys just can't read the room, man. For fuck's sake, man. Yeah? He's he's this and that. How do you not get women? Uh, it's mere mm. questions that I ask, you know, bro. How do you not get women? Questions that I, I just have to understand that. What, I don't Proper know. Proper irritating, bro. It can be. Mm. When, you, when you invest, this is how I feel like I might miss out on some of these great comedy conversations because I just can't invest the energy mm. in it because I need to be here to... Can you know what I mean? Run high. the stream and they go. I can't. I'm I can't high. I'll tell you the truth, blood. That's not a force bliss, blood. <laughs> yeah, but force bliss don't do this Sorry. to me. So I don't get what you got smoking. Force bliss don't do this to me, man. Cannabis. Mm. Like, how do you how do you burn force bliss and have the energy? Like mm. what? I what are you smoking? Five, six o'clock. Yo, make them four splits into two splits, bro. <laughs> nah. In fact, you make know, that make them two close? splits, make them two splits into one blunt or something, and just hold that and simmer, bro. Are you close to London? Me, I'm in London right now. Yeah. I'm in West London right now. London. Smoke a spliff. Say that again, brother. You wanna come smoke a spliff? I'm not gonna go up there. But if you if you wanna, if no, you wanna you link can me, come to I'm my house. Me. I'll link you. I'm on the spliff. I don't mind. Mm-hmm. And then he can explain that it will like give you an example I'm, of why I'm due to I'm, I'm due so to link up with you. <laughs> I, I'm due to link and I've been up, up since five point. this morning, because my brother. I need to look you in the face. Get me. I'm definitely due yeah. to link up with you at some point. I'm due. I, I need to look you in the face and see what the fuck are you on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We gotta meet up, man. man. Special, good. Shit. Special flavors. Yeah, we gotta meet um, up, man. Bro, you, you need to see my setup, blood. I don't want to see the setup. I, like I don't know. I don't think I could. True, I watched uh-huh. drama. I couldn't come to your house. Bro. <laughs> no, you, you, you're not gonna come. You're not gonna come. You wanna watch this video with me? You wanna watch this video with me, bro? I'm sitting here. Nah, he's trying to get creepy, Jedi. I'm sitting here. Careful, man. Come sit next to me, ain't it? You're gonna come through the alleyway. That's what we do, man. You can watch this and you can go. You can watch this and you can go. Man, and then you can what tell he, me when no, 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 what did he put on? What did he put on? Then you told me it was a me. horror or something, what, what a mad, funky horror, is it? Like yeah, psycho me. or something, like sound like <laughs> Jeffrey Dummer. What's like I said, it was what was it? <laughs> yeah. it was something fucked. I was like, no, it was, the, that, was it the shining. Um, no, it wasn't the shining. Yeah, nah. I think it was. No, was it, the, it was the shining, that. didn't it? Or I think it was the shining still. Yeah, something mad on there, boy. I was like, yo, you just know this person's talking about the bro. <laughs> you be in the yard about... talking about you know uh, do, you, do you know why they call me Crutella 
<laughs> I don't cool like that, man. What are you saying? I cool like that. Why is the drink? Know. Why is the drink so frothy? Like, love it, man. Fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just drink, man. Drink up, man. That's yeah, I let man drink anything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, okay, yeah? okay. <laughs> right, oh, bit, bitsy, pause. No country for young men. For old men. Hmm. But you love my weed, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Loves my weed. Hey, no. What you got? What have you got? It's like for me, like when it comes around town, I get like a I've piece got animal of cookies. Food. But the last one I had was I've got I've got animal I've got cookies chlo, and I've got man. um yellow sushi. Yeah, Shout see, out to you... Mario for the yellow sushi, man. Pick up that brother. Yeah. But you see when the was... bud can you press that's it flat? Yeah. See if you put beer pressure. I just came out of that coma, boy. I was in that coma for like two days, but I couldn't even talk mm. properly, man. Just tired, irritated by all the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you're just like, ah, bro, fuck mm. this. I get in bed. Yeah. You see the bud though, bro. I opened. The stream was so bad, though. The stream was a like sick stream yesterday. Mm. I was cracking up in the evening. All right, you yeah. madmen. What go on? You see, you you see on? the bud? Can you press it flat? Is it? Is it like if you squash it? Does it of squish? Which one? Of what? Of the, the animal one, what you cookies? Got. Yeah. The animal you cookies got. are the... Um, you see the bud that you got? Can you push it down and make it get flat? I don't know. I don't know. See, bro. my bud is like nugget. It's like a fucking brick blood. Oh, it's thick. I hear you. Yeah, you ain't... You need, you have, are you sure you're talking about... <laughs> Mm. Nah, the pods, that, the pods that, that I yeah. got. Yeah, on, yeah, on, yeah. And I kept that. I kept that. This one was, I think, the ice cream cake thing. And I got, I'm smoking the light green gelato. But the this other is one the is, a bit, the, yeah, see the, this bud, blood. When you press it, the package no, alone is, is worth 20 you, quid, I reckon. <laughs> oh, who knows? Yeah, the package mm. is there. But when you press it, blood, you cannot even fucking like. Squash yeah, it, it's is. done. It's just a dense uh, this bud. This is the animal cookies thing. And this, this thing has been sitting here with me because uh, I was waiting. I got a week off tomorrow. So I got 3.5 of off the mad A week Cali off what? Fat, but You go to work with that mind? Yeah. You go amongst other humans? Yeah. Wow, right, man. Big up. I keep forgetting. Kutella, you're not actually Shine. You're different from Shine. Yeah, you I'm got different level. from everyone, brother. You got a level there, but sometimes. But look, that's what I'm saying. If like, you get wave, wave, boy, and you act a little bit similar, but you're way. My brother, you. my brother. If this is um, shine, we wouldn't even be able to have a conversation, and I would not be comfortable meeting you in real life. But my my brother, the, you don't know shine. Told you, for some no, reason, the, you two don't talk to each other, and and you got the same voice. You know my brother. We um, don't care, bro. Because like, he's the one who told me to join your um oh, YouTube thing. Okay, yeah. Well, big up your brother. He's Jamaican and he's he's actually not he's he's actually from the American side as well. Does he know you me? Chat to him. He would he would probably know you because he he's the one who told me about his channel. I don't want to tell his name, but see that's what I'm wrong. I mean, does he know anyone from this channel personally, or he just he just uh, heard about it being a good channel to listen to? Now he's been on this from years, bro. He he's 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 always um I let him go into my um house and whatever he wants to do with the weights. <laughs> Cause he like he's a professional gym bro. He's a Jamaican kid. He loves fucking doing weights. This guy should be a professional trainer, but he's a Jamaican guy. Yeah, no, no, he just time. goes to my he goes to the back of my house where I got my weights <laughs> on my bench. What's it what? And he's <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm saying no, 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 he's no, 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 this is more where hmm. I found out about this no, channel this was Katy Perry. Neighbor. <laughs> nah, no Katy Perry <laughs> shit, bro. Just Fuck fix that, it, man. man. Fix that eye. Now you're just talking Fuck. about like 2020 ah! rates. <laughs> lift your dumbbells if you want to do that. But think? I got them, but I ain't bothered in it. But I got the baddest weed, so I just, uh, if, if he wants to go and bust his weights, I'll give him a spliff and then that's it, innit? 
And then I'm out in my garden listening right, to cool, the radio. Man, cool, cool. That's enough. That's enough, man. Mm. Let someone else grab the mic now. Big up, though. Cool, man. Shine is trying to jump on, but uh, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, his phone's kind of... Like, Let you me might listen to him on the phone. Oh. <laughs> That's what he's going to say. What's, what's his name on the actual thing? If you're going to come down, you can you can go see meet Granny as well. Old girl. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know what's going on, man. What the fuck is he talking about? I don't know. What's he talking about? What? If I try and just, like, yeah, concentrate on it, it's just like, what? Brain cells are being lost. <laughs> I'm not going to confuse about the game. I don't know what's going on. trying to hold it back. You know what I mean? What the fuck is that, man? That's well, like I mean, that... into the void. Oh, yeah, what is a cool teller? What is a cool teller? Well, the conversation. The broken back key. Go on. Broke back, we're talking, Akingo. Go on. We're talking about women. We're talking about, you know, we're talking about Anything. things that certain people haven't even smelt before. So, you know, obviously. Now, nah, you know what? I'm not going to carry on with a nickel, man. You know, some uh, people we have right now. No, 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 no. You run around no. when you was able and sniff women's pum pum. Mm-hmm. No, you that's did. the thing, yeah. I, I'm not really a person who's... I'm a bit squeamish for smells. I don't know if everybody likes that smelly, smelly thing, but I'm not really... Yeah, unless it's smelling of some sort of natural rose or, or, or flower or some sort of perfume. And yeah, you know, smell... Yeah, how would you really find that out? Um, You'd only find what? out when you reach the bedroom, no? Right, but look, I'm saying certain men haven't been with women. Certain men haven't, um, so they can't really conversate on the, these last two, that, that Karma Sushi you talk about, putting back like, lifting weights. You've got to be a certain ilk for that. So personally, I feel like sorry, sorry, anybody sorry, that's sorry. spoken on subject... The person with the Karma with... Sutra has not been with women. He's not recently, anyway. The, the, yeah, I mean, H, I think, I don't know about H, but... Like he seemed to like he was just going on like he was, he knew everything about it. Um, you know, even what I hate to have been with a woman. Right. Even know what missionary I, was. What I really about? gotta wonder what stream some people are watching. You know? I know man could even tell us. Right. He was saying he is Dan Daddy Dan Dada. Too much. When it came to about saying it. You know what I mean? Dan, what? Well, <laughs> but listen, like, look. He only, read, he only like, read one page, man. Like, what are we doing we here, can, man? Yeah, I know, I know. But listen, have you seen how he was blowing his own trumpet? Of course. Listen, course. I can tell you about anything oh, about me. Yes. If you want to know about me, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so pausy, no, isn't it? So no, I can. So, so I mean, like women, women's a good topic. But this look, is this one? If you're too honest, what certain women might say now. If you're saying talk about, oh, so what is it? Women's put so what men. Men's bits don't smell now. That's so you gotta watch what you're saying. Man you don't. Can't, man you can't, you can't man even put the girls in the bed. Don't. Man don't. What are you talking about? Yeah, man. You be lying there for. You can't talk about the birds in the bed. You ain't gonna be fresh lying there for a week. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah? You got smelly hood. Huh? You've been lying there for a week, man. No, nah, hey, listen. Hey, listen. No, I'm saying you can't say much Why about. Are you smiling? Why are you smiling, bro? Being in a bottle. Go on. Remember when you were saying, Oh, if your bridge just sucks poem or links batty, then you're disconnecting with him. No, 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 don't do that. Whatever, whatever my bridge does in the bedroom ain't my business. But you see, if the report comes back from a gal that he's got a smelly dick, yeah, he's dick, dick, that means he doesn't wash his wood. And that comes out to be true. Now you can't roll with me. You can't have a girl point and saying, "Yo, there's, there's the brother that that's got the cheesy hood." So his brothers must have cheesy hood too. Nah, that's long. We can't roll. You gotta have freshness. No bo. None of that, man. If you no got more. if you got that like, bodily issues, then you need to sort that out before you even coming outside and associating with man them. That's that's my thing. You hear me? You don't be worrying about whether your your brothers eating pum. If, no, if your dick smells like Ross Clark, whatever, I don't know what I don't even know what a, a, a dick's supposed to smell like, but it stinks. I don't think it's supposed to stink, can you? Yeah, you don't, it. definitely. Well, it, 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 if it's been festering there for a week, 
Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. See, this, is issue. this is a foreskin issue. This is a foreskin issue. I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't, I don't know about it. I don't know how your dick could even stink. Not cleaning for months. I don't know. It's, I don't the, know diet, it's the diet. It's the diet as well. It's the diet as well. That's the man that don't you wash, bro. You don't wash. You're lying down food. for ages. Like food, blood. So like you see, like, you see me, the way I view yeah. my, my situation downstairs, it's so simple. <clears throat> how could it go wrong? How, how has you got to the point where it stinks and it's got this and that and cheese and... Like, what's so complicated about keeping yourself yeah, clean? That's foreskin problems. That's foreskin problems still. It must be a foreskin problem. Foreskin yeah. must be more complicated. you got to wash no, behind it and all that. So, no, it's yeah, not man, that. I, it's not that. That's bro, all I've got, got sons, so I know that. that I've got a you know, thing, bro. That's a one myth. Of them, one of them was bawling one time. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> man, the, the whole of his foreskin was slapped. <laughs> I don't know. One day, he just decided, yeah, I'm just tight. That's it. I'm just tight. Yeah. Let's come back. Oh, we might have to give him a, you know, a procedure to like, where, 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 where. Is there any other option? It couldn't actually work itself out. All right, let's try that one. Mm. No, no, so bad, man. I, I wish I had yeah, it. It's a condition, bro. Type four skin. Some of you lot have had it. You don't want to talk about it. Yeah. It's but men's hour, man. Oh, you got your, sign, you though, your willy to piece cut off. But that's a sign no, when that you're growing, growing, that. When you're growing, yeah, it took it itself religion. out. But you see, when you, you see the thing is now, yeah, if you're a man who isn't circumcised, you should know that you're supposed to pull that shit back when you're washing it, bro. And if you bro, ain't doing that, there's something wrong with you psychologically. Bro, I, 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 I watched the uh, I watched the uh, uh, embarrassing bodies. The brother's gone down. It's embarrassing bodies. Big man chatting. Yeah, I'm 34. Did a duh, boom, boom, boom. Woman said, "What's the issue?" She said, "I don't know. <laughs> I've had a couple reports. Like you know, down there. You get me? Where? I said, okay, we have a look. Rare, rare. She's like, okay. So how how often do you wash? He's like, yeah, every day. Rare, rare. She's like, all right, cool. How often? Um, and and you pull back, the pull back. Every, you pull back the foreskin every day, yeah. And he was like, what? Yeah, I see that's really? the really? oh, That's no that was his reaction. He's like, what? No like, yeah, you pull it back. No, and wash it. Like, like, <laughs> like bare baffled. So she said, have you never pulled back your foreskin and ever washed it? I didn't know that like, it was a thing. I didn't know that you had to. That's disgusting. Oh. Some people are like, not even, even wash their legs. <laughs> how do, that's going to be like great with cheese under there, man. I really don't yeah. get that. That's, that's everybody that's everybody that's in, that, in that young man's family failed him. Everyone. Trust Everyone. me. Yeah, no, man, we got a large array and pause at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Man. Like, oh, I just let the soap roll down. We having a we having a men's health conversation, brother. Yeah, big up, Roger Ray. Big up, big up. Large family big trees. Up, up, I'm not even gonna up, lie, bro. If a man, if a man's got foreskin, bro, yeah, and he ain't washed his, and he ain't pulled back foreskin to wash his, bro, like, that, 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 like that's gonna drop off, bro. Like that, oh, round, like that is mad. That nah, See, nah, nah. In, in, in the bag, now, what you life, what life was the brother living life, this whole man. time? Like, what I don't get it. Emergency. Scum life, scum life, man. That's gangrene life. I'm baby. Man. And then, um, someone put something in the group chat yesterday, so I watched that. I don't know if any of you like, remember that. Any group chat members, and the woman's talking about basically the brother didn't doesn't wash his batty, basically, didn't wash his batty. What she's giving him head, and she said she's like giving him head. She said like, there was like a funny day. smell <laughs> coming from between his legs. No. So she said, she said, <laughs> she said, no, no, no. He said she lifted up his balls and there was like two nuggets, nu- nu- nuggets, of <laughs> nuggets of shit hanging off his pubes. <laughs> hey, no, 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 gents. Hey, no, tell the story properly, bro. Well, that's she what said, it was, not it? No, she, she, said, she said, she said, she said, every time... Yeah, he would go in the shower, yeah. He'd come out and the shower would smell like shit. Yeah, but she could never understand why, yeah. And she said the time after she found the nuggets and then he went back in the shower. She said she walked in and she caught him trying to... <laughs> she caught him trying to waffle stuff. <laughs> yeah, trying to trying waffle? Trying to waffle stop the shit down the, down the fucking... Oh, holy shit! Was <laughs> by that Emberini, yeah? what? what she <laughs> saying... That he's doing in the shower, or was she saying? I don't, no, I, don't I, I don't exactly know. So whether he had, right, whether he had, I don't know, I don't know, fam, I don't know. Whatever don't know. he was doing like, was a little clarification. It was mad. Was <laughs> there was none of that. That was a bad was story. Mad. The way she said waffle stuff, I was dying. I was dying. I was dying. I was dying. 
Trying to get him through the... Through the through yeah, the, yeah, through yeah. The... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yo, man, then, don't be embarrassing, embarrassing us out there, man. God give you tun tun, and this is what you're going to do. You're going to shame us. Yeah? Well, shame us up. Martin. <laughs> you can't say that, man. I can't fucking... It's too much. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How you, how you got doo doo hanging from the pubes like coconut? Oh, I like that one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> said two nuggets? <laughs> nuggets you know, under your balls. Shit nuggets. I don't even understand how you do do. Yeah, with, 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 with corn in it. Shit nuggets with corn in it. I'm not doo doo in some mad way as well because I don't even understand. Have you got shit under your balls? Like, what's what? stuck there? Like, what we will you do it? Wow, that's my, and then that's behave my. himself, man. Come on, man. <laughs> that's my, that's my. behave himself, man. Big people. I got him. Have you ever? Have you ever yeah, never mind. Let me like. Yeah, you know, what, what was he gonna yeah. ask? Yeah. Like, obviously, he's not eleven yet, innit? So like, I'll just, yeah, like, can't check shit it. either. Cause I'll tell you something. <laughs> Girls can't check shit, man. Trust me. Girls are the worst. Girls are the worst. That was like, disgusting, bro. Yeah. Girls are. The- He's all trying to be you, you the women bit. you know are lovely and beautiful empresses, and that and the women in your past have been lovely and beautiful empresses. You might think that they all are. They're not, man. They're some not nasty. Yeah, like they don't get twisted. You know what I'm trying to say to you, bro? Like yeah. Yeah, some nasty. Some real, yeah. Yeah. Imagine, imagine yeah. the female equivalent of the brother that never knew to put yeah, back. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Listen, like, bro. There's been listen. Mm-hmm. There's crazy good stories. You get me? I'm sure there is everywhere, but bro, listen. Um, some some stories that gal have you get me kept up with Andrew. Well, I saw them. Remember, I've been in the public. I've been in the public. No, a certain man have been traumatized for life. Cause <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> what did you say? That's uh, what I said. Uh, I made up brothers come across a frowsy girl. A frowsy girl, yeah, of course. What I mean. Like, no, I mean, like, whilst being intimate, like, obviously, like, raw. You're realizing, raw. Whoa, no. I told you like my bad experience. I don't need to repeat. I had one bad experience. Well. That was it. Yeah, I had one bad experience. I've, I've never, luckily, I've never, not to that degree. Maybe there might have been times where it wasn't exactly Maybe. lemon fresh. You know what I mean? But I was probably the cause of that, why it wasn't lemon fresh at that moment. So, yeah, man, that's big people, you know, when you roll it over in the morning and, you know, it's, it might not always be, you know. That's different, though. That's different. Like, that's Paco, that, it might not that, be that, Paco Rabanne, you get <laughs> I'm talking about the draws the beanie. It's older the toilet. Like, you're fucking. Yeah, like, you're fucking. Yeah, the toilet. Yeah, like, bro. Older the toilet. Yeah. Man, it happened yeah. once, like, bro. Bro, man had to bust the window, bro. That's how oh, it was. <laughs> to bust the window. Nah, that's I, was like, yo, I was like, yo, what? what what's going on? What, yo? What? What's going on? Like, what? 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 She's like, what? What? I'm like, you can't smell that? Hey, Zuli, stay there, bending, bruv. You got yeah. to stay there, bending. I'm not experiencing that. Hell no. Yeah. You can't smell that? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, cool. Bro. It is this. Mad when it's a church. It is this. Look, look. Oh, um, you, you, you can't smell that? No. Smell it. No, smell the worst thing. You know what the worst, the worst, the worst thing is? Cause I realise, yeah, I had a one bad experience, yeah. And I realise, you this foundation stuff, yeah. Like, y'all, y'all will not wash their face, you know. They will just powder it up and walk road. It's not a joke. I, what like, did we look at the, the day when the man was the girl was the trying to, the man was trying to leave his oh, girl? Yeah, in the car. The brother the was car, trying to leave yeah. his girl because he's and and she's like, Oh, this dude trying to leave me, where and he's like, Tell them why I'm leaving you. You had you had uh you had the same foundation on your face for three days. That's she's talking about she's talking about she paid three bills to get yeah. her makeup done. <laughs> it costs worth it. Like, so for a special occasion, and she's washing it off today anyway, where He's like, nah, if I never said nothing to you, you would have kept it on. No, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But three days. It's disgusting. Yeah, fam. And you wouldn't. They're just real. They're just torture, man. It's disgusting. Especially if you know what's in that makeup. You don't want that shit on your skin for long, bro. Like, she should be, she should wash that shit off. Honestly. You need to just wash her face. Yeah. Wash her face. Yeah. Like, like, wash her face. Like, <laughs> Because girls wear makeup, they don't want to take a shower. 
They come out of the shower, which I discovered when I was a teen. The girls <coughs> come out of the shower. I said, okay, boom. So I can, you know, I'm busting to shit. I can shit now, right? I said, no, no, no. Before you hit the toilet, let me just wash my face. I'm like, you just in the shower for half an hour. Yeah, yeah, but I now need to wash my face. So your face and your face and your body don't get washed at the same time. This is the issue with some of you ladies, man. You're not doing complicated routines and that. You don't wash your face in the shower. Oh, and all that water coming down. And body gets neglected as well, bruv. Don't ever get it twisted. Hmm? I said sometimes the gal's body gets neglected as well, bro. Whoa. So what's she washing? Yeah. Just a pump? Come, bro, like, bro, 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 nothing, bro. Like you said, bro. Like, bro, you can have a girl just put up foundation, two eyeliner, two good clothes, and walk around without washing nothing, and and be able to fit amongst people. The spray, two spray, what? Spray, two spray. You will never know. They'll just bro, wash them. Never know. And then, and then when you try crabs her up, and you try crabs her up, and give her a little kiss on her neck, and you just bare salt in your mouth, sodium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you're not, uh, it's it's that bad. No, when you shake a girl's hand, like, fam, and, and, and someone's so dirty that the skin starts to roll off and that the dirt starts to roll off. That's not real. That can't be real. That, that is real. real, real. real. <laughs> I would scream out loud. I would scream out loud. <laughs> rolling dirt. You shake your hand and the dirt's rolling off. It's a crack in school. I'll be real. I'll be real. Man's had that, but it was, bruv, it was, it was foundation looking stuff that was on the I don't know. I don't know in it. Like it's just like raw. Right, is it like cool? I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't trust no one. No, bro. Twenty twenty two, man. Hey, <laughs> hey. You know when it's like getting peak when guys started washing with wet wipe. Oh mate, no word. No, it's a special we, type of face wipe. It's four pounds. We ain't gonna run. We ain't running no, no water in this whole procedure. No, no tap. It's gonna be ran. No <laughs> Jedi run. looks like he's talking to somebody. You know? oh, <laughs> clockwise or anti-clockwise, getting out wipes. Yeah, we just wiping face and neck and the... <laughs> 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 unacceptable. Unacceptable <laughs> behavior. <laughs> unacceptable behavior. <laughs> <man. laughs> yo, yo, no, no wipe is gonna make that good, man. That needs wash. And it's water. I don't know, man. They keep trying to cheat it. I hear about now. I hear about dry shampoo. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dry shampoo. Yeah, yeah. You spray. Yeah. It spray. Yeah, leave, leave, leave in shampoo. Leave in. I saw that, I saw that, like, what was this? What is this? <laughs> Are you putting this? They using using in using some head. European barbershops and that. Yeah, you know I mean, man, use that, man. Yeah, they use that, man. Like, what the hell is this disappearing uh, news? Why did this always one idiot girl took him back? What, what kind of girls are you? Like, Who are these girls? Uh, it's you <laughs> lot! Get me. You lot! How about who are these girls? It's you lot. Yeah? Your nieces and your cousins and your sisters and your aunties is them. Dutty, dutty, dutty bird. Dirt mm -hmm. bird. Dirt bird. <laughs> you lot, man. You can never tell another woman's personal hygiene as nope. a woman. Get me? Bear, bear woman bashing. <laughs> mm. We don't use that, man. All right, cool, man. Big up you, like that don't use it. All right, Sarah's come to trigger, trigger a, a sword and shield. <laughs> I'm not even saying. I'm not even saying for this woman bashing hour, yeah? Mm -hmm. no, we're not bashing. We're not bashing. We're not bashing. We're just talking. <laughs> But Maybe. all jokes aside, all jokes aside, um, ladies, there are actually electric portable douches, like little plastic um, bottles you can fill with water, and they've got a little pipe in different levels of pressure, Hi. and you can wash yourself Hi. after you go to the toilet. So when you're out and about, just clean yourself. Then you won't be getting DVs in it. Do it the Islamic way. Come on, man. When you say portable, what do you, how, does it, how does this work? Like, where's the, where's it's the pipe so go? Small, honestly, it's like a Sound complicated, man. Go on. No, 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 honestly, you just tell do us it all about it. Portable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Go on, Sarah, we're literally listening. Mm -hmm. Smaller than a water bottle. I don't know, around mm. the size of a water bottle. Okay, Dash okay. in your bag. Literally made mm -hmm. out of plastic. Fill it with water. Mm. I've got a little pipe. Different pipes of water. Just wash yourself. Basically, just wash yourself. Okay. You go to the toilet, wash yourself. Mm, I'm still not getting this. Could you be able to draw us a diagram? <laughs> I can't, I can't like screen share, but you can Google it. 
If your boyfriend's bad to you, what question? He's got a Lamborghini. I guarantee you, still keep with him, though, innit? No, 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 Sorry, imagine going to the toilet all day and you're walking around with piss stains. Men's do rights. Babies. Wash yourselves. But wait, I, but let me, can I just say, I don't nah, think yeah. that it, it's the urine or particles of urine from the pee that you did an hour ago that's causing BV. Mm. In fact, I'm, it's not... your piss from yeah, doing your nine-to-five job. Blah, 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 but I don't I think that, that piss is causing B- BV. This is for the women that don't walk around with the dudes. Uh, I, don't don't think, I don't know what's happened, why pom poms changed. But when I was growing up, women didn't have the portable douche and they didn't have PV either. So I'm not really no, sure what's causing this. I reckon you don't want to check your, your G strings, yeah, the fabric no, of your leg. Like These are the things that you don't need, you know what I mean, to, to be looking at the blame. Maybe. It's the femme fresh and all these things you're putting in your pump and all these funny things. She needs you know what I mean? I, I'm pretty sure P is natural. And summer's vibes. And summer's yeah, vibes. people wash <laughs> Please, man. And um, I just want to show yeah, a picture. Yeah, don't of... use the chemicals. Don't use the chemicals either. Okay. I just want to show a picture of the devices that are available. Is, is this... Is, it looks kind of well. like it. Huh? They look kind of like this. But there's different types Sarah. of things. It's like a whole... No, not, nothing like, Not this? Some that more electric like... ones, more, you know, upgraded versions. What, what? Yeah, you press Yo. your buttons. And... <laughs> nah, sorry. Sorry, 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 what? sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry. Are you seeing the packaging of this? No, I don't know about these old school ones. Okay, let me find them. Are you seeing Boy, this? Is millennial. Oh, no way. I'm looking at it. I okay, don't know this... what's happening there. I don't, I don't. There's a lot of piping. 5.5 vaginal attachment, 2.75 anal Meters. attachment. What? <laughs> is there different sizes in that? A different size pump? No, it's for di- no, it's one for the Colon cleansing. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know about that yet. Yeah, looks like an end of Let me find But he's he's in a rush to help her, boy. Let me assist. Quickly, you need that. Yeah? His face looks like oh my god! I can't wait to get this smell gun. My industrial. Okay. What is this? Next kind of. What's this? Looks like That's a shower. That's a shower, That's man. Like a shower, That's man. Like no, no, it's not. not. It's not. It's no, it's a a a party cleaner plan. That's what we call it. Just pull it in your house near your toilet. You buy the holes, man. As a plumber, you just fit them and for man yeah. and chuck their body. See what you do is you use that to clean up. Once you've done your doo doo, you flush because you don't want it to smell around you. And then you use that to pop that your body that crack. Then you use the tissue to dry what your body. Man? What's that? A little bit similar business. to that. It would have two buttons. And it was the electric, and it was like Sarah. Honestly, yeah, there's a long pipe. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Are you not scared of electric shock? No, no, she she might be putting that in the wrong pipe. That's that's don't put it inside. That's just outside business. I don't want you girl be dealing with the little business. The little the little she might she might be putting no, don't put it in the wrong way. That is a bum cleaner, not a product. Yeah, Dude, it's just looking like that. it's more than cleaning. Wow. Don't yeah, get confused with else. the girl, then, blood. <laughs> hey, mate, what do you, what, what, what's, your, what's your opinion on these things? It looked like what's the, the Islamic or in she Arab got, countries she got yeah, a fire to watch their bomb and that. Yeah, B B day, yeah, B day, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah. 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 Islamic yeah. countries, they got their name, bro. Exactly where it is. But these are well, good. Well, no, actually, no, no, because a douche is actually. A bum to clean clean inside out, right? And mm-hmm. like, well, in America, they got a douchebag, and I heard that it's kind, it's banned or whatever because it it can cause major damage to your insides. Yeah, what you don't what is the liquid? Carrying... Is it? It's not just water, right? Is it like a concoction? Yeah, it can be water or, or anything you want to put in there. But I think okay. it's suggested water. You got to do it the, like the what, eastern way, isn't it? Like, which is what? Like a mini, sh- like you see when you put your toilet in there. 
you can stretch a pipe out the side and it's like a mini shower. Yeah. A handheld mini shower. Yeah. And that just deals with the mouth. But the only thing is... So you do, you use it while you're still sitting on the toilet though, right? Yeah, you, you can. Yeah. But you see, over, oh, my thing is that yeah. how to use these things is what always kind of baffles me. Like, okay, so for don't instance, use yeah. If you see the one with the straight pipe coming in the bottom, instance, don't use if, that if shit. You got a, if you got a gold Only toilet, the handheld one. If you need to go to the one. If you need to go to toilet and you yeah. need to clean up, yeah, yeah. So you've got a pipe or yeah. you've got a bottle, right? Now, see, look, look, so, it, yo, yo, we sit down, yo, yo, yeah. yo, yo, yeah. chill, man. So you've got a I'm pipe straight. or a bottle, yeah. You aim the water at the area that needs cleaning. Clearly, now my question is this: Do you then use your hand to kind of? No. No, no using your hand. You have to, man. Because it depends on your size. If you let me... T Look, my, I don't want my penis to touch the front of the fucking thing, yeah? And if you use the one that's inbuilt at the bottom where your butty crack is, the water goes and hits the bottom of your ball bag. I don't want oh. that shit, yeah? So the handheld one is fucking banging. You get up, you spray, but the only problem is... It, over there, it's different. It's like you can have a you lot can of wet up the floor. The yeah, over here you can't leave. But the problem is when you wet up the yeah. floor, then you realize so that that's all why the, the floor yeah. could have poo particles in it. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> and you have to wash all that. We don't know about this. Yeah, you know I mean, so I don't really like touching things. But then here, that's why I do the proper way. You gotta check to ask, bro. The they might say listen, no. Or listen, hey, go on. As soon as you poo. You go for a shower with the shower head at the top, and then that's it, man. Yo, the Indian, the yeah. Indian man, then use their the left little hand, shower you head know is that. banging. Yeah, exactly. All you gotta do is make sure you that you have please. a wide toilet. So wait, you, you, wash you can't hand. buy a <laughs> small toilet. You have to you wash it your hands. in the shower. Wide. What? Man, shit in the shower. Is that what you said, bro? <laughs> no. You wash out your shit in the shower. You have to wash it. No. Once you've done with the toilet tissue. Remember, there's oils that will be eat and they get stuck on your skin at your body. Yeah, just just because you use a little towel and it will clean your fucking stench. Clean your body. Clean your pum pum. Clean your penis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Nothing else. I'm not going to lie, yeah. After I do a wee... But do it dick, After I do a wee, my dick don't need yeah. washing, bro. I'll be real. I don't, I don't know, need man. washing, bro. I need to wash my whole dick. I just did a pee. You see the side piece of my thing, brother? I need to... I, I, I need to, like, clean that. The, nah, the cold water, water, the warm water... No matter water, how big... Whatever, it, 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 no, no, no. Bro, it's not clean. It. it don't matter how big your dick is, bro. If you need to pee, the pee comes at the end of the dick. Yeah, you need to wash the whole fatness, dick again. Fatness, isn't it? No, but oh, you got a few minutes. You got a lot of fat on you. You have to wash the belly button. You have to wash the belly button as well, bro. The urine can be trapped. Make sure you wash your belly button. I was saying, if you got um, yeah. some, some of the urine gets stuck inside. I know, stick no cotton, but you can't hear it here. You ain't supposed to do yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's full skin man issue. They need to wash their dick. Cause to do. They got skin that peels back and forward. They need to wash that. So I'm saying, like, after you pee, there's some, some of us going to stay inside with their foreskin. Okay. Yeah, I get that. That's why, that's why the Muslim, most Muslim men are circumcised. So I mm. I, I, I assume that the, was the, it, was the it main important is it cut off like that, my Italian friend or not? It's, it's something out of the blue. It's an out of the blue question. Would you force the point getting your... Would you have rather had your foreskin or not? As a black man. We can skip that question, I guess. Sorry. I'd rather keep mine. It's not safe right now. It's what cold in the winter, man. I'd rather have some foreskin. It's man talk. You need to go and make... Um, Women's Hour or something. That what their magazine they make? OK Magazine or something. Oh, shit. It's only... Well, for... OK, we're back. Live in the building. What are going? I'd rather be warm than cold. That's what I'm saying. I... If it, because you remember, like certain times, like 
I know, because when you get a boner, like, fucking it, chafe on the jeans and that, man. I don't know, nah, man. Chafing on the fucking garments that you're wearing and that, nah. It's got to be fucking covered, man. <laughs> I need to make a new Amazon fucking... <laughs> Bad man thing. <laughs> Kingo, why are you putting 10 year old picture there, man? People washing their body with their hand. Yes. See, cool, I, I don't you. like I don't like that. No, I don't do that. See, that's where my levels of brain come in. Who? Who did that? I don't what? I don't sorry, like brother, sorry, fucking... um, sorry, Listen, listen. Who? Certain people that do that and then they're using a water tap that other people that were non existent that didn't know what they're doing will fucking use that hand tap and that's full of doo doo. I don't like it. It's a mad thing. And that's happening all around the world because obviously all influencers come in there, bro. You know what Cam, Kevin Samuel said? Yo, crew, one second. You know what, yeah. Cam, Cam, before you go on, bro. Um, so I never Cam, use Kevin public Samuel, toilets, bro. Kevin, huh? Kevin Samuel says, he says, when you meet a woman, yeah, mm. kiss her hand. No, when you go to kiss her, kiss her hand and smell her hands. And if it smells like it doesn't smell like soap. That means that she probably uses the toilet and she ain't washed her hands in it. <laughs> so I that, that's a good thing. Small no woman hand with doo doo. What's wrong with you, man? Bro, what are you talking but that, about? That's the checking. That's how you check it. Smell her hand. No, I like that. Yeah, that that if I see a woman, I would know straight away. Who's kissing, because... the, who's kissing the girl's hand out here? Hundred percent. I'm telling you, <laughs> hands have got I the most bacteria. We're going to the restaurant. Fuck that. Uh, what with the curtsy and that milady and all that business? Like, like, mm. what she know. We ain't doing yeah. that. She's, she's, she's fresh off a freak. Mr. Darcy and that. If she's more like that dude, then I'm going to tell her, look, listen, lady. Bro, yeah, what's up with you, bro? What's going on? I don't like it. Must fix it on. <laughs> he said, he said her hand smells like something, so I'm telling him, innit? Uh, I'm not saying no, that. <laughs> if, you, if you're <laughs> shit, then you nah. That. Kevin Samuels is a G, though, man. I swear to God. Was. You was, said was. whatever you said. And I'm just I'm just letting him. I know, don't know how you can be like reply. this 24-7, bro. Just slow to speech all day. Slow to speech in what sense? <laughs> <laughs> where's the, where's, where's the coherence? Where's the coherence? Where's the coherence? It's all day, just like. Rah, 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 all you day. Repeat it. Same thing to me, like. Well, one time like, you've jumped in here hour. with coherence, not one day. Huh? <laughs> okay. Do you want to make a new topic? I want to no, know what you're on, bro. Like, that's nuts. Well, I'm, yeah. not I'm not on nothing. Cause you boring. I mean, Cage is nuts as well, but he ain't like this though. Like all the damn time. Like, there's a few times where you mean congregate now, huh? It's where the feeds you mean, congregate, huh? Fuck you know. <laughs> You don't need to lay off them drugs, man. Go to detox. Know, man. Like, if get from, right. from my recollection, right. the last time you jumped on this thing, you were talking that brother about you lot looking at pum pum, and now you just uh-huh. forgot all of all of a sudden forgot about that. You got the wrong person. Don't remember him and the other bro were arguing about looking at Patty and pum pum. That's why I jumped on it. And now you trying to get it on me. Go back to your old convo. He <laughs> hit me, Vlad. The king was trying to get Pum out here, man. No! Zulu, Zulu, Zulu. Um, I'm going to serenade a soul in there. You're an R&B nigga, man. R&B, man. Riding Batty. Shut up. Hey, that's what I'm saying, bro. They fucked up the whole thing. You can't sing an Usher song anymore without feeling weird. But anyway. Because Usher is weird. I don't know. Mm. He'd be giving y'all dose and also. Yeah, but it's like, it's thanks for the um, elders in the community. They came out a, a couple of years too late, unfortunately. Now there's like 50 million questionable bisexual Asher brothers out there, innit? No, <laughs> I didn't fully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's all these people walking around. Yo, thinking Cage, they're, they're, rage they're, him, they're, blood. Tell him. He and was then, talking about and then looking out Pum Pum. You see him. Who's looking out, Pum Pum? No, I love it, bro. Come Zulu, on. Zulu, and him. Oh, no, stop right. calling my name. <laughs> <or someone else. laughs> nah, nah, you involved, but don't get escape the conversation now, name, bro. Shut up, man. Don't, don't escape the conversation because Dr. now you're Dr. Seuss, throw it, man. 
<laughs> the cage fighter is Cat back. In the hat, boy. Proper. The cage fighter is back, brother. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Let's one's go, laughing man. at that. No, no one's laughing at that. I'm problem. getting in. Yeah. I'm getting <laughs> Hey ZD, why should I just say you're out here giving head fam? Don't have it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know why a man that keeps talking about poo and batty is even mentioning my name. Like that mm, was... You were talking bro. about more than me. But you just yeah. tried to make it more etiquette. And you uh, made yourself... <laughs> Look, is it... Like, is it where them girl like, like Sasha? No, you know that girl, Sasha? <laughs> where's her name? She was quite hot, man. Where's that girl gone? Where's she gone? What? Where's that one? She didn't. She didn't like. Where's she that? said she don't want to talk to you. Is she her name Sash, Sash or Sasha, or Sam Sashi or something. <laughs> she don't like you, man. Huh? She said Who? she don't like you, and she left the building. Maybe. But I, I'm actually assuming it was that actually. I yeah, I, it's probably that. very high chance it was actually. <laughs> you're quite. You're quite a smart guy, accidentally. But um. So 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 what? Yeah. So what were we just talking what, about now? Wanna... Oh yeah. So pe- did you want to? No. What, what do you want to say to her? Like, if you don't mind. Me no, I was going to say the Kevin Samuel's thing in it because you want to pick up on Kevin, Kevin Samuel because him smelling the woman's hand Kevin. to the boot to, to oh, you yeah, know right. to clean to clean, uh, clean smell her yeah to clean smell do you know her. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? No, no, I'm saying when I'm walking around in London, I don't know. Yeah, uh, shut up, I'm up, don't up, smell it. The question you need to be asked in the King Gold is what would a woman think if she smelled your hand? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. You need to it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, bottles. Yeah, it's fine. Now, do you know what it is? Actually, in a bottle. Yo, 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 um, kid, yo, who? What's his name? Crew Teller. Yo, Crew Teller, are you in a mental health institute right now? Are you singing wow. out of a hospital? Are they injecting fucking crack into your neck, fucking juggler vein or something? Because you're just shit, bro. I don't know what he's doing. He's just talking over people. He's this, he's there, he's everywhere. Come yeah, on, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, man. Just chill out. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'm um, um, in a... Um, drug addicted Darfield. Yeah, man. How you, how you, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking. Yeah. Are you drinking? I Garfield is on, I, Garfield is on I smack. Right. So what? Like, are you down for that? Like, smelling women's hands? And if so, yeah. Like, what? Oh, what? Brad, are you I swear to God, that's what I'm saying. He said, he said it. He said it. Yo, who said that? It. SM, um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm in a lunatic asylum. Bro, bro. Yo, hello. Yo, um, Ra, Ra, Raja. Yeah, no. So what? Um, uh, when I was out, when I was out, sweet, trans you know, Allegheny, mo. Ducking and diving, <laughs> bobbing and weaving. You know what I mean? Pennsylvania, you know what I mean? And oh, haters and all that in the West End, no yeah. yeah I bumped into bro. I don't know if bro. You know when conversations work when one don't tell quiet, them because they're gonna put me in and then one fucking and then one quiet. Don't tell them this is wrong. 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 Tell her, you're gonna let him talk to you like that, bro. Oh my <laughs> god, you're gonna let him talk to you like that. Wait, you lot are trolling me. I am in a lunatic asylum. Go left, boy. Just nah, don't tell nah, him. Tell him. You have to tell him, bro. You can't let him talk mm-hmm. to you like that. Come on. I know, yeah. Yeah. Don't it's freedom of speech, man. He can say what he wants. Nah, forget Fox freedom of speech, man. You can't let him talk to you like that. <laughs> I, I didn't even recollect what he said. It just it passes my mind. You I think go um, God that is man. Wow. I like I like really... arguing. If you want to argue, you can argue, but I like arguing. He's so arguing with MJ. himself, isn't it? Let's go, let's go. Round round ten, sis. Let's go. East. Let's go. Oh shit. Ted, where are you at? You're going for the women Where's again. The oh, I want to get beaten up by some ladies. Another way to pause. Yo, brother, man. At least yeah, you got some energy like off your chest, man. Sexual bro. frustration, boy. Another weird thing. You want to be beaten by the women. Like, what are we doing here, man? You're running no fetish kind of fucking camp. Big <laughs> <laughs> up, everybody. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Fetish bro? motherfucker. Your mantria. Your mantria. You might as well you join the mad house. With the mad. I just take little slideshots. What bro. the fuck, bro? Little so slideshots. Like mantria. What are you guys talking about? Yeah, I'm not even, like, uh, Cage, I'm not even trying to instigate nothing here, but I'm just saying someone said something about someone's a dickhead still. That's all I know, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, that's all right. Firing up the barrels. 
Oh, yeah, have you ever sniffed your girl's hand and it smelled like doo doo? Yes or no? Wow. True. We don't, get love it. That. Love we don't need anything love else. Doo-doo. Another doo doo comment. This is a weird <laughs> Wait, Come on, hurry up and answer the don't thing. Flick it on us, man. man. Yeah. What are you doing? That's right. Wank into it. What are you doing? Nasty piece of work. It's a rush. Nasty piece of work. Where are we going with this? I just want to, he's, he's a bit annoying, bro. I'm not going to lie. I just feel like I just wanted to, like, kind of railroad him the way he's doing to me. But well, it's a railroad, man. What? Mm, what? Yeah, why? Because you, why? Pause on you're so it's better than, so, you're, you're better uh, than everybody else or something. No, pause. It's 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 like like this whoa, whoa, down. Whoa, here we go. Here we go. Understand. It's a railroad what man. Yeah. 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 He's in love already. Nah, I, I mean, don't know what's going on, man. Mm-hmm. Well, go on. Can you tell Yo. your girlfriend that I'm going to be a bad man on the talk show today? And oh, you're getting shit. bad up by everyone. Is that your problem? I'm not gonna lie, yeah. No. Even That's though sounds, Asians right? annoy the fuck. You, you sounded like, like you want to beat people, people up, man. Sorry. I feel sorry for them, bro. So I'm not gonna. You I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Like I'm not gonna yeah. yeah. I, I feel. I actually. Why like your viewers not leaving or something? Saying Eskenazi feels sorry for you and your little brother, Yeah, exactly. He's silly, man. No, just anybody. <laughs> I mean, picking up the black platform. This hey, sometimes I do feel like that gene is Come real on. prominent, though, bro. I swear to God, because they are very warm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, I ask, a question? Can I ask a question for everybody? If you look at Kadari, all they've done oh, is war around the world. Ask a question for yourself, kids. Not no, 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 no. But as a thought expert, it's someone that's going to be beneficial, you know what I mean? He, he's thinking that he's gonna win, but he ain't gonna win. That's his problem. I'm not trying to win. I'm trying to. I'm not you, not listen. you, him. That I don't know, no, but listen, listen. Think about this. Okay, in in all the subconscious mind, you see, you see how there's like propaganda. You see how there's like, um, you know, like um, you know, like subli- uh, subliminal messaging, all Fuck that. You know, man. I'm saying that, <laughs> that's like low level old shit. You know, help, but I'm help. saying this. I'm saying this. Get all your conversation is, correct, you know. I'm saying I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually give a solution to, to all this shit because now oh they're doing the multifaceted through algorithms, through all this shit. They're they're creating a, a perfect slave mind, pretty much. You know what I mean? But one way you have to reprogram your subconscious mind. Neither. Meaning, like half the thoughts that go into your fucking mind are not your own thoughts. Pause yes, and bro. take it in. Look, dude. Analyze Be every simple. thought that goes into your Bloody. mind and then reprogram and it mentally. And then it'll be automatic, and then you're gonna fucking be. You're you're gonna have like built. You're gonna have trillions. You're gonna be a fucking legend. Men are strong. If you're able to do that, it's hard. It's not easy. In London, anyway. I told you, man. This is a. This is. This is. This is turning turning into a graveyard. I know. Weirdos and. Also, no, this is a solution for everybody. Star scream niggas. You have to scream every thought that comes into your head. No, you're regulating it. Nah, you, you regulate have to regulate you know, your thoughts. When I came on, you have to regulate every like, thought. Wait, um, conscious and and shipper, man. Super no, implanted thoughts into your head. I can, do it, right. here, I can do it myself. What are we doing here, man? I can. When when I roll the dice, you think I have a one out of six chance? I get it. One crack at a time, man. We we could try. Joking? I have no probability. You think I'm joking? You have that too. You're just getting fooled. What in the Nitzville is going I'm on? I'm saying there is no probability. <laughs> it's all within the mind. Big up, big up, damn. In the Nitzville. Bro, I'll punch you so hard in your face, bro. I swear to God. Who does that fucking... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why the nitties? Ooh. If I, if I, if I had the... Um, wait, what? One sec. If I had the actual beat... Wait. Go on, carry what? on. Continue talking. Wait. If you did what? Just wake him up out of your fucking... He's in a cloud of cookie land, bro. Just fucking oh, wake God. him up. So people like... No, no. People stand there like they're... Um, they got a spoon and talking about bending it and all this yo, shit. Yo, you're yo, an yo, idiot. I can show you on camera. Is he cool of me? Turn on your camera. <laughs> like right now. Turn on your fucking camera. <laughs> pull out some. Pull, pull yeah. out the dice or the coin. I mean, yeah. I can make it whatever the fuck you want every time. I was showing a bet. What, you don't know um, two, plus, two plus six. You know what two plus fuck? six you know what you're you know what you're talking about? Anunnaki. You don't know the power, do you? Yeah. Yeah? You got to learn the, the basics first. Yeah, you're a magician, you know, isn't it? communicating common sense, right? All right, you know, so here, here, here. let's prove this point. Let's prove this point. Somebody on keep camera, holding, no, what Someone if somebody turn the magic. camera on. I can't do it because you think I'm cheating. Someone on camera, turn the camera on, pull no, a dice. No. Who How has a dice? You, Look, when was the last turn, time? You... Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. How about you just turn your camera on and you just roll the dice? And we can I don't have a dice, but even if I did, you'd think I was cheating. You know what I mean? I could be fucking with it because it's mine. 
But so you ain't, you ain't got a coin? More believable, you know what I mean? But I'm yeah. saying, if we all agree on whatever you want to see, we're going to see it, bro. I guarantee it. There's not no probability. It's whatever enough people agree on. The subconscious mind formulates that reality. You know what I mean? So if everybody agrees on everybody getting a million pounds or dollars, does that if, mean that- whatever, whatever, like more people believe on as a more as a great. Remember, one mind's two minds are greater than one. You know that old saying or whatever. Two minds better than one or whatever. So oh, it's, yeah. enough, no, this is why people have like you know this is why people have religion. You, you know, you see, you see, you see uh, mass for uh, Catholics and Christians. You, so see, you, like, said, you see, you know, see the, uh, people you. praying to to the east. You see people doing these certain rituals all together because it has a greater force. The Masons, all these other people, they're always doing these different ritual things. That's what it boils yeah, down. But you're doing Jamatia, though. What's a ritual? Jamatia is just showing that it shows that everything. It, actually boils down to numbers. You know I mean, everything is measurable and nothing is a coincidence. Everything is measurable. Everything is actually numbers. That's what it's, what it's trying to show you and there's a pattern to everything. Nothing so happens by accident. What, everything right happens man, on purpose. Correct me if I'm wrong. So what you're saying is basically if um if you've got many people that have got the same um will, then that will will It, come it has to a part. stronger effect. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think like, yeah, I'm gonna be real, man. I, I can't agree with that, blood. I can't sorry. agree with that either. So How can you not agree with that, Bruv. Even on the baseline, if enough people agree with something, for Sounds example, like some law of attraction bullshit, man. If enough people to agree <laughs> to wear a mask, then everyone else is gonna have to do it. You know what I mean? Oh, no, just believe it till it will happen. Just have to will it in your mind. This is bullshit. That's man. what I just said. I said, Ralph, he believes everyone that can get a million pounds. Yeah, me why? Like, let's all do that. And then he started with, he went into some explanation about whatever he went into the explanation of. Uh, you want something that you're you looking at? You're get, looking at it as something that's created, not the, a cage. A cage. Listen, bro, this is the, the, how, hey, the this, pounds, hey, how the pounds are formulated. Cage. They're no, not formulated relax, for everyone no, to no, get. Relax, one. relax, relax. A million, this, you know, this is the problem with people, yeah? or well, this is the problem with some people. They take something that has an element of truth to it, comes and they just run with it and spin it into. What they yeah, want it's it dangerous. That's dangerous. I, I get what you're trying to say. Harvesting energy, I fully understand that. But you're not no fucking wizard, bro. You're not, you're not just gonna fucking. I'm a regular person, but it works for me. From you know madness. From yeah, yeah you get me. Uh, yeah, this is just, just loud, man. It's loud. If you can just desc- even the best can't describe the um. I'm You know what I mean. Just- Spiritual it's, aspect of it. They can't, they, learn, they can't. They can't. You learn that through through. A, I I had to live through it. You know what I mean. You have to. I had to earn my, where I am right now. Everything so I have right now. So who taught you that? Myself. I don't know. Something inside of me. I have the fire inside of me. You know, like I'm always gonna win. So it. something inside of myself told you that if you get many people to think on the same wavelength, it will come to pass. I think it's going to be better because if, if I think as I see now, like certain people know about this stuff, but they use it for malicious purposes and they use it to weaken people and to take advantage of them like slaves in a way. You know what I mean? So I was like, I, I feel like I'm on the other t- side of the coin. You know what I mean? Well, the coin is on. No, I'd rather be on like the, the positive side than the negative. You know what I mean? It's easy to go on the negative and easy to reap the rewards and shit. You know, it's, it's not hard. That's the easy way, you know. So I'd rather go like you know. It's gonna be a bit harder, but I'm confused. I'm not even gonna. Lie to you. I'm I'm real confused. I'm lost. <laughs> I don't even try and think about it. I just let him talk. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, big up yourself, anyways. No, no, I'm saying when it comes to like, like knowing how reality is formulated, yeah. there's like the, the esoteric. Hey. They call it the left and the right hand path. You know what I mean? How many books? Can I ask all the uh, theists up here a question? Or the, bro, after you, sorry, continue. Did you, you, you finish? So I'd rather be on like the positive side where I'm trying to uplift people around me and, and try to get into a better point instead mm-hmm. of using, you know, using knowledge as a weapon and suppressing it and taking advantage of people and just being like, you know, never ever saying anything and just letting them, you know, like without tr- at least attempting to guide them to the right path, you know? I'd rather be 
on that side of the history. Don't end up in prison, it. though, when you're doing it, bro. But yeah, just, yeah. yeah, pick up yourself and have all the positiveness. But don't end up in prison. Well, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You fuck with these, uh, unless you don't, don't like you. You'll if you don't in. get caught and you're making money, you're fine. Mm -hmm. But don't get caught. All right? That's it. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you go against it, if, if, like, the way I'm talking, if they don't like you and you actually have enough people listening to you, you know what? They're gonna, prison is probably one of them. If they can't get you through prison, they'll kill you. You know what I mean? Literally kill you. I mean, you, you need to make so you know how to fight people, isn't it? I have good counter surveillance and shit. You know, I'm always on point. I have my shit. Right, I'm going to make an argument here, yeah? I'm going to make an argument here. Actually, you know what? I don't know exactly what you guys are talking about right now. Um, and um, it's, 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 you know, I just thought I could try and push it to a sort of high level type of wavelength here. No offense. I'm just going to say, yeah. With God, because you were talking about. Intimidation, fire upon the mason. Remember, that's a petrol bomb at the station. Fear the creator, not the creation. That Thank you, thank you. All right, good. No, all right, all right. Is that it? Yeah, I can't speak. All right. Yeah, shut up and lie down on your bed, man. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a conversation. Up, All the crackheads, you, you've had your time now. Mm. Oh shit! I yo, can go. Yo, no, I, yo. I, I'm, I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna say. Go. What did you go? What did you say? No, I was gonna say, don't have it, fam. You told you lie down, fam. Go to bed and all of that. Yeah, no, 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 no. You know, you know what? Zulu is pushing. He's already doing that, so it's not even nothing. He's looking up to the ceiling, lying down, bro. He ain't doing shit. I'm sending some some gins, bro. Some devils down his way, some demons to his front door, bro. Watch out, your demons. Watch out. What were you gonna say, though, King God? What were you gonna say? What was this argument? Really, I was gonna say like because he was talking about the fabric of reality, isn't it? He was talking about the fabric of reality. So I won't even really try to go off with derail. It's it's along the lines of who is more important, God? Yeah. Or um, that your ancestors, you know, and and okay. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make I'm gonna I'm gonna say man being an ancestors is more is more important than God. I say I say I say ancestors are God technically. Who? What was the response to that? In a way, I say what? God. God is your ancestors in a way. Right? Yeah, yeah, and and I could agree with you. And I, and I came to that conclusion. The reason why I say that... Well, they say God... They say, oh, say well, man well, was well, made in God's image, right? You know what I mean? Well, right. they say God... They say God was... Yeah, they, they do say that, but I don't know. That's like they're reaching. I don't know what that is. We can pick that apart. But I'm saying... Your ancestors. God is, is, yeah. Your man your is, more important, is more important than God. The reason why is because... You God, are we God, understand technically. Him. We are all God, and technically. People, 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 people will say to you, yeah? People will say to you, "Well, God created everything. So how can he? How can man be more important than God?" Obviously, the realization of God was 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 that very thing because we were all here God of our own we, reality. Yo, bro, 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 bro. Let me just to, stop don't blame anything outside of yourself. I don't know. I don't know why. I get, we, nah, we, would, yeah. we would be here regardless. We would be here regardless. Um, um, whether whether God, um, um. Uh, built whatever he built, we'd be here because he would have built. He would have built everything in creation. So, you have free will, right? So, so you're the architect risk. of reality with your free will. You have the choice to do what you want. You create your reality. You're the architect of reality. You are the god of your own reality. You have free all right, will. all right, all right. Cage, cage, cage. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> cage and King right. Gold. You lot both agree, yeah. You lot, you lot are both agreeing that um, your ancestors can can in some way be god, yeah. Well, they put you to this reality, technically. Okay, so yeah, my question... Yeah, but what I was doing... Uh, uh, you, uh, right. My question to both of you is... Yeah. It depends if you, if you if you consciously put the, the being I'm in there. Like, I'm I'm no, but you know, see, see now, jungle. obviously, um, Nay, you can see what the your, the issue is, is you're dealing with two brothers that don't take the social cues on when to stop talking mm -hmm. and when to start. So as, when you start trying to mo moderate, they both start talking at the same time. This is why I feel it for you, brother, Car. Boy, let's see if these lot even have the ability to allow a third person to talk because they're just talking at each other at the moment. It's very annoying. I don't know why they're doing it, but yeah, man, big up to yourself for attempting. I love it, love the Come reasoning. On. Come on, mm -hmm. large up, large up. but yeah, you lot are both saying, um, 
ancestors are God. You lot can both agree on that in whatever way. Can I still you, bless you know, up the side chat with old school um, yard music? Well, hey, anyways. Bro, you know, it's man. Man. Like, there's one man really, speaking and there's not... fucking retards on the panel. I don't put me in the same boat as fucking Jesus, bro. Bingo, Bingo, and Tage. The that, question man. is, who, on, who, can I, can who, I who do you it? believe made God then? Who you answer, you, you, you asked me a question. I'm trying to answer. some problems at Orange Pro. You see, that quickly, they're unable to have a conversation. Cognitive not like that, right? Pray and I work good. This is I'm laughing here, you know, like, yo. And then, and then, next one's chiming in, like, bro, it's just mad. <laughs> bro, I'm trying to answer the question seriously, and no one's fucking. It's a, it's a six. Okay, man. Right, man. Big up, big up. Big up. Yeah, man. Several drinks later. <laughs> you know, what's the end of it? And the thing is, yeah, they don't come around often. It'd be nice to hear the brother like talk or whatever, do his thing, but he's just working with cardboard right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here today. I'm, I'm here today still. I'm here today. I've, I've, I've got time off still. So I'm about Say to support the team. Next All right. Week. So honestly, I was doing the shit. When I was doing the shit, I was watching. Um, what do you call it? Uh, the Brixton protests and that. Brixton. Uh, well, anyway, the, the Afua, Afua Rose, and their protest. I was watching some of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nate. Yeah. Did I see someone familiar? Just yes or no? You probably did. Still, yeah, yeah. yeah I was. I was told. I was told. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Was told okay. Yeah. Okay. I know, I know, I know how the I know how the squad stay. Anyway, they stay trying to support whatever they can. You get me? But yeah, um, I was watching it, and then I see Killer P and Fire of Truth. Well, not really Fire of Truth. He's just standing there. But Killer P arguing with one Brixton older. It was mad still. About yeah, yeah. the brother saying he's trying to clear his name. Killer P saying all kinds of stuff. I don't know. It's mad. It was, it was mad still. Bro, that, that bro, I, I see. <laughs> wait, 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 what? I just, what? I know, I know them, 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 the energies over there, innit? And bro, like, bro, what, what you call it, man? What you call it, everyone's got skeletons in their closet, bro. You know, like that, man, I try right. not to like, Even stink, he was saying, some girl tried to do the same thing to me, but did, I didn't come back with that energy. I don't even know what's going on. Like what, um, man like what man can't do a little review or what? what yeah, thing? but yeah, I, um, you know why? I I would have played it now, but there's some kind of Jackie or just Shaka just something oh, playing shit. in the background. Yeah, they're not getting me. When I, look <laughs> the, when, I, when I look to the video, I see I see music credits to Jar whatever. So I was like, yeah, they got them. So that's a that's a how many hours are we away? We're, we're like two hours away from being able to play that still. But yeah, I'll definitely play that. Definitely play that, man. Right. It's a tough one because you got um, you got women, mm. black women, that need that. The narrative is the black women don't have a voice and they need a voice. Yeah, and then on the flip side, in my mind, you got this whole agenda against man. Um, and maybe even a possibility that not saying that anyone at that Brixton event or anyone in particular, but in general, maybe some women's voices, some black women's voices are being weaponized against black men to further the agenda of making men and women from That's all races what they're and doing. distrust yes. each other. Don't That's ever what they're doing, Jedi. Me. Exactly. Don't ever interrupt me again. <laughs> Listen to me, Cage. That's your last Bro, time in your this... whole life. Don't ever Mad. interrupt me. Think, yeah, I got a good idea. Let me come off mute. The white guy, let me come off mute hmm. and interrupt the black guy when he's talking about black issues. Bro, these issues, issues are not white or black. Shush, you know, be, are you that stupid? Shush, man. You're not that stupid, Jedi. Shush, I know you're not. Mad, 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 mad. I know you're Just not shush. that stupid. Because trust me, if I was on your panel in, in, in Canada, yeah, and you was talking about an issue in your area affecting your, your Ecuadorian Canadian community, and then I piped up before you even finished your sentence, I'd get roasted. Right or I wrong? 
Bro, I'm exactly, agreeing with man. you. I don't want to. You know yourself, then, innit, man? For fuck's sake. Yeah, you fucking pale skin pussy fish there. Mind yourself. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up, pussy. <laughs> you just slap the fuck up. Who, who are you talking to? Who do you think you're talking He's to? He's joking, man. Shut up. Shut right, 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 right. the fuck up. <laughs> no, no, you're going to get fired. No severance. Cage, Shut anyway, up. don't worry about it, Cage. Just tell us what was you saying, brother? No severance. Gonna get fired, no severance. See, see, this is the issue now, right? Because you interrupted me, and then when I've been like gracious and giving you the microphone, you got nothing to say. It's, it's very tiring, fam. Very tiring. It's permanently damaged. Like, I don't know why he talk or whatever, but it's, it's finished, fam. Yo, G, um, I'm going to go and smoke his play for my neighbor. Some go, candy see, and, uh, but see, see the brother. See my brother. brother. Fella, man. Enjoy your spliff. <laughs> see you soon, bro. See you soon. Enjoy the spliff, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, nay. Nay. So, what I was saying is, on one hand, it seems like, you know, the narrative is sisters need a voice to, to talk about the trauma that they've experienced in their community, right? Mm. In the community, in the community. On the other hand, I feel like men are in danger of being demonized because this wave of yeah, yeah, he he troubled me. Yeah, yeah, he done this. Yeah, yeah he done that. That that there's a danger that men are being like falsely accused and mislabeled. Yeah. yeah. So I, even though I, I I would love to, I do want to support the sisters. I don't want to weaponize myself against innocent black men. And it's hard be- when it comes to the subject of like, let's say, let's say um, rap or, 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 or sexual assault. Yeah. Mm. It's hard to like, put yourself in the mix and essentially take a side or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Because some of these brothers that have been accused are people's dads and stuff and I don't know enough to it's it's, it's mad. It's hard. And to be real, bro, I'll be real, like Every, like it's common knowledge amongst us in it for those that were raised in in and amongst what the community was back in the day. Do you get what I'm saying? And there were certain things that was going on back then that was completely normalized that now ain't. So right, it's 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 it's, it's taboo, isn't it? It's taboo, and a lot of there's a lot I can see. There's a lot of um, vindictive. I think that's the right word to use. Vindictive women that seen times have changed. And are utilizing things to draw people out of their character. I can see that. I see that clearly. And you're right. You're definitely right. Like these, that platform is kind of there for that. It is. It is. But boy, I'm that's why, boy. I'll be real. I don't. I'm not involved. From I don't know now. Yeah. I'm not involved, bro. Yeah, but then but someone then, will have then, to then die. The question is, man, like fire and these men are saying. So where's all the man them to support the women them? I'm looking at my You niggas from South, you lot deal with it, man. Oh, no, is that what I was doing here? So, yeah, yeah, man, straight up. Man. Where was Zellini? Well, Where's Zellini? Yeah, he's you. <laughs> Where's Ems, man? Where's Ems? At? Yeah, 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 yeah. But Jedi, Jedi, it all goes back to that main point we made, like a, when I came out at the beginning. You know, it's all the whole social engineering agenda. You know what I mean? They're not trying to have that. You know, where's that for the next? They're, they're trying to destroy that. You know what I mean? They're trying to make the shit because then who raises them? If they, if the family structure, they have no family structure. Who raises them after the fucking algorithm? You know what I mean? They raise them after. They shape them how they want to be later on. You know what I mean? They're trying to create the perfect slave. Nowadays, they don't need whips and chains. They have some. They have different tactics now. You know what I mean? They print money out of thin air. Someone like interrupt like him, and so we can get back to the subject. I was saying. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not, it's just the same shit over and over again, cousin. We're gonna do the same thing in like ten minutes, five minutes. It's fuck. It doesn't mean it's not true. What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, just family. What? Anyway. 
You know, what it is, like, as I, said, as I said, yeah, like, what, what I read, bro, like, what I've realised anyway, yeah, um, re as of recent, there's a lot of, there's been a lot of um, genuine people doing things throughout the years. And obviously people, people are human and everyone makes mistakes in some way, shape or form. Like, I've seen elders that have been doing works for years, been drawn, dragged out of their name because, oh, a man, a man that was accused of theft. A man was accused of robbery. A man was accused of flipping, um, what's it, slander and whatever, like for various reasons. And like, it's nothing new, bro. It's nothing new. Like people love platforms, and there's people like it's loudmouth. It's, it's it's that it's that same energy, just in a different age. Like that loudmouth wanna complain and wanna platform, and yeah, man, I see it. But it is dangerous because I feel like it is. That's exactly what it's gonna be tying into. You. It's tying yeah, into the background of the man. What if a woman? What if a woman was a, a was 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 uh, assaulted as a young as a young lady as a child, and she's now in 2020, 21, 22, got the strength and the ability to stand up in the same vicinity of where these things happen and call out the fuckery. What if that's what's happening? Shouldn't we be defending her? Shouldn't we be there? Or it's not because I don't think she needs defending. I think it's the it's the it's the picnic them that need defending. I think the focus shouldn't be on like so. I'll go back to uh, my my understanding of of gang guiding a new generation. Yeah, you've gone through shit. Yeah, and you're complaining about the shit you've gone through, and I don't know the situation in which would um in which that protest was about. I have no idea, and I'm just speaking for myself in it. But if um yeah, so if you've got um say a woman that's I keep up, like you face something while you were younger, yeah, and now you're older, and now you're trying to highlight that situation. It's like, what part of the situation are you highlighting? Is it just the case of you want to draw out that particular person and make that person face time for what they've done kind of thing? If that's the case, then I feel like that needs to be done through the, through through whatever legal ways there are. Like drawing a man's name through the mud. It's like it's like anything, isn't it? You're 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 bringing a lot more people involved that needs to be when you're shouting shit out. It's that's that's airing shit out of door that don't need to be aired out. However, if you're highlighting a situation that's ongoing, where there's it's like a you you've been a part of some sort of grooming affair and it's an ongoing affair and you're highlighting it and you're raising it, then shout that from the rooftops. Yes, you feel what I'm saying? Am I wrong in saying that? I didn't mind what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Um, yo, yo, yo. What's going on? Yeah, I hear you. It's just. Um, I don't know, man. There's women in Brixton and then surrounding areas that are calling out certain men and saying that they're well known in the community for troubling little girls and and forcing women against their will to do stuff, right? And they're saying, "Where are the men to stand up for us?" But my thing is this, yeah. Like I was, I was posing a question. I wanted to get a few more responses or whatever, but obviously people not engaging on the panel, they're just on the panel to chat shit about Batty and all sorts of stuff, yeah? But I wanted to say, yeah, that personally, it just reminds me of another protest, mate. You know? Mm -hmm. And I'm done with them. That's the main reason why I, why I, I wouldn't go in there. I've got an interest to hear what's being said in that, but it's just another protest, another, another thing in Ritzy Square, or Windrush Square, whatever you want to call it. Another slight man. To be honest, for me, it's more. It's more down to it being. I find it to be divisive. It's like, it's like this. Don't what 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 are we like? You're saying where's the man them to have your back, or if that's what you're saying, like that just sounds divisive. Cause, would you mean? I'm confused. Like, what is the situation at play? Like, what? They, like, bruv, like, that's... Yeah, I'm confused. I need to find out more information before I speak anymore because that's actually confusing me, bro. What's confusing you? 
like, like I don't, I don't know, I don't know the after, the after this whole situation. I don't know what. Well, I'll be real. I've been in the dungeon for the last couple of weeks, but man, I don't agree. Uh, this ain't, don't this ain't new. This is old. You know what? What do you mean you don't know about this Afro chip? Oh, what from the, that's it? That that what from years <laughs> back? You don't know who Afro Afro. You know who the Afro is, man. Yeah, and I just she, said don't... to you, and I and I just said to you that I just saw someone there as well. So you you must know about it, bro. Nah, I don't, bro. I don't know about the event, yeah. fam. But I know. <laughs> I know people are stepping up, guys. You know, like that. I don't, yeah, I didn't know about, I don't know about the events. Okay, all right. Um, that's because I don't know, even in regards to um, what I remember of that situation. Like, bruv, is that the same woman that sent that, that, that was drawing out that brother's name, that same Brixton yeah. brother? Yeah, and then yeah, he, yeah. And yeah. then he went, he made his own video and all of that. Yeah, man. Something about what I've seen. Rough shit. Yeah, look, look, this is the whole internet. Wait, let's see if they, hopefully, that their music ain't been counted. Oh, music. shit. Right, exactly. Oh, no. Yeah, but look, see. Doddy, you, doddy, yeah, yeah. See, the music's oh, been played, yeah. There's like four tunes. Yeah. That, that, so we can't play, because there's big music being played in the background. Which is dumb. Whoever yeah, did we, that is dumb. We definitely need to watch this after 10. We need to watch this. This is going to be. Man knows that Don, fam. Who, Killer P? No, the Don that he's arguing. Oh, this Don, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah said, they said man. his name as well. But, yeah, it was a big argument. Good thingy. I got a better, I got a better angle than this. Mm. Look, Fire of Truth. Mm. And, like, Fire of Truth is saying, where are the man them? Why are the man them acting like they don't want to protect the women in the community? That's their dads and stuff. <laughs> it's the yeah. man's father. Do you know what? Yeah, to be, go to be quite honest, go on, go on, ask Quincy. Be quite honest. At this specific event, man may be able to say that, but there's been certain males in the community, bro, that have, have, have done their thing. You get me in regards to putting in support or whatever, whatever you want to call it or label it. So. Mm. That, that's that. That's one thing. And number two, bro, I think a lot of people, yeah, even people that were. Um, what's the right word? Uh, on the fence to begin with, bruv. They're kind of not sick and tired, but it's like if, if people ain't getting charged and arrested, bruv, like you're just fucking making noise. And I'm not saying that it's it's she's it's not true or whatever, but like after a while, it just starts falling on deaf ears, bruv. You get me? So like it becomes the bro. It becomes the yeah, you get me, yeah. And 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 every minute she's talking about, yeah, there's this investigation and that investigation and investigation been getting. I know sometimes they take long or whatever, but investigation been getting on forever, and we ain't seen no results, bro. You get me? So it's uh, you get me, yeah. It's, it's it's a bit, it's a bit of a mad one. And so. I don't know what. And like, all you look got to listen. You look like, oh, I don't know what's going on. We said. There's accusations that certain big men in the in the ends, elders, were have done things to women. I said the whole thing. So why are you like not listening? You know what I mean? Like basically, there've been protests to call people out or whatever and stages. Like, I don't, I don't, like this is I don't this know. is culture in the black community on steroids. <laughs> that's that. That's what I'm looking at because. Right now, you're 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 trying to like you're trying to say protect the women that that want to draw man out. And what are you drawing man out like? Like, I'm confused. What are we drawing out? Because there's a like, let's not be naive. We know there's a bag of vindictive women, and I'm not saying this is vindictiveness here. But as um, Zalini rightfully said, bro, if man, if if you're saying stuff, a man. And and money and and there's no action happening on the legal side and there's a whole legal stuff there and a man's not there's nothing happening. This like what are we what are we attempting to do here? Just draw a bag of people out of their name for the longest. And that's what it's that's what it's kind of got it's called getting to or got to. You get me in it? Yeah, like, like that's dangerous. Bro. Yeah, very dangerous. Obviously. Yeah. Pick up the women there that really do need the support and like need that voice there. Like obviously, I'll, I'll pick up all, all all the love and support to you. You get me, but like 
yeah, these I think these people there, I don't know, man, it's dangerous, man. It's dangerous because you kind of stifle the voices of the women them that really do, the young women that really do need the support because I feel like you need to be campaigning to get the young, it's not the man them you need to be involved, the man protecting the girl. You need to be getting young girls there and talking mm. to the young girls on what you went through and how not to go through what you went through. Do you get what I'm mm. trying to say? Like, not demonising the man and rare, 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 especially as a black woman. Wait, 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 wait. What's wrong with demonising the man that, that that sexually assaulted you? That you are cute? Like, what I'm saying is, to build the campaign, like, correct me if I'm wrong in it, because what it seems to me is, because what I remember is that same brother that I see the woman was calling out, went to the police station, went through Holy Pomades, because nothing ain't happening from that. It's like, and or you're calling out other people. I don't like. I don't, I don't necessarily know what the thing is. But if you're not, if you're not campaigning to be, basically, because that like first of all, step one's been done. Like you wanted to call out a particular brother. You've 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 you've. Yo. So yeah, like sorry, but sorry, apologies. Yeah, you um, want to call out a particular brother. So yeah, you want to call out a particular brother, flipping. I lost my point, but someone was talking to me. You know, when I was getting called from another room for the longest. But um, where was I? Correct me, sorry. Yeah, I just said you were saying you say you want to call out another brother. You called out someone else. And now you want to call out another brother. You were saying talk about her. She wants to call out another brother. I'm talk trying to think of my line of thought, man. This fucking person has fucked up my whole line of thought, bro. Big but my whole... Man, man. Man. Big up everybody, the whole show, bro. The whole thing's dangerous. Hopefully my thought process will come back to me, man. One sec. Yes, big up, Freddie. Yeah, man. Get down there. So, yeah, Fred, do you know anything about this? Like, like, give me some I'm more information. I've been woman one, two, three, four times. Might be fine, but as I said, my circle's so tight, I ain't going to know nobody extra. Like, even if you're up in my face, I'm gonna ignore you. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? My thing's different, you know me, mate. <laughs> I don't need to know no extra people or do anything extra right now. My life's running so cool, I don't need no extra additives or preservatives. You know what I mean? Did you go mm -hmm. to the reparations march when she was on stage? I didn't go. No, I miss me, you know, Jay. Not this one. Not the one before. I think the one before that. Um, the, the, one the, one, before. I the one before. I think, yeah, the one after the one I was with you. I'm telling you, I'm slacking, you know, because guess what? You're going to not like the kid because the last time I went was the one I was with you. Okay. No, that's calm. I ain't been back. No, nah, you're not going to like the kid still. That's not a good thing to say still, but I'm I mean, trying my hardest in other ways, in other areas, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not I'm not judging you for not attending, man. Mm, no, nah, no, nah, I feel bad for myself, though, but you know what? When you see black people together, you just get together, man, if you can. You get me? Even even if you know you ain't fucking with the people, you're getting together to harness some other people yeah. to do something else. So... So, ah, uh, bruv, this, this, this has got, got you like, bruv, nah, this is all mad. Like, the more I'm thinking about it, yeah, it's all mad. Now I know why, yeah, because you know why, because you attended, innit? It's all crazy, you get me? I, I should have known before before I just have to let people go about certain things, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. Mm, this one's a sticky one. The woman thing... I'm. I'm not. I, if I'm going on the road, it's not because of her. It's definitely not because of her. It's probably because of some women I know that's really gone through domestic. Do you get what I'm saying? And they might need to kill up for here and there. But it's definitely. I'm not. I don't know her business to be riding out for her or flying any banners under her calls or whatever. Yeah, man. I think the more I'm, the more I'm listening to the man, them is that the more I'm kind of confirming like. It's sounding kind of selfish, really, bruv. Like, it's sounding like you've gone through some stuff as a woman and you want to pull the energy on what you went through and now let's demonise a whole section of people 
as opposed to stopping Wagwan that could potentially be happening I, I right now so in the there's a nice area. To, you know I mean? yeah, there's definitely a nicer way to go about With it. The younger generation. Yeah, there's a lack of, there's a toxic energy, there's a he-she element to it. I don't know. You get me? There's an overbearing element to it when you can just be, there's a feminine route you can go down in a dignity route. You get what I'm saying? You can go down. But other women do other things, innit? Like, for instance, if it was someone I knew, they'd probably start a charity. Or they'd probably try and really reach out to vulnerable people, innit? And start flexing with them and telling them... Hey, she that. looks like a older, angrier Lady Divine. Let me go on mute. <laughs> Mad. No! She looks Please. like Lady Divine if Lady Divine got put in Street Fighter or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, ladies, if I put his teeth out, I'll leave that alone, man. Yeah, that was cool, man. Yeah, love the sister, innit? God bless her, man. Well, this said, one? No, not this one. No, this I'm one not is, bringing yes. down any sister because I don't know the circumstances, innit? So I'm not this type of. I don't know what's wrong with this one. Come guy, innit? Staying out of her way, man. Yeah, I don't know where to chat. Her I'm, I'm glad I'm from North. You know what I'm saying? Sick, All right, God bless the sister as far as I'm concerned, but I know what I know. And Who's I'll this? just like to share it here and there. Who's this? Trafalgar. But I love Trafalgar. Is she there? Mad. Yeah, but I love Trafalgar, man. Mad team. That light skin dude from Speaker's Corner. <laughs> she could be Major Fields. Right. Uh, Oh, you know her, Freddie. Seen. I didn't know that. See her a couple times, innit? I don't know her to speak of. But I did, I did. <laughs> you didn't say she's in your you didn't say yeah. she's in your in your, uh, in your group. Yeah, your group. You standing yeah, there all military behind her and that. Day. I don't yeah, know no. half of the dons in the group. I'm mm. not gonna lie, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause obviously I'm a supporter, Jay. If you say something popping off on her time, my heart is to support. You get it, G. That's all I, I can do. I That's all I can do. I don't. I'm never gonna come and ask you how did you do this, how did you do that, how's your business. I just want to know that you're all right. God bless. My brother's cool. If he tells me there's a problem with him or someone's done anything to him, we we'll rally up and we we'll sort it all out. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I will. I don't, I don't know nothing else. And as I said, I know Russ. So if Russ is trying to introduce me to 14 people, I'm not going to forget all of them 14 people. Uh, you're accountable for anything what goes on with them. I'm old school, fam. Can I say she's your day one, yeah? It did go viral. I'm absolutely, I just want to do this video. I'm not really into response videos and internet wars and, and beef, and I don't even understand all of that. I'm here for the victims, okay? I've seen all the backlash, I've seen all the response. I didn't even really understand what viral was when I used the language and all the rest of it. And I'm glad it's gone as big as it got. I actually expect it only to really go in Brixton circles, but it's actually gone bigger than that which means that even more victims are coming forward. Some people have moved away, you get it. They've moved away. And I wanna to say to everybody, especially Cesar Rubin that feels I'm calling up his name and all this rubbish, yeah? It is your niece. I call the name and I have full verification from your niece. I'm not an idiot. I'm not gonna call someone's name unless I have their permission to do that. The sister suffered for long enough. I did not say that you were involved. I said, if, listen to the language, if, you were complicit if you knew and felt you couldn't do anything about it. Cecil, I don't know why you haven't called my phone. You're on all my contacts. The last show you did at Hoot and Annie before the lockdown, one of the last shows, I performed on that. You know me, Cecil. Call me if you've got a problem. Yeah, I don't have a problem with you. Nisi's never told me that you did anything. None of the other names that I, I mentioned has been mentioned to me in terms of any kind of sexual abuse or anything. The reason I called out Freddie Daly, Abdul Karim, and all those people is I work with them. They know me. Call my phone. Why hasn't anyone called me? Call my phone. 
yeah? What I'm saying is, is that I know that what I, I have, and especially with all the other sisters that have come forward, is okay, I'm not all there, there, please, King. King, man. Yeah. Freddie Daly and them there. Yeah? Well, she's calling up some names, isn't it? But what I'm saying is, she needs to stop right there. This is old. This is two years ago. About this is a while ago there. before you started rolling oh, with her. I don't even know. I thought this was fresh, bro. Before you started rolling with her. <laughs> before you started rolling with her. <laughs> oh, no, a, a year ago. Yeah. This is a year ago. I'm not yeah. enrolling them. Is that anything? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sweet. reparations and all that. Come on, oh, man. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, man. So the thing's set, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she called out that. She called out Vincent Rat. She called out Bear, man. Um, that's what I'm saying. I heard about Rat, innit? But obviously, these are men I used to see chatting outside KFC, doing their little tea. Come on, man. I don't know them for none of that. I know them for getting bread. So, I don't know, man. Different strokes, isn't it? Different strokes is exactly what it's about. <laughs> Under age strokes. But, yeah, this bit of woman. Yeah. Yeah, she, yeah, she's, she's been cooking up a storm. I didn't know she was part of Forever Family. That's what's Well, probably, probably. If certain old heads and OGs in the community, this is what you've got to understand. The community And I don't really care what people say, okay? I don't care what they say. I am here for the victims. That's what I'm here for. Within one hour of me putting that video up, I was hit up by 22 separate sisters and there's more coming. I'm dealing with them, hence the reason I've been sh I've been late, I suppose, in responding to, to some of the backlash. People need to talk what they know, because I am. And I'm telling you here and now, okay? I'm not taking back my talk. I'm not intimidated, okay? This guy is not my bogeyman. He might be somebody else's bogeyman, but he's not mine. I stand for truth, rights and justice and for freedom and equality for everybody, particularly my sisters and my community. This and guy's there, Long? Because I think she stands for something else as well, and it begins with an S. It's slander. Because what you're saying is you're calling up names, but you're not saying, like, I don't know what you're doing. That like, already I heard some negative things, and you don't know what you're on about. Like right now, this is like this is like an apology because she this is she did exactly that because the amount of names she slung out. While I was calling man out for certain things, and you're saying next yeah, man, yeah. that is dangerous. Like that you say, and I used to go Brixton on my Todd fam to link my cousins and that. And, hold over. and when I walked past that Kentucky, it was like sunsplash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that KFC there, everybody's out there rapping and hustling and being vibe, blood. You had to stand up and smoke a spliff for go half an hour and keep it stepping. That's how I know them man for hustling, bro. Right. And it's time somebody stood up. In every generation, in every each situation, somebody has to stand up and be counted and put an end to tyranny. That person just happened to happen to be me. Not because I'm looking beef, not because I'm a bad girl, not any of that. Yeah? Not because I'm looking for clout, not because I'm an actress. Like I've heard some of the haters saying, some of them quite close to me, actually. That's interesting. It's very interesting how victim blaming and blaming the messenger, especially when it's a messenger that stands up against the tyranny of men, particularly our own men, yeah? It's very interesting how the backlash comes at the individual and at the victims and everybody else. I said that people knew. You've seen witness now with all the different messages that's going around that people did know. There's certain key individuals, one voicemail, voice note particularly that's gone viral that bears witness to what I'm saying, that endorses it. It is real. And I want to tell you something, Vincent. I just saw your video go out last, yesterday, but you're at Pris Brixton Police Station. Do your thing. Do your thing, is what I've got to say to you. Do your thing. Because I'd really like to see you prove a libel case with all the witnesses and all the people and everybody else that is coming forward at the moment. I'd love to see you be able to prove a libel case. So do what you need to do, yeah? Every dog has its day, and every rat has its day, quite frankly. End the violence, end the reign of terror. That's what I'm about, okay? I'm about the victims. And like I want to say to anybody else, the reason I called out the nation, all you guys, Freddie, everybody, 
yeah? It's because if you don't know, you should know because you're Bristonians and I don't quite understand how you couldn't know how, Rick, how Vincent stay. So I'm saying, why is he being referred to as brother elder when he gets up and says something in the nation? Why is he being referred to brother elder and a pillar of the community? He gives donations and whatever else, like, like a responsible member of the community. Why is he doing that? He hasn't changed. He's still active. He's still a nasty piece of work. I stand for the victims. I stand for the victims. And actually, I don't really give a poop about what anybody else says. I'm not really in the social media world. I don't understand the language. Don't understand any of it. I put up a video in response to the fact that after all the things I've heard about Vincent right over the years, okay, after all the things that I've heard, somebody very, very close to me, my daughter's godmother, told me that she too was a victim. So it was time for me to speak up. That's what triggered me, for all of you that want to know. That's what triggered me, yeah? We can't have it anymore. The time for the wall of silence in the black community is over. We need to root out, like my... Teacher, my personal teacher used to say, Dr. Khalid Mohammed, root it out of our communities. Cut off its head and hang it on a pole in the black community. We've had enough. We've been damaged enough. Slavery, exclusion, racism, everything. Yeah? Black women have had enough. It's, it's one thing that we have to fight the white man and the plantation and everything else. And another thing that we have to have these brothers that are equally as damaged. Don't think Vincent ain't damaged. But is he, is he beyond help? Has he reached out for help? He now he just keeps perpetrating. And sisters have had enough. It's bad enough we have to fight the man without the brothers in our community putting us through these situations, yeah? And when you've got a prolific offender whose reign of terror has gone on for 40 years, yeah, I don't need no evidence. The victims are the evidence. The people I'm still talking to, they are the evidence. For any little people that's getting scratchy and think that they want to defend a nonce, be very careful, yeah? Anyone who wants to give me death threats or uh, threats to anybody in the organisations that I belong to or whatever, yeah? Be very careful because this thing is real and there are court cases involved. It will, sorry, there isn't court cases involved, but there will be, there will be, especially if I have my way because it's wrong, it's wrong. And as far as I'm concerned, I fear no one but the most high living creator Anyone who knows me knows this, yeah? I fear nobody but he, even my own family because of the hype. Um, so that was like a year ago, right? And then it's gone on and on and on. She's on in more things about people. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously lots of more people. Even in one of her streams, apparently she's saying something about Dizzy Rascal and someone else. Mm -hmm. Nuts. Nuts. Dizzy Rascal, then. Fuck yeah. The clout never stops. But you know what? God bless her, man. As I said before, I would never doubt any sister's thing. Innit? God bless any sister that's gone through any problem in life. Man. And that's the fucking truth. Everything else is a mystery. What, what she was saying, apart yeah. from the names, she had a good message. Your friend. So I tell you, say, keep, keep my name out in the mouth, right? Because I mean, no threaten nobody. Oh. No, I had to say that and get it on. Okay. That was a little retaliation video. <laughs> I still need to laugh still. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I, tell you, I can't take it seriously because I don't know them. Innit? And instantly. I'm a son of make the young girl born a school like I said that. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, they've got Heaven from Big Brother and that. She was on the stage. Do some speeches and that. I think this one was at Reparations Day. Or maybe not. Yeah, I want to show you like, the march, man. I do that. I do that coming around black people. Right? I don't want to lie as well. My brother is Dutchy Bungle friend them over in Mandeville. Yeah, and I hope we're getting this part of it because you need, they need to see it. 
They need to see. We're planning a trip. We're going to go back to Villa, lock that part down. Let, let me tell you that. I'm due for Jamaica right now. Um, but please welcome to the same Afro Benny because she's not just an activist in uh, in this role. Thank you. Okay. I want one, yes, yeah, sir. Hey, hey. What a kind of girl, man. What a kind of girl, man. What is the fear today? Time is up. Milton McGowan. Your time is up. What did she say? No. Lyrics. Bars on him. Just bars on him. When the anti ready is going on there. The south side dash. No, you know, well, the, scared of it. Uh, he sparked out someone, right? He sparked out. Nah, he just dashed, man, bro. Just dashed, man. Mm -hmm. I'm saying you don't recognize security. You look just airing me like I'm not talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Who's that little bro? It's Ralph. It's Ralph, man. Ralph. Ralph Daly, no? Nah, it's not going to be Ralph Daly if Freddie Daly's being called out, bro. Hmm? Ain't that big, bro? No. Like oh, little bro. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought it was big, bro, in the background. The guy, the other security guy. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. What was that? Man, 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 man rag though. That gave him the judo bro, you know. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, no, 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 so George now, Floyd, man. So now, like, um, let, let's say for instance, he he died here in this incident. Yeah, like, from dealing with the feds. Now, I'm like, I'm just saying it's a precarious place because of the nature of the allegation or whatever. It's precarious yeah. because it is kind of like someone's work against another's. I don't want to. I would never want to oh. defend a, a rapist or a pedo. Okay. I'll never want to. I never want to. Uh, 
sanction someone that's not that being mm. f- uh, arrested and mashed up by feds or whatever. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Can I just say for the record, Dave? Uh, it's a sticky situation that I find myself in. Yeah, when I, I, was, just, I just want to say for the record, though, there's bare brothers and sisters in that team of good people. Yeah, you know I'm saying just for the record, I just want to show you. Yeah, talking to your mic, bro. I don't even know what you're saying. Nah, I was saying that family forever. There's a lot of good brothers and sisters, and I'd imagine, even though I don't know them, I would imagine there's a lot of good ones. They're not here, though. They're not here. Family forever ain't here. No, of course not. I'm telling you. I'm telling you because I'm a part. Of it. So I'm telling you. I don't give a fuck about no family forever. What are you telling yeah, me? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just telling you, innit? I know you don't do yeah. a fuck. I'm making yeah, you know. I never said nothing about family forever. No, I'm just saying, innit? You're randomly telling people. Me. Social, <laughs> you social 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 social. Wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. I was in the middle of saying something. You interrupt me to randomly tell me that there's good people in family forever. Yeah, and yeah. there's no one in this video at all from March 2022 involved with Family Forever, and I never mentioned Family Forever once. I just said, oh, I didn't know that you lot was in the same uh, group. And that was like 10 minutes ago, and you're interrupting me to tell me that... No, I just forgot to say it, man. Sorry, man. Okay. I just forgot to say it. Yeah, it's man. Not that Make sure you get your disclaimers out on that, but I don't know. It's like... not that big, man. No, I'm a part of it, innit? So I've got to say it. But I'll tell you how it is. Yeah, big up, Freddie, but I don't know. Your organization is not in question. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's my that's me, isn't it? The host telling you that no one, we're not looking at forever family, bro. I don't know why you needed to no, no just say that's it. Over. Over that. Okay. <laughs> that was all right, cool. Big at yourself, bro. Why do you know someone from the, did you think it was forever family here or something? No, I'm saying the argument done, bro. <laughs> I apologize for so interrupting you. I, I want to see that throw again. Fucking hell, throw was evacuated. One level, one all this because security got broke up. Let him go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
lesbian auntie. Conscious lesbians. You got the whole theme track to your arrest. Pan lesbian, man. I'm surprised you don't recognize security. You know it's wrong. the people pick it and my yeah, I need to see her the whole country on the way. I'm from North. What is this? Concert. This is a Brixton politics, man. I know, I know. I'm not involved. I'm saying God bless all them sisters. I really mean that. No, who's this security guy? I can't. You, you, you ain't got much talk. <laughs> you ain't got much talk, man. Fucking don't fuck with her, man. Different. Energy. No one knew that I was in the country. No one knew that I was in the country. Uh, and we had lots of threats. We, we had to come in heavy-handed last year. This year, I had a choice of that. And I said, nah, they already know that I'm here. And you know what? We've got to a point where we're fully not afraid of them. Yes, we have to take the bullshit. But then I'm a smaller, more targeted uh, security. And we knew he was a threat. We knew he was a threat from a, at least a week or two ago. So his name was given to the police officers. They were they were very much expecting him, and he's shown up according to form. The friend of the his time is up campaign. Right. We hands together for MC Five. Oh! Yeah. I want to hands together so that I, I can kind of slip something for us as well, you know, my brother. Don't you? Yeah. Welcome, my brother Five. <laughs> he's not my brother, but he's cool still. Is that pink he's got on, or is it? Salmon, salmon, salmon. Okay, okay. Okay, good evening, all. No, we're doing this as one. Good evening, all. All right, good evening, man. As I'm courtesy, yeah. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, for those who are not aware and know of myself, I go by the name of MC50. Now, I happen to be not a casualty, not a victim, a casualty of a false allegation. Okay. Um, God bless Abba, this Abba Arad, my beloved sister. She gave me a, a platform, so I was able to express for the first time in 10 years where I had all the nation's ears to hear a transparent, honest truth. So many misconstrued stories about myself, people sensationalizing stories and what the what not. So as I said, Abba Arad gave me the opportunity to bring forth what happened with myself. As I said, it was I'm a casualty. This could happen to any man out here. That gentleman who was just there, you know what that is? That's what you call karma. That's retribution. What happens to that gentleman there? That's retribution. Let me just say this. Whenever you are trying to ever bury a lie, the only thing that's going to pop up is what? Is what? Is what? All right. So you already know this. That's the, that is the behavior of someone who is definitely somewhat guilty, but just by his actions alone. Well, as I said, you've already heard my story. How can you say no, that? You're though? gay, man. Shush, shush. Five yeah. Talk to, Talk to your bridging, man. We'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to the video that I want to show you. And mm -hmm. It's got music in it, so we can't and I said that. karma. When did, when did man turn Hindu? Crazy. <laughs> Oh man, so wow. yeah, that was like set it off in Brixton. Bad now, you ain't seen nothing yet. The next, the next one I'll show is, is very much juicier. Oh, Way man. juicier, you get me? Bitch. Oh man, what are you not saying though? Some of these aunties are boiling chicken, man. Weren't really nothing to look at still. <laughs> Fucking no. And these are just in the chat about how confused they are. Jump on the panel you know, and ask some questions, man. Mm. Just out there confused. You know what's confused. Better of you, look. Go on. Yo. Uh, is um. Uh, it's, it's kinda... What are you saying? I want to speak to you because I just want to get your perspective on... I know we've spoken before about certain things. I'm not going to obviously ask you 
detailed. But you know, it'd be nice to chat to you. Ain't spoke to you for a while. You like itching to come up on there and make the, the people's channel the people's channel, man. Come up here, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, Thank God. Yeah, you see, um the way like she's laying curses down basically, isn't it? In like a mantra type of of way, but that's like, yeah, she's trying to harness all the type of energy she can, bro, and forces. So she means business, like she, yeah, it's that, like big up to her, man. All power to her, and hopefully it goes somewhere. Because these million man marches ain't doing shit, really, man. Uh, that's just my humble opinion, you know. But yeah, man, she laying down curses, bro. That's quite sick, what isn't is it? Talking about billion, man. <laughs> She's like, what's she saying? He's a waste, man. He's a waste, man. He, like that if song, you say yeah. that enough, if, if you say that enough to someone, bro, yeah, with that type of sistering energy, nah, nah, it's over. It's over. That guy needs. To, <laughs> he's getting cursed. He's getting cursed up. You know, people really, really hard, hardcore believe in that as well. You know, the power of spiritual warfare, right? You know that, that that's what she's doing, mate. She's a sorceress. You think she's just out there singing and dancing? She's she's into the into the into the arts, bro. She's trying to perform arts there. Well, go on, you know, it's too spooky. Yes, family. Yes, everybody. The chat. Big up. The big up. panel. Big up everybody. Saying, mm. yeah, yeah, true. I didn't really want to big up. Maku, my brother, enough respect yes, every Come time. On. Yes. Saying, um, true. The big man called me on. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on. But this is very, it's a very difficult topic for me because I know people on the both sides. Even that guy there, I know as well. So it's, right. it's, it's sticky. It's sticky because. Okay. So tell us the both sides. Tell us the both sides that you tell us the both sides. Well, you see the man them who was at it, them for born. Seeing? I'm not gonna mention no name, but them the man they forget born. Seeing they deserve what they get. But there's a lot of man who she's calling out mm -hmm. who are innocent. These men ain't done that. So <clears throat> these men ain't done. The way she's trying to make it look, she's trying to make it look like they're nonces. Back in the day, yeah, for instance, Jets, yeah, when man used to go dance and draw a girl, see, man used to pull her arm, see, or mm. tug her on her shoulder, or put his hand around her waist or whatever. It wasn't seen as no big thing. But mm. this woman is trying to make it look like if you pull a girl and she draw away, and they make a little comment, which is what they did back in the day. It's like you're trying to abuse. Do you see what I mean? Is that you're trying to what? Oh, yeah, phone. Someone's ringing his phone. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody's trying to phone me, so I'll wait until they finish calling, then I'll get back to the reasoning. It's probably Afua. <laughs> can, you, can, you can you hear me? Hold on. Hold on a minute, let me get back to again, yeah. Jez, can you hear me again? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're back, bro. Yeah, so what 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 did you what did you say? You said oh, uh fucking hell man, not again, man. Yo, what are you like? Yeah. Uh, anyone else? Oh, we got a panel full of people that don't talk, like, or fill the gap. I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah, you see, you hear you ain't saying shit. I was just listening in, like, you know, um, yeah, I was, you know, I was, I was about to, you know, um, to, uh, you know, um, to, <laughs> to, 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 Sorry, I'm back. I'm back again. So what was you saying, Jets? 
I just trying to dope, you know. I swear down it's dope. Most definitely. The number one channel on the internet. Illuminati like. Go, what the fuck are you doing here, man? Come on, tell the blood <laughs> clot. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Yeah, big up, big up, I know you're behaving yourself. Yeah. I know he's behaving himself now. I know he's behaving himself. So, yeah, she's accused a lot of people. You know, people who I personally know. And I know that it's bare gal. To me, it's looking like this woman is just looking clout. And what started off as a good thing now has become like a joke. You know what I mean? So, sorry, so, Tony, who we, who are we talking about so I can join in as well? Uh, Afua. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, isn't that... What do you call it? That yeah, was big, up my big up, my brother. Big up, my brother. Yeah, man. Done now. What was you saying, Eunice? Wasn't it a, wasn't it a lady that was uh what do you call it interviewing a person a lady in you know, it like she currently you know um you know there was a lady that she alleged that you know her, her you know her, her biological dad's and brother was a you know was addicted to drugs or something like that. Well, I didn't see that. Part, but the thing is, yeah, uh, she, a lot of these a, a lot of these obviously a lot of, some of these women have been ill treated, yeah, uh, most definitely because back in like my era, sorry to say, that's how it was. Big up yourself for coming on, Uncle Van. Big up, you really, big up, my you're brother. You're a real Brixton, big man. Up. You remember, like, the, um, the side clash outside KFC and all of that good stuff and front line. You do remember? I mean, I, 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 I mean the original <laughs> front line, Row and Road. That was right. the original line. You remember you know all I mean? of the good stuff, in it. Like, so you, you're a Brixton man. I was just passing through and saw all these things and was amazed. But you lived around here, so you can break it down a bit better still from your perspective. You don't, you don't even have to touch on that woman. You know how there. Oi, Freddie. Mm. You know that place you just said, the front line? Mm. Ain't that what that tunes that, that Eddie Grant tunes about living on the front line? That's about oh, that that road, isn't it? That's Electric Avenue, bro. Mm. No, living on the front line Electric ain't the same Avenue. as Electric Avenue. <laughs> nah, that's a nah, I don't know about Electric Avenue. The tunes, original bro. line is is Roll and Roll. That's the original yeah, line. Living roll and on roll. the front line. Dun, no, dun, 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 dun. That line. There's bare front lines, man. Sanjay and Road. Yeah, oh, yeah, bro. Like yeah, Sanjay and Road. Yeah. yeah, but the original, though, Max. Mm. Yeah, was the Brixton front line. Yeah. Yeah. Even, Cold Lane, Lane. Yeah. even Cold Harbour Lane. Even Cold Harbour Lane was. Yeah, Cold Harbour Lane. Acre Lane. You had Acre Lane. Yeah, Acre Lane. But yeah. Road yeah. and Road. Yeah, Acre Lane. But Road yeah. and Road was the original. That's the original dark road. You, yeah. You, yeah, you had you had lines all over the place. You had the road. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm. Sanjay and Road, like you said. Yep, yep. Um, you oh, you had really. you had them all over the place. But yeah, I, think the the main, I would, yeah, I, I would say the main Why one was called Brixton. a line. Why is it a line? Why the front line, line, isn't it? Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the, 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 the first. So is it like in America where they talk about the corners that they they run their corners? Is it like that? It was back. Well, it was a whole road back in our time. A whole road where men shot and do their thing and yeah. Things go on. Yeah, yeah. Corners, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, you know, you see a screen up there. Bro. I wonder if any of you looks at the screen up there. I was wondering what's going on. And then yeah, maybe who's there? Well, who's let me there? see. Right. Who's this new person? Yo, Jed. Yo. Who's this new person? Hello, new person. It's your time now. Say it. I'm waiting out of time. Sorry about that. Guys. They don't want to interrupt. <laughs> yeah. They're going to yeah, share. So, fact of the matter, though, Jeds, back in them day, there man wasn't as civil as they are now. You understand? And that was the mm. that was how it was. Man was kind of coarse, but it coming like these women. It's like some of these women they knew these that. Are, but it's like let's, trying let's to... cut to the chase, unks. These women are talking about rape, bro. Now, nah, if them man. The, you, you hear I, what I'm I saying? Come in, rape. Yeah, if you're rape, yeah, if hold you're on, a blatant hold on, raper, hold on, hold on, hold on. These women are talking about being eight years old and things, young, young girls, and that. You know, some of these allegations are not not to do with no dance. 
okay, well, I don't know about that. If they're raping yeah. like children, you're for bond. But certain names, what I've I've heard through the grapevine that this woman is calling, as far as I know, they're not like that. She's she she's called out a lot of people, you know. I know, I I definitely know that. Yeah, far too she many. Started, to be she started true. with the one name that I'm gonna say, Vincent Rat, and then mm -hmm. she and then like I said, it, all to the other day, someone sent me a clip or saying, "Oh, have you heard this one?" When she's she's calling out Dizzy Rascal and someone else. I was like, oh, "What the hell?" Might, might. What the <laughs> same woman? Yeah, Dizzy. yeah, the same, same woman. That's yeah. what I'm saying. She, like, obviously, she's going to. She, she's now basically saying. I suppose she's now got a platform for women to come forward. But, you know, we played one one time. Don't you remember? And the babe mum jumped on and then mm -hmm. the, the mum jumped on and said, you don't know me. It's not like that. And then the, the, the other girl oh, was yeah, saying how yeah, yeah, her yeah, sister that. confessed mm -hmm. that the dad had troubled her and she loves her dad. I remember that. I remember that. Is this this set? Is that was that that same chick them time? No, mm -hmm. I'm saying that's her platform. Yeah, it was her hosting it. Okay. The forever family lady. Yeah. Okay. Afua. <laughs> the F is for Afua, yeah. F F F. This is mad, still. But as I said, I'll be I'll be honest. I don't even I don't know whether they even get on. So I I don't know. I don't know if she's still in the click or if she if they get on or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know if I heard a whisper that they're not cool or whatever but I don't know yeah Freddie would have to speak on that no I'm not too sure myself my bro yeah. I know Quincy Quincy definitely had a lot to say right yeah probably he comes the drums, isn't he? so he's probably gonna say what he wants and then so and then obviously Mega Man was a f is is uh forever family correct is that right mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I'm not too so, sure yeah probably mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's extra rubbish salt in the woods. So then uh, Quincy was chatting about Forever Family. I'm um, uh, not Forever Family, uh, Mega Man. Mm. And he's mentioned Afua. And mm. Mega Man and Forever, Forever Family and Afua were at their reparations march and have worked together mm -hmm. speaking on these issues. And she's mentioned Quincy and his dad. Mm -hmm. So, man, it's mad. Mad, mad crazy. <sighs> Yeah, it's died yeah. down. Yeah. I, I felt. The thing is, if she's well, making no, these accusations, just, sorry, if she's, just, making these, yeah, I mean. she's making these accusations, yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. she's got like, as much proof as she says she has. I think it's about time that she, if she, she, you know, she needs to do what she needs to do. And to me, if you're a rapist and a paedophile, yeah, make the make, make the corn make the corn deal with them. I'm mm. all for that. Yeah, make the corn deal with them. Um, they're to get them to but some people I know, she's calling them out for holding girls' hand hmm. and going over the top with it. And even when the girl said, well, you know what, he drew for me, yeah, but I wasn't having it, you're not even apologising. You're there still trying to be wrong and strong. Hmm. So this is like, this is the gripe, what I've got with her now, that you can't even adore a girl from back way back when without this girl finding out and calling you out about it, it's become a joke. Right. Yeah, but Uncle Tony, right, all due respect, uh, if there's a mistreatment on women, right, which there have been, especially the African woman, and um, they don't want it to keep happening, and the community, unfortunately, is not collectively sorting that out, then by necessity, they're going to have to keep protesting that way. I've um, spoke to Sister um, Afua before on that, um, my opinion of her and that I think she's a brilliant sister as what she's um, portraying herself and the message. The only thing is, is that we want to keep it the African womanism and not the European feminism, which I can understand where a lot of the brothers you can make see, it, um, a sense that it might lead them to that. But nevertheless, yes, we have to be very careful of mistreatment of rape. Okay. No, but no one is not saying that. Man, saying that if you're falsely accusing man, even in a court of law nowadays, you can be prosecuted as a woman. Yeah, but he, he, so, the people, the, the people yeah. that are being. But with... another thing is, is these grown women, yeah, kept silent for so long. Do you that's think that's fair on other people who are probably victims of said individuals? If it's true, do you get it? 
That can so, be a normal victim's response, not to speak. No, up. I'm just it's saying, very... like, they, they always ask that question. It's one of the questions they ask first. Yeah, like, why disputing. have you waited so long? And why have you... It's just selfish, you know what I mean? Because you suffered disputing. something and you kept it quiet. That means other people will suffer. Yeah, but Brother Snipe, remember the logic of the woman's mind, brother, is not the way our eyes is, you know. I'm not saying all of them are telling the truth. We know that there's liars. But I'm presuming, due to their logic, that them to um, take responsibility for what happened to them, it may take them a long time to go and tell someone that they've been violated uh, emotionally as well as physically. Imagine. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we're saying this from a perspective. It's not mandate, is it, right? But imagine if it was you and you were falsely accused. I'm telling you, everybody's fucking dying. No, if you're falsely accused. Including yeah. her. If you have a yeah? if you're falsely Easy. accused. If Ain't gonna are... be no daytime appearance and all of that. Not with my name in her mouth. That that's crazy. You know I mean, each to their own, but I, I wouldn't be having it. I swear down, I wouldn't be having it. If you are falsely accused, you have the right. Tight. Hell to pay. You Man, even the... approaching me asking the question, getting brock up. <clears throat> yeah, you got to make a point. You got to make a stand. These are certain I... behaviors. If you're innocent of something, if that guy, if you've that guy is behave innocent. A certain way. Mm. Yeah, you're right, Matt. If that mm. guy is innocent. Yeah, and going on like that. Yeah. You know what? I take my hat off to him because I'd be going on like that. Mm. You can't be accusing man of these things with no proof. Yeah. And then you're there barking it through the, the bullhorn, whatever that is, that I'm this and I'm that. And I've got children, I've got grandchildren right. and family members. And yeah. this is right. how you're going on. Yeah. If you're you falsely accused, accused, if you're falsely it's accused, you have the right, right to, sue, to sue for defamation of character. Of I'm course. suing shit. I'm brocking you up. I'm brocking up everyone in your family, burning well, your house yeah. down. Are you that not doing well? Yeah, man. Reggie, not every, know yeah, me, not bruv. Don't, don't like ever lie on me, bruv. I'm telling you. You will be a mess. <laughs> yeah, not, not every mess. Mess. There'll be like real like casualties. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, man. There'll be real casualties. You can't play this game. Life is not a game. And liberty is not a game. I can't even go on remand with this on my record or something. You understand? You understand, man? No, no. Don't play that game. And a woman who don't know about jail, that's why she can do stuff like that. She's going to use the authorities and she's going to use whatever. That's her business, right? But if you're getting it right, then cool. If yeah. you've got enough witnesses, then do the right thing. Take all the statements and blah, 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 and go and have a sit down with the feds and the community liaison officer and whoever needs to be spoken to and get the shit sorted in okay. that system of doing things. But us okay. in the community... No, nah, if it's found to be true and man gets sentenced, goes jail, maybe only a couple mm -hmm. years and comes out, well then, boy, that's when you need to be asking for us, like, oh, what are you man doing about it? And more time, we'll say, say nothing. Yeah? Just all of a sudden, something will happen to that individual. Like, don't need to be said. Don't need to be put down or blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Or even the man them who wasn't involved being called out. Mm -hmm. Where are the <laughs> man them? Excuse me? Where was I when you was lying down with grown man? Fuck off. Are you dumb? Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and then the fact of the matter is, it's like, look at these women. Most of them, especially even her. Who's touching a woman like that? Who's moving to a woman like that? No, come on, man. These women are bitter. Yeah, uh -huh. I ever they've been treated what by the man saying? here. No, and turning no, lesbian. No, no. You hear me? No, 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 I don't no, know no, about no, her, man. Was she being abused? Was she abused? Yeah. yeah, but if you don't know, then what, what we talk... Bro, sometimes, yeah. Anyway, everyone says what they want to say. Yeah, man. Come yeah. on. Yeah, like it's Fuck that ugly bitch, man. She's terrible, man. Be careful, you know what I mean? man. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not I don't need to be careful. I'm just saying people need yeah, to be yeah. careful yeah. that they don't frame people unnecessarily. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, of course, man. You but there is a mistreatment and the repercussion. The, the, yeah, but the, I'm the, saying those get dealt with properly. Go down the proper channels. You say you got enough. Uh, witnesses and da -da -da -da. why are we having this conversation? Man is supposed to be locked up or arrested or whatever <laughs> at their yard and da -da -da -da. that's what she's supposed to be coming online and giving us updates on those circumstances. Not all this pantomime and all this foolishness. Come on, man. These are people's real lives and da -da -da -da. so I don't find it funny at all. Rape is that's why I say that's why I say she gotta do things properly because the other side of things I've seen. I've been in jail and men have been falsely accused or whatever accused and da 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 and I've seen what it's like for them. It's peak. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. It's peak, it is. bruv. It is. But but remember Snipes, like, because of the power dynamic, uh, unfortunately, 
um, the women, particularly mm. the African, they're going to have to use that type of strategy, though, to get a loud response of, we need to hold certain men in our community responsible. Remember, we don't have collective yeah, but power. If, but, you know Brother I mean? Kel, that's if yeah. the man is guilty. Yeah. When that's a man is saying, not man. You, just, yeah, you, can't really do, you can't just be throwing out slander like exactly. that. It could be me, it could be you, Kel. You can't just be doing that. <laughs> exactly, and that's what I said from the beginning. Yeah, if it was me, I'm telling you there's you hell can. to pay. You can. There's hell to pay you, if you, I'm you being can. falsely accused or something. When you don't want to follow the procedure because or whatever, mm. but you know it's true in your heart. Like mm. if you like as a woman, if you do me something, yeah, I might tell everyone what you done. Yeah. yeah. And and so you should about, I ain't gonna listen to no sniper saying oh I'm ugly or I'm bitter. Right? Man, you don't know me, man. So like I, I this is what I say when when it comes to these things. And I'm never going to put my mouth on a woman and say, yeah, you're this or you're that because you've come out and said this. I do agree, yeah, that there needs to be, like, if, if like, remember, I've always said, if you accuse a man of rape and it's false, it's a false allegation, then whatever that sentence is of rape, you should mm -hmm. be serving that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, how I see it, right? Yeah. Because I, I know what's a man's name... I don't need to repeat all of that. That's been said. You know what yeah, happens to a man's yeah, name. Exactly. Even if a man's been, if I come, if someone comes out and says, "Yeah, ah, uh, God forbid, Peter, Peter mm. raped me," right? Mm. Yeah. And then it comes out, ah, oh, no, you know what, <laughs> Peter didn't, yeah. Mm. Peter, Peter didn't. I was mistaken. Uh, it was someone else, or I just lied. Whatever. S mm. It's never going to be a hundred percent of people that heard the allegations going to think, you know what, Peter's cool now. There's always going to be a small percentage or whatever percentage of people that's still going to have a residual, like, Peter can't clean again. Peter's, Peter's stained now. Mm. In your heart, like, trust me, you're going to feel some kind of, hmm, I wonder if, maybe, because you know there's no smoke without fire, really. that's why it's a very dangerous allegation. Mm. That's, that's why right. I said I'm caught in the middle, because yeah. I, I hear about women needing a voice, or mm. I hear that's what they're screaming, that's the narrative, that women mm. need a voice. And I, and I believe that if these women are are honest and yeah. they've been attacked and rare rare, then something should be done. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. And on the flip side, if mm. I'm sitting here and I'm getting involved and I'm saying, yeah, 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 and I'm just making innocent man get fucked up, or there's or it's a blurred story, or then I'm not in like yeah, get I don't that want correct, to be involved. Man. It's dangerous. Man. This could be yeah. a weapon that's used against me, you, yeah, you, you, or, or exactly. the, trouble, the trouble the trouble the it's trouble is yeah. That, the rape in itself is a very hard um, crime to get a mm. conviction for. So people saying, "Oh, why don't you just go through the proper channel?" Maybe they have, and it and it just hasn't. Uh, Sorry, what do you say? It's very said, hard to get convicted. No, I said, I, yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's loads of youngers. So, I'm so, telling you. So, so let me let. Them, who are in there for that, bro? So, so, what, you, so what you find is that okay, I got a statistic here, and it's ninety nine percent. Of mm -hmm. um, the crimes have not landed a conviction. From where? Where's the statistics from? Hmm? Let me mm. let me. Sc I'll screen share it now. But if people want to see it, ninety nine percent of what? Sorry. Yeah. Whenever oh, family, man. when you jump on Illuminati Live and you got statistics, yeah. yeah, it'd be nice to like quote the source as well. Show where the statistics from. Don't just say I got a statistic here and then just say the statistic. It's true. That'd be good. Yeah. So that other go. people can pull it up and see what your source is, and you know we can get. Crack. What's your source, brother? Oh wait, okay. oh you can't see it. How? Oh, I don't know. I think it's gonna come on the, on the top of the screen. There we go. Can you see it? Sky News. Yeah. Fucking okay. madman. Fuck you now. There we go. <laughs> nah, forget you. Man. In the year ending March 2020, 99 percent of rapes reported to police in England and Wales resulted in no legal proceedings against alleged attackers. So you can see the rates. Oh, Reg, Reg, Reg. Do you know what a journalist is, Reg? Sorry? Do you know what a journalist is? What's your point? Probably I mean, now, you probably now got to break down some of the reasons why. Um, obviously, some of them are going to be from not guilty verdicts. These are the ones that we're going to want to consider to be solid. And others are going to be because the wit the witness came um, didn't come forward as a witness. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the victim didn't come forward as a witness. Some are going to be because of lost uh, evidence. Uh, uh, lost evidence, right? And some are just going to be non-starters because they're just false. 
I and mean, that's another important statistic we're going to know. How many didn't result in a conviction because the allegation was proven to be false? Yeah, but Jay, they haven't backed up. They, that's lazy. And it's a crime Glenn now. It's a crime now for the women that's to do that. Glenn and and, and, and wait, wait, wait. Sorry, Freddie. Come in one second. I just want to say, can you pull that back up, please? Um, uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah, we yeah. need to see where Sky got their statistics. From. Exactly. Exactly. I hope we it's can find it. Thing. It's a journalist uh, writing a story to get. Yeah, it would say. Clickbait. It would say where does they got that statistic from? Hopefully, it's I think. Clickbait, isn't it? It's clickbait, isn't it? At the bottom, no. at the bottom, there should maybe be a reference of where it's from. So I don't know. I'm. Mm. It's a long. Yeah, it's none of that. There's none of that. There's a. There's an article about David Beckham. Credits. Credits go up. <laughs> no. Okay. Hearsay, no. Jay. Hearsay. Yeah, I was in. Oh, you, you you actually think the statistics are not true then? That's what you're I'm, saying, not, well, that's well, I'm not saying the statistics are We need are not a little true. bit more still. I'm just saying I, I would like to see for myself what the source is. I don't know. Sometimes... What the primary, what the primary source of, the, of that, that statistic is. Because there may be more detail in it that paints a different picture. Mm. You know how, you know how journalism is. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes this kind of thing, I don't really see why they would. Yeah, I don't see. Why do you but need to see time, why they would? Have been read? Wouldn't you want to see? Because clearly, the survey might give more detail, like like the things I just said, right? They're important yeah, right. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely. Otherwise, like, we're just gonna walk away with ninety nine percent, and we don't care why the ninety nine percent is ninety nine percent. That's a bit fucking narrow minded of us, right? Mm. We're not doing our due diligence because, say, for instance, if if forty percent of a hundred uh, uh, hundred cases um, turns out to be false allegations. That's a that's a big figure that we need to understand. And because you brought statistics to the table, I assumed that you're into statistics, like a, a statistician. So I thought you'd want to know. Let's break that down a little bit. Let's break this ninety nine percent down a bit, if we can. Yeah, sound like a pattern still. Sound like a pattern. Is there a website for those things? That, um, yeah. not a Ladies, should be under national crime statistics or something like that, or maybe that that might only show the ones that go forward. Uh, yeah. So why are you looking for that? Does anyone else want a microphone? <clears throat> What to buy or to speak? <laughs> so, which one? What about, the, what about the Guardian? Is anyone happy with the Guardian? Because I know That's some people... Guardian. Oh, brother, we we're gonna need the. We should look at the the body because the Guardian is going to re report the same story unless Actually, the Guardian has given unless the Guardian yeah. has given a reference for where the survey was taken, where the information is garnered from. It's going to be like reading the same article again. Yeah, let's see if they give a, a, a source for the statistics. What did that headline say? 1.5% what? Uh, 1.5%. Cases lead to charge of summons. So it's quite What's similar coming? anyway. The other one said 1%. But uh, here we go. So this is saying that it's coming from the most recent Home Office statistics. So it's probably... It's from the Home Office. Potentially, I think it's from and the Home Office. Link. And there a link to click on them. Mm. For the Home Office? Oh, my God. That one's going to be detailed. I don't know if you like... Look, do you not like looking at these uh, detailed websites where they're going to go... Don't really you care about detail? detail? Mm -hmm. Or you, yeah, just do, want, you just want the sun? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not even that. It's just that... Oh, going to, the detailed one is going to be very, very uh, long-winded. That's the thing. So they're oh, going to go into a lot. And sometimes people don't really are not able to like it's focus on with the, the detail. It's just the, the, detail the, the bit that's relevant. That's all you gotta read, man. It's the bit that's relevant to what we're talking about. I'm gonna go and do look for the um, office, the home office stats. I'm gonna go and look for the the, the source. For this. You know, can have a long winded and is a statistic is it, is it a percentage? Is it based on percentages? 
Yeah, these are percentage, one point five percent, and the other one said one percent. Um, but no one percentage. knows of what. <laughs> Of no, what? I'm saying there's a survey. Survey's a percentage, right? No, it's a not section. a survey. It's not a survey. It's not oh. a survey. It's statistics. Oh, statistics, sorry, I mean. Yeah. yeah. From from, so it, on from a... 2000 and what? Did I say 2021? Yeah. So it's going to be from the home office. From, uh, it's going to be national uh, statistics, man. It's gonna yeah, be it should from be the CPS, station, though. From yeah. the courts. Yeah. Oh, that type of thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It should it's going to be, be all of it. Every All the reports of it. Mm. Every so basically, police station and on every yeah, report yeah. of rape logged, and then at the end of the year, the statistics right, of got... how many of them led to a to a um, conviction or a court date or a summons or or being charged. You don't even have to be a conviction; just yeah. being charged alone. Yeah. That's a crazy rate. So, got, what is the article got saying? The reason for that? What is the article saying? The reason for these low stats are. Because I've got the ONS one now. Why is it so ONS hard is to get a rape conviction? Because it's between a man and a woman and you never really know what's gone on between them. Is that what it is? Probably, yeah. Probably he said, he said, didn't he? His word against hers kind of thing. Yeah, kind of thing. Here we go. Office of National Security. Uh, so stats. imagine what the stats are um, against rape allegations when you need four witnesses. Mad. <laughs> Mad thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Crazy. But you see this one, it's so deep. That's what I'm saying. Like it's Sometimes it's easier to just go to the other one because they go straight to the thing you're looking for. But this has got so much information. That's why well, I don't You're an intelligent that. man, but what's wrong with you? Are you acting like you can't read and skip and get to the bit that you think would be relevant to the point you were trying to make? I've actually helped you and helped you go into more detail. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I'll you're, you're like, it's like you want me to do the argument for you. No, the argument is that it's, it's that um, the likelihood of someone getting convicted of rape is very, very low. So, And my question is why? Oh, oh my God. That is, I think that's a, that is going to take yeah. a, a while. So you don't know why, but you're going to say it, but you don't know why. I'm going to make the statement. No. Yeah. Could be oh, because of the, it's, of the, it's clearly because of the nature of the crime. It's like he said, she said kind of thing, primarily. <laughs> you know, what? What I mean? primarily. Did, you, did you just quote me word for word? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> did you just <laughs> this guy <laughs> is moronic. You're sick in the head, Reggie, man. <laughs> Tell you anything to win a point, you know. And act like you're clever. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna yeah, put this in. I'm gonna go and dig, do what? some digging. I'm gonna do some digging. Oh, come on, Matty. You know, I'm gonna pen. No, just something. What's this one? You need to start right, a page. That didn't, that didn't go well, Reggie. And your, no, and that your that excellence and your literacy and comprehension and argumentation is fucking piss poor, man. And your black excellence. Yeah, man. All the time, my brother. Stick around, man. Your levels will go up. Your levels have already gone up chatting to us. All them other little channels you're hanging around weren't working for you. You're here now and you've, you've learned a bare new techniques, man. Your trolling stepped up, man. Mm -hmm. Everything. Well done, man. Hey, you turn from, you turn from the agent Smith to the new agent Smith. <laughs> no, Reggie, you no, you no, want to see agent Smith, you, Reggie, you have to look at facts. Reggie is appreciated on this channel, like trust me, because mm, he just mm, is. Mm. You know what I mean? I really appreciate yeah, it. I, Sometimes I, I try to understand why he's a dickhead, but then I'm just like, you know what? No, nah, don't, don't, don't work it out. Just just put it out. Just that's all you gotta do. Just put it out. Yeah. <laughs> don't try to work it out. Mm. Reggie's funny, bro. Too many haters here, man. Nah, it's not even hate, bro. You don't wow. talk about, oh, yeah, oh, Tony Brown's going to defend the nonsense. Like, there's little things like that that make you a dick. Oh, is, that, is that what he was saying, Jedi, yeah? Right, yeah, that's what he's typing when he jumped on. As soon as you jumped on, you haven't even spoken, bro. Who said yeah. that? Reggie? Reggie Reggie's up. He did. He did allude to that in the in the chat. Uh, you're going to upset Punky now. Nah, Reggie, bro. you're up. No, he did not. No, he did Why not. would I defend nonsense? Why no, would you assume that I would defend nonsense? 
you came on and you were saying like the the woman has lied about somebody. That's what you. That's what you said. Even and she before. has. That's facts. That's not a how, lie. She has. How do you? Because I personally know a couple of people she's lied on. How do you know she lied on them? Because I well, I I I, I wouldn't say I totally know, but I've never saying? heard. I've never heard these accusations for the 40 years I've known some of these people. Never. Does that mean it? Okay, was you present? So, all right, it? so what makes you think that she's telling the truth? Well, to be honest, to be honest, um, to, uh, just to add to the um, point, in that video, it's like she cut the... Um, because she made that second video the day after um, this br the brother she was highlighting in question went to the police station, mm -hmm. slightly apologising in a way for calling out other names so even yeah. she knows that she called out names in a yeah, false she way have. Yeah, yeah yeah so she wasn't yeah. clear on it she wasn't clear so, it was yeah, ambiguous she, she, exactly she knows the line so carry on so now you're, this man and this man your suggestion and that man. now tony is that they go to the same police that you lot said that are you you know it wasn't it was, some of it was um um thing she was like oh this man knew do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Which is kind so of kind of indirectly drawing yeah. the man into the yeah. argument. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This man knew, and this man knew what his brethren was doing because they used to roll together. It's like rah rah. So I basically, it was the brother that's mad did the mad thing that she was calling out, and everyone that was associated with that brother at the right, time. Right, 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 right. Some, some people was going on. Up, and some even, people took offense instantly and and went on. on I, it YouTube. should. That's because I swear yeah. that that brother that that big man there made a video on YouTube. One of them, yeah. Rat, um, Vincent Rat made a video. Not Vincent. No, I mean the, the guy that just came on. Oh, did he? That, Milton. Yeah, Milton. Yeah, he got wrestled to the ground and that. Yeah, yeah. He made a video, yeah. Yeah, he, he went on someone's panel and he was sitting there on the sofa. What's his name? Milton, what? McGowan. I think wasn't the one on the sofa, um, Peter. Oh, is that someone? Wasn't it Bailey? Yeah, someone, someone. No, was it Bailey? Yeah, someone. Was, anyway, Bailey was I know it was one of them. Yeah. yeah, one of them guys, and he was like, "Rah, this woman's chatting shit." I don't even know her. Da, 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 da. The people said, "No, it's the one with the the one she done the the, oh, the video." No. What are these lot doing, like, bro? These lot are smoke. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's the one they doing. The, she done the video about when she was talking about the daughter and all of that. The one you played. Milton, dirty pop jet, Milton. Funny. You will come the address. Bomba, Jamaica, Jamaica. Boom. Sorry. Viewers, subscribers, welcome back to the channel. And good day to you wherever you are. Guys, I'm out in the beautiful morning weather. Just finished my workout. Um, it's a bit sunny you know it's a beautiful the guys so i go on the trees are beautiful they're starting to shed their leaves um and i'm about to go home but before i go before i go home i want to address a little thing that won uh, on sunday at the march right um so for all my new subscriber that's new to the channel that might not know what I'm talking about. There's this march. There was this march on Sunday. It's the second um, annual march. It's called um, His Time Is Up, spearheaded by the sister Afua Rose. So if you don't know who that is, you can go check her out on YouTube at Afua Rose. That's A-F-U-A -A Rose, right? She's an activist. Um, she spearheaded this um march it's a coalition of females that have been you know wrong done by men in in in, in our communities the black communities um started out in brixton and it has spread like wildfire you know day by day and daily females um turn up you know saying that men you know, and 
I have to be careful what I'm saying, guys, because of YouTube's policy. Certain words they they they'll not monetize the video for. Right? Um yeah. Milton. Dotty Port Jet Milton. And you may come with address. Say <laughs> Imagine, right? Women them in the community then say, yo, listen, this has been done to me, right? They can tell you a day, they can tell you a time, they can tell you where it happened, and they can tell you who the perpetrator is, right? And in many cases, not all, in many cases, right, more than one female can point to this one brother, right? No, there's a, there were, or there still is an epidemic within the black community and these kind of perverted behaviors, right? And we will not have it, right? We will not have it. We want our girl children to be safe and we want our boy children to be safe. And these men, men like Milton that make excuses for men like Vincent, Rat, right? Birds of a feather flock together, right? And he, I don't know how comes Milton, Pope Jed Milton, Milton on head full of forty leg, lice lice head Milton, right? Wanna go and bad up the woman then? And go like your bad, suck crutches Milton. Man will disrespect you, Milton, bro. Left the woman them alone and let them fight their fight. Why didn't you stay in your yard? Hmm? Stay in your yard, bro. Find something to do, you're a big man. Right? All who feel like so them bad, see me on the road and lick me on my face. See? Yeah. Everybody a bad man these days. Any boy feel like them bad, see me on the road. And lick me on my face. Yeah? Leave the women them alone. I don't know why the women they never team up and beat you with their dirty drawers. Dirty Milton. Go and wash your locks, blood. You look tink. Fix up your dirty attitude, them. All of the men, them, that keep saying the women, them, are lying. And, 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 and you, they, we, people that have no proof. So what reason they just come out saying people, men are trying to molest them? Hmm? When I fish, when I love women, when I know a mother, when I know a sister. Hmm? And in most cases, you men have daughters and you would not like nobody to do that to your daughters. Hmm? You would not like if no one done that to your daughters. Hmm? Stand up for the right thing, blood, and do the right thing. We all know what is right and we know what is wrong. For what reason would five or ten women come out and say, Milton, for example, using Milton's name because I don't have no proof that he done that. But for example, for what reason would five or ten women come out of the woodwork and say Milton done something to them? For what reason? Hmm? For what reason would five or ten women come out of the woodwork and say WD done something to them? For what reason? Hmm? Dotty Milton left the woman them alone. And ladies, there's, 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 there's strength in numbers. So next year when he come up and carry a piece of tool before and slap up in and say, post soul, make him move around it. Ugly like. That's all I have to say. I, when I saw that, I was vexed. Yeah, because I see Milton, you know. I saw him last time. Me and Miss You. Big up yourself, Miss You, from City Lot Radio. Me and Miss You done a little interview with him last year. Right? He was sitting in the square last year. So if you go back on my channel and watch the His Time Is Up live that I done, you will see at one point that me and Miss You interviewed him last year. Right? Cracker. He's a he's a dickhead, bro. You know? It was it, 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 it was there last year, sitting silently, biding his time. Why didn't Vincent Rat come and defend himself? Hmm? He came last year and he didn't come back this year. So what? Is he your man? Hmm? 
you know that? You love man. You come and defend in the next man's honor and he's in his yard. Hmm? Milton, fix up your dirty attitude, Milton. Dirty drunk, bro. Fuck out of here with that shit, man. Any yeah. Mm. So, so this man, this man ain't cussing the man because the guy is a paedophile or a nonce. He's cussing the man because the guy is taking up another man's argument. Yeah. The, the title okay. is is Milton, is Milton Vincent Rat's boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Okay. I really want views, boy. Yeah. Man, that's that's what it's about, man. That I'm so happy I man grew up in North, you know. Mm. That's what, you know what I mean, man's man's man man <laughs> man it yeah. is these type absurd. of people get whispered about and then they disappear. You so happy you grew up in North because what? Man's absent from that behavior there, fam. That oh well, man well, like, he's over there too, man. Listen, man was on summer late in a state, yeah, for two years, and then I moved back to North. You understand? If not, man would have been, man would have known these man. I know, I know, and they've been on front line. I don't know, I'll probably be dead in jail right now. Peak. Yeah, summer late in his crud still, but I'm not saying like, like I said earlier, them man they forget bond. You're real. You see the file, you forget bun without a doubt. See, but when people are falsely accusing people, I can't stand by that. That's where you. That's where you muddy the water, in it, and that's that's. What I think that's what we're discussing here because well, that's how we grow, man. I don't know, like you see, when man are saying there's a like this is this is what um I'm kind of baffled about this whole epidemic. Um, Jeds went that, and that's and this is another reason why I say I'm happy I grew up in North in a sense because. I'll be real, bro. Like, I, I, I ain't been privy to no epidemic of big man. Any, like, yeah, cause like, I'll be real, like, like, yeah. What, what, what? Uncle Tony said, man, know that you get me. Man would have sound. My dad run sound. You understand? So man, mm -hmm. see sound. Man, see how I see how man's people move to yell. You understand? It's normal. Man's got videos. Man, man mm -hmm. can show man videos of man. Like, yes, but it's. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. The, the mass epidemic. It's like that clearly there's something going on. In, there was something going on in Brixton or something going on over there. Innit? Clearly, in it, but I don't know. Some things are like that, though, M. Day. Like they're generational. Because I can say for my generation, it was, like, it was a minimal, and I then don't. the ones after me, bro, mm. buried them in jail for it. No, but Younger with generation this generation of. of, of yeah. With this situation here, though, it's like they're all pointing back to, like it's like everyone, like so it's like the hot that like it's like it seems like there was a paedophile amongst the ranks of the man, then. yeah, a mm -hmm. paedophile or two, mm -hmm. and the way this whole movement's going on, it's like there's a whole grooming gang, like man's heard epidemic a few times. This ain't the first person that said epidemic amongst our people, like there's a grooming gang or there's some sort of something in play where man are just troubling youths. I'm not saying it don't happen within our community, don't get me wrong, but I'm not no, seeing it happen. It's, 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 it's definitely not that. I know it looks to me, it, it kind of looks like they're trying to spin it that way, but I'm telling you, we don't know. It's not like that. It's one and two little man, yeah, with their little corrupt mind doing this thing. And this is what I'm saying. And, and this no one's that, screaming and out from the right. find out, they're getting battered. Exactly. If certain men find out, they're getting battered. Disappear, man. But she's trying to go on like we're holding hands with these people. Yeah. And we don't tolerate be. that behavior. And even, yeah, yeah, anything you do will be perceived as caping, basically. Yeah, but you know. That's how they got it. That's how they got it. That's how they got it in the situation, you know what I mean? Because once she's a woman, you can't attack her, it, you know what I mean? Like, the way everything surrounding it is like, yeah, you touch them, you think, you say something against them, you could be roped in. You know what I mean? It's mad. Stay far, man. Yeah, man, that does seem like a mad... Yeah, it's crosses. That does seem like crosses. like, burn out, put pedophile, yes, burn out in pharma, burn out every, any kind of madness, but that there seems like the girl, like people are making noise 
for said people and trying to yeah, encompass yeah. more of a bag of names. More, more, more as, it, as the years go on. So next year, whose name will be, you know what I mean? It should be a thing where they're coming to update people and say, this man who we uh, said did this in the first one is, yeah. is, you know, on his way to court or he's did it and this is the process that's going on. Do you get what I'm saying? Because right now, what, what the campaign is seeming like is like, instead of it being that macro, it's more a case of yeah. them that would be around yeah. be yeah. saying. Yeah, but this is a deep, this is a, this is a deep thing in the sense of like what these people are doing, like what is the end goal, right? If the end goal is to help the victims, then maybe we need more transparency from 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 the well, you know so. what I want to know man? Reggie's mm. jumped on yeah he's jumped on and I want to hear what his point is because it it, it, it kind of to me it seems like he's trying to say that we're four even here mm. trying to like you know oppose us when we're here saying that you know what we don't tolerate that type of behaviour right. but if a woman calls Wolf, mm -hmm. yeah, she's to be called out. Definitely. So what are you trying to say, Reggie? Well, from what I'm hearing, she's going, she's representing victims and she's going out to protest and do, do something about it. And almost, almost like... But are they all victims? What makes you think that they're all victims? What proof have you got? Well, they, they, I don't know if all of them are victims, but she's representing <sighs> victims generally of sexual yeah. abuse. And I don't see that as a yeah, bad. And we thing. would, we we would. I would assume that the majority of all, well, well, all of us on the panel, yeah, would defend somebody who was like, you know, uh, being attacked or raped. So we're on the same side of that. But what when what, what what I'm not defending is that she's accusing people without any evidence at all, and she herself know all these people. So why Every... couldn't she go to the why why does she need the internet, yeah, to blow this thing up? Of course, and she herself could call these people personally, which she said herself. So why don't she do that? And if now, yeah, she's got evidence, proof, DNA, whatever it might take, mm. yeah, uh, to convince up uh, to, to convict them, then you do what you need to do. Mm. But she's here making a soap opera. She's making a soap opera of this thing. No, she's just not been able to go about it and get the conviction that she so desired and uh, she's going to other avenues to, to get awareness. To kind of... But why is that? What is she achieved though? She's, she's not enough. convicted. Nobody's been convicted yet and she's been on the she's been on this thing for what? The last Three years year now. or so? Three years, Three years you know, now, yeah? No. You, you, know, the, you know the problem is as well? It's like um, it, it, it goes to it goes to seem as if like there's a community that's defending the accused. Do you understand? Yeah. The, the accused, like the accused, has been burnt out. Like, like the as far as I know, like the accused people have told me, like, yeah, man's heard this and that. So the accused has been burnt out. But it's like how you're moving is you're burning out the men, um, mm, the men nah. in within the community because yeah, you just okay. like. Like yeah, you feel like they may be they may be associated because you was around him at the time, and like now that's a problem because what what, what are you what are you campaigning for because no one's protecting the problem. Now you're going after people that were not involved, just calling them out of their name is what's happening. That's that's what we're discussing, Facts. and that's Facts. why it's a problem. Facts. Yeah, if I, if there if there was man if. Obviously, there was a man doing it, but it's a handful of man, yeah? But she's making it look like it's the whole community. That's, to me, that's what it seems to me that like she's so. going to do. I don't think and she's making it. I don't think she's making it. You don't think that. so, no? No. But when she's accusing friends of these people and their friends and their friends and their friends, it's almost like she's but accusing she's saying, everybody. No, yeah, listen. She's saying women are coming forward, so we need to take it out with the women that are coming forward. They, they, they're saying that this is happening to them. So if there's a, if if, if that's the case, then that's the case. It don't matter how many men. Shoot, shoot the messenger. No matter how many men there is. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, just on the oh. Oh, no, no. But yeah, what what one's this now? So this year ends. Uh, it will no longer be appropriate to have the theme tune, which has been a kind of mini free um, advertising for the Black Awards that I thought I would give over. I think I had any theme tune, but I did that because I wanted people to know about the Black Awards and I really, really um, respect and appreciate. Well, even if you don't vote for me, you see, the way the Black Awards work and, and members of the public black ice cream man on my street you know what i mean it's that kind of thing really that goes from the bot selected by the black awards and in the other category it's members of the public that nominate but the one is a distinction category for a black outfit things like that of a uh, friday night hmm. we are going to talk very quickly about uh, do you guys remember do you guys remember um big up all the mods big up all the mods stand by um, but do you guys remember uh, me saying, I've said it a couple of times now in the last few weeks, that we have, and it's in response to people suggesting that we, we're getting nowhere and we're just calling people out week after week after week. Uh, and I made the point that we've got one awaiting a decision from the CPS, very well known one, one of the higher profile people that I've called out in the community. Um, he's awaiting a decision from the CPS, or the victim is definitely. Uh, and we've got two more that have been charged and that are due to be, you know, coming up for court cases. So this man that I'm going to talk about next, Wayne Wisdom, is one of those people that I was talking about. He's been charged. All right. Now, Wayne Wisdom, if you haven't seen my Instagram already today, where are you gone? Uh, Anybody you want to defend Wayne? Today, uh, this is the individual that we're talking about. You may remember him if you're if you're oh, uh, a friend. Any, anybody want to defend Wayne? Uh, Instagram page. What, Reggie? Anyone Shush, want to man. defend Wayne? Anyone want to talking about? Defend Wayne. Wayne Lisbon. It's because people saying that um, that she's not bringing it like all the names that she's carrying that she's calling out are, are somewhat um, innocent. Yeah, three out always... of how many? My oh, if you pay the, if you're paying attention, yeah, she says that three names yeah that have um been charged, but then the amount of names she called right. out in this that she called out the heart. She called out about fifteen names yeah, of people that have the, 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 and the thing is she what I'm just going back to what we were saying. She, she's this is not just of she's called out one man. Her grievance was with one man, and within the one man she had the grievance with, she called out the one man and then said a bag of names around the one man to draw them into mm -hmm. something a couple of them don't even know nothing about. This right. is the issue. These are other people's coming forward with other cases and da 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 da. da. Yeah, stop caping, bro. Stop no, you're caping. Saying that she's, you're saying that she's bringing them into. It. Is she? Is she? Guess, what, is she guess not... what, Reggie? Guess what, Reggie? Do you think it's right? What's what she's doing? Yeah. Um, she's campaigning, but I I think it's you have to be very clear. I mean, is she is she saying accusing this? Any, of... Anyone want to defend this guy? Whatever. So I'm I'm just asking you point blank. Do you think that this guy is guilty? I think he has a case to answer for. I don't know okay. if he's got okay. that's the case to think, answer. Do you think his picture should be put up online and his name be called out? Do you think that, that, it, that it should be done like that? Ooh. Uh, yeah, that's a bit controversial. I don't think you should put his picture out there. I think that due process first and then. All right, so, from there. you know, because from what I'm seeing, apparently, I don't know if I'm correct or not, but apparently there's rumours that this guy has committed suicide. Wow. So it goes, it goes to what I was saying about the caution that we should take right. when stringing people up, right? Yeah. Or you know, blasting them out. And like I said, yeah, you see, once your face is on the internet and you're uh, you're accused or something or whatever, or rare, and it's of this nature, it's like the the, the mud that sticks and it, and it just doesn't go away. Just the, the stain just never comes fully clean. So What's your it? name, your character is bes besmirched, and that's what they call slander and character defamation. And it is a very, very, very serious thing. What's his name again? I forgot his uh, name. Well, 
You may remember him on the 14th of <sighs> September. Now, it was very vague information. We didn't feature him here. Um, and that was for good reason, because we knew that he was coming up to be charged at court. He's been charged by the police or the CPS, uh, and he's now about to face his, he was now about to face his first court appearance, where he would, uh, it wasn't plea and directions, hadn't got there yet, but he would be formally charged at court. Um, and in those circumstances, you're arrested, police do their investigation, they tell you that they're charging you, which means that your case goes up to the CPS. CPS then have to agree with the police. Mm -hmm. If the CPS drop it, drop it, the police can do. They've tried, you know? Often they don't try, but when they do, if the CPS do not agree, they have to drop it. That's how the system works. So we were at the stage where the CPS had agreed with the police for him to be charged. He was going to go and get that formally. But he was on police bail from the time of his arrest. And that's the first group that I think needs to be questioned about that. Um, he was on police bail. He should never have been to, uh, on bail. And I'll tell you a why in a minute. But the point of the matter is, he was free up until when he was supposed to go to court, which was on the 10th of October. So the night before, let me take you back to the beginning of the story, my brothers and sisters, very quickly, without revealing too much, because let me tell you something. These guys do what they do often, and it's about ultimate control. That's what it's about. You know, it's like being abused twice for the victim. They can't get their justice. They can't get their closure. It's, it's a brutal, evil, selfish thing to do. And it's the coward's way as well. But anyway, um, this man, uh, his daughter, who he raped, um, reported him some years ago. Um, he was able to slip out of the country. She completely intimidated, like so many victims, um, had to drop the chart, you know, drop the allegation, if you like. And he was able to slip through the net, get to Jamaica and stay there. Um, probably got comfortable there after a few years and uh, decided that he would start to go and come and get back into the country. So he's, he got back into the country and, you know, some things happened that reignited in his daughter and she didn't want him to be able to get away again. So she reported it. And at that point, at that point, the police arrested him at Heathrow Airport. Probably, I think he was trying to get in, or was he coming back? But he was arrested at Heathrow, Heathrow Airport and um, they took his passport. Now for me, that's flaw number one, because why would you take his passport? You know uh, how certain members of the Jamaican community operate. That's nothing, light work for him to get a, a fake passport again, even though he didn't, but it, it would have been, you know, it could have been. So they should, know, they should have asked for bail. Sorry, they should have asked for remand and never let him out of that police station at the point that he was arrested. They should have taken him to court the next morning and pleaded for remand. They let him out on police bail pending the rest of their investigations. He's a flight risk <laughs> straight away. In any event, this man was due uh, to appear in court to face his charges. And at that point, he knew... Because uh, in my assessment, I thought, he's not going to get bail. They know that he kind of ran away from the charges a little bit the first time. Uh, and this time, he's been charged. So going up before the judge with the charge, it will formally read you the charge. You don't get to plea at that point, I don't think. I'm sure plea and directions is after that. But he will read you up the charge. Uh, and the CPS will probably be asking for some kind of remand. And your defence solicitor would be pleading for you to continue your bail. That's the way it works. So he knew in no uncertain terms, he knew in no uncertain terms that um, he'd probably have to face remand. So 10th of October, he should have been in court at Brockley Magistrates Court facing his charges and potentially being um, remanded into custody. On the 9th of October, he went to visit his best friend who had been supporting him throughout this time. So when we put his picture up, He'd convinced those around him, particularly the best friend, that it was all lies, as they do. Uh, and that best friend believed him and was supporting him. So he was bailed to another part of the country, yeah, with his son. That's the, the, the address that he was bailed to because he's come, I think it was when he was coming back in, they nicked him at the airport or something, because he, did, he had no fixed abode in London. So he was bailed to another part of the country with his boy. Um, 
So on his visits to the police station to be interviewed and everything that he has to do in relation to this case, he was staying at that best friend's house overnight in order to meet these appointments and these fulfillments, okay? He went there on the 9th. Remember, he's in court on the 10th. He went there on the 9th um, and was talking about how worried he was about going to court the next day and how peak it was going to be for him. Remember, his mate still believes his cover story and is supporting him and doesn't believe his daughter. So the friend said, do you want me to follow you in the morning? Uh, and that is the point at which he confessed to his friend. He confessed to his friend that he'd also already confessed to his father and that he was scared of going to prison because he was scared of the treatment that he would receive because of his crime. So full confession. The friend was shocked. You know, obviously the man must have been numb. Uh, and he said to the friend as well, I can't face it. I'm going to jump in the River Thames. Whether or not the friend really believed that he would do that, I'm not, I'm not clear about that. But what I am clear about is that the friend was incensed and said, well, you can't stay here tonight. Quite rightly so. Quite rightly so. I mean, the friend is not only hearing that you have actually done this heinous crime. Of course. Father, the friend is also having to deal with the fact that you lied to me, you suckered me, I believe you. the same way. This and now way. you're confessing. And then trying to, like, get some kind of... Yeah, go on, Rich. Is this Wayne? <laughs> We're still talking about Wayne. We're still talking yeah, yeah. about Wayne. Yeah. So what do you not think of that then? The fact that he committed suicide because of his own guilt of doing the crime? Yeah, messed up. Yeah. Well, he's, he's not, not messed up. He's not messed up. I feel like, you know, if that's the case, then he did the right thing. <laughs> no, for real, good riddance to him, mate. <laughs> and if not, it was it was out of sheer fear of what might happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? What, you that, prison? Yeah, I think he if 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 he is guilty mm. and and it's true and he made that confession and whatnot, mm -hmm. then like boy, he saved the taxpayer <laughs> a little change. So of, started, him in jail for for what however long he would have got, six years, seven years, eight years, what would he have got? He would have got life. So she's telling you one of the success stories of her outing someone and that the person ended up killing them. So I don't even know how to even make it, what to make of that. But yeah, um, it's the, <laughs> well, it is what it is, man. Mad. Let's listen to it. Oh, okay. If you want to finish, all right. I hear that. I hear that Ghost Wolf, he admitted it, but I didn't hear the admission. So obviously, someone's going to say, I don't know, innit? I'm not going to be able to stick on that part. So all I can say is, well, if he did admit it and he did do it, then that's what it is, isn't it? You get me? And if he didn't make that confession and something else happened to him, then, that, you know, mm. is where it is too, man. It's... Kind of sympathy. I don't know what this what was going through this man's mind. Off he went. Uh, the 10th came. He did not show up for court. Uh, and a warrant was issued, as it would, for his arrest. Uh, and then... That was last week, the 10th. Um, his body was pulled out of the River Thames yesterday morning. The selfish, nasty piece of work killed himself. We don't speak ill of the dead yet, that's true. Um, but I feel that saying it should only be for people that were honourable. I don't think there's anything wrong with speaking ill of demons that walk the earth amongst us. <laughs> I really don't. So for me, my concerns and my sympathies lay with the victim, which is his daughter, who is absolutely destroyed today. I've sp I spoke to her for a lengthy period today, absolutely destroyed. And at the end of the day, why shouldn't she be? She will get no closure this way. Even if he got killed in prison, would be better than what he's done. He's robbed her of her moment to be able to speak her truth openly and seek justice, the ultimate justice. So right now, the ultimate justice. I don't you see, you know, we got different views. I don't think sending yeah. someone to prison for what for a crime is the ultimate justice, personally. You know. Um and another thing about uh this speak speaking your truth and whatever, that's not necessarily true. Because if he went to say he went to court and went guilty, then there would be no need for a witness 
um, testimony, so she wouldn't get a chance to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if she wants to speak her truth, she's going to have to find another source, another way to do that. Either, you know, through the media, I don't know, a book or something. But she ain't, you know, it's not guaranteed. You, that's on a movie. It's not even guaranteed that you get to. And a lot of witnesses feel like they can't or they don't want to, or to protect the witness, there's screens and all sorts, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but yeah, I I just wanted to say the point that I don't know if going to jail is the ultimate uh, justice, you know? And maybe him dying isn't, isn't the ultimate justice either, but I have real queries on what justice actually is, you know? I ask it a lot, I've asked, you know, the panel and the chat a lot of times, what do you think justice is? Do you think that going to jail is justice? What? Him killing himself is justice? Him being killed in jail is justice? What's justice? What do you think justice would be for a crime like for a crime like a man assaulting his daughter in such a way? What, in jail? Say that again? What are you saying, in jail? What would no, be the justice? No, I said, what, what do you think justice is? What oh, do you think okay. justice would be for, um, you know what I mean? For a man that's done that, mm. what, what 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 would justice be? I'm asking everyone. Just give everyone. Yo, Kale, walk one. Hello. Fair people. Yeah. Enzellini. Tony. Yes, my brother, I'm here. Yeah, man. What does that ask the question? I think he needs to go to jail. He needs to go to jail for a long time. For right. I, 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 I personally, yeah, justice for me would be to torture the fucker, castrate him, and then kill him blood clean. That would be justice for me, slowly as well. Yeah. And who would do that? Like, hypothetically, who would do that job? I would do it. You I could do it. that. I would do it. Not the family. I'll no. be the judge, Not jury. The or, or, the, yeah, or the victim's family, whoever. But maybe you understand, but for me. I don't know. Anyone else? Anyone else? Got for a, me, go I'd want to torture them. I would want to torture them. Yeah. Butcher them, castrate them. And and keep keep them alive for as long as I could, and make them suffer. Okay. You know, Sarah. Sarah That's... said that the victims, victims' family get to choose what happens. What if the victims' family say that he should go free and be forgiven, and then he goes and does it again. That's a good point. Good mm -hmm. point. Yeah. Right. They say these things. Oh, look. Yeah, so, so yeah. Anyone else um, give their their um idea of what just justice would be if you was in charge of that decision well uh, male or female who rapes is death man it's automatically if you pin a man down take rape him you know death and likewise to the woman yeah <clears throat> yeah brother we trying to codify that 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 buzzword uh, still king okay yeah Yeah, okay, yeah. So okay, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm kinda in agreement with you. Um anyone else? Snacks, what did you say? Uh, same thing still. I don't know about uh the castration thing, but obviously death. However which way it is, he's just gonna not be around anymore. Just let's mm -hmm. put it that way. I would suggest I, I, a I clean actually... humane way. Mm. I, like, yeah, I would I suggest actually... a clean, merciful, humane way. <clears throat> yeah, I do little... actually know somebody. Go on, go on, go on, sorry, go on. sorry, I do actually know somebody who was raped by family members, and you know, they um they're in jail now, and like, you know, the person who was being raped hasn't got no like ill feeling against who raped her. She just needed to get it off her chest. She was carrying it for a long time. 
and she needed to get it off her chest. And I think, you know, her being able to do that has made her feel better within herself. But if when I asked, like, you know, would you destroy them? She said, no, nah, they've got to bear that, you know, that, that, that guilt, what they've done to, to her. So, yeah, some people can, I mean, I know anyway. Anyway, I just thought I'd just say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, cool. But Jedi, you said yeah. something along the lines of uh, if someone is found to be wrongfully accusing someone, they should fit the punishment. Yeah. That was due for the uh, yeah. person being accused. <laughs> yeah. So, if death was the punishment yeah. for someone uh, being convicted, then. Yeah. All these ninety nine, some whatever percent. Anyway, they're, no, they're no, no, no. See, that being precise in my words is important when you're recounting them. Mm-hmm. Don't change the meaning. I said what I said. I didn't say uh, everyone that accuses someone of rape should, and it, it doesn't lead to a conviction should therefore be killed. I didn't say that, or therefore be given the um, the tantamount. Uh, 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 penalty. I didn't say that. Mm. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I, mean, I said those that f- are proven to falsely accuse yeah. another person because <laughs> mistakes happen and whatnot, and sometimes there's miscarriages of what they call justice. So uh, a, a truthful victim is vilified or or not believed or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Or the person's powerful enough to get away with it untouchable as in case like like in the case of the royals right um, prince andrew or whoever you know so i wouldn't yeah. say yeah kill, like let them send them to jail or whatever but if it, if you're making if the if the penalty for such an act is death and you willfully try to get somebody killed then you know what would you at the very least that's attempted murder right mm. You know, all you're gonna have is people waiting for four witnesses, six witnesses before they come forward <laughs> with this kind of a uh, deterrence. Well, you know? well, no, no, no. Like I said, you it, that wouldn't be an issue if you are lying, then that's an issue. If you're not lying, then that won't be an issue. And if the case, if man busts his case, he busts his case. That doesn't. There's no. But if there's evidence, is there proof that you are lying? Then yeah, why should anyone hold hold back? You should get the full mm-hmm. force of the law. Wasting police time, wasting uh, the judicial uh, time, and making a mockery of the of the system, mm-hmm. making do you know what I mean endangering the life of others, affecting other people's family members, financial mm-hmm. losses. The list goes on. It's not no joke thing. <clears throat> it's as bad as firing a gun point blank range. You never know what's going to happen once you've done that. That is assault with a deadly weapon and uh, uh, attempted murder at the very least. No if buts or maybes. You pull a you pull a trigger. You have to understand what ramifications come with that. Being able to get a man killed by the judiciary um, judiciary system is tantamount to being in control of a lethal weapon. You have to be very cold-hearted. To what, carry out the action? I would say. Some people don't mean to kill when they shoot someone, but they know the risks. Mm. (laughs) They know the risks, man. No one cares if you mean to kill. You know the risks, man. It's a lethal weapon. It's it's labelled as such. This weapon kills. Yeah, there's no guarantee. It's dangerous. When loaded and aimed at someone, it is a potential life risk. Everybody should know that. <laughs> and if you don't know that and you shoot someone, then boy, you better have a good lawyer to prove that you had no idea that, that this gun could harm someone. And then the question would probably be, well, why did you aim it at the person then? What was you hoping would happen? 
you've never seen a gun in your life, you've never you have no idea that that was going to hurt someone. I don't know if you can get away with that. You'd have to have a, a, a mental deficiency or something like that, I reckon, personality disorder or something to back that up. You could use that excuse to maybe go from murder to manslaughter or or, or um, premeditated to accidental or whatever you want to call it. But, yeah. Still getting taken out of society, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Then the small things will really make you wake up after that. What do you say? You look just doing that mad silence. What's going on, man? I'm good. I'm high, blood. I'm sorry, man. I fucking smoked too much weed. <laughs> <clears throat> Kale, talk to me, bro. What are you saying? Yeah, as I said, man, I gotta shoot off in a bit, brother Joe. But as I said, bro, yeah. man, the um, I think we have to be careful with when it comes to our women, bro. There's a lot of stuff going on in our community, and um, we have to try our best to be a little bit empathetic when they do cry out, and no one's listening to them. You know, um, we have to we have to try and use wisdom and understand their logic. It's not always how we want it to be, but sometimes when there's no other option, they're going to cry out that way. That's their logic. Doesn't mean that it's right, but that's the way they emphasize their pain. <clears throat> You're right, though, but make sure you get a prenup, man. Don't get caught slipping, bro. You don't know these chicks nowadays. But big up what you're saying as well, but make sure you don't get caught out. Yeah, I hear that. <clears throat> Yeah, some of my youngers ended up at the old Bailey on a on a whim. On the same type of thing. So yeah, we don't play with this thing, definitely. If you're accusing or you're thing, and there's some other my brethren's sister and all of that who who lied on some boys and then later confessed. It's a mess. It's a mess. Let alone the ones that really did do something, you know what I mean? But we deal with it how we deal with it. We never do that. We never go on social media. And, you know, we're not doing that. But trust me, it gets dealt with. Yeah. And and don't you think that some of these stuff can can hinder a case? Yeah, they kind of so. Mm. You'll be careful. But I reckon by now she's probably learned. Yeah, what she can. What she can yeah, yeah. And she says that. You hear her saying that constantly now. I've got to be careful what I say. I've got to be careful because, yeah. If it's still in process. Out, though, man. It's, a big, mm. it's a big situation still. And if you know that the man's dead and then you're still putting his photo up and uh, it's just wrong. I just don't know. Well, as, long as, it's as long as you sleep well. You know? Yeah, but like at the end of the day, if he's done that to his daughter and his daughter's come forward, mm -hmm. then uh, what's it? what are we know. trying to do? Trying Otherwise, to I say, I mean, there's no point for due process then. But there still has to be due process, and somehow he's managed to end that process. You know what I'm saying? You Anyone know, got yeah. anything to say about Andrew Tate being Muslim? Uh, stuff I Not really. I see one black brother. Be what was he always, or, or is no? He just, I think he's just taking the shahada. Oh, okay. Another trophy shahada in the bank. <laughs> now nah, I don't know. I don't know how Muslims are going to take that. Uh, Andrew Tate taking his shahada, but I see a lot of them are, are are apprehensive because a lot of people take the shahada and they're gone. He got knocked out today, now. But <sighs> oh, not today, but on the TikTok video. What about brother? In in the boxing ring, I don't know if you saw that. I think it's Andrew Tate to... you were talking about, innit? Yeah, yeah. Andrew Tate. You got Tate knocked is... out, black, in the boxing ring. Some I don't know if it's an old video or new video. I don't know. He's not but... boxing anymore, man. He doesn't do the in ring thing anymore. 
What? I see some yeah. videos that where, where they just drink shit in it for the views and that. Get me. Yeah. Unique, of course we're disappointed that he's uh, decided to go into falsehood, but the fact is, it's his lifestyle choice. And uh, the guy at the lowest... Oh, you're backing the... him. You're backing him. What are you on about now? You're seeing all over the place, my girl. No, you're, no, no you're, like, you're backing Andrew Tate or not? Backing him with what? What are you talking about? Because that's it. Anyway. The fact is, yeah, Andrew Tate has made a choice to become Muslim. That's his, his choice. But I think he's uh, he's not going to be Muslim for long. So for those that are obviously take inspiration from these moments, I won't get too carried away. So yeah. the guy's a bit of a gosh. I don't even know what what to even call him. I don't even mu- know much about him, but I think he's a he's a someone that uh, is going through a lot of different phases. Yes, he's business in it, but I don't know who looks to such people for for um thing. The world has changed. That these social influences and these, you know, B tech, C tech celebrities or whatever, they do and say what they will. If you choose to follow them, more for you. I don't think it's any yeah. consequence really, uh, un- uh, unless it's to those who are interested in it. That's why it's put out there. But me, yeah. myself, and I, now nah, I'm not really interested. In it. Yeah, he says some things that are are true in the videos that I've heard. Yeah, it's just the way he says it in an obnoxious way, winds up women and all of that type of stuff. I'm not interested, but trust me. <laughs> he just wants four wives. <laughs> Mad <too. laughs> Yeah. I'm sure they'll embrace him, you know, like they do with all their pal. Are you upset that he didn't want to become a Christian? He was a Christian, apparently. Or oh. some, some sort of oh. orthodox. Ouch. Yeah. I don't know, ouch. I mean, that didn't they? Yeah, that's the one that hurts you, man. It doesn't hurt anyone else. We don't parade people in our in Christian faith. There's people. You, well, you paraded your elf just now. No, we don't. I mean, you see how the it's well, obviously a Christian L, no? No, what are you talking about? Oh, well, we're, not, like, we're not interested in numbers. He like said that. he was Christian, though. He was, but that's his choice. If yeah, that's a big to... one to lose, though. Man. That's not. A big one. What was he giving us as a Christian? Like, I don't know why you're mentioning him, but you mentioned him, so he must be. I didn't mention him. I'm responding to what Jedi mentioned him. Hmm? Jedi mentioned him. I'm responding to the, the. What do you think of Andrew Tate? Oh, yeah. I thought sure. you. I thought you know about him. Oh yeah, I, I heard about him converting, but that's his own thing. He got he converted. Well, he was into the manosphere and all of that. No, not at all. Kind of yeah. coincides with black excellence. Well, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. He has a lot of changing to do. I don't know if he's gonna if he can drop every all of his lifestyle choices uh, to follow Islam. But good luck to him. Man. He's a uh, he's got he's had a lot of uh, challenges. I'm saying. I don't know what you mean, but. When man's got money, no matter what they do. Man. Rising of... Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Crypto, crypto. Hmm? Uh, what Sarah's saying about him being big in the crypto industry, maybe. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, big money. Socialism and all sorts. Hmm. Sorry? No, Lady Spade coming out with, did you know that the UAE put a ban on visas from certain African countries? I've not heard that before. I know they don't they don't like to give citizenship, but I don't know about putting a ban on uh, visas. That would be interesting. I don't know where she got this from. Man like totes. It's not, it's not really an issue if you've got... Uh... A passport for your country, or you can get one. That'd be the best course of action. So you don't need a visa. You still need a visa if you got a passport for certain countries, of course. No. Nigeria's no. on the ban list. Who told this man stop saying that Nigeria's hmm? on the ban list? No, I'm saying if you don't have a Nigerian passport, then yeah, you're gonna have to get a visa. 
Now, even if you have a Nigerian passport, you still need a visa. No, you don't. What, to go to Dubai, you mean? No, to go to Nigeria, I'm saying. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I mean, like, when you're going to... They're talking about going to Dubai. That They're saying that um, Dubai has put a ban on visas from Nigeria. Oh. Okay. Because no. only the rich and famous want to go to Dubai for a holiday and that. That's their business. So. There's other places you can go, man. South Africa's good now, man. My girl cousin is a TV presenter in Nigeria. Um, she... Um, yeah, she's holiday in South Africa and that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's nice. Man. I'm rating that. Because when I was out there, there's bare big people just, oh, where's this person gone? Oh, she's gone to Dubai. Where's this Mr. So-and-so gone? He's gone to Dubai. It's like, bros, why are you lot obsessed with this? this, this? Yeah. There's a lot of Zina in Dubai, man. Exactly. It's becoming very nice. Very a lot of business, a lot of whatever. Don't matter who goes over there now. Mm. Mm. It's overhyped, you said. Oh, okay. Well, the ch- it's it's progressing, I suppose, because I heard they now allow people to buy property there, which is quite good. So things are changing. Well, yeah, that's interesting that they ban a lot of African countries. Oh, just because of a, a gang warfare. See, you're making excuses, Sarah, for your Muslim brothers. They put ban on the, on the melanated people, and you're still making excuses for them, claiming that we're part of some gangs. So if Brit, if UK done that tomorrow, well, okay. that's what they're claiming. If that's what they're claiming, that's what they're claiming, isn't it? And there is some truth behind that, isn't it? Like, so should UK ban Nigerian from coming over here because we've got gang members as well? Or Nigerian, no, that's, I don't it's rooted in racism. I don't think England is. Uh, Invested in such a thing, they own in Nigeria, so they use it's, their, it's the theirs to do what they want with, in a sense. You know what I mean? Or the relationship, you get me? It's got nothing to do with Dubai that just came about the other day. Like, let's not do that. <laughs> uh, no, it, it is out of proportion because they're still allowed. She, she's right. It's out of proportion. Yeah, you're right, Sarah. Oh, what? So not, they allow you Somalians to go there and work as uh, house slaves or whatever they want to call it. You know what I'm but they're, they're bad in Nigerians because of some fights that they might have had, or gangsters, rather, whichever you want to put on it. It's mad. Big, big up, family. I've got to slide. Big up the panel. Big up, Unks. Scene. Big up, Unks. Big up the chat. Yeah, big up yeah. everybody involved. Yeah, have a good mm. night. What's left of it? And hopefully, I will yeah, see man. you lot tomorrow. Yeah, yeah big yeah. up family. Big up, big up. So, Reggie, what was you just saying, brother? No, it's uh, I'm responding to Sarah.